Chapter 51 Sarutobi's Compromise Advertisement Bang! Sarutobi stood up suddenly, his face ashen. This is too much. After all, it happened at the entrance of the village. Sarutobi could get the news faster. Even though he didn't come there in person, it wasn't much different. When Chiba went out at first, Sarutobi still had some hope. After all, Namikaze Chiba's temperament never suffers. And whether it is Rock Shinobi or Cloud Shinobi, once they have come to the door, they will definitely not give up. So at this time, if Namikaze Chiba goes out, it is very likely that she will fight with them. In fact, there was indeed a fight, but this result was unacceptable to Sarutobi. Cloud Shinobi's fourth Reiki J.I. has already taken action, but still lost. And if you lose, you should lose. Either you will be wary of Namikaze Chiba from now on and not take action against him, or you will simply send out the army and die directly. No matter what the outcome is, you lost the fight, why did you scold me instead? I'm the only one who's easy to bully, right? Sarutobi's face twitched and he wished he could take action directly. He wanted to take action himself and teach AI a bloody lesson, but finally, still took a deep breath and suppressed his thoughts. Firstly, it's not necessary, and secondly, if he does this, the situation will be even more unfavorable to him. Third generation Sama. Now, Umbu knocked on the door and finally walked in after getting Sarutobi's approval. Then Umbu said quickly, The ninjas of Cloud Shinobi and Rock Shinobi have already arrived. We, what are we going to do? It's an emergency, this time. Even the usually calm Umbu ninja was a little panicked at this moment. The voice was extremely urgent. Advertisement. Sarutobi frowned, trying his best to calm down. He thought for a long time, and finally said, Let Namikaze Chiba come to see me. Yes. Umbu took the order and went out. Not long after, Umbu came back. Returning with him was Namikaze Chiba, third generation Sama. Kinyi said slowly with a smile, We are facing a powerful enemy. You no longer organize the ninjas in the village to fight and protect the safety of the villagers. How come you have time to summon me? Why, I suddenly figured it out and felt that I was not suitable for the position of Hokage, and then I wanted to abdicate. Listen to Chiba's sarcastic words. Sarutobi said with a cold face, Namikaze Chiba, you are also a member of the village, but now that the village is in great trouble, you have done nothing, and instead are dragging the village back. What are your intentions? Facing Sarutobi's question, Chiba shrugged. It's not that I don't want to help, it's just that I'm powerless. Cloud Shinobi and Rock Shinobi are all out. How can I resist with my own strength? Sarutobi sneered. What about the Hayaga and Uchiha clans? Why not let them take action? Chiba showed doubts. As you say, you are Hokage. You can't stop them by giving orders, so why are you causing trouble for me? You. Sarutobi suddenly became angry. Kinyi was choked up and speechless. After a while, Sarutobi took a deep breath. What will it take for you to let them take action? Chiba said. It's very simple. You are old. I think you should know what I mean. Now that you are old, you should not occupy this position forever. It's time to change. This is impossible. Chiba's words just fell. Sarutobi immediately slammed the table and objected. Chiba spread his palms. Then there's nothing I can do about it, it's up to you. Advertisement. Chiba lost interest and planned to turn around and leave. However, before leaving, Sarutobi stopped him. Wait a minute. At this moment, the anger on Sarutobi's face has disappeared a lot. Instead, there is loneliness. Asuma, send Asuma back. Twenty million tails, I will send someone to deliver it later. Kinyi raised his eyebrows and said with some surprise, I didn't expect that in the end you would still want to kill your relatives out of justice. I think Asuma will be very grateful to you for giving him a chance to perform after he finds out about this. Sarutobi didn't answer, but his face already showed his age. Asuma can return it to you, but... Kinyi's lips curled up, 20 million tails is far from enough, we need 40 million tails. For a moment, Sarutobi's eyes widened and he almost shouted. What? Didn't you just say before that it only costs 20 million tails? You are robbing. Unexpectedly, after Sarutobi finished speaking, Chiba nodded and said, You're right, I was robbing. For a while, Asuma had room and board at my place, and I also introduced him to good jobs for him to experience. These are all expenses. I did a rough calculation and found that it cost at least 23 million tails. Of course, Mr. Hokage still has to give you face, so the extra 3 million tails will be wiped out by you, making a total of 40 million tails. Look at Chiba's smile. The anger in Sarutobi's heart was difficult to suppress. He wanted to tear Namikaze Chiba alive, but he couldn't take action. In his current physical condition, if he really wanted to take action in anger, he would only be humiliating himself. After all, Sarutobi didn't have the confidence to defeat AI, but Namikaze Chiba almost won the battle with AI. Sarutobi suppressed the idea of taking action. If you don't want to, that's okay. After all, he is your son. It is safer to leave him here with me. Advertisement. Sarutobi clenched his fists. The words were almost squeezed out from between the teeth. Okay, very good, you're fine. I will send you 40 million tails, but you have to send Asuma back intact. Make a deal. Thank you, Mr. Third Generation, for your kindness. Oh, by the way, I would also like to thank Mr. Third Generation on behalf of all the villagers for his dedicated service to the people. Third Generation Sama is so righteous. Ha ha ha. Chiba laughed and left the Hokage office. Sarutobi clenched his fist and hit the table again. The new table soon became dented. Even so, the anger on Sarutobi's face could not dissipate. Call? He let out a long breath. Finally, an Umbu ninja was summoned and ordered. Go tell Onaki and AI, I will give them an explanation and ask them to wait for a while. After the Umbu ninja leaves, Sarutobi slumped down on the chair like a deflated rubber ball. The dusk was evident on his face, and there was a deep sense of failure in his heart. After so many years of sitting on the Hokage, this was the first time that I felt so powerless. Even his own son can't be saved. After meeting AI and Onaki, I don't know how much more humiliation I will suffer. But, it's all worth it. As long as Onaki and AI retreat, he will have plenty of time to regain control of the village. The village still belongs to him, the third Hokage, to the end. Sarutobi Hiruzen gradually regained hope in his eyes. He did all this. All for the village. For the village? Advertisement. Chapter 52, Killing Relatives for Justice. Advertisement. Itake frowned. He looked at the masked man appearing in front of him again. How are you thinking about it? Obito spoke, his voice still hoarse, and he couldn't tell what the sound should be. Uchiha deserves a better future, not in the hands of outsiders. Or, 
Obito's voice is seductive. You should have been in charge of the future Uchiha, but now it has been taken away by an outsider. Obito thought there was nothing wrong with his words. But as everyone knows, Itaka sneered in his heart after hearing this. But he didn't show it. He shook his head. I reject. The eyes under the single hole of Obito's mask shrank immediately. Why? Weasel said. With Lord Chiba's strength, no one can take Uchiha away from him. Besides, Lord Chiba doesn't care about Uchiha's authority. He gave Uchiha new life. Obito made no secret of his disdain. He's just a smart kid. If I take action, okay, stop pretending. Itaka didn't want to listen to Obito's words anymore and directly interrupted his next words. There was vigilance in his eyes. Who are you? Me? Uchiha Madara. Obito's voice suddenly became louder, with a hint of pride. Unexpectedly, Itaka scoffed. I have read some records about ancestors in the historical materials handed down by Uchiha. The ancestors are not timid people. They are like a rat nesting in the sewer, gnawing everywhere. How could the ancestor who could co-create the village with the first Hokage be someone like you? You're insulting him. Obito's eyes suddenly turned cold. Sherry Nan also instantly changed from a single Megatama to a Mangekyo. You're looking for death. However, even though Obito showed obvious murderous intent, Itaka still looked directly at him and said word by word. You are that rat that runs around, taking other people's names and not even daring to reveal your true name? Dirty and cowardly. Advertisement. Ah. Obito roared angrily, as if he had lost his mind. The next moment, he rushed towards Itaki. However, even at this moment, Itaka still didn't show any fear. He stood still, just looking at Obito coldly. Also at this moment, a sword light split the sky, like a water curtain falling, separating everything. This sudden sword strike was too fast. It's so fast that it's hard to react. He struck Obito's right arm directly and chopped it off with a single stroke of his sword. However, the moment he cut off his right arm, Obito's body disappeared. It's like it never appeared. If it weren't for the broken arm on the ground, all this would have seemed like a dream. Interesting. Chiba chuckled lightly. Of course he was there just now. After all, Itake had already told him about this matter. Achiha Madara? Of course he wouldn't believe it. How proud is Madara to wear a mask and act like a mouse? Ridiculous. However, Chiba really couldn't find any trace. After just feeling the residual chucker breath, I couldn't help but frown and said, Time and space ninjutsu. It seems like that should be the case. Glancing at the severed right arm on the ground, it turned out to be a bit strange, not like a normal arm. The broken parts were all white, the color of maggots. Take this arm and let's go back. Yes, Chiba took Itake back. This arm was naturally left to Orikimaru to study. Sarutobi's 40 million tails were sent. Chiba naturally kept her promise and let Sarutobi Asuma go. But before leaving, Chiba sighed with regret. I never thought that one day you would sacrifice yourself for the village. What's the meaning? Asuma looked at Namikaze Chiba in confusion. Nothing? Your father will let you understand. Advertisement. Good luck. Chiba waved his hand, and Asuma was taken away. And at this moment, Onaki and Ai, who entered the village not long ago, learned about Sarutobi. Give us an explanation. Onaki scoffed. I would like to see what explanation Sarutobi can give us. Ai nodded. If you are not satisfied with this explanation, we will not mind and just destroy Kanaha. In fact, until this moment, they still had no intention of destroying Kanaha. After all, their alliance is not stable. Once Kanaha really wants to be destroyed, the price to be paid will increase several times. It is easy to win, but not easy to destroy. After knowing the inevitable outcome, these ninjas will be particularly crazy. Therefore, the only choice is to deal with Sarutobi. If I can't bully Namikaze Chiba, why can't I bully you Sarutobi Hiruzen? Hehe. He. Led by the Umbu Ninja and several guards, the two went to Kanaha's Hokage office. As for the layout, the conspiracy. Haha, the other ninjas in the village are outside, unless Sarutobi really wants a full fight. But is this possible? If Sarutobi really had this kind of blood, how could he have reached this point? Hokage office. Asuma was brought in here. After entering, Asuma directly found a place to sit down. He breathed a sigh of relief and said, It's like letting me out. I've been really uncomfortable with that boy Namikaze Chiba these days. Asuma moved his arms and started to complain. The strange thing is that no matter what he said, no matter how ugly the words were, Sarutobi never stopped him. This confused Asuma. If it were in the past, he could only say three sentences like this, and his Hokage father would definitely stop him. But what happened now? Just when Asuma was confused, bang, the door to Hokage's office was kicked open. Onoki and AI walked in. Advertisement. Sarutobi, where are your instructions to me? Hear this. A scowl suddenly appeared on Asuma's face. This is the Hokage office, and you won't be allowed to be presumptuous. However, there was no other sound at all except Asuma's anger. Sarutobi was strangely silent. Didn't speak. Asuma has been well arranged these days and has no idea what's going on. Even now, he still thinks that Kanaha still has considerable strength. And his Hokage father is still very powerful. Onaki glanced at Asuma and burst into laughter. Sarutobi, is this what you're going to give me? Suddenly, Onaki scoffed. Asuma alone is not enough. I, Rock Shinobi, lost not only my son that day, but also a group of elite ninjas. The words are obvious. One Asuma is never enough. Need more money? Sarutobi sighed. I will compensate you for the ninja you lost. Ha 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 ha. This moment. Onaki laughed loudly. Right here in Hokage's office, he praised. As expected of Lord Third Hokage, you are sensible. Forget it, I promise you. Onaki and Sarutobi's words made Asuma even more confused. He stared at this scene blankly, eager to know what happened. However, his father did not explain. He didn't even want to speak. And this Tsuchikage looked at him with cruelty and violence in his eyes. Asuma subconsciously took a few steps back. He looked at his father in a panic. But, it didn't work. Advertisement. Chapter 53 Death of Asuma. Advertisement. Sarutobi turned his head away, with a look of annoyance on his face. Asuma looked at Onaki with a cruel face, seemed to understand something, and shouted hurriedly. No, do not want. Father, father save me. Father, save me, I am your son. Asuma's shrill voice echoed throughout the office. Only, Sarutobi didn't make a move until Onoki took action and blood splattered everywhere. He just turned his head and didn't dare to look here. Wiping away the blood on his palms, the smile on Onoki's face grew wider. As expected of third Hokage, the choice was indeed wise. He was quite satisfied with the outcome of Sarutobi's treatment. Regarding Sarutobi's choice, even AI was stunned for a moment. 
He didn't expect Sarutobi to be so decisive. Certainly, I didn't expect him to be so cowardly. Even his own son was given away. It seems that he paid a lot for the position of Hokage. Thinking of this, AI couldn't help showing a hint of disdain. Okay, now it's time to discuss compensation. AI's eyes flashed, and then he spoke. He doesn't care who dies his son. He only cares about whether the trip is worth enough. Or, can Sarutobi satisfy him? Narrowing his eyes, AI looked at Sarutobi with cold eyes. Sarutobi didn't want to look back, didn't want to see the bloody scenes in this place. Just sighed. I will give you compensation. AI remained unmoved. No matter how sad Sarutobi was, he could not be moved. How much compensation? Sarutobi took a deep breath. 300 million tails per village. Regarding these compensations, Onaki narrowed his eyes and had no objection. Advertisement. But AI just sneered. 300 million? Do you have a second son? Obviously. Onoki made up for it a lot by killing one of his sons, but he didn't take action here. AI Sien's meaning is very simple. Or, add money, or, you are looking for a son to come out. 800 million, not even a penny less. AI said extremely forcefully. Sarutobi clenched his fist several times and released it several times. In the end, the rebuttal was still not spoken. At the end, Sarutobi represents Konoha and compensates Cloud Shinobi 800 million and Rock Shinobi 500 million. As for why Rock Shinobi wanted less, of course it was at the cost of a son. Asuma's value has risen from 20 million tails, ah, uh, no, 40 million tails, to 300 million tails at this moment. It's also great value for money. When AI and Onaki walked out of Hokage's office, Sarutobi's tense nerves suddenly relaxed. Then, he sat slumped on the chair. It was as if he had lost his soul. He looked at the pool of bloodline not far away and Asuma's body without any breath. Trembling, he walked there step by step. When he got closer, he stretched out his hand and tremblingly touched Asuma's bloodstained face. Two lines of old tears could no longer be held back at this moment and flowed down. Bereaved in old age, this is his only son, Namikaze Chiba. Sarutobi's voice filled Hokage's office, full of hate and spite. He hates Namikaze Chiba even more than Onoki, even though, Asuma died in Onoki's hands. But in the final analysis, it was still because of Namikaze Chiba's calculations. If it weren't for Namikaze Chiba's plan, how could this happen? Advertisement. How could Kanaha fall to the bottom step by step, and how could he reach the point of betraying his son? Sarutobi thought that all this was because of Namikaze Chiba. That's how it happens. He would not think that he was too greedy for power, which caused his son's death. After all, he still has a lot of power under his command. These people are enough for him to deal with Onaki and AI. Onaki and AI were almost in full force, and the supplies behind them were slow to follow. As long as they were delayed, they would definitely withdraw their troops. However, Sarutobi did not want to lose the power in his hands. Because this is a bargaining chip in the fight with Namikaze Chiba. In comparison, the sun is not important anymore. A long while, Sarutobi stood up. The sadness on his face disappeared and was replaced by indifference. He sat back on the throne that belonged to the Hokage. No longer having emotions, I watched this scene quietly. After a while, he calls Ambu to come in. He ordered, Give Asuma, a royal burial. He died for the village. He was a hero of this war. He was buried with the highest standards. Yes, Umbu took the order. The ninjas from Cloud Shinobi Village and Awegaku withdrew. It left a mess to Konoha. This one strongest ninja village was now riddled with holes. The impact was even more serious than during the Nine Tails Rebellion. Even more serious. Because this is more of a blow to morale. Two villages were evacuated. The war is completely over. All the news reached Chiba. Including, Sarutobi's arrangement for Asuma. Advertisement. After hearing the news, Chiba sneered. Hero of the village, just a victim of power, let Itake come in. Not long after, Itake walked in and said respectfully, Lord Chiba, are you looking for me? The news can be released. Chiba said playfully, Sarutobi wants to pick up the fruits of victory to consolidate his position? It's a beautiful idea. Obviously, now Sarutobi wants to make Asuma a hero of the village in order to increase his influence and completely calm down the original doubts about the third Hokage. In this case, Asuma can be passed down as a hero, and Sarutobi Hiruzen, as Sarutobi Asuma's father, will naturally benefit. Only, Chiba obviously didn't want to see this. There is no doubt that this is an extremely ugly battle. Chiba originally thought that Sarutobi would be a bit bloody. Even if in the end, after his son was replaced, he would fight to the death. At least, he would have to fight Cloud Shinobi and Rock Shinobi. A bucket. Then he would consider letting his son die, but who would have thought that he didn't even have the courage to fight? It's quite straightforward. Itaka left. However, not long after Itaka left, other news came from the village. That is to say, the reason why this war can be won is the intimidation of the Uchiha clan and the Hayaga clan. It is the intimidation of these two clans that prevents Cloud Shinobi and Rock Shinobi from using their full strength. In addition, Chibasama made a strong move and severely damaged 4th Rekage AI, greatly reducing the strength of this coalition. Due to Master Chiba's strength, Anima was unable to stand alone and did not dare to give it a try. This is the prerequisite for victory in the war. Under such circumstances, Asuma's sacrifice does not seem so noble. Even, it's kind of funny how ugly it is. After all, he didn't die on the battlefield. Instead, he died in the office of 3rd Hokage. What exactly happened in this is very intriguing. The news quickly spread in the village, and when it came back to Sarutobi's ears, this old monkey, standing in a high position, gritted his teeth and chanted Namikaze Chiba's name. The struggle has just begun. Advertisement. Chapter 54 The Real Achiha Madara? Advertisement. Master third generation, news has spread in the village. The biggest contributor to this victory is. At this point, Umbu didn't dare to continue talking. Because of this moment, their always kind Lord Third Hokage almost had fire in his eyes. It was no longer possible to maintain his original normalcy, and he became extremely angry. Umbu lowered his head, not daring to look into Sarutobi's eyes. Call. After a long time, Sarutobi exhaled heavily. He ordered. Let's put it aside for now, Asuma's funeral is more important. Yes, Umbu leaves. Now, Sarutobi's face was terrifyingly gloomy. Although I don't know what it is, there is no doubt that it has a strong regeneration ability. Orokimuro raised an eyebrow. I have never seen this kind of thing before. Is that useful? Chiba asked. It should be possible. The regeneration ability is very strong. This amputated arm will be able to grow a complete body in a short time. 
Orikimaru mused. It's a good choice to use as a body part, but... Orikimaru paused, then licked his lips and smiled. I don't know where this white spore came from. Maybe that person has a way to control it. Chiba narrowed his eyes. In this case, the hidden danger is not small. I guess it can't be simply regarded as body parts. Is there any other use? Of course there is. Orikimaru said. Advertisement. The regeneration ability is very strong. This amputated arm should be able to cultivate many complete bodies. The most important thing is that it also has sufficient activity, which is similar to a real body. Although there are hidden dangers in using it as a body part, it can be used as a material for impure world reincarnation and used for sacrifice. Chiba nodded. I didn't expect that this white thing could have such a use, but it was somewhat disgusting. Chiba looked at Orikimaru. Do you know the so-called Uchiha Madara? Orikimaru nodded and didn't hide anything. An organization called Akatsuki, this Madara is a member of it, and is vaguely the person behind the scenes. Chiba suddenly showed a playful smile. What do you think, real Madara or fake Madara? Orikimaru stuck out his tongue and licked his lips. Of course it's fake. Chiba's eyes showed interest. I'm a little curious as to why Orikimaru is so sure. How to judge? Of course. Orikimaru suddenly threw his hand, and a ball of white things fell on the ground. Under Orikimaru's study, the white things looked like a real human body. At the same time, Orikimaru formed a seal with his hands. Yin, S-I, E, Chen. Then he suddenly clapped his hands. As a crisp voice sounded, Orikimaru suddenly slapped his palm to the ground. In an instant, the ground shook, and then a coffin appeared from it. Bang! The coffin was half open, and a man wearing Uchiha clothing appeared inside. Although the eyes are closed, the haki is still revealed. Orikimaru smiled and said, Living people cannot be summoned using impure world reincarnation. Chiba narrowed his eyes. Orikimaru unlocks impure world reincarnation. The coffin closed and disappeared. Interesting. It seems that Akatsuki has set its sights on Chiba-kun. Advertisement. That's right, their target is the tailed beast, and Naruto is also one of their targets. Just let them come. I would like to see the power of Xiao. Orikimaru's smile continued. This is naturally what he wants to see. After all, he wants Rinnegan, driven by Sarutobi. Asuma's funeral has become almost the most important event in the village. Not only was Umbu helping with the arrangement, but other ethnic groups in the village also began to arrange it in the village under the instruction of Sarutobi. A funeral was extremely grand. As the leader, Third Hokage Sarutobi Hiruzen, is exceptionally silent. Third generation Sama, you have given the order. Except for Uchiha and Hayaga, all other ethnic groups are willing to attend Master Asuma's funeral. Sarutobi waved his hand and said, It doesn't matter, there is no need to inform them. If they really want to come, something unexpected might happen. Asuma died for the village, and Namikaze Chiba doesn't even consider a hero. How can such a person be able to ascend to the position of Hokage in the future? Sarutobi naturally made a calculation. Make Asuma's death a selfless one who died heroically for the sake of the village. If Namikaze Chiba hadn't caused chaos, Asuma would have become the number one hero by now. Almost with one person, he retreated two large villages. Of course, it's almost the same. It's just that this process is not so beautiful. A hero who has achieved this level will undoubtedly enjoy great reputation and praise in the village. As the father of a hero, Sarutobi Hiruzen will receive all the benefits of this great reputation. In other words, it is precisely because of his outstanding Hokage father that he has such a heroic son. After the funeral, Sarutobi believes that his fame will return to its former glory and even reach its peak. No matter how Namikaze Chiba responds, nothing can be stopped. The time has come, Mr. Third Generation, you still need to host the funeral. Soon, Ambu Ninja came. Sarutobi nodded. Advertisement. Outside, there are a lot of people. Almost everyone who could come from Konoha was called. A completely dark place. They all came to praise this hero Asuma. No doubt. In the news that Sarutobi deliberately walked out, Asuma deserves a lot of credit. Even bigger than the dead fourth Hokage Namikaze Minato. After all, Minato's contribution is obvious to everyone. Asuma's credit was sent by Sarutobi to spread the word. Man-made things naturally need to be more careful. As Sarutobi approached, the crowd automatically parted, making way for the third Hokage to pass. Sarutobi walked slowly along this path, wearing a white third Hokage robe. Finally, walked in front of everyone. Sarutobi glanced around, his face majestic, and he said sullenly, Once again we have endured war. This war is more tragic than the previous ones because the enemy has already reached the entrance of the village and we are in danger. But fortunately, when he said this, Sarutobi paused. Seeing the reaction of everyone listening carefully, he nodded with satisfaction and continued. We lived up to expectations and won. At this time, Sarutobi's voice suddenly became louder. And, it's a big win. But unfortunately, in this great victory, we lost our hero. It's him. It was during Sarutobi's impassioned speech. Several fireworks suddenly bloomed in the sky. The gorgeous colors bloomed into smiling faces one after another in the sky. This is in stark contrast to here at Sarutobi. For a moment, Sarutobi's face froze. His expression was extremely ugly. Fireworks were set off from Chiba. Advertisement. Chapter 55 Funeral and Birthday. Advertisement. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Different from the other side of the village, here there was laughter and everyone was laughing very happily. Achiha, Haiga, are all here. Hinata wore brand new clothes, a plain white skirt, and when she ran, she looked like a blooming lily. She had an extraordinarily happy smile on her face. In addition, there is Suzuki. Although the little face was full of pretentiousness, the joy in his eyes could not be concealed. Chiba and others looked at these children who were smiling very happily, and they also smiled. After a while, Hinata walked up to Naruto, took out a pink gift box from somewhere, held it in front of Naruto, and said crisply, Happy birthday, Naruto. Suzuki also walked up. In his hand is a black gift box, but the smile on his face was strained. After handing it to Naruto, he turned his head. Although today is your birthday, you still have to practice hard, otherwise you won't be able to defeat me in the future. Naruto grinned. Thanks. He put the gift away. I am very happy to thank my friends. Chiba and others watched from inside the house. Well, there is also a nine-tails fox with a round belly, lying on the side, sleeping boredly. Hayashi said at this time. Isn't it bad for us to do this? As soon as he finished speaking, Fugaku snorted. What's wrong? He has his funeral and we celebrate our birthdays. Besides, most people don't know how this so-called hero came to be. 
How can we still not know? Really, Asuma's death is not a secret at all to a wealthy family like them. It's just used to deceive ordinary people. Sarutobi wanted to make Asuma a hero, but naturally they wouldn't approve. Advertisement. Through the death of his son and a large amount of compensation, the two major villages were forced to retreat. What is there to promote about such a so-called victory? Even in the past, Fugaku felt it was embarrassing enough. However, Sarutobi was able to hold the funeral in such a serious manner, and even had so many people celebrate it. There was disdain in his eyes. Hayashi sighed. He also felt ugly. This method of winning people's hearts would not work if he was not thick-skinned. Also thanks to Sarutobi Hiruzen, who has many years of experience. Otherwise, Hayashi thought for a while and realized that he was definitely not embarrassed. While a few people were having a casual discussion, Naruto walked in with a few children and asked happily, Uncle, are there any more fireworks? Yes, there are many more. Chiba smiled. Today, you can release as much as you want. Soon someone brought out a lot of fireworks. They were so densely packed that they almost filled the yard. Chiba naturally asked Orokimaru to prepare these fireworks in advance. Although this was overkill, Orokimaru was happy to oblige after hearing the purpose. There are even different styles. Soon, Naruto, Suzuki, and Hinata took the lead in setting off fireworks. Some other Achiha and Hayaga children were also watching the scene expectantly. Bang, 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 above the sky, fireworks flashed one after another. Create a grand scene. Also, there are various patterns. Some have smiling faces, and their smiles are particularly bright. There are also words. Among them, there are two types of fireworks. Text types, one with the number 8 written on it, and one with the number 3 written on it. Fireworks kept blooming, covered the entire sky, and on the other side, advertisement. Look at the fireworks in the sky, and ever-changing patterns. And there are numbers. The high mood that Sarutobi Hiruzen had previously brewed could no longer be maintained. He swept his eyes and saw clearly that many people's eyes were attracted, looking at the sky, and even showing longing expressions. Sarutobi looked very ugly, because this is his son's funeral. He put so much thought into it, so grandly, so grandly. And he tried to shape his son into the greatest hero of the village at this funeral. However, the fireworks that fill the sky have been disturbing this place. The patterns one after another deeply mocked him. Third generation Sama. Umbu walked to a place and waited for Master Hokage's instructions. Sarutobi's face darkened. Take deep breaths again and again to keep your emotions normal. He tried his best to pretend not to be affected. Continuing with the previous words. It is precisely because of Asuma's sacrifice that the peace of the village was restored and our victory was achieved. Without a doubt, Asuma is great. Bang! Above the horizon, an ugly old monkey pattern appeared. Sarutobi doesn't care. Continued. He is great for. Bang! This time, it was a little monkey. But the little monkey was lying on the ground, as if sleeping, and also as if, dead. Call. Today we are here to honor our heroes. Bang! 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 Aged old monkey, little monkey lying down, number three and number eight. And, a big smile at the end. Advertisement. There were more and more fireworks, and in the end it was almost all fireworks. Even Sarutobi's own voice was hard to hear clearly. Bang! This time it was a huge flame, with dense leaves beside the flame. Unfortunately, as the fireworks dissipated, the leaves dissipated first. It looked as if the flames were too strong and burned all the leaves. Everything dissipates. Seeing this scene, someone murmured. Where the leaves are flying. Bang! 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 The fireworks don't go off. It's a very festive day. The whole village could see the scene. People were no longer interested in listening to Sarutobi's speech. They all looked up at the sky and enjoyed the fireworks show. Sarutobi's gloomy expression could no longer be concealed. The funeral he had prepared so carefully was undoubtedly ruined. Namikaze Chiba didn't come and easily ruined the funeral and, his speech, a little further away, a huge black coffin lay quietly, but no one pays attention anymore. Sarutobi clenched his fists, veins popping out on them. But at this time, it is not easy to vent at all. Finally, Sarutobi waved his hand dejectedly, indicating that Asuma should be buried. No matter what, the funeral had to go on, after all, it was his son. After burial with coffin, the funeral is over. Sarutobi was the first to leave, almost throwing away his sleeves, his face gloomy and scary. When Sarutobi walked only a few steps away, he heard laughter from behind, which was extremely loud. Also very happy. In the village, this kind of laughter continued, perhaps because of the fireworks, and gradually spread to everyone's faces. They were all smiles. It didn't seem to occur to him at all that a so-called hero was buried here today. They only know that today's fireworks are good. Advertisement. Chapter 56 Uncle P's. Advertisement. How is the research on blood inheritance limits going? Chiba came to Orikimura's laboratory and couldn't help but ask. Here, the captured Derui has been locked up and provided to Orikimura for research. Orikimura put down the equipment in his hands and smiled. It's going pretty well. He has three attributes of chakra, namely thunder, wind, and water. The combination of lightning style and water style has become his blood inheritance limit that is different from ordinary people, which is called land done. After my research, when lightning style and water style are combined, there is indeed a special power. Chiba showed interest. Oh, what kind of power is it? Orikimura shook his head. I don't know yet, but I guess it should be Yin Escape. From a common sense, Yin Escape affects spiritual power, such as Uchiha's Sherry Non, Hayaga family's Byakugan, etc., should be the power of Yin Escape, but there are no absolutes. The power of Sage of Six Paths is so magical and fascinating. Perhaps, there is also Yang Dun's handwriting in this. Chiba nodded. Orikimura suddenly said, By the way, if we follow this inference, then in addition to Sherry Non and Byakugan, there is another kind of eye, which should have the most power of Yin and Yang Escape. Chiba narrowed her eyes, remembering what Orikimura once mentioned. Rinnegan. Orikimura nodded. Those are the eyes of the Sage of Six Paths. According to records, this kind of eyes is terrifyingly powerful. From this, it can be inferred that Rinnegan should have the greatest control over the power of Yin and Yang. And, Orikimuro looked thoughtful. The Sherry Non of the Uchiha family can advance due to stimulation. From the ordinary eyes, it can stimulate a single Megatama, and then advance from a single Megatama to a double Megatama, a triple Megatama, or a Mangekyo. Does this advanced power come from their own bodies, which possess the undiscovered power of Yin and Yang escape, or, is it absorbed from another place? There is no doubt that Orikimura has thought things through quite a bit. 
But if this is the case, wouldn't it be possible to advance like the Byakugan of the Hyaga family? Whether it comes from the untapped body or from another place, doesn't it all mean that Byakugan still has a stronger form now? Certainly. This is just an inference, Orikimaru's guess. Advertisement. As for proof, a lot of experiments are needed. Orikimaru had a smile on his face. There is no doubt that he is now aligned with Chiba's purpose. Rinnegan is a collaboration they cannot avoid. Unless, he doesn't want to resurrect Namikaze Minato. This is obviously impossible. I see. Chiba nodded and prepared to leave. Orikimaru said before leaving in Chiba. I still need a lot of experiments to extract more yin and yang escape power, so I should move faster to find the limit of blood inheritance. To give you a clue, there are many blood succession limits in Akatsuki. And, Kirigakur. She believes. But he took Orikimaru's words to heart. Of course, there must be another blood inheritance limit, and Orikimaru doesn't know about it. For example, Samai. Samai's current situation is a bit embarrassing. After all, whether it was her or Derui, Cloud Shinobi Village had already assumed that they were dead. All compensation has been paid. Naturally, I won't look for it again. Except for a few people, almost no one knew that they were still alive. Samai was calm at first. Even though he was forced by Kinyi, he still resisted silently. However, since AI left with the ninjas from Cloud Shinobi Village, she seemed to have lost her mind and lost her last hope. In the courtyard, Samai, who had put on brand new clothes, leaned against a tree and looked up at the sky silently. She couldn't tell whether it was sadness or loneliness in her eyes, her emotions were very complicated. Looking at the sky, motionless, Chiba moved a chair from somewhere, lay down on it, and watched the scene. To comfort you, it's not necessary. Rather than saying anything, it would be better to let her think of it herself. Advertisement. There is no doubt that there is only one way left for Samai now. It is relying on Chiba. Be a maid. Otherwise, there is no better way. I don't know how much time passed, but Samai finally came to his senses and turned around to go back. But he saw Namikaze Chiba not far behind him. The expression on his face was suddenly stunned. Then he lowered his head, shouted, Lord Chiba. The voice was a little bitter. Obviously, some things have to be accepted. No way. Um, Chiba nodded, looked at Samai, and asked, Have you thought clearly? Think it through. She bit her lower lip. Somewhat shy, but in this look, she is obviously more girlish. The redder her face became, the sexier her beautiful figure looked in the sunlight. At this moment, she suddenly raised her head and mustered up the courage to say, I, I will serve you to the house. Chiba smiled and shook his head. No need, just stay here. The wind is gentle and the sun is beautiful, the sky is blue and the clouds are white. Although a lot of thought went into the establishment of this place, there is still some grass left in the courtyard. Not to mention, there is still a chair. But at this time, Naruto came back from school and slowly approached. Hearing some different sounds, Naruto suddenly became confused. Advertisement. What is this sound? Could it be that Sister Samai is being bullied? He heard the voice, and it was indeed Samai's. But seeing that the door was closed, he quietly looked in through the crack in the door. But after just looking at it a little, his face suddenly turned red. He didn't dare to look any further and ran away quickly. After Naruto ran away, he naturally went not to anywhere else, but to Namikaze Minato. Namikaze Minato couldn't help but feel a little strange when he saw Naruto like this. Just asked. Naruto, what's wrong with you? Naruto's face was red, and he held it in for a long time before he said, I, I saw Sister Samai being bullied. Namikaze Minato was stunned. After thinking for a moment, I remembered who Samai was. However, could anyone still bully her here? Namikaze Minato couldn't help but express doubts. Seeing this, Naruto confirmed. Really? I saw it. So, have you told your uncle? Naruto shook his head, uncle is the one bullying her. Ah, uh, Namikaze Minato was stunned. His face looked a little strange. Could it be that? Naruto saw something? Naruto is still so young, it would be bad if he learns badly. But somehow, Namikaze Minato still asked. How did your uncle bully Samai? At once, Naruto's face turned red from holding it in. After holding it in for a long time, he finally managed to speak out. Uncle pushed Sister Samai down, and then, then he. Then what happened? Then, he actually peed on Sister Samai's butt. Puff? Advertisement. Chapter 57 Uncomfortable Sarutobi. Advertisement. Hokage Office. When Sarutobi was dealing with village affairs, he couldn't help but raise his head and look out the window. He would be lost in thought from time to time, standing up suddenly as if he heard something. Finally, he sat down slumped again. His son died. Both sons are gone. But fortunately, he is not childless, he also has a grandson. The eldest son left an heir, Sarutobi named him Kanoamaro. Kanoamaro was born in the 54th year of Kanaha, and the Nine Tails Rebellion was in the 50th year of Kanaha. His father's death time is not very specific, so it is said a little earlier. Kanoamaro is his last wish. Just when Sarutobi was lost in thought, there was a knock on the door. Sarutobi was interrupted from his thoughts and raised his head somewhat unhappily, but he still collected his emotions and whispered, Come in. A very old woman came in. Her identity was the same as Midokato Homura, and she was a high-level advisor to Kanaha. Yudadin Koharu? Yudadin Koharu walked in and frowned at the smell of smoke still lingering in the air, but thinking of what happened not long ago, he didn't say much. What's the matter? Sarutobi looked at Yudadin Koharu and couldn't help but ask. Yudadin Koharu said, There is not much savings in the village, Sarutobi, we should find a way. Savings. The village's finances are partly handled by Yudadin Koharu. Advertisement. As for the financial amount, we are naturally clear about it. After spending a huge sum of 1.1 billion, even Kanaha, which has the strongest economic strength, has also bottomed out. After all, this finance is used to do many things, including ninja training, village construction, missions, and even the remuneration of the ninjas. Of course, ordinary ninjas don't use it. However, ninjas affiliated with the Hokage and even other high-level officials must be paid. However, since the Nine Tails Rebellion and Sarutobi came to power, he has cut back a lot on the grounds that the village's finances are insufficient. But even so, to this day, it is still not enough. Not to mention paying so much compensation. As a result, the village's finances finally bottomed out. And this point must be something he, the Hokage, has to worry about. Sarutobi frowned and said, Has it bottomed out? We really need to find a way. After all, in such a big village, money is needed everywhere. Once there is no money, many things cannot be done. Sarutobi frowned and thought hard for a long time. Finally said, 
Put in some more money that the ninjas need to hand over to the village to take on the mission. Yudadan Koharu opened his mouth, but finally sighed. That's fine, that's all. But this way, the money that the ninjas can get from doing tasks will be even less. Sarutobi said, After all, this is an extraordinary period. There is undoubtedly a lot of money needed in the village now. They will understand and let it last for a while. I will inform the daimyo and ask him to provide financial support. Go down. Yes. Yudadan Koharu left. Advertisement. The village releases a task, and when the ninja receives the task and completes it, a considerable part of the money gained must be handed over to the village. The information I found is that 50% of the rewards are charged for tasks, but this may not be accurate. In theory, if the village collects rewards, it should be based on the task level. However, the original Chinin does not seem to be very rich, especially in the midterm at that time. Naruto treated guests to a barbecue and spent a month's money on it. I guess he got quite a lot. This amount of money is already a lot, and if it is raised further, it can be expected that the life of the ninjas will be even more difficult. But, Sarutobi really couldn't think of a better way. Soon after Yudin and Koharu left, the news spread in the village. After all, it is a matter of self-interest. So the ninjas spread the word by word of mouth, and soon almost all ninjas knew about it. What? It's actually increased again. The remuneration that originally fell into our hands is not much anymore. If it increases again, how will we live? This is too much. How could it be like this? Is this really an order from Lord Third Generation? Hey, it should be so. After all, the village has competed with the other two villages, and there are many places where money is needed. Now it seems that the village's finances should be low. Otherwise, such a solution would not be possible. Be considerate and considerate, after all, it is a village. Be considerate? I am considerate of the village, who will be considerate of me. That's right, how can I be considerate when I'm hungry? There are many ninjas who have this idea. After all, some ninjas who are not very powerful take on very low-level tasks. There is not much remuneration in itself, and the village takes most of it. If it falls into your hands like this, you will almost never have much money. This is tantamount to making it difficult for them to survive. Naturally not. Because of this news, many ninjas in the village became excited. After all, not everyone has strong strength and can complete many tasks. This change is tantamount to making it more difficult for the low-level ninjas to make money. The news from the village also reached Namikaze Chiba immediately. Advertisement. Hearing the news, Chiba couldn't help but laugh. It seems that Sarutobi is really cornered. I thought he wouldn't be short of money if he could spend 1.1 billion so happily. Fugaku said, How is it possible that there is no shortage of money? However, the Sarutobi family should not be short of money. It just depends on whether Sarutobi is willing to spend it. Having been in charge of the village for many years, the Sarutobi clan, as members of the Hokage clan, have naturally gained many benefits. This is natural. Chiba said, It's naturally impossible to take it out. I think at this time, Sarutobi should regret that he didn't have more sons. Fugaku also laughed. After all, a son costs 300 million. If you give birth to a few more, it might be smoothed out. Fugaku paused, and then said, However, it shouldn't last long. Sarutobi should ask the daimyo for help. Soon, the finances will still be relieved. This is just a temporary measure. Chiba nodded. He touched his chin and thought. In this case, you let out the news that I don't agree with the increase in ninja remuneration. Starting from tomorrow, a new task acceptance point will be built next to the Kanaha Police Department. For ninjas who accept tasks here, the Kanaha Police Department will only receive 30% of the reward, and the rest will be used by the ninjas who accept the task. Fugaku's eyes suddenly trembled. This is a good idea. Sarutobi has always valued his reputation. But, where are you going to find so many tasks? This is easy to do. Just ask those employers if they are willing to entrust the task to us. The task remuneration can be reduced by 10%. Dot. Fugaku nodded. In this case, no one will refuse. After all, the person accepting the task remains the same, and the efficiency will even be faster, but the money to be paid will be less. As long as you are not stupid, you will definitely accept it. But in this case, only one person will suffer. Advertisement. Chapter 58 Full and Deserted. Advertisement. It seems that it will be difficult to move nine tails in a short period of time. Outside Kanaha Village, looking at the scene in the village, Obito, who was wearing an orange Azumaki mask, couldn't help but shake his head. It should have been the best opportunity back then, but it's a pity. It's a pity that it failed. That night, he finally lost to his teacher. Of course, the price for the teacher to win against him was also very high, including his life. Obito's broken right arm grew back again, not much different from the original. However, although the right arm can be reattached, the pain caused by the previous cutting off of the right arm is not so easily forgotten. Gradually, Obito's eyes narrowed, showing a coldness. Namikaze Chiba, we will fight again. Obito turned around and left. The robe embroidered with red clouds fluttered in the wind, taking away his figure. Things always take their time, but waiting for the most appropriate time requires timing. Of course, Chiba was not idle during these days. He helped Samai and learned a lot. Samai learned to be tolerant, but as for Kinyi, he was still upright. Next to the Kanaha Police Department, a new mission reception desk was built. The entrance is embroidered with the Kanaha Village logo and the Uchiha family crest. Of course, there are additional Uzumaki logos. The meaning of this symbol is naturally intriguing. But, not everyone will think about these things. Ordinary ninjas value more immediate benefits. New task acceptance point? Only takes 30% of the reward? Is it true? Soon some ninjas noticed the announcement. Advertisement. And with curiosity and the mentality of giving it a try, he entered inside. I discovered it immediately. These tasks, look familiar. He blinked and flipped through several pages of the task list. When he saw the familiar D-level task, he couldn't help but complain. This cat is actually lost again. Then he suddenly woke up and said in surprise, This, isn't this a mission from the village mission reception area? He quickly flipped through it again, only to find that it was all the same. Suddenly shocked, he couldn't help but ask the ninja responsible for issuing the mission. Can these tasks really be done here? Of course it is. The person responsible for issuing the mission is a female ninja from Uchiha. The female ninja nodded. As long as you can make sure you get it done, it's okay with that. But, this mission is not in the village. The female ninja said. The employer has given us the task. She took out a piece of information and said. This is the employer's letter of employment. This, really only charges 30%. Of course. The ninja was immediately overjoyed. I want to take the mission. 
He hurriedly accepted the mission and quickly left here to do the mission. However, not long after he left the house, he was stopped by someone. Koji, what are you going to do? Do the mission? If you don't do the mission, how will you survive this month? Forget it, we have to charge 70% of the reward for the task. How can we do the task? Haha, <laughs> Dottie, let me tell you, there is a new mission acceptance office next to the police department. They only charge 30% of the reward for accepting missions there. Advertisement. What? Is it true or false? Can it be trusted? It must be reliable. There is an employment letter from the employer, so there will be nothing wrong. Then I'll go take a look too. With that said, Dottie hurried away. Soon, he also received his favorite task. The news spread extremely quickly. One spreads to ten, and ten spreads to a hundred. Until later, a large number of ninjas gathered here and began to accept tasks. Their hope was renewed and they were particularly enthusiastic about the mission. Moreover, since they only received 30% of the remuneration, the enthusiasm of the ninjas was particularly high, and the efficiency of completing tasks was also greatly improved. It is equivalent to a virtuous circle. In comparison, the village's original mission reception area was much colder. Only some ninjas who didn't know much about the outside world and didn't know the news, as well as ninjas who really couldn't schedule their tasks, gritted their teeth and looked at this place. And at this moment, in the Hokage's office, after another busy day, Sarutobi put the documents on the table aside and finally took a long puff of cigarette happily. When the smoke comes out of the mouth and gathers into a big ball in the air, Sarutobi somewhat enjoyed this moment. The village finally regained its tranquility. It's time to slowly get back on track. Sarutobi breathed a rare sigh of relief. After all, in terms of his ability to handle government affairs, Sarutobi thought he was very good. With his own efforts, the village would soon become strong again. After taking a few puffs of cigarette, Sarutobi stood up and stretched his muscles. Finally, I decided to go to the village to take a look at the village being rebuilt after the disaster. After rebuilding among the ruins, the villagers and even the ninjas must still be confused. At this time, he, the Hokage, was needed to calm these emotions. Sarutobi thought for a moment. The final decision was to go to the mission reception area first. After all, the village has increased the remuneration, which will undoubtedly cause considerable repercussions. Advertisement. But, it is a special moment after all. Presumably these ninjas will also understand his good intentions. But it still needs to be comforted. To avoid trouble, Sarutobi walked out. Not long after, we arrived at the task reception area. However, this place was not as crowded and lively as he had imagined. The desertedness is terrifying. There were only one or two people at the huge task reception area. When Sarutobi arrived here, he even wondered if he had gone to the wrong place. And, as soon as I stepped into it, I heard a voice. What? Increase the reward to 70%? Isn't this too high? And, why are there only so few tasks? The ninja's voice was high-pitched and questioning. Sarutobi had his words in mind and was about to go over to comfort him when he heard a ninja next to him say, Hey, I knew I wouldn't come here. Not to mention the high remuneration, there are only a few tasks, and look what kind of crappy tasks are these? Looking for the sequel to Intimate Paradise? Who would watch this kind of thing? Forget it, let's go to the police station and queue up. I thought there might be good choices here since there are few people here. Who knows? But, dogs won't accept any stupid tasks. After they finished cursing, they turned around and saw Sarutobi frozen in place. Suddenly my heart suddenly skipped a beat and I quickly saluted. Third Generation Sama Sarutobi suppressed all the words he had prepared before, but finally thought about it and comforted him. Young people, don't always think about making money. This is making a contribution to the village, which is glorious. You can't always keep your sights so short. Ah, yes, yes, Master Third Generation taught you right. We still have something to do, so we won't bother you. After saying that, the two ninjas actually left directly. Moreover, Sarutobi could still vaguely hear some voices. It really doesn't hurt when I stand and talk. I don't make any money, how about you support me? That is, go faster, or the mission will be lost. Let's go. Advertisement. Chapter 59 Roasting Sarutobi on the Fire. Advertisement. 3. Third Generation Sama. The female ninja at the mission reception area was a little embarrassed, but fortunately Sarutobi didn't care about him. He came to the table and picked up the task book, but in the end he froze. How come there are only so many mission books? The originally thick book now only had a few pages in his hands. But even if it's only a few pages, the tasks above are hard to describe. The female ninja said frankly, the police department has a new task acceptance office, and the reward is only 30%. Everyone goes there. Sarutobi frowned. Where do they get so many tasks to issue? I heard. I told my employer that the remuneration for the task after the announcement can be reduced by 10%, and then, Sarutobi's face froze. The female ninja was so embarrassed that she didn't dare to speak anymore. Obviously, just hearing this condition, Sarutobi understood how big the gap was. No wonder this happens. But, in this case, there is no doubt that there is not much benefit to be gained. Why does Namikaze Chiba do this just to disgust him? Sarutobi shook his head and finally walked back. However, he didn't care about this matter. Because this means that Kinyi cannot sustain it for long. After all, once the task fails and the task itself is affected, the employer will be compensated. Once there are too many things like this, there is no doubt that this so-called mission acceptance office will be at a loss. He didn't believe that Namikaze Chiba had so much money. Sarutobi didn't take this matter to heart and went back. However, this incident also gave him an idea in his mind. After several events this time, Sarutobi also reflected a lot in his heart. Advertisement. His several confrontations with Namikaze Chiba, Namikaze Chiba accounted for the convenience, mainly the news here. He set up a notice in the village for ordinary people to watch. In this way, once there is news, the villagers can know it faster and effectively create public opinion. There is no doubt that this method will never work. He failed several times, and this notice made a great contribution. Sarutobi thought for a while, then called Umbu and ordered. The village notice office should also be set up at a prominent location in the village. It must be, more visible and more attractive than the one set up by the police department. Yes, Umbu leaves. Sarutobi ignored it and continued to deal with other matters in the village. Today's village is in dire need of development, and there are still many things that require his decision making. He didn't take it to heart. Sarutobi is not the only one who knows the news from the mission office. Mitokato Homura here, the same is known. 
However, Mitokato Homura, who had lost his power, was idle at home and had no better way. After hearing the news, he couldn't help but snorted and said disdainfully, Sarutobi can't even do this little thing well? You still want to have all the power? Without me, how can you fight Namikaze Chiba? His eyes were full of ridicule. And schadenfreude. It seems that he is very happy to see Sarutobi here is and deflated. Mitokato Homura's youngest son, Mito Kadoma, also heard about this. A bloated hand couldn't help but hold up the face that was almost drooping due to too much flesh, and he began to think. Such a simple problem, Master Hokage can't do anything about it. How come there is no money? Wouldn't it be nice to let those ninjas rent out their unused houses? That way we will have money. Mitokato Homura looked back, choked by the words of the stick-making son. I thought to myself, should I take good care of him? Otherwise, why would he say such naughty words? Suddenly a big dick was pumped up. Mito Kadoma didn't know why he was beaten, and suddenly started sobbing. Just a few days, the difference between the two mission acceptance points is visible to the naked eye. Advertisement. And, because of the increase in remuneration, the ninjas completed their tasks efficiently and with a high degree of completion. Therefore, attracting more and more employers. In particular, the reduction in employment amounts is even more favored by employers. In the past few days, the number of people coming to entrust tasks has skyrocketed. Even the police department is too busy here. In desperation, I had to open another one nearby. In this way, there is some relief. Fugaku was shocked when he learned the news. After finding Kinyi, he praised. I originally thought that it would be fine if I could not lose money. This was just a way to fight Sarutobi. I didn't expect that. I could actually make a lot of money. But he heard about it. There were even many employers from neighboring countries who came to entrust the task. Before this, although Kanaha also had this ability, there were not so many of them. Fugaku looked at Chiba with undoubtedly shocked eyes. This method of yours is not bad at all. Chiba said calmly. Xiao Deor, it's nothing. Fugaku was still a little shocked. However, he then remembered the matter and said. Just now, Sarutobi installed new notices at several prominent locations in the village. He frowned. Somewhat worried. In this case, some of our advantages in the village will be lost in the future. Chiba raised his eyebrows and looked surprised. A lot of arrangements have been made. Yes. Moreover, not only are they placed, but they are also made more attractive and easier for people to see clearly than ours. Chiba suddenly laughed. Advertisement. That's a good thing. Fugaku was stunned for a moment, then looked at Chiba with some uncertainty. Are you sure about this? This way we will lose the opportunity. Once Sarutobi wants to do something, we will be extremely passive. Chiba shrugged. You don't think that just these things can give Sarutobi an advantage and do something, do you? Is not it? Chiba showed a smile. Yes and no. These things can not only help him, but they can also put him in a dilemma. Fugaku was a little confused and couldn't understand what Chiba said. But, he didn't wonder for too long, because it didn't take long for Kinyi to tell him the answer. The afternoon after setting up the signage at Sarutobi, Uchiha Shisui led a team of people from the police department over. It's not that I want to remove the sign, but, there's quite a bit of stuff posted on it. Even the things originally marked with the will of fire were covered. As for the content, they are all the ninjas who died in this war. In this war, although Sarutobi said Kanaha was the winner, in fact, too many people died in Kanaha. In this posting, not only the names of these people were posted. It also made it clear what the family's situation was after they died fighting for the village. Extremely difficult? Although the situation is simply posted. But everyone knows the war very well. Naturally, they are very aware of the pain it brings and the desolation after the death of the Jinin. For a time, a sense of sadness quickly spread. And as the emotions brewed, it was almost the same. Suddenly a piece of news came from the police department. Chibasama, who was given the Hokage house leave by the daimyo, plans to petition third Hokage Sarutobi Hiruzen to provide pensions to the families of these ninjas who died in the war. P.S. My head hurts so much. No matter how I write it, I'm still not satisfied. I asked for a day off today and I still can't send out the leave request form. I'll just change it here. I'm sorry. Advertisement. Chapter 60 Coercion. Sarutobi's Response. Advertisement. At night. Many people were already asleep. But a man wearing black night clothes quietly came to Chiba's residence. Outside, the guards of the Uchiha clan had discovered it, and they suddenly felt like they were facing a formidable enemy. But when he saw the person's face clearly, he couldn't help but be stunned. Red, sir. Yui Hong frowned and made a gesture of silence. In the night, it was difficult to see the color of his face, but he was too hesitant in his actions. She signaled not to worry about her. Then he murmured in front of Chiba's house. After a long while, he finally made up his mind, bit his lower lip, and then gently opened the door. The door opened slightly, she walked in, and closed the door softly. He swallowed silently, and a look of no hesitation appeared on his face. This night, Chiba had a dream. I can't remember the scene clearly in my dream, but when I woke up from the dream, I just felt very tired. This dream is very mysterious. Until he woke up, Shing felt a little weird. When I opened my eyes, the sun was already out and my clothes were a little scattered. It's weird. Chiba murmured. I always feel like someone came in last night. There is also a faint aroma in the room. He frowned. But he shook his head again. When I went out, I saw Samai -ai biting her lip. Suddenly I had some doubts. In the end, just don't think too much about it. After yesterday's news fermentation, one thing has been proved. The notice board set up by Sarutobi is really useful. Advertisement. The effect is excellent. In just one day, everyone knew about the commotion. In particular, Lord Chiba, who holds some authority over the Hokage, is willing to speak out for these ninjas who died in the battle and show condolences to the third Hokage. Suddenly, Chiba's original reputation rose sharply. Many ninjas even came to the police department and wanted to ask what happened. No matter what happens, I still want to see the real face. After Chiba came out of the house, Shisui followed him. Sir, the matter has already escalated, and most people in the village are aware of it. I'm afraid, the third generation is very worried right now. Chiba chuckled. He had to clean up this mess himself. However, the signage that Sarutobi designed is really useful. Chiba laughed out loud, full of praise. Shisui was on the side and also showed a slight smile. 
Originally, according to Sarutobi's idea, he wanted to have all the news about the village in his own hands. In this way, firstly, he can promote himself, and secondly, it also prevents Chiba from doing anything. Unexpectedly, Chiba directly used this to completely destroy Sarutobi's army based on what happened previously. Then what's next, sir? Go and see Sarutobi. The matter has been released. What if he doesn't want to deal with it? Hokage office. Sarutobi's body trembled slightly. The anger on his face was building up little by little. Things in the village had been exploited by Chiba to such an extent. The notice point he set up was actually used by Namikaze Chiba to attack him. In this battlefield, many Kanaha Shinobi were indeed killed. It's not that Sarutobi doesn't have any thoughts of providing compensation, but he's just financially strapped now. He put the matter aside for a while and planned to solve it only after the village's finances temporarily eased. Unexpectedly, Kinyi caught him and used this opportunity to launch an attack. Today, Sarutobi can be said to be extremely passive. Especially, Chiba comes with momentum. Bang, bang, there was a knock on the door. Sarutobi took a deep breath. Advertisement. Come in. Squeak. The door was pushed open, and Chiba's figure entered. Third generation Sama, you don't look good, don't you? Chiba glanced at Sarutobi and said worriedly, you need to pay more attention to rest. If you fall down from exhaustion, no one will help me, and I will have to manage the village alone. You. One sentence. Sarutobi's anger, which he had finally suppressed, suddenly surged up again. Quiet. Chiba said with a smile. Excessive anger will only make you lose your mind. A wise man will never let anger consume his reason. Call? I don't know whether it was Chiba's words that had an effect, or whether third generation's own self-cultivation was good. Anyway, Sarutobi gradually settled down. His eyes fell on Kinyi again. Sarutobi said sullenly, Do you think this will make me surrender? That's not true. Chiba shook his head. Master third generation has been in charge of the village for many years. The Hokage must have made countless wealth during these years. It will be difficult to defeat you with these strategies alone, but it would be good to shed some blood. A lot of people must have died in this war, and they all died because of you. How much are you prepared to pay this time? Before Sarutobi could speak again, Kinyi said, They saved you. How much do you think you are worth? Sarutobi didn't answer. But no matter what today, it is inevitable that he has to pay. Namikaze Chiba comes with great momentum. If he didn't agree, his prestige in the eyes of the ninjas would be greatly reduced. This is a matter of course. However, when Sarutobi thought about it, he felt that it was not just a bad thing. Advertisement. At least, he can win over people's hearts. Let these ninjas be more convinced of his hokage. Therefore, this pension must not only be given, but must also be given. So, where does the money come from? When Kinyi left, Sarutobi thought for a long time and finally ordered. Call the pigs, deer, and butterflies to come. Soon after, Nara Shikaku, Yamanaka Hiki and Akamika Dingza arrived at the Hokage office. Looking at the three of them, Sarutobi said frankly, The village is in crisis, and too many ninjas have died. I can't bear that their heirs and their families will live an even more miserable life, so I decided to provide them with compensation. Finished saying this, all three of them were startled. Nara Shikaku said, Third generation Sama means, Sarutobi truthfully, Although I want to provide a pension, the village's finances are at the bottom and it is difficult to come up with this pension, so, I called you to come. Akamika Tingza, who was broad and fat, couldn't help but ask after hearing this. May I ask, sir, will this pension be provided only to our three clans, or, to all clans? Sarutobi narrowed his eyes. He knew it was hard to answer, but he didn't hesitate. Every clan, the village is in danger, and no clan can stay out of it. On behalf of the Sarutobi clan, I am willing to contribute more than half of the family property to provide compensation. Finished saying this, Akamika Dingzuo could only say, then I am willing to. Nara Shikaku said, me too, Yamanaka Hai, follow your orders. Sarutobi smiled. It is also a general trend for all races to come out. After all, this trend is for the ninjas who died in the village. Anyone who does not come out will be the enemy of the village Jinin. As a Hokage, he is willing to donate most of the clan property, so why shouldn't Uchiha and Haiga do the same? Namikaze Chiba, how will you respond this time? Advertisement. Chapter 61 Let Sarutobi Go Bankrupt. Advertisement. Sarutobi is so kind. He donated most of his family property. Fugaku sat across from Chiba and asked curiously. Hayashi on the side was also confused. Isn't this like Sarutobi's style? Chiba said. He is well-intentioned and not well-intentioned, and no one is going to check. How much he says to donate is not a matter of his own words. The two of them were stunned. Hayashi nodded and said, That's right. Sarutobi, an old bastard, is indeed capable of such a thing. Fugaku sneered. Then he wants to cheat other tribes out of their money. Will other tribes really be obedient? What if I don't obey? Chiba said, This is the general trend now. So many ninjas have died in the village. This money is obviously used for them. If there are ethnic groups who are unwilling to donate, they will undoubtedly be on the opposite side of them. Fugaku and Hayashi nodded. Hayashi asked with worry in his eyes. Then what should we do? Do we also want to donate? Donate. Chiba smiled and said, What if I don't donate? And not only do I have to donate, but I also have to donate a big one. Sarutobi wants to use this to pick the peaches safely, but it's not that easy. Chiba doesn't care about the donation. As for money? Yes, I still have a lot of money after selling Asuma. And Sarutobi initially gave compensation to Cloud Shinobi and Rock Shinobi, but it was all with him. He is not short of money. Just take out some. It's Sarutobi's money anyway, so I don't feel bad about using it. Advertisement. Of course, Sarutobi can't be that cheap. Chiba squinted her eyes, waiting for time. It's ten minutes before noon. Sarutobi is finally ready. The ninjas and villagers in the village were summoned. Gather together in one place. Sarutobi wore a white hokage robe, showing his usual kind look. Road. So many ninjas died in the battle in the village. I am extremely heartbroken. Not only am I heartbroken by the loss of the young genius in the village, but I am also heartbroken that their family has lost its backbone and their parents have lost their children. However, people cannot be resurrected, so they must always look forward. We cannot dwell in the past forever, we must look forward. Fortunately, there is no remedy for these miserable people. The village has decided to distribute pensions to the families of these ninjas who died in battle. Even if the heroes pass away, their families should be treated well. 
Sarutobi spoke righteously, and what he said was impassioned and full of tears. From a distance, Shiba touched Namikaze Minato, who was wearing a mask and covering his figure, and said with his lips, Listen, this Hokage's big words are nothing like you. You can only do practical things and can't say nice things. Namikaze Minato choked on her words. He wanted to refute something, but Chiba immediately said, If you had learned this earlier, how could Naruto be in that situation? He was stunned. Nothing to say. Sarutobi continued. However, the village's current finances are not that large and cannot provide such a large amount of money, so each clan will be responsible. On behalf of the Sarutobi clan, I will donate most of my family property to assist these families. As Sarutobi finished speaking, undoubtedly, it aroused one cry after another. Third generation is wise. As expected of Mr. Third Generation, you are so selfless that you have to donate most of your family property. I cried to death, Mr. Third Generation is too considerate of us. Advertisement. Compliments came one after another. After hearing these words, Sarutobi couldn't help but curl up his lips and felt good. Even when his eyes glanced at Kinyi, he nodded with a faint smile. It's very provocative. Sarutobi said, Now, it's time for the various tribes to speak. Oh, after I've finished speaking, it's time for our Lord Chiba to say a few words. After all, he is here to assist me. Sarutobi deliberately emphasized the last sentence. It means, I donated most of my family property. You can't help me too little, right? Chiba walked onto the stage. He looked at the crowd and said loudly, Third generation has donated most of the family property. He is quite selfless and can be said to be a role model in the village. I don't have that much wealth to use, but it is really difficult for these families who have lost their mainstay. So, I will make a small donation. 100 million tails, right? Although it is not as generous as third generation Sama, it is still somewhat useful. After saying that, he turned to look at Sarutobi with a smile. Suddenly, Sarutobi's smile faltered. First, his so-called majority of the family fortune is really just talk. As for the subsequent investigation, he is the third Hokage. Who can investigate him? Secondly, even if he really gave up most of his family property, it would only cost him tens of millions of tails to survive. Chiba, on the other hand, directly took out 100 million, and also explained that it is far inferior to him. Doesn't that mean, he, the third Hokage, has to donate more? Really? After Kinyi finished speaking, the crowd suddenly exclaimed, 100 million tails? So much? You are truly worthy of Master Chiba. That's not right. Listening to Chiba-sama, it seems that third generation Sama wants to donate more. You are so generous. You are so selfless. You spend so much money just for us. Listening to these compliments, Sarutobi couldn't laugh anymore. And if you savor this carefully, it has another meaning. Advertisement. Wait a minute, how come Mr. Third Generation's family has so much money? It seems so. I remember that Sarutobi was just a small family before. It's only been a few decades. There is no doubt that such a voice appears. And quite a few. The smile on Chiba's face grew heavier. Sarutobi couldn't ignore these words. Otherwise, wouldn't it be true that he deliberately made money after becoming Hokage? Therefore, Sarutobi sighed and said, My family doesn't have that much money, I'm really ashamed. Chiba looked surprised and said in disbelief, No way, Mr. Third Generation has been a Hokage for so long after all. Could it be that my family doesn't have as much money as I did a few years back? Oh, that's right. Mr. Third Generation spends most of his money on Mr. Asuma. Chiba suddenly realized, I understand, I understand. Moment. Doubts arise. Spent it for Mr. Asuma? How could Asuma spend so much? Yeah, this, is a little too much. How is this going? For a moment, many voices sounded, and then people looked at Third Generation curiously. Sarutobi took a deep breath. Suppress the anger in your heart. For Asuma flowers, how to spend them? Of course, in order to redeem Asuma, he spent a full 40 million tails and a little more. Sarutobi suddenly remembered. The compensation he gave to Rock Shinobi and Cloud Shinobi, the initial 100 million Ryo, could it have fallen into the hands of Namikaze Chiba? The more he thought about it, the more he thought it was possible. Doesn't that prove that the 14,000,000,400 tails in Namikaze Chiba's hands actually belong to him, Sarutobi Hiruzen? So the money he donated today is all his own? Advertisement. Chapter 62 Third Hokage, All Underwear Sold Out. Advertisement. When he remembered that all the money in Chiba's hands belonged to him, one can imagine the rich expression on Sarutobi's face. Chiba also showed a kind smile at the right time. I believe Mr. Third Generation has already thought of some beautiful memories. Why, Mr. Third Generation has donated most of his family property. Even if it is not as much as 100 million tails, it should be a lot, right? If not, Mr. Third Generation has made it clear, how much wealth does this majority of the family property count for? After hearing this, Sarutobi quietly clenched his fists. Namikaze Chiba's words made the money public, and Sarutobi's idea of fishing in troubled waters without any money from it was undoubtedly in vain. Moreover, not only did he fail, he was also unable to make fewer attempts. At least, it can be less, but it cannot be much less than Namikaze Chiba. If not, the donation he specially hosted today was afraid that all the benefits would fall on Chiba. The reputation that should have fallen to him will also fall to Namikaze Chiba. Sarutobi would never allow such a thing to happen. However, he wanted to intervene, otherwise if Chiba succeeded, he would need to increase his donation. So, where does the money come from? For a moment, Sarutobi froze on the spot. Namikaze Chiba didn't give Sarutobi time to continue thinking. He smiled and said, Why, Mr. Third Generation, is there too much money to be reckoned with? As Chiba finished speaking, Sarutobi immediately saw that a group of villagers were looking up at him in confusion. At this time, even if Sarutobi wanted to delay it any longer, it was impossible. He could only shake his head and said, Most of my family property, after calculation, it is roughly, is, four, no, fifty million tails. Advertisement. At the end, Sarutobi almost gritted his teeth and said the number. Most of his family property is really far from enough. As for where to find the extra money, that is not something Namikaze Chiba needs to consider. Only fifty million tails. Among the crowd, Uchiha Fugako suddenly spoke with a smile. We, the Uchiha clan, admire the heroes who died fighting for Kanaha the most? Their families must be treated well by the village. On behalf of the Uchiha clan, I, Fugako, donate fifty-one million tails. Fifty-one million is only one million tails more than fifty million. But, still more. 
This one million tails was enough to make Sarutobi feel extremely sick. Really. Right after Fugaku opened his mouth, Sarutobi's face turned as ugly as if he had eaten a fly. He, the Hokage, organized this donation drive. But now, two people have donated more than him. And, he gives what others say is most of his family property. Others easily took out most of the family property, so it was enough to represent what a failure he, the Hokage, deserved. Fugaku-kun donated 51 million tails, but my Hayaga clan doesn't have that much money. Hey, the Hayaga clan is poor, so I'll just donate. 50 million 500,000 tails. Hayashi suddenly spoke, and his voice spread instantly. Poof. On the side, Nami Kazechiba couldn't help but laughed out loud. Hayashi is a kid who doesn't talk on weekdays, but when it comes to doing things, he can be described as wilted and bad. 50 million more than half a million, and he repeatedly said that his family was poor and had little money, but he reluctantly gave up so much money for the families of these heroes in the village. Isn't this a slap in the face to Sarutobi Hiruzen? Both of their families said that they were extremely poor, but they had more money than Sarutobi. Although not much, but, this is an attitude. Advertisement. You, Hokage, organized this kind of event yourself, yet you contributed so little? Could it be that they don't want to work hard at all and just want to enjoy the benefits, just to defraud other ethnic groups of their money? At this time, after Achiha and Hayaga both spoke, many eyes looked at Sarutobi Hiruzen differently. Not only the villagers' eyes were a little strange, even the Inoshikacho clan, which has always been on good terms with the Sarutobi clan, had very complicated eyes at this moment. Although some words were not spoken, the meaning was clearly expressed. Chiba saw it and said with a smile. Then, thank you Hokage-sama for your generosity. After all, Hokage-sama still spent money. After spending so much for Mr. Asuma, there is still no money left. It's not easy for Hokage-sama. This time, Sarutobi couldn't take it anymore. After all, if this matter is over like this. So, he, Sarutobi Hiruzen, was really embarrassed today. Therefore, Sarutobi suddenly laughed. Who said I only need to donate 50 million tails? I just did the math again. Some of my family property was not included. I have to donate 70 million tails. In just a short moment, he gritted his teeth and added another 20 million tails. Suddenly, Fugaku then said, Then, thank you Hokage-sama for your righteousness. Hayashi echoed, Hokage-sama is really dedicated to the village and has no selfish motives at all. Chiba nodded, Yes, there is no selfish intention, but the Sarutobi family is really rich. Most of the family property is 70 million tails. Sarutobi Hiruzen. Advertisement. Damn, Laozi donated little, you ran against Laozi, now you donate more, you have been a Hokage for so many years in your heart, are you just supporting the family? This moment, there was a suffocation in Sarutobi's chest, but he couldn't let it out. Fugaku and Hayashi both yelled, Sir Hokage has great righteousness and selfless dedication to the village. Thank you, Mr. Hokage, for saving countless families who have been displaced by the war. As the two of them spoke, many villagers also cheered. Most of the content is praising Sarutobi. Just listening to these compliments, Sarutobi couldn't be happy at all. Moreover, not only could I not feel happy, but I felt even more bitter in my heart. Because the two of them were planning this, it seemed that today's donation was not organized by him, Sarutobi Hiruzen, but rather by the Uchiha and Hayaga clans. Next, other ethnic groups also expressed the amount of donations. However, the number is not that large. In the end, the amount of donations amounted to 510,230,000 tails. When the amount was determined, Kinyi suddenly said, After all, all the money was taken out by all the tribes with great difficulty. Therefore, you have to keep it well. Otherwise, I have the most money, so I will take care of it with everyone. Next, anyone can supervise me whether to use this money for these families who have lost their breadwinners. I agree. The words just fell. Fugaku raised his hands in agreement. Hayashi also said, I agree. With their agreement, some ethnic groups also agreed. Sarutobi scowled. His eyes were almost bursting with fire. Because not only do you have to pay money, but the money also falls into the hands of Namikaze Chiba. What the hell? Advertisement. Chapter 63 Fundraising Plan. Advertisement. Third generation Sama, don't forget it. Before leaving, Chiba smiled and reminded him. Ignoring Sarutobi's almost blazing eyes, he turned and left. Fugaku and Hayashi left with him. The villagers dispersed happily. Especially for those families who have lost their ninjas, there is actually a feeling of relief from this incident. At least, this much money means that they will have a good life in the future. Office. After Fugaku sat down, he asked. With so much money, if it were really put into Sarutobi's hands, what might he do? Hayashi nodded. If it really comes into his hands, there is no doubt that he will have money to compensate other villages. Fugaku laughed out loud. Don't tell me, this does seem like something Sarutobi can do. Ha 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 ha. Hayashi laughed. Obviously, they had roughly guessed what Sarutobi did. Moreover, if the money really falls into Sarutobi's hands, it will even make his current situation much better. This is naturally impossible. And, Fugaku smiled and said, Once the money is in our hands, it will be difficult to find out if we really want to. In other words, we may not be able to find out whether we got it, but he, Sarutobi Hiruzen, will definitely get it. Hayashi also laughed. If I had known this, I would have shouted more. Chiba shook his head. No, 70 million should be Sarutobi's limit. He can't afford any more. However, it's good to be able to get him to come up with so much now. Sarutobi will naturally bleed a lot this time. Advertisement. However, this has nothing to do with them. I'm afraid Sarutobi is still worried about where to collect money. Fugaku and Hayashi looked at each other and smiled. Smiling extraordinarily freely. Besides, Fugaku suddenly remembered and said. Now, Sarutobi has started to take action in the village. We can use the several notices he established once or twice, but in the future, he will definitely be strict and will not let us use them so easily. He frowned and said. In this case, it means that we have lost our original advantage and have been occupied by Sarutobi. What should we do? After Chiba heard this, he immediately smiled. Don't worry about this, I already have a countermeasure. Fugaku looked at him and nodded. If you have a countermeasure, that's good. After leaving the office, Chiba went to see Orikimaru again. Minato's current situation is even worse. He is now a leaky water tank, and he can only survive by filling it with water. 
However, long-term watering will not restore the water tank, but will make the water tank more susceptible to damage. Chiba meets Orikimaru. Is it effective? Chiba asked. After capturing Derui, Orikimaru began researching, extracting the yin-yang escape power from Derui, and put it into Namikaze Minato's body. Let's try this to see if Orikimaru's previous gas can be used. Orikimaru looked at Chiba, nodded and said. There are some, but, when I introduced the power of yin and yin escape, it also led to other consequences. What consequences? Chiba narrowed his eyes. Orikimaru said truthfully. The introduction of the power of yin and yang escape this time proves that the previous conjecture is indeed possible. However, because some of Minato's current state has been repaired, his state has become even worse. Chiba frowned, not understanding. Orikimaru explains. Advertisement. Because these repairs are difficult to maintain, his original body, when the chakra overflowed, the circuit was fixed, but now some repairs have caused the chakra to accumulate in some places. If it goes on for a long time, this area may completely explode. In other words, we can't delay it for too long. Once it is delayed, Minato may be completely hopeless. Chiba understands. In other words, finding other ways to limit blood inheritance has to be put on the agenda. Must be fast. Now that I have introduced the power of Uchiha and Hayaga, I can stabilize it for the time being. Moreover, the power of Nine Tails is surprisingly useful in stabilizing the power of Yin and Yang escape. Orikimaru said. So, when looking for the blood inheritance limit, you should also pay attention to the tailed beasts. I see. Namikaze Chiba nodded. Then he walked out of here immediately. He was thinking. Where is the limit of blood inheritance? Shisi. He meets Shisi. And ordered. I'll give you a task. Next, you take a team of members of the police department and wander around to find the limit of blood inheritance. If you can bring it back, bring it back. If you can't, tell the news. To me. Good. Shisui nodded. Then he left. After Shisui left, Naruto found Chiba. Uncle, isn't dad's situation particularly good? Naruto's eyes were open, a worried look on his face. How could be? Chiba touched his head. Your father's condition is still very good. He can be controlled quickly. It won't be long before he can be as he was before he was alive. But before that, you have to learn ninjutsu, you know. Aha. Uh -huh. Naruto nodded heavily. Advertisement. He grinned and said. I have been studying hard, and I will be able to graduate and become a genin soon. Haha, <laughs> Naruto is so awesome. After praising Naruto, Chiba left from here. He went to see Itaki. The next thing would naturally be left to Itaki. It is naturally impossible for Sarutobi to grasp the news trends in the village with just a few notices. Moreover, this is Kinyi's method, and it is impossible for him to be so relaxed. But this time, Sarutobi Hiruzen doesn't know Chiba's thoughts yet. He is still worried about how to raise the 70 million tails. After all, the Sarutobi family really doesn't have that much money. Even if he had it, he wouldn't be able to take it all out. Sarutobi thought hard for a long time and finally decided on Mitokato Homura and Yudin Koharo. These two are both Kanaha consultants and can be said to be well-deserved high-level officials. In the past, there was real power in his hands. Therefore, he made a lot of money for his family. Not long after, Sarutobi summoned the two of them. Sarutobi, why did you summon us? Mitokato Homura looked unkind and spoke loudly. Sarutobi sat in the hokage position and said calmly, For the lost ninjas of the village, you haven't donated yet, and I won't ask you how much you want. You two can just come up with 70 million tails. Obviously, Sarutobi doesn't want to come up with any points, and wants to put all this on Mitokato Homura and Yudin Koharu. After hearing this, Mitokato Homura suddenly sneered. This is impossible. You obviously agreed, but in the end you asked us to pay. How does this make sense? Sarutobi smiled softly. If I remember correctly, you took a lot of things from the Shimura clan privately, right? One sentence made Mitokato Homura freeze. Sarutobi had a big smile on his face. I can't handle Namikaze Minato. Isn't it easy to handle you? Advertisement. Chapter 64, Kanaha Express. Advertisement. Soon after, Sarutobi sent the first batch of money, which was 35 million tails. In addition, there is money from other ethnic groups. Sent to Chiba together. After getting the money, Chiba naturally asked the Uchiha family to start preparations. After all, there is no need to delay this kind of thing. Next, the construction of the village began with the people of Uchiha and Haiga. In addition, some families still have laborers, and simple relief cannot support them for a lifetime. Therefore, Chiba simply paid the workers and asked them to help with the construction. But the treatment is much better. At the same time, in order to make it easier for everyone to understand the progress, Itaka built another office under Chiba's instruction. The function of this office is to write down the progress, situation, etc. on paper and make multiple copies. The name is... Kanaha Express? When providing relief to the villagers, I would also give a copy of Kanaha Express. Chiba's idea is very simple, which is to use this newspaper to replace the original simple notice office. On the one hand, grasping the public opinion situation in the village makes the current progress of relieving the villagers known to everyone. On the other hand, the functions of Sarutobi's notice offices will naturally be greatly weakened. When there is such a simple way to know what is going on in the village, why bother going to the notice office and squeezing in the crowd to read the information? There is no need at all. In just a few days, Kanaha Express was accepted by the villagers and talked about it with great enthusiasm. Because in addition to the progress of the villagers' relief, Chiba also asked Itaka to go up there and find some interesting things about the village. This further increased the dissemination of Kanaha Express. At this time, Hokage Office, there was an extra copy of Kanaha Express on Sarutobi's desk. After picking up the newspaper and reading through it, Sarutobi took a deep breath and put it on the table. The appearance of the newspaper undoubtedly announced that the notice office he had previously set up was of little use. Nowadays, Sarutobi has no good solution. Advertisement. Even if another one is built in the village, it will still be far from the effect that Namikaze Chiba has built now. After all, this is in line with the progress of relief. He fell into deep thinking. After all, Namikaze Chiba's forces in all aspects are now very mature. Even the prestige is very high. Having mastered the Uchiha and Hayaga groups, it can be said that Namikaze Chiba's current power is slightly stronger than his. So, how do we can Namikaze Chiba's power next? Now relying on his own words, Sarutobi didn't want to consume too much power. The two major groups, Uchiha and Hayaga, are destined to be extremely powerful. Thought for a long time. Finally Sarutobi had an idea. He calls Umbu. Let him call Yudin Koharo. 
Two major advisors in Kanaha. Mitokato Homura is doomed, and the mud can no longer support the wall. But Yudadan Kohara still needs a lot of resourcefulness. After all, sometimes, there are some things that Sarutobi cannot take the initiative to do. Then, it is extremely necessary to cultivate a second danzo. Shortly after, Yudadan Koharu is here. However, Yudadan Koharu's expression did not look very good. Apparently it was because of previous donations. Sarutobi said, As for donations, you don't have to be like Mitokato Homura and donate 20 million. Yudadan Koharu's expression softened. Sarutobi said at this time, You know, the village is facing a big crisis now. It is difficult for me to stabilize the overall situation and bring down Nami Chiba just by relying on me alone. Advertisement. He has the support of Uchiha and Haiga. His methods are too insidious and he has taken several opportunities. Now he has enough prestige that it will be difficult to contain him in a short time. Yudadan Koharu raised an eyebrow. Then Mr. Third Generation called me here because. Sarutobi sighed. In the final analysis, we are actually on the same front. If Nami Chiba is really allowed to take the Hokage seat, your status as an advisor may not be preserved. Yudadan Koharu is awe-inspiring. We must unite. If we fight within ourselves, there is no possibility of victory. Then, do you have a better way? Sarutobi said, in a short period of time, it is difficult for us to take action. But if we are difficult to take action, we may not be able to find other methods. Sarutobi said, since we can't solve the problem internally, we will introduce the problem to the outside. Oh, Yudadan Koharu looked puzzled. Sarutobi explained, now, the village is experiencing a catastrophe, and now it's the aftermath, so, there will definitely be many villages watching with eager eyes. Rock Shinobi and Cloud Shinobi have received some benefits and are about to recuperate. They will not take action for the time being, but apart from them, there are other villages. Yudadan Koharu understood immediately. You mean to let Nami Chiba take action against other villages? But, except for Cloud Shinobi and Rock Shinobi, there are only Mist Shinobi and San Shinobi. These two villages have been a lot quiet recently. How can they provoke Nami Chiba? Sarutobi's eyes turned cold. We can help them. Pretend to be two village ninjas, start a war, and let Nami Chiba handle the matter. This way, you can solve both the village's external problems and its internal problems. Consuming the power of Nami Chiba, and then consuming the power of other ninja villages, we are dormant, waiting for opportunities. Yudadan Kohara fell silent. There is nothing wrong with the method. The only key is that once it is exposed, it will fall into a situation of verbal and written criticism. At that time, I was afraid that it would be difficult to stay in Kanaha any longer. Therefore, she raised her head and said, Advertisement. So, you want me to do this? Sarutobi sighed. I know this is not easy, but besides you, who else can I trust? Yudadan Kohara said nothing. After a while, she nodded and said, Good. Sarutobi felt happy and said, I'll let you cooperate. About the limits of blood inheritance. Chiba does remember that Kirigakura's Terumime is, but the situation in Kirigakura is not clear now. I'll have to let Shisui go investigate. One more thing is, nowadays, the village is undergoing post-war reconstruction, and there is no good excuse to take action for the time being. If he takes action at will, he may be caught by Sarutobi and use this as a reason. If this is the case, wouldn't Sarutobi be able to breathe a sigh of relief? Chiba was thinking about countermeasures. Little did he know that Yudan Kohara had already quietly left the village with his people. After discussing with Sarutobi Hiruzen, the two finally decided to target Kirigakura. No doubt, Mist Shinobi's current situation is weaker. It would be much more convenient to manipulate it. Not so with San Shinobi. And, San Shinobi has one tail, which is not very controllable. Even if they take action, San Shinobi may have to pay more. But Mist Shinobi doesn't need to think so much. Yudadan Koharu took people to Mist Shinobi. Advertisement. Chapter 65 I Never Fail. Advertisement. The location of the Kingdom of Fire can be said to be the most central place. The Kingdom of Earth, the Kingdom of Wind, the Kingdom of Thunder, and the Kingdom of Water almost surround the Kingdom of Fire. Of course, their territory is separated by many small ninja villages. This means that even if a war breaks out between these big countries, it is not that easy. Another point. Once a war breaks out, all neighboring small countries will suffer without exception. For example, during the Third Ninja War, the Rain Country, which was adjacent to the Land of Fire and the Land of Earth, suffered heavy losses. Between the two giants, the weak Rain Kingdom has no power to fight back and can only be slaughtered by others. There were heavy casualties. The five major countries, except for the country of water, are all on one piece of land. Only the Kingdom of Water is located on an island. But, there are three small countries standing between the Kingdom of Water and the Kingdom of Fire. The country of Whirlpools, the country of Bears, and the country of Craftsmen. Certainly, the ninja village in the country of Uzumaki was named Uzumaki Hidden Village. Uzumaki Hidden Village was founded by the first generation Uzumaki, Uzumaki Ashina. It was also with the support of Uzumaki Ashina that Uzumaki Hidden Village had good relations with Konoha. He once signed a friendship contract with first Hokage Senjo Hashirama, and the two villages formed an alliance, agreeing that when one side encounters a crisis, the other side will do its best to help. Unfortunately, Uzumaki Hidden Village was destroyed during the third generation. After the destruction of Uzushiagakura village, there were not many clan members left. There are probably only two, Uzumaki Kushina and Uzumaki Kushina. And in addition, Uzumaki Mito, the wife of Senjo Hashirama and the first nine tails Jinchuriki of Konoha. Uzumaki Fuzu, Nagato's mother. Of course, as for the following Nagato, Naruto, etc., they were not born in Uzushiagakur. Now, Yudadan Koharu left the country of fire with many ninjas and came to the country of Whirlpool. Advertisement. Looking at the waste everywhere, Yudadan Koharu couldn't help but frowned and said, Uzushio Hidden Village was once prosperous, but I never thought it would become like this. She seemed a little emotional. But after all, knowing the inside story of the destruction of Uzushio Hidden Village, Yudadan Koharu just sighed and stopped mentioning the matter. At this time, a ninja asked, Sir, are we going to attack Kirigakur? Yudadan Koharu glanced at him and immediately sneered. Attack Mist Shinobi? Are you out of your mind? The terrain of Mist Shinobi is easy to defend and difficult to attack. 
Not to mention that we only have this few people. Even if we have twice as many people, we may not be able to have any effect. Then, what are we going to do? The ninja asked in confusion. Yudadan Koharu said. Simple, our purpose is not to actually get Mist Shinobi to take action and do something to the village. We don't know much about Mist Shinobi's situation. Once you move forward rashly, you will most likely have to pay a heavy price. But, as long as we pretend to be Mist Shinobi ninjas and invade the village, we can achieve the desired effect. The ninja still doesn't understand. But why should we come to Azumaki Hidden Village and go to all the trouble to do what we just need to pretend to be Mist Shinobi ninjas? Yudadan Koharu said. Of course it's to avoid being seen. After all, the eye skills of the Uchiha and Hayaga clan are not simple. If any traces are seen, it will inevitably be traced to us. We come from outside and try our best to cover up this trace. At the same time, Yudadan Koharu narrowed his eyes. With third generation here, everything is safe. The other ninjas understood. Indeed, what they did was shady. Once discovered, there is almost only one way for them to go. Become a rebel? Advertisement. Who would want to become a rebel nin if they could live and enjoy themselves in the village? Those who become rebellious must either have suffered unbearable pain, or they are simply crazy. These people are unwilling. Now, after Yudadan Koharu finished speaking, several people had an idea. After a long time of preparation, they changed into Mist Shinobi's clothes, headed towards Konoha. Yudadan Koharu's ability is indeed much stronger than Mitokato Homura. She has considered every aspect to avoid being discovered. A lot of preparations were made. It didn't take long for the group to arrive at the border of the fire country again. After the last war, Chiba sent a few people from Uchiha and Hayaga to the border. Now, when the war started and the troops fought hand to hand, Yudadan Koharu quickly discovered that the group of people he brought with him were simply not enough, because Uchiha actually sent two Jonin here. It's still the kind with three Megatama turned on. It is difficult to cause more damage. Once the stalemate continues, the identity will be discovered soon and retained. Finally, Yudadan Koharu and his men quickly evacuated. Originally, in her imagination, she should not encounter much resistance, but unexpectedly, things were far beyond expectations. These people are not good at these ninjutsu at all, but in order to disguise themselves as Mist Shinobi ninjas, they deliberately use some suitable ninjutsu. He couldn't show his strength at all, and he didn't dare to fight. Fortunately, the effect is achieved. Yudadan Koharu took the people for a spin and returned to the village. Only, what Yudadan Koharu didn't know was, what they did was actually discovered long ago. Itaka stood on a tall tree, looking at all this, and only turned around after the people left. Advertisement. After a while, he saw Kinyi. Lord Chiba, something happened. Chiba looked at him, waiting for his next words. Weasel said, Not long ago, Yudadan Koharu led a group of people out of the village. After going somewhere unknown, he pretended to be a Kiragakura ninja and attacked the village. But it didn't work and he fled in a hurry. She came back with someone just now. Kinyi thought about it and understood the reason. Then he smiled and said, It seems that this is Sarutobi's plan. He wants us to fight Mist Shinobi and he will benefit from it. Weasel said, If that's the case, then we'd better feel at ease and not take action. No. Chiba shook his head and smiled. How could it be possible without taking action? Sarutobi has given us such a good opportunity, so we must seize it. Hokage office. After Yudadan Koharu came back, he simply said, Fortunately, we have lived up to our mission and created the illusion of Kirigakura's invasion. Sarutobi said, Thanks a lot. Yudadan Koharu wondered, But how can you be sure that Namikaze Chiba will definitely take action? Sarutobi suddenly smiled. Under normal circumstances, he may not take action, but I will let him take action at the cost of part of my authority. Part of the right, how can Namikaze Chiba refuse this temptation? Yudadan Koharu frowned, feeling like something was not quite right. But Sarutobi was very confident, he said. Don't worry, I have already planned it. Namikaze Chiba will definitely fall into the trap. My plan will definitely succeed. Advertisement. Chapter 66 Thinking You're Smart. Advertisement. After discussing with Yudadan Koharu, after she left, Sarutobi Hiruzen did not stay long before leaving the Hokage office. Next, he went to find Chiba. After they discussed these matters, they naturally had to talk to Namikaze Chiba. Not long after, Sarutobi arrived. Looking at Sarutobi Hiruzen who suddenly came here, Chiba stood up pretending to be confused. Third generation Sama, why, do you have time to come here? Why? Sarutobi sighed. As people get older, they start to out of breath after taking just a few steps. Sarutobi pretended to hit his waist with a look of emotion on his face. Chiba said nothing, just watched Sarutobi's performance. He knew that Sarutobi said so much just to lighten the atmosphere. After all, the relationship between the two people is not so harmonious. And if Sarutobi wants to achieve his own goals, he will inevitably use other means. However, this method is indeed clumsy. Before Chiba could entertain him, Sarutobi found a place to sit down. Then looked at Chiba. I previously thought that only if I firmly hold the position of Hokage can I make the village a better place. But, after so many things, I have gradually realized. Humans, sometimes it's hard to resist the old age. Sarutobi seemed quite emotional. Even his appearance is much older. However, what Sarutobi said was naturally waiting for Chiba to continue. But Chiba just looked at Sarutobi with a faint smile. But he didn't mean to say anything. Sarutobi had no choice but to continue. The more I discover this problem, the more I feel that the daimyo's previous idea was for my own good. Advertisement. The daimyo had previously thought. Naturally, part of the authority was given to Namikaze Chiba. Now that Sarutobi said this, it was nothing more than a hint that he wanted to abdicate. But, is this possible? Totally impossible? It's just Sarutobi's words used to achieve his goal. Sarutobi continued. I have been thinking about this matter for the past few days, but there has never been a better candidate. Now that you have some power in the village, you are already the most suitable candidate, but you are still too young, do not have enough qualifications, and do not have enough prestige. If I hand over the position to you, I'm afraid it will be difficult to convince the public. After hearing this, Kinyi raised his eyebrows, and his eyes finally showed a different look. There was a glimmer of joy in his eyes, but it was fleeting, and well covered up. However, this was still captured by Sarutobi Hiruzen, and when Sarutobi saw the joy in Chiba's eyes, the corners of his mouth raised slightly. Obviously, in his opinion, Namikaze Chiba has been tempted. And as long as Namikaze Chiba's heart is moved, there will be no problem. After that, the plan can proceed smoothly. Sarutobi tried his best to stay kind and not show any signs of weakness. He said, 
But, there is nothing we can do. Any solution. As soon as he finished speaking, Namikaze Chiba asked immediately. But after saying these words, I immediately felt something was wrong and shut up immediately. The smile on Sarutobi's face grew wider. Then, he sighed softly. After the recent war in the village, its strength has been reduced a lot. Now there are other villages that are restless and want to take action against us. Kinyi remained calm, but secretly smiled in his heart. After saying so much, Sarutobi finally showed his flaws. Chiba said, Advertisement. What do you want, third generation Sama? Sarutobi said, I want you to take action to stop these people. If you can succeed, then there is no doubt that your prestige in the village will be even higher. In this way, you can accumulate more reputation, and then when you sit in the Hokage position later, there won't be so much resistance. After saying this, Sarutobi also said, It's just that I also know that this is too difficult. After all, those who dare to attack the village again will definitely be strong. It is indeed difficult for you to deal with it alone. I also used the provocative method. Chiba was smiling in his heart, but on the surface, he was silent. Then he suddenly said, I can do it, just. Just relying on the war to gain prestige, for me, the loss is still too great. Sarutobi nodded. You are right, but the village is now. Sarutobi pretended to hesitate. After a while, he gritted his teeth and said, You also know the current finances of the village. As long as you can keep the safety of the village and prevent other villages from benefiting, then if there is any war in the future, the command will be yours. Sarutobi seemed to have spent a lot of time before making this decision. But actually, this so-called wartime command power will not affect it in a short period of time. Secondly, if a battle really breaks out, it will be equivalent to tying Namikaze Chiba to the Kanaha ship. By then, you will have the wartime command of the village. Is it possible that you will stand by and watch when the war actually breaks out? Impossible? This is what Sarutobi thinks. It seems that some authority has been lost, but in fact, it was gained with blood. After listening to Sarutobi's words, Chiba seemed a little excited and even trembled. Then he said, this. He seemed a little hesitant, but there was excitement hidden in his eyes. In the end, these were reduced to just one word. Good. Advertisement. Sarutobi stood up and said with a smile. If that's the case, then I'll leave the rest to you. Wait a minute. Chiba said, Sir Third Generation, can you tell the village about this command? Sarutobi smiled and said, Of course it's possible, just publish it in the Kanaha Express. Sarutobi left satisfied, I feel like I have all the situations in my hands. In his opinion, Namikaze Chiba was still too young, and he could not even imagine the meaning behind his decision. After Sarutobi left, Namikaze Chiba's expression returned to normal. There was a sneer on the corner of his mouth. What Sarutobi thought, he certainly knew that wars did not happen often, so the power handed over was not much. In other words, it's just a painted pie. What's the real benefit? Sarutobi's plan was very clear. At this moment, Chiba had already seen through Sarutobi's intentions. As for why I agreed, of course it is for this power. Admittedly, it would be of little use if there was no fighting in the village. But what if there is a war? And, what if we are always at war? It was this title that he wanted. Conveniently, he went around arresting people with blood inheritance limits. Looking for someone with the blood inheritance limit, on the one hand, to heal Namikaze Minato with the power of Yin and Yang, and on the other hand, naturally for the power of Sage of Six Paths. For this opportunity, he needed a reasonable name and was worried about how to get it. And now, Sarutobi takes the initiative to deliver it to your door. Advertisement. Chapter 67 Mamakai Zabuza, Shiro. Advertisement. Hokage Office. Don't worry, I have solved the matter. Namikaze Chiba has agreed, then we can just wait. Yudin Koharo was slightly taken aback, and then praised. As expected of Lord Third Generation, you can accomplish things that are difficult for ordinary people to do with just a few shots. Sarutobi smiled and held his beard, feeling very good. After all, Namikaze Chiba has agreed, so the next step is to wait for both him and Kirigakuur to suffer losses. Yudin Koharo left. Sarutobi Hiruzen stood outside the window, looking at the whole village, and couldn't help but sigh. After all, this is still my village. How is the cultivation of the white spores going? Chiba looked at Orikimaru and asked involuntarily. Orikimaru said, It has been cultivated a lot. This kind of spores is extremely easy to cultivate and has extremely tenacious vitality. Chiba nodded. Then let's do impure world reincarnation. Orikimaru asked curiously, Is Chiba-kun going to attack Sarutobi? Chiba shook his head. Sarutobi gave me the power, and he sent people pretending to be Kirigakuur's men to attack Kanaha, which gave me the opportunity to attack Mist Shinobi. Shisui has already heard that there are many blood succession limits among the Mist Shinobi, so it would be a good time to go there. I see. Orikimaru nodded. How many people are needed to impure world reincarnation? Not many, just 50 people. Kinyi thought for a moment and then said, Good. Orikimaru quickly went to make arrangements. Advertisement. Not long after, the impure world reincarnation was completed. 50 coffins appeared, and 50 ninjas finally walked out of them. Half of these ninjas have Jonin strength. As for the remaining half, they are equally strong. Finally, Orikimaru smiled and said, Do you want me to summon Uchiha Madara too? Chiba shook his head and refused. If Madara is really summoned, Chiba is afraid that other problems will occur. These 50 people were not only ninjas from Konoha, but also from other villages. Chiba didn't care about the identities of these people, as long as it's comfortable to use. Next, Chiba took Kakashi and Itaki, plus these 50 people, and left the village with great fanfare. When these people left, half were dressed in Uchiha clothes and the other half were dressed in Hayaga clothes. When the news reached Sarutobi, Sarutobi was naturally in a better mood. In his opinion, Namikaze Chiba has taken the bait. Kirigakur. Shrouded in shadow all year round. Fourth Mizuke Jiagura sat in Mizukage's office, staring blankly. Behind him, Obito was wearing an orange mask, his eyes full of coldness. Since the death of Nohara Rin, hatred has blinded Obito's eyes, and as one of the murderers of Nohara Rin, Kirigakur, he will naturally hold a grudge against him. Afterwards, Obito controlled Kirigakur's fourth Mizukage, Yagura, as Mainjikyo Sherinon. 
After Noharirin's death, Yagura became a Jinchuriki in order to better control the Three Tails. At the same time, Yagura is also one of the Jinchuriki who can perfectly control the power of tailed beasts. Later, Obito used illusions to control Yagura, and then implemented tyranny in Mist Shinobi, which also gave Mist Shinobi the title of Blood Mist. Certainly, the Blood Mist is related to Obito, but this is Mist Shinobi's consistent policy. What Obito did was to intensify the Blood Mist policy and make it more thorough. At the same time, the existence of Mist Shinobi is difficult to detect because it is too remote. Obito has the idea of taking Kirigakur as another base camp of Akatsuki. Advertisement. And at this moment, Obito glanced at Yagura, his eyes even colder. Waste. Yagura suddenly spoke and cursed the Mist Shinobi ninja who was kneeling on the ground in front of him and did not dare to raise his head. If you can't even catch a few people, what's the use of you? Mizukage sama Zabuza is too strong. If he wants to escape, there is no way he can stop him. The ninja was trembling with fear. Not long ago, the Mist Shinobi Ambu ninja, Zabuza Mamakai, suddenly attacked 4th Mizukage Yagura with the intention of killing him. But unfortunately, Machi Zabuza failed. After that, he was on the run. Under Obito's control, Yagura naturally began to pursue Zabuza Mamakai. Moreover, there is more than one person Zabuza, and there is also a boy who is good at ice escape beside him. The ninja was trembling, but it made Yagura even more angry. He narrowed his eyes. Then, a tail suddenly appeared behind him. That tail is filled with an extraordinarily huge power. Laugh. The tail instantly penetrated the body of the ninja in front of him, and he fell straight down. He possesses the power of three tails and can be easily controlled. Just now he used the power of the tailed beast to kill it. Of course, the reason for killing this ninja was that on the one hand he was not doing things well, and on the other hand, he met Obito. Obito doesn't want to reveal his identity yet. Obito's eyes were squinting at the moment, and it was difficult to see his emotions from the exposed eyes under the single whole orange Azumaki mask. The atmosphere became increasingly silent. After an unknown amount of time, Obito snorted and disappeared. Now, Chiba took a few people to the Uzumaki village ruins. Advertisement. Looking at the Uzumaki clan that has become history, I feel a little emotional. The clan that was once prosperous has only ended up like this. I don't know what Uzumaki Luming will think if he knows that the Uzumaki clan was destroyed due to Sarutobi's conspiracy. Will you regret alliance with Kanaha? Use Azashio village as a springboard to better enter the water country and find Kirigakur. The target this time is naturally the ninja with the blood inheritance limit. But this time, before Kinyi went to look for it, he saw two figures. One of them has short black hair, and his forehead protector is tilted to one side, covering his eyebrows. The neck and lower half of the face were covered with bandages. Maybe like Kakashi, he has some unspeakable secrets. Hmm. Buck teeth, thick lips. There was a huge knife on his shoulder, with a semicircular notch on the blade. And next to it, it's a teenager. The boy is young and looks extremely beautiful. Her face was so beautiful that she looked like a woman. He had long hair and followed the man. The two of them were not very fast. He must have been seriously injured. These two people are Mamakai Zabuza and Haku. When he entered Uzumaki village, Mamakai Zabuza immediately narrowed his eyes, tensed his body, held the huge long knife in his hand, and then looked around vigilantly. He sensed danger. Kinyi naturally did not hide it. He walked out leisurely, glanced at it, recognized the person, and couldn't help but smile. There are seven dignified ninja swordsmen, ruthless people, but now they have a child. Mamakai Zabuza, have you changed your gender? Mamakai Zabuza's eyes suddenly tightened, he subconsciously took half a step back, and said warily, Who are you? You don't need to know, just know that I am interested in the people around you. Blood inheritance limit. The first information given by Shisui. Advertisement. Chapter 68 Come to Mist Shinobi and Change Mizukage. Advertisement. The moment he saw Nami Kaze Chiba, Mamakai Zabuza showed a vigilant expression. Bai beside him had some doubts in his eyes, but more than anything, it's fear. Shiro hid behind Mamakai Zabuza and secretly looked at Chiba. Although I don't know who you are, I won't let you succeed. Machi Zabuza opened his mouth and clenched the sword in his hand. Chiba waved his hand, signaling the people behind him to take action. It's just a jonin taking care of this child, so he has no interest in taking action. Suddenly, behind Chiba, a full twenty jonin swarmed up. No matter how strong this one of the seven ninja swordsmen was, it was still useless, let alone bringing a child with him. Soon after, it was defeated. He was tied up and half kneeling on the ground. Chiba looked at him with interest. Escaped from Mist Shinobi, Machi Zabuza snorted. Chiba didn't care about his attitude. Since the implementation of the blood fog policy, Kirigakur has been involved in fighting. In the past, it was not so violent, but since 4th Mizukage Yagura took office, this situation has undoubtedly reached its peak. Mist Shinobi once outlasted the seven swordsmen and even other elite ninjas, and began to flee. However, according to your character Machi Zabuza, you should have assassinated the 4th Mizukage first. Looking at this embarrassing look now, it must be a failure. Looking at the smiling Namikaze Chiba, Mamakai Zabuza suddenly felt like he was being seen through by the person in front of him. Machi Zabuza said nothing, obviously acquiescing to what Chiba said. Kinyi lowered his body, looked at the person in front of him, and said, For you, you must have a lot of hatred for Mist Shinobi, right? Do you want revenge? One sentence. Mamakai Zabuza was stunned on the spot. He was stunned for a long time, then suddenly raised his head. Will you help me? Chiba smiled softly. I am very interested in Mist Shinobi. When I go this time, I plan to help you Mist Shinobi and the rule of the Blood Mist policy. Well, I will change to Mizukage by the way. Machi Zabuza fell silent. Obviously, Chiba's words were crazy. By the way, change to Mizukage? I'm afraid that there are not many people in the entire ninja world who can say such things. Of course, saying it is one thing, but doing it is another. Mamakai Zabuza had a look of disbelief in his eyes. I couldn't help but ask. Can you tell me your name? Namikaze Chiba. Namikaze. The image of yellow flash appeared in his mind, but he really had no impression of Kinyi's name. Still a little hesitant. When he turned around, he saw Kakashi standing not far behind Chiba. Suddenly shocked. Kakashi's reputation on the battlefield is not small. It is enough to expect that these people should have a high status even in Kanaha. But now, this copy ninja stood at the back so respectfully. This made Mamakai Zabuza think a lot. The yellow flash is. It's my brother. Machi Zabuza fell silent again. Chiba didn't urge him. All he needs is a guide. Mist Shinobi implements a closed policy, and the information is not so prying. It will be more comfortable if there is someone to guide him. 
However, if not, that's okay. It's just attack on the left and right. Just before Chiba was about to leave, Mamakai Zabuza finally made up his mind and said, Okay, I promise you. However, I have a condition. Mamakai Zabuza pointed at Shiro beside him. I hope this child can be safe. It would be too dangerous to take him back to Mist Shinobi. Chiba smiled. Okay, I will arrange for him to return to Konoha. Chiba glanced at it and smiled. Shiro, a descendant of the Mist Shinobi Snow Clan, inherited his mother's bloodline, Ice Release. It is a fusion of Chakra with two attributes, wind and water, turn into special power. But now that he is young, he must not have much strength. Chiba randomly assigned a Chinin to take Shiro back. Of course, it would be natural to take it back and hand it over to Orikimaru for study. But, but tell Orikimaru not to attack him. Research is research, a child of this age can still be Naruto's playmate. There is no need to deal with it too much. After Shiro was taken away, Mamakai Zabuza said, I'll take you there. Can ye ask someone to loosen his bonds? And the group left. On the way, Mamakai Zabuza looked at Chiba, who had no defense against him at all, and couldn't help but ask, Aren't you afraid that I will lead you into the siege of Mist Shinobi and kill these people? Advertisement. After hearing this, before Chiba could answer, Itaka beside him couldn't help laughing. Weasel said, If you think you can defeat Chibasama with Kirigakura alone, feel free to give it a try. Perhaps, you are saving Chibasama trouble by bringing all the ninjas of Kirigakura together. Hearing this, Machi Zabuza was stunned. Chiba shook his head and said, Itaki, there is no need to tell him so much. Yes, sir. At this time, Machi Zabuza couldn't restrain his curiosity about Chiba. As far as he knew, he had never heard of Namikaze Chiba. But there is a brother named Yellow Flash, who must be extremely powerful. Can. If so, why hasn't he become famous in the ninja world? Could it be Umbu who entered Kanaha? However, Chiba obviously has no idea of showing off his strength. Soon after, the group finally arrived at the border of the Kingdom of Water. After arriving at the border, Itaki observed it and couldn't help but be surprised. There are no guards at the border of the Kingdom of Water. Machi Zabuza smiled bitterly and said, All of Kirigakura's power has been withdrawn, and he has long since begun to isolate himself. Even if an ordinary ninja wants to escape from the village, it is not that simple. Itaki was startled, obviously not expecting Kirigakura to be so terrifying. Along the way, as he got closer and closer to Kirigakura, Mamakai Zabuza's mood changed. His eyes were complicated, and he couldn't tell whether it was fear or something else. Kirigakura is hidden in a mountain range, and the terrain is quite remote. It takes the terrain that is easy to defend and difficult to attack to the ultimate level. The group arrived outside Kirigakura. From a distance, you can vaguely see that the entire village seems to be shrouded in mist. Chiba, sir. Machi Zabuza suddenly spoke and said with some hesitation. How are you going to attack Mist Shinobi? Chiba looked at him. Do you have a better idea? Zabuza shook his head. The protective power of the Kirigakura Pass is very strong, and with the support of the terrain, it will undoubtedly be difficult to storm in. In other words, it's impossible. It often takes several times the effort to get close. Obviously, Machi Zabuza believed that he could only rely on the people brought by Chiba. Kirigakura was simply difficult to attack. Although Mist Shinobi was implementing the Blood Mist policy, a large number of blood successors in the village died and the elite ninjas escaped. But, still has strong strength. Therefore, in Mamakai Zabuza's opinion at this moment, if Chiba wanted to attack Kirigakur, it would be nothing more than a dream and impossible. He said these words just to remind him. After all, when he came back this time, he undoubtedly had the idea of really being able to break into Kirigakur. Now, with the blood mist policy in place, such a cruel Kirigakur has been breached, and perhaps life will be better. Zabuza Mamakai, who was once an elite ninja of Mist Shinobi Ambu, still has some feelings for Kirigakur after all. Only, he still wanted to persuade Kinyi again, and did not want him to attack, thus losing the best opportunity. Otherwise, it would be a joke if he followed Mist Shinobi this time. Chiba naturally saw what Machi Zabuza was thinking, and asked with a smile. You don't think highly of us. Mamakai Zabuza said truthfully. The terrain of Mist Shinobi is too difficult to break. If we attack directly like this, there is no doubt. Undoubtedly, it is an egg hitting a stone. Certainly. He didn't say this. He could see that the group of people Kinyi led were not weak in strength. However, I always feel that these people are a little strange. But I didn't go into it. What he said was just a reminder. He didn't care whether Chiba would listen or not. Chiba was quite relaxed. He smiled and said, You are right. Mist Shinobi is indeed easy to defend and difficult to attack. If you attack directly like this, it is the most inferior method and the method most likely to fail, but, this is also the most direct method. Chiba stood up, doesn't cover up the figure, he said directly, attack, whoosh, 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 as Chiba finished speaking, one after another, figures emerged from behind him, there were a total of 50 figures, not one of them hesitated, all rushed towards Kirigakur, Machi Zabuza shook his head secretly and said nothing more, Kakashi and Itaka did not follow, but followed Chiba, certainly, Chiba also knew that what Mamakai Zabuza said was correct, but, he knows ninjas, but not impure world reincarnation? These impure world reincarnation people will not die as long as the spell is not lifted. Advertisement. On the contrary, due to the technique, the injuries on the body will always be repaired. As for the power that can kill them completely, Kirigakur is not there yet. It can be said that these 50 people are equivalent to 50 immortal gods of war? Therefore, Kinyi was too lazy to use any more strategies. Just pile them up. Now, perhaps seeing Zabuza Mamakai's reaction, Itaka took a step forward and said coldly, Don't use your shallow knowledge to try to understand the real battle. Mamakai Zabuza was stunned for a moment. He couldn't help but look up in the direction of Kirigakur. He still believed that this battle would be lost. But, what does that mean? This moment. Following Mamakai Zabuza's gaze, he saw a total of 50 figures rushing towards Kirigakur. The figure that is flying towards you will still be discovered no matter how fast it is. Soon, there was a rapid sound. No, there are enemies. The enemy is attacking. Take action quickly. Don't let them get close to the village. Stop them. One after another, hurried shouts resounded again at this moment. Many Mist Shinobi ninjas noticed the intruder and took action immediately. Almost instantly, several darts flew out and shot towards the nearest ninja. Laugh, laugh, laugh. The dart was dodged and sank directly into the ground. 
At the same time, the first shot was fired for this battle. Water style water dragon bomb. As the sound appears, suddenly, water jets spurted out from the puddles of water outside Kirigakur. The water column rushed directly towards the ninjas outside the village. Because there are so many of them, it is simply difficult to avoid them. Soon, one of the ninjas was hit by ninjutsu. Then, it was an overwhelming attack. There is no way to avoid it. Almost instantly, both arms were severed and he almost lost his ability to fight. When Zebuza saw this, he couldn't help but shook his head. I feel that this battle must be lost. However, but at the moment he shook his head, the ninja still moved forward even though two arms were broken. Then almost instantly, the two broken arms grew back again. What? When you see this, Mamakai Zebuza undoubtedly widened his eyes. How can this be? In shock, he couldn't help shouting. And, that ninja was not the only one who was physically injured. But without exception, the damage was repaired in an instant. As if he had not suffered any injuries. Fire style great fireball technique. Puff, a huge fireball hit the nearest Mist Shinobi ninja. The ninja subconsciously avoided it. However, after dodging the ninjutsu, he saw a Kanaha ninja appearing behind him. Laugh, it's so fast that you can't see clearly. A shuriken was inserted into his chest. Blood flowed out. The Mist Shinobi ninja struggled to get up, but his body lost strength and his eyes gradually lost their luster. Then he fell straight down. The first person to die. With this gap opened, the fifty ninjas rushed over together. They were not afraid of death, they only knew how to rush forward, and even the injuries caused to them by Kirigakur's ninjas could not be repaired. In this way, even though they relied on the advantages of the terrain, they were still of little use. The attack that had been prepared for a long time was like a punch on cotton, with a deep feeling of powerlessness. Now, looking at this scene, Itaka snorted slightly. Mamakai Zabuza stared deeply, the shock in his eyes not leaving for a long time. After a while, he swallowed silently. Gilu, he couldn't help but ask. This, what kind of technique is this? Are they, are they really human? The shock in his heart was too great. These people were not afraid of death at all. After being injured, they recovered completely in almost no time. Although there are only 50 such people. Advertisement. But, isn't it too strong? When did Kanaha become so strong? Zabuza frowned. He remembered that not long ago, Kanaha was jointly attacked by Cloud Shinobi Village and Uegakur, and they lost that battle. However, if Kanaha possessed such techniques, it would be impossible for him to lose? At this time, Mamakai Zabuza couldn't figure it out no matter what. At the end, something suddenly occurred to him. Unless, this technique is unique to Namikaze Chiba. During that war, Namikaze Chiba did not take action at all. So, he looked at Namikaze Chiba in shock. His plans are big. Namikaze Chiba ignored Mamakai Zabuza. He looked at Itaki and Kakashi around him and said, That's it, let's end this farce. Yes. Next moment. Both Itaki and Kakashi rushed out directly from behind Chiba. The two of them, one on the left and one on the right, are both extremely powerful. The two geniuses attacked the defending Mist Shinobi ninjas. The speed of tearing the hole suddenly increased. Machi Zabuza's eyes widened. Mist Shinobi's always most advantageous protection was torn apart in a short time. Who is this Namikaze Chiba? He is scarier than the yellow flash? Now, Chiba looked at Mamakai Zabuza with a smile and said, Okay, it's time for us to leave. Are you planning to stay here and wait for news of our victory? Zabuza swallowed. Finally, follow Kinyi forward. Kirigakur's doors are open. Chiba stepped into it. Kirigakur is shrouded in heavy fog, making it impossible to see many scenes clearly. Mist Shinobi, shrouded in heavy fog, is also one of the advantages of being easy to defend and difficult to attack. But now, Mist Shinobi has been breached. What, what are you going to do? When Chiba came in, the remaining Mist Shinobi ninjas had horror on their faces and couldn't help but ask. Chiba explained with a smile. Don't worry, I'll help you get a Mizu cage. Tread, he crushed the Mist Shinobi's head with his foot. Looking at more and more Mist Shinobi ninjas gathering around, Chiba ordered. Fight in. Yes, Master Chiba. Mizu cage office. The news came naturally. Yagura's eyes were still dull, looking at the ninja in front of him in a daze. Mizukage-sama, the enemy, the enemy has entered the village. Please, please take action. The Mist Shinobi ninja was covered in blood, kneeling on the ground, with fear in his eyes. Yagura didn't seem to see him and didn't speak. You go down first, I will take action against them. After a long while, Yagura finally spoke. The Mist Shinobi ninja finally left. Then, Yagura stood up. Behind him, Obito's figure appeared. Namikaze Chiba. Obito's voice was a little cold. After the last battle, before I even went to find you, you came to die. It's too arrogant to bring only 50 people. Forget it, I'll let you stay here. Obito's voice suddenly turned cold. Under his command, Yagura walked out of Mizukage's office. Now, an orange-red chakra coat appeared on his body. As the perfect Jinchuriki, Yagura can be said to have mastery over three tails. And Obito controlled him with Genjutsu. But it doesn't limit his abilities. Shortly after, Yagura appeared outside. The tailed beast's powerful power immediately knocked away an approaching Kanaha Shinobi. The appearance of Yagura undoubtedly attracted all the attention instantly. That peculiar appearance, the orange-red chakra coat. Mamakai Zabuza couldn't help but remind him. That's Mizukage. He has the power of three tails. He is very strong and good at. Chiba waved his hand to interrupt him. No need to say more. I have no interest in knowing what dead people are good at. That doesn't make sense. Advertisement. Chapter 69 Destruction of Mist Shinobi. Advertisement. In Hokage, there is a perfect Jinchuriki that will not be controlled by ninjutsu, but it is true that Yagura was controlled, and it was controlled by Obito for a long time. In the case of a perfect Jinchuriki, there is a person who was affected by Genjutsu and was then relieved of his deeds. Reference Ataki used Genjutsu on Killer B and was finally awakened by eight tails. But Yagura was indeed controlled by Obito for a long time, and was indeed known as one of the perfect Jinchuriki. There seems to be some problem here, but Madara once used pupil power, that is, mental power, to directly control nine tails, which may not be an illusion. Then, it is possible that Obito got this method from Madara and used it on three tails. In the original work, Suzuki, who has three Megatama, once directly saw nine tails in the sealed space through Naruto. Then, it is possible for Obito to use pupil power, which is spiritual power, to control three tails, and then use illusion to control Yagura. The previous article is based on this setting. Now, just opposite Chiba, Yagura has transformed into a half-tailed beast. The orange-red-tailed beast chakra coat wraps him up. 
It made the originally dull eyes look colder. Mamakai Zabuza couldn't help but swallowed when he saw this scene. Once, when he assassinated Yagura, he failed because of Yagura's tailed beast transformation. When Jinchuriki truly masters the power of the tailed beast, it is extremely terrifying. Least, Mamakai Zabuza did not think that these people brought by Chiba could compare with Yagura. Even though, these people will not die. Can. The tailed beast's powerful destructive power can completely prevent them from repairing themselves. Zabuza was not optimistic about this battle. Looked at Chiba with some worry. In his heart, he still hopes that Chiba can win and break the blood mist shrouding Mist Shinobi. That will be a rare light for Mist Shinobi. But he also knows that this is too difficult. At this time, just after Yagura came out, both Kakashi and Itaka showed their sharing on. Scarlet eyes stared straight at Yagura. This is the sense of oppression brought by Jinchuriki. Chiba took a step forward. He patted Itaki on the shoulder and said to the two of them at the same time, You can just take action against others, I will do this. Kakashi and Itaka nodded and took a step back. Turned to look for other enemies. Kinyi stepped forward and slowly drew out the long sword from his waist. The sword is three feet six long, and the silver white sword body exudes a faint brilliance. Mamakai Zabuza looked at this scene. Still couldn't help but remind me. Mizukage in tailed beast form is extremely powerful. Ah, uh, Chiba chuckled. It's just that this laughter has a hint of ridicule. Next moment. His body disappeared immediately, waiting to appear again. Already in front of Yagura. Buzz, the moment Chiba appeared, Yagura took a photo. The palm covering the tailed beast's coat undoubtedly has considerable power. The wind blows everywhere. Chiba turned sideways and avoided the blow. Of course. The moment he turned sideways, the ground beneath him cracked instantly with a bang. A huge deep pit appeared at Kinyi's feet. Kinyi tiptoed and jumped into the air. The long sword in his hand suddenly cut down. A faint silver light flickered from the sword. Flat cutting characteristics. There are no fancy moves, just a sword. It's just that this sword is inexplicably powerful. Chopping off the head. The moment he approached, the tailed beast coat covering Yagura began to gradually shrink. As if afraid of this power, Yagura had the intention to dodge, but Chiba's speed was too fast. In the end, he simply gave up escaping. Two more arms covered with three tails chakra appeared on the body, and they were raised at the same time in an attempt to resist. But, Yagura also knew that it would be difficult to resist this sword with these alone. At this moment, he quickly formed seals with his hands. From the water stains on the ground, a huge water mirror appeared. Advertisement. In the water mirror, a person exactly like Kinyi appeared. And, he also raised his sword and struck suddenly. Water style water mirror technique. A sword in the water mirror suddenly struck Kinyi. Soon, close combat. The moment the two swords collided, there was no lasting confrontation at all, it was completely devastating. With one strike of Kinyi's sword, he split the mirror image in half. It turned into two puddles of water and fell to the ground. Certainly. Also at this moment, two palms holding three tails chakra are approaching Kinyi at this moment, trying to stop Kinyi. Can. Too weak. Laugh. The long sword slashed down. The palms where the power of the two tailed beasts were condensed were cut off directly. At the same time, Chiba fell down and stepped on Yagura's head. Despite the resistance of the tailed beast's coat, Yagura was not seriously injured. But due to the huge force, his body instantly sank five inches into the ground. How can this be? When seeing this scene, Machi Zabuza couldn't help but make a sound. Looking at this scene, I even rubbed my eyes, a little unbelievable. It was hard for him to imagine that someone could be so relaxed when facing a half-tailed beast in Churiki. Bang, Yagura struck again, but this time Chiba didn't dodge at all. The strength he possesses is not only the characteristic of flat cutting, but also extremely strong physical fitness. At the same time, he also wanted to see how powerful Yagura's attack was. Unfortunately, the palm hit his leg and did not cause any injuries. Only Chiba's body trembled. However, a large area of coral instantly appeared where Yagura's palm struck. Coral palm, bang, Chiba exerted force on her feet, using Yagura's body as a leverage point, and instantly jumped up again and landed on the ground. At the same time, a large piece of coral on his legs shattered into pieces. Far away, when he saw the scene, Obito couldn't help but narrowed his eyes. He has already seen that if this is the case, there is nothing he can do about Kinyi. If that's the case, the Sherinon in his eyes suddenly changed. And at this time, Kakashi, who was in the middle of the battle, suddenly froze. Next moment, the three Tomo Sherinon in his eyes instantly transformed into Manjikyo. He couldn't help but froze on the spot, showing an incredible expression. Kakashi should have opened his eyes with Obito when Lin died, but at that time, Kakashi didn't know yet. Later, Kakashi asked Itake how far your eyesight has deteriorated. At that time, he should have known that he also had Manjikyo. Yagura's body retreated in an instant. The chakra coat he condensed, although still in human form, already looked a bit animal-like. The chakra coat immediately rose, and the chakra inside began to rotate at high speed. There was a sudden sound of wind everywhere. Not long after, a black high-energy bomb with extremely high density appeared. When seeing the scene, Mamakai Zabuza could no longer hide the fear in his heart and immediately shouted, It's tailed beast bomb, run. Finished. He immediately backed away, wanting to get to a safe distance. He really knows the power of Tailed Beast Bomb. Especially in this small area now, if the Tailed Beast Bomb explodes again, there is no doubt that the whole place can be raised to the ground. Although Three Tails Tailed Beast itself does not have much power, since it is a Tailed Beast, it is already destined to have terrifying power. This kind of power is no longer something ordinary ninjas can resist. Therefore, while reminding Chiba, he also quickly retreated. I don't want to die under the Tailed Beast Bomb. Only, not long after Mamakai Zabuza retreated, he was surprised to find out. None of the ninjas in Kanaha retreated, including Kakashi and Itaki. Advertisement. It's like they are not afraid at all. In fact, they really weren't afraid. Because they know that Namikaze Chiba is there. Tailed Beast Bomb, nothing, boom. After the Tailed Beast Bomb was condensed by Yagura, he opened his mouth and blasted it towards Chiba. Under Obito's control, Yagura didn't care at all how much damage the Tailed Beast Bomb could cause once it exploded here. I don't care if any Mist Shinobi ninjas are affected and die here. He had only one thought. Kill the person in front of you, the terrifying Tailed Beast Bomb shot towards Chiba. Even in midair, you can feel the pressure of the huge chakra. However, facing this Tailed Beast Bomb, Chiba did not avoid it at all. He stood there. The long sword in his hand was raised high, raised above his head, and then suddenly slashed down. 
The arc of a semicircle. The moment the tailed beast bomb approached, Chiba struck it with a sword. Laugh. Tailed beast bomb was directly cut in half by Chiba's sword. The disconnected tailed beast bomb instantly loses the balance of yin and yang power, and is about to explode. However, Kinyi slashed with his sword again, directly killed the violent energy in an instant. One tailed beast bomb and it was taken care of. Simple and crisp. Seeing this scene, Mamakai Zabuza, who was originally running away, was stunned. He looked at this scene in disbelief. The tailed beast bomb was split open. This, how strong is he? Boom, now. The moment Chiba slashed open the tailed beast bomb with one sword, Yagura's facial expression twisted momentarily. As if he had suffered some pain, he instantly became frantic. Next moment, the power of the tailed beast in him grew like crazy. It didn't take long for the tailed beast to become extremely powerful. Then, Yagura's humanoid appearance was gone. Instead, it is a large, gray mud turtle that is full of thorns and has three tails behind it. Completely transformed into a tailed beast? Three tails? It's over. Mamakai Zabuza murmured after seeing this scene. Yagura, who has completely transformed into a tailed beast, will undoubtedly be at his strongest. He can master the power of three tails, and he will fully exert it at this moment. Almost instantly, the three tails transformed by Yagura retracted its head into its huge carapace. Immediately, the thorns all over his body stood up instantly. It was like a huge wheel, rushing towards here instantly. The ground was shaking with that terrifying force. Bang, 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 where three tails passed by, the ground cracked instantly, and a huge and wide deep trench appeared. The target he collided with was none other than Namikaze Chiba. And at this moment, Namikaze Chiba didn't panic at all when facing Yagura who had completely transformed into a tailed beast. Instead, he looked at this scene. The corners of his mouth curled up. Finally it's starting to get interesting. He had never fought a Jinchuriki before. Naturally, we know how powerful Jinchuriki is who has mastered the power of the tailed beast. Chiba has undoubtedly been longing for such a confrontation for a long time. After all, if the opponent is too weak, it's not interesting at all. Now, faced with the impact of three tails Isofu's flesh bullets, Chiba did not dodge at all. Even, there was no intention of using the sword. Advertisement. He planned to try it with pure physical strength. Bang, next moment. Chiba stepped on her toes. The ground cracked instantly. Broken stones flew up and down. Then, Kinyi's body suddenly moved forward like an arrow leaving the string. He held out his right arm. Suddenly he punched out. Boom, suddenly. This punch struck three tails Isofu's body, forcefully forcing the high-speed rotating turtle shell to slow down. At the same time, Chiba was also shocked and retreated. On the way Kinyi retreated, an extremely long scratch appeared. Mamakai Zabuza looked at this scene with dumbfounded eyes. Looking at that crazy man, he widened his eyes and said, This, is this still a human being? Bang! After blocking the impact of three tails Isofu's flesh bullets with one punch, Chiba hit it with another punch. Suddenly, the huge mud turtle was pushed back. Weak, too weak. In the dust, Chiba's stalwart figure was revealed. He shook his head and said, Is this the power of the perfect Jinchuriki? Now, all fighting stopped. Looking at the ruins, Chiba stood like a demon, and in front of him, three tails was pushed back hundreds of meters. It's too scary? If that's all it takes, it's almost time to end. A long sword appeared in Kinyi's hand. Hold it tightly. After today, there will be no fourth Mizu cage for Miss Shinobi. He gave a long laugh. The body suddenly disappeared, and when it reappeared, it was in front of three tails. Immediately, cut it down with one sword. Three tails Jifu instantly retracted his body into the turtle shell. Using his powerful protective abilities, he wanted to block Kinyi's sword. It's just, too naive? Bang, cut it down with one sword. Three tails Jifu's huge carapace was actually cut open quite a bit. Roar, in pain, three tails roared hysterically. When Kinyi wanted to strike with a sword again, suddenly, the space beside him was distorted. Immediately, a man wearing an orange-red one-hole mask appeared. Finally, you have shown up. Chiba smiled. The appearance of Obito is not surprising. Obito frowned, with a solemn expression in his exposed eyes. Obviously, the reason why Chiba spent so long is simply to force out the people behind Mist Shinobi. Now, he succeeded? Obito asked. You know I'm here. Kinyi sneered, pointed at three tails who was wailing beside him, and said. He's like this. It's obvious that he's being controlled by someone. He's engaged in such a high-intensity battle. How can he do that when the controller is no longer around? Now, can you tell me your true face? Obito squinted. A proud tone. My name is Uchiha Madara. Ha 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 ha. After hearing this, Chiba suddenly laughed. Uchiha Madara. Even if Uchiha Madara is really resurrected, he still can't stop Mist Shinobi from being destroyed today. Not to mention, you are not at all. Advertisement. Chapter 70 The Mastermind Obito. Advertisement. Arrogant. At this moment, after Chiba finished speaking, Obito shouted coldly. Indeed, the last time they fought, he lost to Chiba and even broke an arm. But last time, it was just that he didn't know Kinyi's strength. Thus being careless. In addition, with Itaki on the side to lure him, Obito didn't even notice Chiba hiding in the dark, and was secretly attacked by Chiba. This time, nothing like this will happen. Obito is very confident and will never be like last time. However, Obito was not ready to take action yet. Kakashi on the side suddenly walked forward, with a suspicious look in his eyes. He stared at Obito unblinkingly. Chiba noticed this scene and couldn't help asking, what's wrong? Lord Chiba, for some reason, this person always gives me a familiar feeling. Can you hand this person over to me and let me deal with him? Chiba looked at Kakashi and nodded. Good. Thank you, sir. Kakashi looked grateful. Immediately, he took a step forward. Stand on the opposite side of Obito. Kakashi said, Although I don't know why you wear a mask and don't show your true mask to others, there must be some difficulty that cannot be exposed. However, my feeling is not wrong. Kakashi looked at Obito very seriously and said, I must know you. Obito heard this and immediately sneered. At the same time, with a hoarse voice, he mocked. I didn't expect that Konoha's famous copy ninja would guess people based on their assumptions. It's really ridiculous. Compared to Obito's relaxation, Kakashi is still strong. Now, a shuriken appeared in his hand. However, no matter who you are, I have to complete my mission. Kakashi spoke seriously. However, after hearing Kakashi's words, Obito felt as if his tail had been stepped on. His eyes instantly turned cold. He sneered. 
Mission? How ridiculous? You can't even protect the people around you, but you still have to complete the mission. Is there anything more ridiculous in the world than this? After hearing this, Kakashi suddenly froze on the spot, his face froze. And also at this moment, Obito didn't give Kakashi a chance to react. As soon as his body moved, he rushed towards Kakashi. At the same time, a shuriken appeared in his hand and was thrown towards Kakashi. Advertisement. Kakashi's stalemate did not last long. The moment Obito's attack was about to approach, he still reacted. Then, Kakashi immediately pulled back and at the same time threw the shuriken in his hand. Ding, a rather crisp sound. Immediately, Kakashi interrupted Obito's attack. At the same time, Kakashi pulled away and retreated to a relatively safe place. Unfortunately, the moment Kakashi landed, Obito followed him like a ghost. At the same time, he threw the shuriken again. Kakashi tiptoed and jumped upward. This time, Obito's attack was directly avoided. However, this was just Obito's intention. Next moment, two chains suddenly appeared in Obito's sleeves. These two chains wound directly towards Kakashi's feet. In an instant, it wrapped around Kakashi's ankle. Wow, also at this moment, after wrapping Kakashi's ankle, Obito pulled it down hard. Bang, Kakashi's body suddenly lost his balance in the air, and then fell heavily to the ground. Now, Obito looked down at Kakashi who fell to the ground. There was a different kind of pleasure in his eyes. Kakashi, is this your strength? You are so vulnerable. Stand up, Kakashi, this isn't all you have, is it? Obito laughed heartily. At the same time, the chain in his hand locked instantly, bringing Kakashi's legs together instantly. He wanted to use force and directly tie Kakashi's legs off. This moment, when he saw the scene, Itaka's eyes suddenly tightened and he immediately took half a step forward. However, Kinyi shook his head and stopped him. If Kakashi wants to take action, he must be somewhat confident. Besides, he has not reached his limit yet, so there is no need to rush to take action. Itaka nodded and immediately backed away, still looking at the scene with worry on his face. This moment, the moment Obito wanted to take action, Kakashi quickly formed seals with his hands, and immediately, a huge fireball was sprayed out. Fire style great fireball technique? Puff, a huge fireball sprayed directly towards Obito. However, Obito just dodged sideways and completely avoided this fire style. At the same time, advertisement. Obito's eyes were still mocking. Kakashi, is this all you have? But, what Obito didn't notice was that a considerable portion of the great fireball fell onto the chain. While it's burning part, Kakashi forms the seal again. A water dragon instantly rushed out of the pool on the ground. Obito jumped and dodged the water dragon. However, not before he mocked again. Kakashi immediately spread his hand, and in his hand, a ball of chakra spinning at high speed appeared. Raise non, then. Kakashi blasted the Raisinon directly into the chains wrapped around his legs. Bang, click, the chains wrapped around his legs actually broke. Kakashi took the opportunity and quickly pulled back, getting further away from Obito. A little further away, seeing this scene, Mamakai Zebuza was immediately surprised and said, So smart, first use fire style to burn the chain, and then use water style to quickly extinguish it, making the chain the most brittle, so that it can be broken better. He is indeed a genius ninja of Kanaha. Machi Zebuza couldn't help but admire. Really, Kakashi's move is indeed very subtle. After the chain was broken, Obito's eyes showed evil. After all, the material of his chain is not ordinary. Normally, it's impossible to interrupt with Raisinon. This is why he doesn't think Kakashi can interrupt. Unexpectedly, using the special effects of water and fire, Kakashi still broke the chain. Snort? Obito snorted coldly. Then he completely threw away the chains in his sleeve robe. He tiptoed and ran directly towards Kakashi. Kakashi narrowed his eyes. Also running towards Obito. Kakashi is extremely fast. At the same time, his right hand suddenly touched the ground. Tear? A ball of terrifying thunder and lightning power gathered in his palm. As Kakashi moved at high speed, an extremely long scratch appeared on the ground. Lightning style Tidori? When seeing this scene, Chiba suddenly understood. Lightning style couldn't be integrated into Raisinon, so did you create another ninjutsu? Advertisement. He remembers. Kakashi has been trying to incorporate lightning style into Raisinon for a long time, but it has always failed, and Kakashi has not found a definite solution. Now, seeing this jutsu, he knew that Kakashi had created additional jutsu to replace it. This moment, the power of thunder and lightning emitted by the Chidori is particularly terrifying. Constantly tearing in all directions. The two figures were getting closer and closer. Obito didn't seem to be planning to use any ninjutsu. Only a shuriken appeared in his hand. Immediately stabbed towards Kakashi. In an instant, the two figures approached, and the Chidori in Kakashi's hand went directly towards Obito. And, go right through. But, when passing through Obito's body, Kakashi did not feel the sensation of passing through the flesh. Instead, it was as if the air had been hit. Laugh, the shuriken in Obito's hand was directly inserted into Kakashi's chest. But, because Kakashi's reaction was still very quick, he avoided the heart position. But he was still hit hard. Time and space ninjutsu. The two separated. Blood flowed from Kakashi's chest and his injuries were serious. But, he stared at Obito. Finally there is an answer. You are, Obito. Kakashi's tone was unquestionable. At this moment, he is staring at Obito wearing an orange Uzumaki mask. Obito also sneered after hearing this. No cover up either. He easily took off the mask that was covering his face. At the same time he said, Long time no see, Kakashi. Under the mask, there is a face that is no longer childish and has a crazy look. The left side of his face was fine, but there were scars on the right side. Although Kakashi guessed it, the moment he saw Obito's true appearance, he also showed a shocked expression. It's really you. Obito sneered. You didn't expect me to be alive, did you? Advertisement. Chapter 71 Kill Yagura, Behead Obito. Advertisement. From the very beginning I felt something was wrong with Sherinon. Kakashi had a guess. I just haven't dared to confirm. After all, Obito died a long time ago. For Kakashi, this is an established fact. But now, Obito is still alive? Then, he is still alive, why hasn't he appeared all these years? What is he going to do? Doubts one after another filled Kakashi's mind. Kakashi looked at Obito and couldn't help but ask. What have you been doing all these years? Why don't you go back to the village? Back to the village? Obito doesn't hide himself anymore. What are you going back to the village for? Lin has already died in your hands, so what's the point of me going back to the village? At the last word, Obito almost roared. 
and listening to Obito's question, Kakashi also fell silent. Nothing can be said. Really, Lin died in his hands. He died under his famous ninjutsu, Chidori. Although, that was done deliberately by Lin, in order not to be controlled by the enemy and thereby threaten Kakashi. But it was a fact that Lin was dead. This kind and gentle girl died after all. What, Kanaha's genius ninja, copy ninja Kakashi? Can't speak, speak? Why didn't you protect Lin? Why, now, after taking off the mask, Obito showed his truest side. He roared hysterically. Questioned Kakashi. But Kakashi couldn't say anything when faced with Obito's questioning. He just remained silent. Finally, the voice said bitterly, Lin's death is my responsibility. It is indeed your responsibility. And you, I will resurrect Linear. Obito had a determined look in his eyes. Kakashi wanted to say something else, but Obito didn't have the patience to continue listening. He interrupted Kakashi rudely, you don't need to worry about my affairs. This moment. When hearing this, Chiba narrowed his eyes. He suddenly thought of something. He couldn't help but look at Obito, with a coldness in his voice. On the night of the Nine Tails Rebellion, were you the one who controlled Nine Tails? Obito's eyes swept over. Looking at Kinyi, he didn't deny it. So what if it's me? I can do anything to create a world with Lin. Even if it kills your teacher, harms his family, and destroys the village you once lived in. Advertisement. Obito turned around and his eyes fell on Chiba, with a crazy temperament. Obito said resolutely, for Lin, everything is worth it. Ah, Chiba laughed. The smile was full of coldness. It turns out that this is the murderer who killed his brother and caused trouble in Kanaha. He is also one of the murderers who created Naruto's childhood tragedy. This moment, Chiba's temperament suddenly changed. It became cold and murderous. He had heard about Obito, and it was indeed tragic. But sympathy is not an excuse to let him go after all. No need. Kakashi, stand down. Chiba said unquestionably. Kakashi hesitated, but finally backed away. A long sword appeared in Kinyi's hand. Taking steps, slowly walked towards Obito. Let's get to know each other, right? Obito looked at Chiba, suddenly sneered. This time, I won't miss again. Ah, Chiba's laughter rose. It rises with the sound of wind and floats everywhere. Same. His body is also at this moment. Suddenly disappeared. Buzz, the sound of sword clanging. A silver sword light suddenly flashed. Head towards where Obito is. Only, Obito is also very fast. The moment the sword light fell, a wave of space fluctuation appeared instantly, and his body disappeared immediately. Tear, the long sword left a long, narrow, and terrifying mark on the ground. The ground is cracked. Not long after, Obito's body appeared again. Now, the Sherinon in his eyes has transformed into Manjikyo. Kakashi was standing aside and suddenly said. His ability, called Kamui, is a space-time ninjutsu that can use the power of the eyes to pull objects or people into a different space. After listening to Kakashi's explanation, Chiba didn't react much. The same goes for Obito. It's obvious that he has absolute confidence in his Kamui. Next moment, Obito throws a shuriken. Advertisement. At the same time, Sherinon trembled. The shuriken was contaminated with the power of space and became distorted. The shuriken was very fast, and it didn't take long to reach Chiba. Buzz, Kinyi slashed out with one sword. But, the moment the shuriken came into contact with Chiba's long sword, there was an extremely powerful spatial pulling force. That is the power of space and time added to the shuriken. Now, Obito actually wanted to use this ninjutsu to pull the sword in Chiba's hand directly into a different space. But it's a pity. He overestimated his own strength. At the same time, he also underestimated the power of Kinyi's sword. Laugh. Kinyi's sword fell. There aren't many obstacles. Finally, the space is directly broken. Also being cut was Obito's shuriken. His sword is too strong. It's simply not going to work. Seeing this, Obito's sherinan suddenly moved. Next moment. Three tails, who was originally seriously injured on the ground, howled again. Then, then he retracted into the carapace again, and thorns appeared and rushed towards Kinyi. At the same time, Obito attacked again. Boom, the terrifying destructive power caused by three tails began to spread at an extremely fast speed. Controlling three tails, Obito also launched an attack. Under the attack of the two sides, danger suddenly arose. This moment, even Itake, who had always been steady, couldn't help but clenched his fists quietly, sweating for Kinyi. It's too dangerous? Mamakai Zabuza held his breath when he saw this scene. He felt that few people could survive this attack. Horrible? The power of the tailed beast, coupled with the weird time and space ninjutsu, makes it difficult to guard against. At this moment, Zabuza was thinking, if it were him, he might not be able to hold on any longer and be killed. But, when Jiba faced such an attack, but he couldn't help but sneer. Stupid ants always think that they can shake the dragon by struggling hard, but they don't know. It's all delusion. He suddenly slashed out with his sword. Silver sword light streaked across the sky. Fall? Laugh? This sword, directly slashed horizontally onto the rolling three tails isofu. The carapace that had cracked before could no longer bear it and completely cracked. Roar? Advertisement. There was a roar from three tails. This sword almost cut it in half. If it weren't for the tailed beast's special physique, he might really have died from this sword. But, although three tails isofu is not dead, the wolfberry yagura that he relied on died under Chiba's sword. The fourth Mizu cage, who had been controlled for a long time, finally regained his consciousness at the last moment of his life. But, it's no longer useful. Life fades away. He looked at Kinyi and opened his mouth, as if he wanted to say something. But Chiba didn't have the patience to listen at all. The long sword continued to slash, and Yagura completely lost his life. He fell to the ground with a bang and died. Three tails huddled together. Before Yagura died, it was forcibly extracted by Obito. However, Obito had no time to care about him at this moment. Kinyi slashed with his sword again. Obito repeated his old trick and used Kamui again. But, when he reappeared, Chiba's body instantly appeared behind him. Flying Thunder God, laugh, this sword struck directly into Obito's body. Chiba's sword split Obito in two. Most of his body was cut off by him. As for the remaining body, Obito used Kamui and disappeared again. After disappearing this time, he never appeared again. On the ground, half of Obito's body gradually turned into white spores. Chiba narrowed his eyes. I can't feel any of Obito's scent. He escaped, around. Many ninjas belonging to Mist Shinobi looked at this scene blankly. But the next moment, Chiba waved his hand. Fifty ninjas from Impure World reincarnation swarmed them and killed them. After today, 
Hiragaku exists in name only. Fourth Mizukage Goju Yagura died and three tails was extracted. Mist Shinobi most of the ninjas were killed. There is almost no strength left. The only pity is that Obito was not left. But at least, Chiba knows where the enemy is and has a target. He will die eventually. Mizukage office. Kinyi glanced at the scene here, the coldness in his eyes still remained. Itaki walked in with one person. Road. Lord Chiba, when we were searching the village, we found another blood successor. That's a woman. Advertisement. Chapter 72 Use of Oil Style. Advertisement. At this moment, this female ninja appeared in front of Chiba. She has long reddish brown curly hair, and she has green eyes, but one of them is blocked by the long hair, and her lips are pink. As for the body shape, even if he is kneeling on the ground, he can still see the unevenness. And, wearing a blue tube top dress with a white belt around her waist. The nails are even painted with dark blue nail polish. Certainly. Just use two words to describe it. Very moist. Kinyi raised his eyebrows, looking at the blood successor Chienji. His eyes moved down and landed on a certain position. Sam Yi Lai came to mind and compared. Much weaker. It seems that the hidden power of Yang Escape is not very powerful. However, Chiba has always been very tolerant. He immediately walked in front of him, lowered his body, stretched out his index finger, and then lifted the chin of the blood successor. May I have your name? Photo. Terumi Mei. The voice was trembling. The chin is slippery. Chiba looked into her green eyes. What blood inheritance limits do you control? Terumi Mei subconsciously moved her eyes away, not daring to look at Chiba. However, he still said, it's lava style and boil style. This time, it was Chiba's turn to be surprised. He didn't expect that the woman in front of him actually had two blood inheritance limits. This is special. After all, under normal circumstances, it is extremely difficult to have a blood inheritance limit, let alone having two. Lava style. Boil style. Chiba suddenly started thinking. Obviously, the same is true for blood inheritance limits, and there are also strong and weak points. The difference should be the power of yin and yang escape in the body, or to put it simply, the power of the bloodline of sage of six paths. The strength of the bloodline determines the degree of chakra attribute upgrade. It also represents whether the blood inheritance limit is strong or not. Major clans such as Uchiha and Senju are equivalent to the direct bloodline of sage of six paths. However, by the end of the story, the power of the bloodline had begun to fade away. Therefore, Uchiha until now, there has been no existence comparable to the original Madara. For the same reason, no one can compare to Hashirama in Senjo. The reason is that the blood power of Sage of Six Paths in the body is too scarce. Not supporting them at all, inheriting the huge power of Sage of Six Paths. But, advertisement. Kinyi suddenly had an idea in his mind. If a member of one of the clans died cleanly, would the yin-yang escape power gathered in the body be concentrated on one person? He vaguely remembered that in the original work, the Uchiha clan was exterminated, and how many were left. Then, Uchiha Suzuki represents the Uchiha clan and inherits stronger power. Is it related to this? Then Senjo now. The overflowing power of Senjo will be inherited by Tsunade alone. Thinking of Tsunade, Chiba suddenly recalled a huge part of her body. Maybe, that's where it continues. After all, Yang Escape is also the power of the physical body. Hashirama's power was used crookedly. It's not impossible. Certainly. This time I came to Kiragakur for the blood inheritance limit. Now, it can be said to be perfect. Fourth Mizukage Yagura died, and he got three tails and two blood succession limits. Certainly. And the massive Kiragakur. Kiragakur is now empty, and Chiba still needs to take personal control of the situation. Then, hold Kiragakur firmly in your hand. So, if you want to do something, the only choice is. His eyes fell on Teru Mime. I also started to think about how to do it. And at this moment, Itaki and Kakashi were originally in the house. Kakashi suddenly said, Sir, let's go outside and see if there are any remaining missed shinobi ninjas. Chiba nodded. Kakashi withdrew. However, before exiting, he grabbed Itaki and pulled him out. Itaki looked confused. Senior, this is. Kakashi glanced at him. There are some things you can see and some things you can't. Itaki didn't understand even more. Kakashi looked at him quizzically. Kakashi raised his forehead helplessly, and finally took out a book from his arms. He threw it directly to Itaki. If you have nothing to do, read more books. Itaki subconsciously caught it. Then I saw a few huge words written on the title page. Make out paradise? Advertisement. What is this? Itaki looked at Kakashi in shock. But I saw that Kakashi had gradually walked away. However, he still warned. Find a place to secretly read it, and remember to return it to me after you've finished it. As he spoke, Kakashi muttered. There are some more at the end, I haven't finished them yet. With curiosity, Itake opened the first page of Intimate Paradise. The room suddenly became quiet. The air in Kiragakur is much humid compared to other villages. Perhaps due to environmental reasons, Terumi Mei's skin is much better. A little more watery. Chiba also just discovered this. Your fourth Mizukage Yagura has been under control these days. Terumi Mei immediately raised her head, with a hint of surprise in her eyes. But then, there was another sudden realization. It was obvious that she had already suspected this. After all, Kiragakur Yagura had always had a gentle personality before, but not long after. He implemented the blood mist policy to the end, making Kiragakur even more bloody. This gap between before and after is hard not to make people suspicious. Now that Yagura is dead, the people behind him have also escaped. Chiba said, Kiragakura's strength has been greatly reduced, and there are not even one ninja out of ten who can use it. I want to take control of this situation, but I won't stay. I need someone. The words were not finished. But enough of the hint. If this person was a local ninja from Kiragakura, it would naturally be better. He could manage Mist Shinobi and communicate with the daimyos of the Land of Water at the same time, so there wouldn't be much of a problem. Will not cause riots. However, he needs a qualified and obedient person. Chiba's eyes fell on Teru Mime. It depends on how she chooses. Really. After hearing this, Teru Mime fell silent for a moment. She is a very smart woman. Chiba can see that she is not weak in strength. She has mastered the limits of the two blood inheritances. If she wants to escape, she must use some means to catch her. But now, when she was caught, there was no injury or dirt on her body. It was obvious that she was caught on purpose. That is to say, when she came here, she came with negotiations and temptations. Chiba has been given the opportunity, and as for the rest, it depends on whether she can seize it. Get up. Chiba sat on the chair. 
He turned his head and looked at the sky outside the window. Mist Shinobi has been shrouded in heavy fog all year round, but after the previous battle, this fog has been dispersed a lot. So I could vaguely see the gray sky outside. Advertisement. It's really depressing. In such an environment, people who have been held in for a long time always need to vent and release. Time passed slowly. Chiba was in no hurry to urge. In other words, he didn't care at all. At worst, just grab it and send it for research. But, Terumime is indeed smart. The decision came quickly. She stood up immediately. Looking at Kinyi, he bit his lower lip. Sir, I want to take charge of Kirigakur. She made a decision. Chiba smiled softly. What's the price? There is never a free lunch in the world. If you want to take charge of Miss Shinobi, you need to pay. Chiba's words stopped abruptly. Sir, I, I am at a marriageable age. There are two kinds of blood inheritance limits that Terumime is good at. Lava style and boil style. In fact, in comparison, boil style is better at it. Boil style consists of chakra changes with two attributes, water and fire, thus creating a blood inheritance boundary. For the use of boil style, there is this trick, technique. It uses the chakra changes of the two attributes of water and fire, and combines them to spray a high heat mist from the mouth. Certainly, as a user of this ability, Terumi Mei is very comfortable with it. You can freely control the temperature of this ability. Chiba experienced it. It is indeed a good blood inheritance limit. Very powerful. However, perhaps it was the differentiation between the two blood inheritance boundaries that caused her own yang escape power to be somewhat unbalanced. Not as powerful as Tsunade and Samui. But since it is a mist shinobi environment, this power of yang escape, in a sense, has other characteristics. After all, people in Kirigakur are very good at water style. The same goes for Terumi Mei. Finally, Terumi Mei gained Chiba's trust. This trust is deeply imprinted in the body. She will represent Chiba and Helm Mist Shinobi. That is, the fifth Mizu Cage. Of course, it is worth mentioning that. Mizu Cage knows a lot of water style ninjutsu. From now on, you are Mist Shinobi's new Mizu Cage. Chiba said. Advertisement. Chapter 73 Return to the Village Great Victory. Advertisement. Now, right in the Hokage office. Sarutobi put down the document in his hand, raised his head, looked at the Umbu Ninja in front of him, and couldn't help but ask. Is there any latest news? Yes, Lord Third Generation, Namikaze Minato left not long ago and brought dozens of people to Kirigakur. I heard a lot of noise from Kirigakur recently. I think it was Namikaze Chiba fighting with Kirigakur's people. Our people looked closely for a while, only to see that Mist Shinobi had used the power of three tails. They saw the tailed beast bomb appearing, and then hurriedly evacuated. As for the rest, I'm not sure. This is all the news brought by Umbu Ninja. However, after hearing this, Sarutobi couldn't help but stroke the beard on his chin and smiled. Okay, I know, you can just go down. After Umbu leaves, Sarutobi's smile naturally grew wider. This news has proven a lot of things. First point first. Namikaze Chiba took dozens of people to Mist Shinobi. There are not many people in this area. But it is precisely because of this that it shows that these dozens of people should all be elites. Once a lot is lost, both Uchiha and Hayaga will lose a lot of power. This can weaken these two major clans. In other words, the power in Namikaze Chiba's hands was weakened. Certainly, this is one of them. How much can be lost is still unknown. However, since Kirigakur used the power of the tailed beast, it is enough to see how brutal the battle was. So, there will certainly be a lot of losses. Second, even Mist Shinobi has endured such a war and will undoubtedly hold a grudge against Namikaze Chiba. Maybe, Sarutobi had an idea at this point. This can be used to win over Kirigakur and attack Namikaze Chiba. Of course, this is Sarutobi's temporary thought. As for whether it is feasible, we still have to try. Anyway, what can be proven now is that Namikaze Chiba must have suffered a huge loss. This is the best news. After a while, Sarutobi cleared his mind. He also called people. Let's ask someone to watch outside the village. Once Namikaze Chiba returns to the village, let me know as soon as possible. Yes, being an enlightened Hokage. Advertisement. The hero of the village has returned, so naturally he has to welcome him. Even though Namikaze Chiba suffered a great loss, if Sarutobi saw him personally going to the village entrance to greet him, he would definitely have different thoughts. Young people are, after all, extremely easy to handle. Mist Shinobi, in Mizukage's office, Terumi Mei got down from the chair. After receiving Chiba's approval, she also gained the authority to take charge of Kirigakur. She took advantage of her blood inheritance limit to let the man in front of her experience Kirigakur's ninjutsu. Grown-ups, Chiba nodded. The haze brought by Kirigakurko has indeed cleared up a lot. At this time, although there is still heavy fog outside, it has become much clearer, at least, it is no longer so depressing. Although you are in charge of Mist Shinobi, Mist Shinobi's current strength has been reduced too much. If you rely solely on these strengths, it will be difficult to stabilize. Although it may not be discovered in a short period of time, this is a hidden danger after all. Terumi may listen to Chiba's words calmly, doesn't interrupt. So, I'll leave some people behind for you. These people will help you quickly stabilize the situation in the village. Terumi may look surprised. Obviously, he didn't expect that Chiba would make such a decision. After all, the 50 people he brought were not only powerful but also immortal. There are only 50 people, but they have several times the power. If they can take charge of such a team, Miss Shinobi's strength will not drop much at all. Thank you, sir. Terumi may bowed. Next, I'm leaving here. Please pay more attention to Mist Shinobi's situation. All the 50 people brought by Kinyi stayed. One is that people reincarnated by Impure World Reincarnation can easily be seen by Sarutobi Hiruzen. If you take it back like this, it will be exposed easily. After all, as a disciple of Second Hokage, Sarutobi has naturally seen reanimation jutsu. Once Sarutobi sees through it, there is no doubt that all the previous preparations will be greatly compromised. If Sarutobi knew, he would not have brought back any of the people he brought with him. Don't know how to be happy? Maybe, now I am waiting to welcome myself back. Chiba laughed silently. When Chiba stepped out, Itaka calmly put away a book. The cheeks are slightly rosy. Chiba noticed this, but did not expose it. After all, he was very familiar with the cover of Intimate Love in Heaven. Jiraiya's first time collecting work was brought by Chiba. Advertisement. Grown-ups. Itaka lowered his head and shouted. Um, there was a smile on Chiba's lips. Okay, we're leaving. Chiba left Kirigakur with Itaki and Kakashi. Certainly. Also taken away was three tails. This is a trophy. On the way. 
Kakashi was a little confused. My lord, why don't you bring them back? Chiba smiled and explained. It would be more useful if they stayed in Kirigakur. Besides, Sarutobi doesn't want to see them go back. Kakashi mused. Then he glanced at Itaki and touched him with his arm. Itaki was stunned for a moment. He immediately noticed Kakashi's gaze, and suddenly realized that a lot of the book in his arms was exposed. Stuff it back quickly. It didn't take long for Chiba and the others to approach Kanaha. At the same time, their whereabouts were also discovered by the Ambu Ninja. Kakashi narrowed his eyes. Sir, there were people around just now. Chiba said, it should be the Ambu Ninja. It won't take long for Sarutobi to get the news. We don't have to rush back. We should walk slower and give Sarutobi more time to prepare. Kakashi nodded and said, yes. Now, after the Ambu Ninja returned, he naturally reported to Sarutobi as soon as possible. After Sarutobi heard the news, he took a long puff of cigarette and said with a smile, our hero is back. Let's go and greet him. Spread the news that Kanaha's heroes who are fighting abroad are back, and let the villagers come to welcome them. Now, Sarutobi naturally doesn't mind building momentum for Chiba. After all, the Ambu Ninja reported just now that only two of the dozens of people Namikaze Chiba brought with him have returned. This is the biggest surprise for Sarutobi. Of course I don't mind these things. With some false fame and honor, you can tie Namikaze Chiba and hold him firmly in your hands. For Sarutobi, it is naturally an extremely cost-effective deal. Shortly after, Sarutobi arrived at the entrance of the village. Advertisement. At this time, there were already many people at the entrance of the village. Moreover, the villagers were extremely emotional. After all, it's a big win. And it was Kanaha's great victory against the outside world. Such a victory has not occurred for a long time. So this time, the villagers were undoubtedly very excited. The appearance of Sarutobi Hiruzen naturally ignited this emotion even higher. But, in comparison, Sarutobi Hiruzen is clearer. That's it. Namikaze Chiba is simply difficult to win. Now, this time is just to build up momentum for him and wash away the pain of huge losses. In Sarutobi's words, this is like a slap in the face and a sweet day to eat. He kept looking into the distance with a faint smile. Waiting for Namikaze Chiba and others to come back. I feel particularly good. Even though the sun above his head was huge and the sun was scorching, Sarutobi still didn't feel hot. He couldn't wait to see Namikaze Chiba and give him a big encouragement. Shortly after, a huge picture suddenly appeared in the distance. It was a scene like a hill. When seeing this scene, it immediately attracted many eyeballs. What is that? Oh my god, it seems like a hill is moving. How is this possible? That, looks like an extremely huge turtle. Turtle, how can there be such a big turtle? At this time, some ninjas recognized the identity of the huge turtle and couldn't help but exclaimed. That, that's three tails. What? Why are the three tails among the tailed beasts here? Look, there are three more people. Suddenly, everyone looked at it. It was the three people from Chiba. Chiba walked in front, his clothes fluttering and smiling. Behind him, Kakashi and Itake were dragging three tails forward slowly. Sarutobi was also shocked at this moment. Hero, that's our hero. The hero is back. Our hero is back. Not only did they win, they also captured the tailed beast. Now, listen to this. Sarutobi's originally smiling face suddenly froze. Advertisement. Chapter 74 hit Sarutobi hard in the face. Advertisement. As the figure in the distance becomes clearer, Sarutobi's originally pretty face, his smile completely froze. Because in his opinion, Namikaze Chiba should not only suffer heavy losses this time, but also not gain much. But now, it was true that the losses were heavy, but, how did he catch the tailed beast? Sarutobi is very aware of the power of tailed beasts. The original Nine Tails Rebellion cost many fourth hokage their lives. Of course, Obito deserves a lot of credit for this. But it also proves how powerful the tailed beast is. In Sarutobi's opinion, the dozens of people Chiba brought could at most cause some damage to Miss Shinobi, and then they would run back in a hurry, or even disgraced. So today, since he brought people to greet Chiba, he also came to see the school beauty of Chiba. But what about now? But he brought back Kirigakur's three tails? How is this going? When did Kirigakur become so weak? Many doubts filled Sarutobi's mind. However, there was no more time for Sarutobi to think about it. Because Namikaze Chiba had already brought Kakashi and Itake to the front. Bang! Now, Kakashi and Itake no longer exerted any force and dropped three tails on the ground casually. Suddenly, it made a lot of noise, and at the same time, it also raised dust all over the sky. All of a sudden the villagers were excited. Is this three tails? It doesn't look as good as nine tails. Indeed, it's a bit ugly, but this big guy and the thorns on its carapace must be very powerful. This injury is so serious. Could it be that it was all done by Master Chiba? Master Chiba is so handsome. It's like a village, no, the most handsome man in the ninja world. At this time, with the appearance of three tails Isofu, praises for Chiba came one after another. Moreover, the praises from the villagers are all heartfelt. The worship of the strong. Chiba enjoyed the praise from the villagers and some low-level ninjas, and Kakashi and Itake naturally also benefited a lot. The scene is enjoyable, but Sarutobi Hiruzen seems a bit useless. Somewhat redundant, but, after all, Sarutobi has been a hokage for many years and has extremely good adjustment skills. It didn't take long to adjust. The smile reappeared on his face. Kinyi, thank you for your hard work this time. Sarutobi smiled and spoke. You have sacrificed so much for the village. Chiba turned around and looked at the old fox with a smile. Road. Master third generation is joking. After all, it's all for the village. This time, although we paid an extremely painful price, fortunately, we won. At this moment, Kinyi looked at the crowd and said loudly, We won a great victory in the war against Miss Shinobi. From now on, Miss Shinobi will never invade Kanaha again. As Chiba finished speaking, Kakashi shouted at the right time. Kanaha must win. Itake followed suit. Kanaha must win. The villagers shouted in unison. We must win. Kanaha must win. The sound was so high that one sound drowned out the other. At the entrance of the village, something like this happened. It was beyond Sarutobi's expectation. It is true that he is here to help Kinyi build momentum, but since he is building momentum, it will be within a controllable range. This situation is obviously out of control right now, looking at the rather fanatical villagers. Sarutobi felt empty for some reason. At this time, 
There were even villagers around Sarutobi whispering. Advertisement. Why don't Mr. Third Generation shout along? This is not conducive to unity. Although the words were spoken in a low voice and were covered by the shouts of the crowd, Sarutobi still heard them. Sarutobi's face turned green. The feeling of excess is becoming more and more obvious. No, he must not allow this to happen. So, at this time, Sarutobi suddenly smiled and said, As expected of you, you have won such a great victory, and you are worthy of me handing over the command to you this time. Sarutobi had a big smile on his face. Moreover, his voice was not soft when he said this. Really, just after Sarutobi finished speaking, many villagers suddenly realized. It turns out it was the third generation Sama who made the decision. Master third generation is really wise. As expected of you, my lord, you have made such a correct decision. Third generation Sama is really a mastermind. There was still a smile in Kinyi's eyes, but there was still a bit of coldness in the smile. Obviously, Sarutobi wants to get a piece of this huge fame. Want to pick my peaches? Ha, huh, I really think too much. At this time, Chiba looked at Sarutobi, and Sarutobi looked at him with a smile. There was a hint of provocation in his eyes. Obviously, the meaning is that again, I just share your reputation. What can you do? At this moment, Kinyi nodded and said, It is indeed the credit of third generation Sama. If it were not for you, sir, it would be difficult to win. The smile on Sarutobi's face grew wider. He thought that he had achieved a great victory in this battle. At least, Namikaze Chiba couldn't deny this. There is nothing more satisfying than when someone else does something and the benefits are taken away by him. Only, Namikaze Chiba has never been one to suffer. Therefore, he suddenly spoke. Third generation Sama made a very wise decision. If you hadn't decided to hand over all the command of the ninjas in the village to me, we might not have been able to achieve such a great victory. However, after taking command of all the ninjas, I was a little panicked for a moment, fearing that the command was not good. Fortunately, I won this time. After saying this, Chiba looked at Sarutobi with a smile. The smile that was originally on Sarutobi's face suddenly froze. Because what he initially promised Chiba was the power to command during wartime. This is equivalent to a big pie. After all, judging from Kanaha's current situation, starting a war will definitely not be possible in a short time. At least, it will take 5 or even 10 years to wait. By that time, Sarutobi felt that with his own efforts, he should have been able to solve everything long ago. But now, Namikaze Chiba actually wants to take advantage of this to take all the command rights of the ninjas in the village? This is equivalent to that, no matter whether it is wartime or not, as long as they are ninjas in Kanaha, they will be managed by Namikaze Chiba? In other words, this is the military power of the village. Sarutobi has been holding it tightly and is naturally unwilling to hand it over. Only, after Namikaze Chiba said these words, the villagers suddenly realized. So that's it. Lord Third Generation is indeed extremely wise. Your Excellency is so wise. It seems that he found that his command ability was insufficient, so he made this decision. Hey, what are you talking about? Don't you, Mr. Third Generation, have the ability to recognize people? If you hadn't chosen Mr. Chiba, how could you have achieved such a victory? That's right. In the final analysis, it's Master Third Generation's wise decision. Your Excellency is righteous. At this moment, Sarutobi also enjoyed the cheers. Moreover, the villagers also spoke from the bottom of their hearts. However, Sarutobi was not happy at all with this cheer. Because this means that Namikaze Chiba will ask him for the military power in his hands again. And this, in front of so many people, Namikaze Chiba also said that he, Sarutobi, took the initiative to hand it over. This also means that it is difficult for him to deny this matter in front of so many people. If not, then what was he doing to gain the reputation of Namikaze Chiba? Advertisement. Are you licking your bee face and trying to covet the credit of others? So of course Sarutobi couldn't say this. No matter how wrong he was, he could only swallow it alive. This moment, Chiba approached Sarutobi and whispered, Then, thank you for your generosity, sir. After, Namikaze Chiba left with people, and of course, three tails. After Namikaze Chiba left, Sarutobi had a gloomy face, and his expression became even more ugly. Today, it can be said that we have suffered a huge loss, but there is no way he would hand over this power. Returned home with three tails Isofu. Chiba went to Orikimuro and handed three tails into his hands. At the same time, there was also the energy that sealed part of Terumime's power. Since he couldn't bring it back in a short time, he used other methods to seal some of her energy. So bring it back. After Orikimura saw it, a trace of surprise appeared in his eyes. Kanbakun is really fast. With these powers, Minato's condition can be stabilized a lot. At least he won't have to stay with nine tails like before. Chiba nodded. That's good. After all, there is really no way around Minato's current situation. He needs to stay with nine tails all the time and let nine tails recharge. Once you leave nine tails, problems can arise. After leaving Orikimura, Chiba returned to his house. Master, you are back. Samai, who was wearing looser clothes, came up naturally. At the same time, he bent down and put away the shoes that Chiba had taken off. Chiba sat lazily on the chair. Samai came over and gently squeezed his shoulders. Not with your hands, of course. This should be regarded as a new massage technique. At the very least, the physical requirements are not small. Most people can't do it. Chiba leaned his head back and had a nice pillow. There is a faint scent of a different kind. After a massage, based on the principle that one cannot enjoy it alone, Chiba naturally wants to return it. Come over. He patted his leg. Chiba's technique is average. But the advantage is that he is a man and has greater strength. Often when you are very strong, you will suffer a lot of pain. And, not only is it more powerful, but the massage time is also longer. At this moment, an inconspicuous place. Obito finally recovered his body, with a sinister look in his eyes. He failed again. For the first time, an arm was broken under the Namikaze Chiba sword. At that time, he thought he was just underestimating the enemy. That's why it fails. But this time, half of his body was cut off. If he hadn't possessed Kamui, his ability to escape would have been extraordinary. I'm afraid I'm really going to die there. I will definitely take revenge. Obito said coldly. The current purpose of the Akatsuki organization is mainly to collect tailed beasts. Now, three tails and nine tails are both in Namikaze Chiba. Therefore, Namikaze Chiba is a point they cannot get around. So, Obito's eyes changed. Advertisement. Maybe it's time for Pain to take action. A place quite far away from Kanaha. A tall man wearing a red coat walks slowly. On the forehead protector he wears, there is a big word oil written on it. 
Her hair is long, reaching to her waist. Under the eyes, there are long red marks. His name is Jiraiya. I haven't been back for a long time. I wonder if the girls in the village miss me. Recalling the beautiful pictures in his mind, Jiraiya laughed. This also made him move faster. However, Jiraiya may not know that the village has undergone great changes in these days. This change will take him by surprise. Yudid and Koharu received orders from third generation. So I came to the Hokage office. Sarutobi sat on a chair, smoking puff after puff of cigarette. By the time Yudid and Koharu came in, the room was already filled with thick smoke. There is almost no one in sight. Seeing Yudid and Koharu coming, Sarutobi looked at her and suddenly asked a question. What do you think of Namikaze Chiba? Yudid and Koharu was stunned and didn't understand why Sarutobi was so crazy. But she was careful. She knew what happened to Mitokato Homura. This stupid person thought that by gaining some power, he would have the capital to fight against Sarutobi. But in the end, he was held down by Sarutobi. Yudid and Koharu didn't want this, so she was cautious. Yudid and Koharu said. He is very ambitious and has big plans. This was what she said after careful consideration. After hearing this, Sarutobi nodded and took another puff of cigarette out of habit. You're right. He does have big plans. After all, now in front of everyone, he is demanding all the command rights of the village ninjas. Sarutobi didn't agree, but he didn't refuse either. But this is a signal, because he is the default. At least the villagers, and even the ninjas, already knew about this. And he, Sarutobi Hiruzen, did not refute, which meant that he acquiesced in this matter. In other words, this matter only needs to ferment for a while. He, Namikaze Chiba, may use this title to wildly expand his power. He must find a way to stop it. But, what should we do? Sarutobi said. He wants to take away all the power of the village, and even, the lives of us old guys. As soon as he opened his mouth, he tied Yudid and Koharu to a boat. Yudid and Koharu frowned. Don't understand what Sarutobi means. But he still said. Then Mr. Third Generation, do you have any good ideas? Sarutobi sighed. He has become a climate now and is difficult to deal with. But, Sarutobi knows that Namikaze Chiba has suffered a lot this time, and if he pays the price, he will definitely do it. However, he still wanted to keep a hand, and did not want others to benefit from it, thus threatening him. This is why he called Yudin Koharu. Yudin Koharu thought for a while and suddenly said, I remember that the kids in this class have been genin for a while. Sarutobi narrowed his eyes and continued to look at her. Yudin Koharu said, No, when we were holding the genin exam, the words were not finished, but the meaning was obvious. Sarutobi narrowed his eyes, feeling a little moved. There are many talented children in this class, so many have skipped a grade and graduated early. The genin exam is not far away. Advertisement. Chapter 75 Shinin Examination Advertisement After returning to the village, Chiba's life became regular again. Especially under the care of Samai, -ai, he lived a life of two points and one line. However, if you work too hard, you will inevitably get back pain. Namikaze Minato's situation is now completely stable. These days, he has been practicing ninjutsu with Naruto. Teach the ninjutsu he created, raise non. Well, this is one of Minato's few ninjutsus with simple names. But, often a concise name means it is not easy to learn. Chiba is too lazy to teach. After all, ninjutsu is actually just clapping your hands and shouting something. What are the seals for? Isn't it a waste of time? Samai -ai helped Chiba put on her clothes. Chiba decided to take a look at Minato's teachings. It didn't take long for Chiba to arrive. I also heard Minato's voice from a distance. Oh, why don't you know how to do it? The ninjutsu of Reisnan is very simple. Look, you just need to ping it once and then ping it to make it explode. A water ball appeared in Minato's hand, and then exploded with a bang. Naruto looked at Minato. Minato looked at Naruto with big eyes and small eyes. Chiba burst out laughing. This teaching technique was used by Naruto when he taught Kano Amuro. It is so bizarre, but Kano Amuro learned it. Uncle, when he saw Chiba, Naruto directly abandoned the water ball in his hand and ran over. Then he threw himself into Chiba's arms. Uncle, can you teach me? Dad is too stupid. Ha 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 ha. Chiba hugged Naruto and said with a smile. You are right, your father is indeed too stupid. However, your father is more skilled in the Reisnan ninjutsu. Uncle, won't you? Naruto asked curiously. It will happen. Then why is it not as skilled as dad? Naruto didn't understand. Chiba touched Naruto's head. This ninjutsu is too weak. Uncle must use a stronger one. Oh, Naruto understood. At the same time he said. I must develop a ninjutsu that can surpass my uncle and father's ninjutsu. Come on. Touching Naruto's head. Chiba suddenly thought, it couldn't be technique seducing her, right? This ninjutsu is perfect against Jiraiya. After playing with Naruto for a while, Chiba left here immediately. Not long after, Itaka found Chiba and came to report on the situation in the village. Lord Chiba, the news that we have brought three tails back has spread throughout the village, but, it seems that the village is not too peaceful now. This of course refers to Sarutobi. Chiba smiled. It's nothing. He thinks that we have suffered such a heavy loss, so he will naturally be prepared. I guess there will be a plan this time. Weasel said, third generation wants to take action against us. I can't say for sure. However, with Sarutobi's conscientious character, he must be fully prepared before doing such a thing. Otherwise, he would not take action. But, what else can he do? Itaka still didn't quite believe that Sarutobi dared to make such a desperate move. Chiba smiled softly. Of course there are ways. Although the situation inside the village is not good, there are still many forces outside the village. The three major ninja villages and Akatsuki are not weak forces. If Sarutobi wants to unite with these forces, he can really cause a lot of trouble. However, Chiba is not afraid at all. Advertisement. Itaka said again. One more thing, Master Jiraiya, the village is not far away. Jiraiya. His figure appeared in Kini's mind. When he comes back, let him come to see me. He will have to make a choice sooner or later. After all, he is a disciple of Sarutobi. Although the son in each left the village because of Sarutobi, Jiraiya always thought about friendship. After he returns to the village, he will definitely have to face a choice. Chiba feels good about Jiraiya and can use some persuasion. At this moment, in the Hokage's office, Sarutobi looked at Yudin Koharu and asked. Everyone has been sent out. Um, Yudin Koharu nodded and asked. In this case, wouldn't it be too dangerous? Once it gets out of control, the village will inevitably be affected. After all, if other villages are here, it will be too concentrated. Sarutobi smiled and said. What we want is this effect. 
We can use the name of the Jinin exam to bring several other villages to Kanaha, and then take the opportunity to let them conflict with Namikaze Chiba and weaken the strength of both parties. In this case, it will be more conducive for us to take action. As long as Namikaze Chiba's strength is weakened again, then, we will have more power to deal with him. At this time, Sarutobi has realized it. Namikaze Chiba has become a trend, and he can no longer sit back and watch Namikaze Chiba develop. Otherwise, if it continues to develop, its power will become more and more powerful. I'm afraid it won't be solved at all by then. It must be dealt with. At this time, seeing Sarutobi's extremely serious expression, Yudadan Kohara fell silent. Sarutobi said, Don't worry, I'm sure about this matter. The Jinin exam must be held. We just take this opportunity to solve all the hidden dangers. Even if we can't completely solve it, we can still solve the internal troubles. As for foreign aggression, after getting rid of Namikaze Chiba, we will naturally have money. No big deal, it's the same as before. Sarutobi thinks well. As long as the internal problems are solved, the external problems can be solved gradually. It won't be long before the title of Kanaha's strongest ninja will naturally come back again. Failure once or twice is nothing at all. As long as he is still here, everything can come back. Sarutobi's eyes became more determined. Yudadan Koharu left and the ninjas he arranged also left the village, went to other ninja villages to convey the meaning of third Hokage Sarutobi Hirazan. Ninjas are fast, go separate ways. The first one to arrive was Cloud Shinobi Village. However, AI heard that Kanaha's ninjas were coming, but he did not choose to receive them. In his opinion, since it was someone sent by Sarutobi, there was probably nothing good going on, so he might as well wait for a few days. So, instead, it was Awegakur who fell behind, and his ninja met Suchikage. Onoki looked at the Kanaha Shinobi in front of him. I scoff. What, Sarutobi asked you to come here again, what do you want to tell me? Does Kanaha have too much money to hold, and wants to give some to Rock Shinobi? The Kanaha Shinobi who came to deliver the news felt uncomfortable, but it is in Awegakur after all. It's not easy to show it. He could only say, Suchikage sama third generation Sama asked me to come here. Onaki interrupted him directly. Sarutobi must have done nothing good by asking you to come. I know Sarutobi very well. Not only is he cowardly, but he is also full of bad intentions. Onaki looked like he had seen through it all. Do you think I should listen to you? The ninja's heart suddenly trembled. Looking at Onoki's cold eyes, couldn't help but swallow. Advertisement. Suchikage sama I, I am just a messenger. Obviously, he felt Onoki's murderous intention. If there is something that is not clearly stated, I'm afraid. Onoki will take action directly. Therefore, he was extra careful. Fortunately, Onoki did not take action. This relieved him. Onoki chuckled, looked at him and said, Tell me, what news did Sarutobi ask you to bring? The ninja breathed a sigh of relief again. Then he quickly said, It's like this. Because the new generation of young people in the village are almost reaching the level of Chinin, Master Third Generation decided to hold a Chinin exam. He wanted to invite the young ninjas from Iwegakur to take the Chinin exam together. It's considered a friendly exchange between villages. After hearing this, Onoki suddenly narrowed his eyes. From this information alone, we really can't see that Sarutobi has any additional intentions. After all, if Kanaha were to hold the Chinin exam, a lot of things would indeed need to be prepared. It's time-consuming, labor-intensive, and costly. Anyway, Onoki would not be willing to do these things if Onoki was asked to come. However, Sarutobi did. And, other villages were also invited. Looking at the situation, it is obviously impossible to only invite Awegakur. There must be other villages. But, what is the purpose of Sarutobi? What does he want to do? What's the intention? Onoki frowned. At this time, the Kanaha ninja did not dare to say anything, but quietly waited for Onoki's reply. Onoki pondered for a moment, and indeed didn't notice anything wrong. Finally said, Forget it, I promised Sarutobi. You go back and tell Sarutobi that I, Iwegakur, will be there. Thank you, Suchikage sama The ninja quickly left Iwegakur as if he had been granted amnesty. Looking at the leaving Kanaha shinobi, Onoki smiled disdainfully. As expected of the person sent by Sarutobi, he is a coward like him. The time for Chinin's exam is ten days from now. Therefore, there is still a lot of time left for Onoki. He was not in a hurry. Sunagakur. Fourth Kaze Cage Raza met the ninja sent by Kanaha. In the original work, Raza died at the hands of Orikimura. However, in the current plot, Orikimura is in Kanaha, so there is no time to care about him, so the real Raza is set to still be alive. Compared to larger wild trees, Luosha's attitude is better. However, these are just some. Although Sunagakur's strength is not as good as Kanaha's, but, because of Sarutobi's character, other ninja villages, even if they are weaker, dare to show off. All this is because they know that even if they really did something, Sarutobi didn't dare to really take action. At most, it's just a condemnation, but in the end, you still have to pay compensation? At this point, Cloud Shinobi Village is unstoppable. Because of Cloud Shinobi Village, we have received compensation from Kanaha more than once. Even, it was clearly Cloud Shinobi Village who took action to snatch Hayagaz via Kugan, but in the end, it was Kanaha who compensated him. Is there anything more outrageous than this? This shows Sarutobi's character. Met the messenger from Kanaha. Luosha asked with a cold face. What's the matter? Master Kaze Cage, Master Hokage sent me here to invite the young ninjas under your command to participate in the Chinin exam held in Kanaha. When the time comes, you can bring your subordinates to Kanaha village to watch the exam together. Chinin exam. Luo Sha fell silent. He was weighing the pros and cons. Nothing else. Advertisement. There is none left. Okay, just go back and report to Sarutobi. Sunagakur will participate. Yes. Cloud Shinobi Village. A few days later, AI finally remembered that there was a ninja from Kanaha in Cloud Shinobi Village, and he just received him. The ninja had a wry smile on his face. He had thought that it would be difficult to come to Cloud Shinobi Village, but he did not expect that it would be so difficult. This. Rakage is completely unreasonable. At this time, Rakage still looked indifferent, looking at Kanaha's envoy with a sneer. Tell me, what is Sarutobi's purpose? Yes, Lord Third Generation wants to hold the Chinin exam and invites young ninjas from Cloud Shinobi Village. Chinin exam. AI snorted. Isn't Sarutobi afraid he has other plans? What does he want to do again? The Kanaha ninja didn't dare to answer. There is absolutely no way to answer this. Therefore, the only choice is silence. AI asked again. 
Who did Sarutobi tell the news to? Back to Lord Rakage, Lord Third Generation sent people to deliver the news to each village. In other words, how many major villages will be included in this Chunin exam? Yes. The ninja nodded. AI groped his chin. He was a little unsure about what Sarutobi wanted to do, but since he would go to several major villages, Cloud Shinobi would naturally not be absent. Sidewalk. That's fine. You can go back. Cloud Shinobi village will be there. But go back and tell Sarutobi not to try any tricks. Roll. The ninjas of Kanaha left in despair. When I reached the entrance of Cloud Shinobi village, I couldn't help but breathe a sigh of relief. The pressure given by Rakage is too strong. Kirigakur. The person who came to Mist Shinobi was an Ambu ninja. Sarutobi wanted to know about Mist Shinobi's situation to determine what Namikaze Chiba's loss was. Therefore, the people here are much stronger. There is also enough confidence. When Ambu saw Terumi Mei, he was stunned for a moment. He remembered that Mist Shinobi's music cage should be Yagura. When did it change to a woman? Moreover, Mist Shinobi seemed a little too quiet along the way. This made him frown. Terumi Mei's natural way, Mist Shinobi's current situation, cannot show timidity. Then he sneered. Tell me, what's the matter? Seeing Terumi Mei's tough attitude, the Ambu ninja felt a sudden change in his heart. No longer thinking about it, he quickly told the matter. Shinin exam. Terumi Mei looked thoughtful. She hesitated slightly. After all, if you go to Kanaha, you will inevitably expose something. But, in her mind, she suddenly thought of Kinyi. I remembered the scene of that day again. Suddenly, my body felt a little hot. Finally, Terumi Mei made the decision. I will take people there, you can go back. Yes, the Ambu ninja left. At this point, several major ninja villages have agreed. Advertisement. Chapter 76 Orikimura and Jireya. Advertisement. Shinin exam. After hearing the news, Chiba couldn't help laughing. He originally thought that Sarutobi could have some different strategies and come up with some new tricks. I really didn't expect it to be the case. It's just a matter of using the Chinin exam to bring some people over. I want to use this to attack Chiba. And weaken his strength. However, I have to say that Sarutobi is really cautious. Obviously, he had already lost 50 elite ninjas. But now, Sarutobi can still hold back. I have to say, I can really bear it. Sarutobi, the Hokage, is the one who has endured to the end. The Hokage endured and lived up to his reputation. Sir, Jiraiya has returned to the village. Well, let him come over. Chiba ordered. Yes. Then, Itaka went to the entrance of the village and soon saw Jiraiya's figure. Jiraiya stood at the entrance of the village and looked into the village. He hadn't returned for a long time, and the Kanaha of today was quite different from the Kanaha in his memory. Jiraiya didn't look at it for long. Then, he saw Itaki appearing beside him. Who are you? Jiraiya searched for memories in his mind. However, when he left the village, Itaka was still young and he had never seen this Uchiha brat. But that didn't stop him from recognizing Itaka's identity. Are you Fugaku's son? Itaka's appearance is naturally very similar to Fugaku's. It's easy to see. My name is Itaki. Itaki, you've grown so big, why did you come to me for something? Itaka looked at Jiraiya and said truthfully, Master Chiba asked you to come over and see me. Chiba. Chiba's figure appeared in Jiraiya's mind. You are already called an adult. It seems that Chiba is staying and preparing to take over Minato's stall. He is very familiar with Chiba and Minato. The relationship with Minato is more like master and apprentice. As for Chiba, they are good friends. Although the two personalities are different, their hobbies have some similarities. Certainly, Chiba is not like Jiraiya. Well, he is well informed. Please take me there. Then, Jiraiya followed Itaka to meet Chiba. When Jiraiya appears in the room, Chiba looked at him. Jiraiya naturally also looked at Chiba. It's been a long time. I didn't expect you to be in such great power, but you are different from before. Jiraiya sighed. I remember that you didn't want to be tainted by power in the past. You were so lazy, how could you be willing to scheme with others? After hearing this, Chiba naturally felt a little emotional. People will always change things they can't help. Even if they don't want to do something, they will always do it. Jiraiya smiled and said, This isn't like you. All right. Chiba is unwilling to repeat this matter again. He looked at Jiraiya and got straight to the point. Then it's time to get down to business. Now that you are back in the village, how long do you plan to stay? Jiraiya suddenly looked at him. Why do you think you are going to drive me away after hearing this? Chiba said, You may not be aware that you haven't been in the village these days, but now Sarutobi and I are incompatible. After you come back, you will most likely be involved. Sarutobi will not let you continue to do this. So, Chiba looked at Jiraiya, the rest of the words unsaid. Advertisement. Next, how do you choose? Jiraiya fell silent after hearing this. He did not expect that when he returned to the village, there would be such a scene. He knew that since Minato died and the teacher came back to power, there would undoubtedly be conflicts. As the younger brother of Namikaze Minato, Namikaze Chiba will definitely be feared by the teacher. In particular, this boy is extremely talented and is appreciated by the great names. It can be said that if you want to be Hokage, it is very possible. So, this is a threat to Sarutobi's position. And with the teacher's temperament, there is no way he would allow this to happen. In this case, the conflict between the two is inevitable. And Jiraiya, who returned to the village at this time, was naturally mixed in with it. How does he make a choice? After a while, Jiraiya was not sure and sighed. In this, short period of time, it will be difficult for me to reply. Chiba said, it's better that you just leave. Jiraiya glanced at Chiba. That's not it, I just came back. Chiba was indifferent. I met Orikimura and he said the Rinnegan appeared again. What? When he heard the words Rinnegan, Jiraiya's eyes suddenly widened. After all, Jiraiya once had several disciples, and one of them owned a Rinnegan. Later, these children disappeared, and Jiraiya searched for them for a long time, but there was no trace. At that time, Jiraiya believed that the child with the Rinnegan was the person he had been looking for, who could change the world. But it disappeared and there was no news for a long time. Jiraiya thought that he was dead. But now, Kinyi told him that there was news again? How can this be? He widened his eyes and looked at Kinyi in shock. Where is he? Chiba said, I don't know where it is, but it should be related to an organization called Akatsuki. Don. Jiraiya frowned. 
It was obvious that he was aware of the reputation of this organization. In recent years, Xiao has been very active. Active in various battlefields, doing some tasks from time to time, and Akatsuki has almost won over the rebel ninja in each village. Jiraiya once tried to find some information about Akatsuki, but unfortunately, this organization was too cautious. Go check him out. Chiba said, I don't know what their purpose is, but there is no doubt that their existence will definitely threaten us, and their desire for tailed beasts is huge. In the future, we will definitely have conflicts. Perhaps, Xiao is under the command of your disciple. Jiraiya fell silent. Okay, I won't get involved in the fights between villages. Chiba smiled and said, That's good. You know, I don't want to embarrass you. Of course, you don't want to embarrass me either. Otherwise, I won't show mercy. Jiraiya didn't answer. Rinnegan's shock has not faded away from him yet. Jiraiya left from here. Soon after Jiraiya left, Orikimaru suddenly walked in. Looking at Kinyi, he showed a faint smile. Is Jiraiya back? I wonder if he made the right choice. Chiba said, He'll do it. Orikimaru said, That's not necessarily the case. Jiraiya always has some unusual ideas. Maybe, his brain will twitch and he will help Mr. Sarutobi instead. He is too soft-hearted. Once Mr. Sarutobi is willing to pretend to be pitiful and plead with him, Jiraiya will easily become soft-hearted. Chiba did not refute, because it's true, but leave this matter to me, Orikimura said, but walked out without waiting for Chiba to speak. Chiba looked at Orikimura's back, vaguely thinking of something, and her face gradually became weird. Not long after, advertisement. From the Orikimura laboratory, a woman with a graceful figure and a curvy figure walked out. But this woman, very face, Hokage office, Jiraiya is back. Sarutobi smiled. Teacher, Jiraiya shouted. Although he decided not to get involved in this matter, as a disciple of Sarutobi, he naturally wanted to see his teacher when he came back. Moreover, Sarutobi is still a Hokage. Regardless of emotion or reason, he would come here. It's good to be back, it'll be good to be back. Sarutobi said, a lot of big things happened in the village during your absence. Sarutobi sighed. Then he sighed. After the Nine Tails Rebellion, most of the village was destroyed. Then Cloud Shinobi Village took action, and Cloud Shinobi and Rock Shinobi joined forces to attack. After that, Mist Shinobi provoked us again. More things are happening in the village these days than before. And, the look on Sarutobi's face suddenly became lonely. With a touch of sadness, the current strength of the village is not as good as before. The older generation of ninjas are dying and injured, and the new generation has not fully grown up. It's hard for me to survive for too long just by relying on me alone. Jiraiya, I'm, so tired. Sarutobi told about his difficulties. Only in front of his disciples, he doesn't look like a hokage, but just like an old man who has endured hardship. Sitting in a high position, every step he took was trembling, for fear that if he were not careful, he would drag the village into an abyss. Big mistake. But, he is old. Jiraiya looked at the white hair on Sarutobi's head, his eyes trembling slightly. He couldn't help calling softly. Teacher, Sarutobi said, I know that you have a good relationship with Nami Kazechiba. You don't have to worry about the things between us, lest you get caught in it and be in a dilemma. Just go and find a reason to leave the village and don't worry about these things. Teacher, I. Sarutobi waved his hand, as if he didn't want to listen to him anymore. Let's go, I. Jiraiya raised his palm, but Sarutobi had already leaned on the chair and closed his eyes. He has white hair and an old face. This moment, just an old man in his old age. Jiraiya didn't know what to say, and in the end, he had no choice but to leave here, and wait for Jiraiya to leave. Sarutobi opened his eyes, and the twilight energy on his body immediately dissipated. Calmness returned to his eyes. His own disciples naturally know better. He understood that no matter what kind of request he made, he did not show weakness and showed his helplessness to impress people even more. So, he doesn't need to coerce Jiraiya, he just needs to show his vulnerable side and act like he's thinking about him. Jiraiya naturally makes the right choice, and he just needs to wait. Jiraiya left the Hokage office. My heart became even heavier. He saw the fragility of the teacher and the difficulties of the teacher. Even though he is so old, he is still running for the village. But as a disciple, he, nothing can be done. Jiraiya looked up at the sky now. My heart became more and more entangled. Does he, want to stay? Do you want, to help a bunch of teachers? And just when Jiraiya was struggling, suddenly, a woman with an excellent figure and a beautiful face walked past. Suddenly, Jiraiya's eyes were attracted. Advertisement. Little, miss. Jiraiya shouted immediately. The beautiful woman stopped, turned around, tilted her head and looked at Jiraiya, and asked curiously. What's matter? When he saw the woman's face, Jiraiya felt as if he had been hit. My eyes straightened. The woman in front of him, both in figure and appearance, is his ideal look. Where it should be big, it should be big, and where it should be small, it should be small. Jiraiya once thought that there would never be such a perfect woman in the ninja world. But now, he met. Miss, can I buy you a drink? Okay. The woman smiled sweetly. You haven't asked me your name yet. My name is, Fusura Ai. It turns out to be Miss Aoi. Her name is so beautiful. Really. The two of them walked further and further apart. This scene. Of course Itaka saw it. Itaka couldn't help but twitch the corner of his mouth. After studying, Itaka's vision was naturally different from before. Understand more things. Then, Itaka quietly left without attracting the two's attention. He came to Chiba. Grown-ups. Kinyi's expression was shocked, and a rare look of urgency appeared on his face. Chiba asked. How's it going? Did Orikimura succeed? This, must have been successful. I saw Master Jiraiya following him. Puff. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Chiba couldn't help laughing. The laughter simply couldn't stop. The more I think about it, the more I want to laugh. Even at the end, I almost couldn't stand upright with laughter. He really didn't expect what he said as a joke before. Surprisingly, Orikimaru remembered it. And, it was really used on Jiraiya. Ugh, Orikimaru is really pervert. I go, if Jiraiya knew this, it would probably cast a shadow on him throughout his life. And, I'm afraid it will have some shadow on women in the future. But, 
Not bad at the end of the day, at least, being disgusted is better than losing your life. With Jiraiya's temperament, it is very likely that Sarutobi will persuade her. Sarutobi understands him better and knows how to persuade him in the best way. Give Sarutobi time, Sarutobi can really keep Jiraiya and turn him into a support. In this case, Chiba would have to take action against Jiraiya. Rather than this, it would be better for him to leave this sad village. This is the best way. The conflict between him and Sarutobi should be completely out of control during this Jinin exam. It should be time for their decisive battle. It's inevitable. Chiba's eyes gradually deepened. That day is not far away. Iwegakur. Onaki set off with his Jinin followers. He not only brought many young ninjas in the village, but also many elite ninjas. Obviously, Onaki's idea is not simple. He never wanted to take the Jinin exam so easily. He has other ideas. Advertisement. Chapter 77 Sarutobi's Arrangements. Advertisement. Several major ninja villages all set off to Kanaha, intending to take part in the Jinin exam. But, obviously, they are not as simple as they seem. Although Sarutobi's purpose is not clear, he still knows a little. That is, Sarutobi will never be kind. And when several major ninja villages set off, Sarutobi got the news naturally. Now, after getting this information, Sarutobi couldn't help but smile. As long as you wait for a while, you can wait until they arrive in the village, and then induce them to fight Namikaze Chiba, and then you can reap the benefits. This is naturally what Sarutobi thinks. But he also knew that neither Chiba nor other ninja villages would be provoked by him so easily. Therefore, there must be other ways. So, what else can be more exciting than power? The smile on Sarutobi's face grew stronger. After a while, he left Hokage's office and went directly to Chiba's location. You are. When the guard Uchiha saw Sarutobi Hiruzen, he was stunned. He even wiped his eyes, wondering if he had seen it wrong. It's me. Sarutobi smiled. I want to see Namikaze Chiba and discuss something with him. This, I will inform Master Chiba right away. Achiha knew that the matter was serious, so he left immediately. Sarutobi looked around casually, looking at it. After a while, Namikaze Chiba did not come, but Achiha came back. After Achiha came back, he spoke directly. Master Chiba said you can go in. The smile on Sarutobi's face suddenly froze. After all, according to common sense, he came in person. No matter how much conflicts, conflicts, or relationship they had, Namikaze Chiba should come out in person to greet him. This is a tribute to the position of Hokage. But now, suddenly, a hint of displeasure flashed in Sarutobi's eyes. But there is no other way but to walk inside. Go and meet Namikaze Chiba in person. Not long after, under the leadership of Achiha, Sarutobi opened a door. Namikaze Chiba was lying on her back on the chair. After seeing Sarutobi come in, she straightened up, looked at Sarutobi, and said with a smile. Third generation Sama, what kind of wind brings you here? Sit. Chiba pointed to the seat in front of him. If something happens to you, sir, just call me. Why come here in person? Sarutobi sneered in his heart, but his face remained calm. If he is really like this, then Namikaze Chiba doesn't know when he will be able to rush to Hokage's office. Even if he came in person, it is understandable that he did not receive fair treatment. At this moment, after Sarutobi sat down, he looked at Namikaze Chiba, and without any polite words, he went straight to the point. The village is going to hold the Jinin exam. I know, other villages have been invited. Oh, when the words come to this, Chiba suddenly narrowed his eyes. What are you doing, Mr. Third Generation? Do you think that we just had a war with several other villages and they would be so kind? If they come, it will be difficult to settle down. Sarutobi sighed. I also know that if they come, it will be difficult to settle down, but there is nothing we can do about it. After all, we have had too many wars recently. It's impossible for the other villages not to know that we consume a lot. If we don't use this Jinin exam to show the strength of the village, I'm afraid, the war will continue in the future. Sarutobi said, I, there's nothing I can do about it. I see. Chiba smiled and said, I thought Mr. Third Generation wanted to invite foreign aid to deal with me. Listening to Namikaze Chiba's words so straightforwardly and without any disguise, Sarutobi choked immediately and coughed, but the smile on his face remained. How is it possible? No matter what, they are still outsiders. Sooner or later, Hokage's position will be yours, why are you so anxious? Chiba said, advertisement. Yes, since Mr. Third Generation knows this, why not hand over the power as soon as possible? Some things are too boring if you have to hold on to them. There are some things that are not yours, and there is no point in holding you. Sarutobi narrowed his eyes. There was a hint of coldness in his eyes, but he covered it up well. He still smiled. I know that what you said does make sense. I will consider it carefully after I return, but, your reputation now is indeed a little less. If this Jinin exam can be passed well, after this is done, will your lord be willing to give up your seat to me? Chiba asked with a smile. Sarutobi hesitated. This is naturally impossible. But, when you become a Hokage, you have to take it one step at a time. You can't rush it. This time, as long as you get this done, you will definitely have a lot of reputation. Even if you take the Hokage position in the future, there won't be much resistance. With no choice, Sarutobi had no choice but to offer another benefit. Chiba smiled. In that case, let's follow what the lord says. I will do my best to help you with this Jinin exam. That's good. Sarutobi finally smiled. If that's the case, I won't bother you and will leave first. Sarutobi left. Chiba had a smile on his lips. Accepted. Of course he won't object. Just as Sarutobi planned to use this Jinin exam to weaken his strength, he also wants to take advantage of this opportunity to seize Hokage's position. Now the opportunity is almost ripe. At worst, let's take advantage of this opportunity to kill Sarutobi. As for other ninja villages, if you are really disobedient, it will be a big deal. It just so happens that he needs blood succession limits, and perhaps there are many in the ninja village who came to participate this time. Very good thing. Shortly after, several other ninja villages arrived in Kanaha. Chiba was confused. By this time, Orikimura and Jiraiya both disappeared. What he cares more about is that Jiraiya is not really emotional. That's so terrifying, it's horrifying to think about. In particular, Orikimura likes to do research. If you study your own cells in the future, you will differentiate yourself into thousands of different things. Another habit. Doesn't that mean that every girl out there has the possibility of being Orikimura? Hiss. Chiba couldn't help but take a breath. He will not be affected. But Jiraiya, I'm afraid I'm going to give up being a womanizer because of this. However, this is not a bad thing. After all, women will only affect the speed at which I draw my sword. Just thinking about it. Samai I helped Kinyi pull out his sword. 
As a master of swordsmanship, weapons always need maintenance. Especially for famous swords, you must use specific things to clean the sword. Only in this way can it be wiped clean without wearing out the sword body. Certainly, Samai has made a lot of progress. He has great experience in maintaining swords. There is no need for Chiba to teach you this. But, the sword is a sharp weapon, a double-edged sword. If you are not careful, you can easily cut your own wounds. Samai was hurt, so I cried out in pain. The first to come to Konoha was Kirigakur led by Terumime. But nowadays, not many people come to Kirigakur. Advertisement. There are only a handful of younger generations. After all, Mist Shinobi has not recovered yet after the blood mist policy. It is still not easy to be able to come now. Certainly. Of those 50 ninjas, Terumime didn't bring many. Most of them stayed in the village. After all, she thought that now that she was in Konoha and with Namikaze Chiba around, there wouldn't be too many problems. She trusts Chiba very much. After entering Konoha, Sarutobi personally met Kirigakur's new Mizu cage. Sarutobi was surprised when he saw Terumime. Looking at this young Mizu cage, he couldn't help but say, Yagirahi. Terumime snorted, her eyes showing coldness. Hokage sama, are you waiting to see our Mist Shinobi's jokes when you say these words? You should know best what's going on with Yagira sama, right? Why are you still pretending at this time? Terumime's words were cold and unceremonious. But Sarutobi was not angry at all when he was scolded by such a junior. He said apologetically, Sorry, I was negligent. After all, Namikaze Chiba was nominally sent by him. Unexpectedly, he finally brought back three tails, and Yagura, a Jinchuriki, was naturally dead. In other words, Namikaze Chiba killed the previous generation Mizu cage. That, the hatred between them is not small. Sarutobi thought of this, and a smile flashed in his eyes. This is a good thing. Every time Namikaze Chiba has an enemy, there is one more chance of conflict with other villages. For him, there is almost no need to deliberately provoke this. Just put it in one place and start fighting. So at this time, Sarutobi smiled and said, Mizukage sama you have come all the way here, you must be tired. I will arrange for someone to take you to rest next. The Jinin exam will only start in a few days, so please wait for a while. Next, Sarutobi summoned a ninja and arranged for Terumime and other Mist Shinobi to go to their residence. And, under Sarutobi's instruction, Terumime and other Mist Shinobi were deliberately placed not far from Shiba's residence. There is no need to say more about what Sarutobi is thinking. And after Kirigakur's people arrived, next up is Awegakur. Onaki took his granddaughter Kuratsuki and some rock shinobi ninjas to Konoha. After seeing Sarutobi, Onaki made no secret of his feelings. Sarutobi, you are not going to do anything in this Jinin exam, are you? Sarutobi's eyes flashed, then he smiled. How could it be, this Jinin exam is held for the sake of the friendship between our major villages, how could I have other thoughts? Master Tsuchikage is overthinking it. Snort? Onaki snorted coldly. It's best this way, if you really have other thoughts, I won't let you go. Let's go. Onoki also went to rest with his subordinate Jinin. Sarutobi looked at Onoki's leaving figure. His eyes suddenly turned cold. Onoki lives not far from Mist Shinobi. In other words, it is also not far from Namikaze Chiba. And then, it was Sunagakur who arrived. Raza entered Kanaha village with her three children, and other ninjas. Compared to the others, Luosha's reaction was much duller. Lord Hokage. Kazekage sama The two of them chatted for a while like old friends they hadn't seen for many years. Of course, Sarutobi has enough to say in this kind of situation. I heard that Sunagakur produced a genius known in the ninja world this time, named Gara. Sarutobi looked at the boy carrying the gourd with a smile and said kindly, Is this Gara? Gara's eyes remained unchanged. Advertisement. Without even glancing at Sarutobi. Don't hate him at all. Sarutobi wasn't embarrassed either. Seeing this, Luosha spoke up. Gara doesn't like to talk, please forgive me, Lord Hokage. It doesn't matter. Sarutobi smiled. I wish the ninjas of Sunagakur in advance to get good rankings in this Jinin exam. Luosha smiled and said, Then thank you Hokage sama for your kind words. Sunagakur's people also left. Certainly, Sarutobi arranged all the residences of these great ninja villages not far from Chiba. Naturally, Kirigakur, who arrived first, was the closest. It's also because Kirigakur has the most direct hatred. As long as Kirigakur is placed next to Chiba, there will definitely be a conflict. There is no doubt about it. Another half day passed. Cloud Shinobi Village finally arrived in Konoha. The strange thing is, with the speed at Cloud Shinobi Village, I shouldn't be the last to arrive, but it just so happens. Cloud Shinobi Village is led by AI, also by Wooden Golem. Killer B didn't come. Cloud Shinobi also has other elite ninjas, and the lineup is also very luxurious. Lord Rakage. After seeing AI, Sarutobi said with a smile. Ah, uh, AI laughed. Hokage must have put a lot of thought into this Jinin exam, right? Sarutobi didn't seem to hear the sarcasm in AI's words. Road. That's right. If you want to organize it well, it will naturally take a lot of effort. AI sneered. It's best to do it well enough and there won't be any accidents. Otherwise, AI did not continue talking about the rest. But it was obviously a threat. Sarutobi still had a smile on his face. It seemed that he didn't understand the meaning of AI's words at all. AI left with the people. Now, several major ninja villages have already arrived. As for some small ninja villages, Sarutobi did not go to receive it personally, but handed it over to Yudin Koharo. Three days later, it was time for the Jinin exam to begin. Regarding this exam, he naturally had to prepare. Certainly, before the exam, there are some things that need to be prepared. Least, it's time for Namikaze Chiba to play its due role. How many major ninja villages have arrived? It's quite fast. Chiba said with a smile. People from Cloud Shinobi Village are here, don't you have any ideas? Chiba, who was sitting on a chair, looked down at Samai. Do you want to go back? Samai said nothing. If you want to go back, it's not impossible. She still didn't speak. Chiba smiled and did not continue the topic. But the expression on his face was very interesting. Because, Sarutobi actually arranged several major ninja villages next to him. The most interesting thing is, Mist Shinobi is the closest. Why, do you really think he has a grudge against Terumime? Maybe there is. After all, they are all bleeding. Advertisement. 
Chapter 78 What the Hokage dare not do, I will do it. Advertisement. Orikimura. Early morning. But when it was still very early, a heartbreaking scream suddenly came from Kanaha village. This voice penetrates the sky. It's enough to calm everyone. The only person who was not calmed down was the other protagonist in the accident. Orikimura. Orikimura licked his lips, and without any concern about his love affair, he casually swung his sleeves and exposed his body in front of Jiraiya. Jiraiya, on the other hand, had an angry look on his face. Anger rages. Like a burning fire that is impossible to extinguish. You, you, you. Jiraiya said you three times in a row, all of which were yelled angrily. I wish I could vent all the anger in my chest. However, Orikimura still had a smile on his face. Why, aren't you enjoying it a lot? Why are you so angry? This doesn't look like you, Jiraiya. He stretched out his leg and touched it twice. Look at these legs, they are long and white. How do they feel? Come and touch them. I touch you hashtag. In anger, Jiraiya punched out. Hit Orikimaru. This body actually exploded directly. Blood splattered everywhere. And the body opened its mouth and spit out a snake. The snake opened again, and Orikimaru crawled out. She still looks like a woman. But it is no longer the same one. The smile on Orikimaru's face did not disappear at all, and he continued. Why, don't you like the body you just had? It doesn't matter, I changed it again. Call? Jiraiya breathed heavily. He knows one thing clearly, that is, no matter how he attacks Orikimura, it will be useless. But, if he didn't take action, the previous anger would never be able to be vented. As for what happened before, naturally, he followed the usual way, had a drink, found a place, and planned for something wonderful to happen. But when the critical moment came, he discovered that this woman suddenly licked her lips. This familiar behavior instantly alerted Jiraiya. Then, I discovered that his eyes were unusual. It's like a snake's eyes. In addition, Orikimura's tone suddenly changed. Jiraiya understood immediately. This, the woman he likes, is not at all a lost girl who needs care. The one riding the horse is Orikimura? Jiraiya's face turned green at the thought of how close he was to forming an unusual friendship with Orikimura. Why are you so cold? You didn't treat others like this before. Didn't you say that you want to protect others for the rest of your life? Orikimura said deliberately. Ugh. Jiraiya really couldn't help it. He retched directly. Roll. Get out of here. I don't want to see you again. That's not okay. Orikimura refused directly. I still want to stay in the village for a while. Okay, if you don't want to leave, then I'll go to the head office. Jiraiya left angrily. With anger, he walked towards the outside of the village without looking back. Looking at Jiraiya's leaving figure, Orikimura chuckled softly. Although I don't like you as a loser, at the end of the day, I don't want you to die like this for Mr. Sarutobi. Not worth it. This moment, Orikimura's face no longer had the original charm. Get serious. Then, he twisted his waist and went back. These messages. Naturally, I didn't hide it from Chiba. He has always been keen on eating melons and has always been on the front line. Advertisement. Chiba even wanted to test the extent of Jiraiya's injury, so he deliberately sent a beautiful woman to contact Jiraiya. But the result is, village entrance. A beautiful woman approached Jiraiya with her waist twisted. Sir, would you like to? Anger suddenly appeared on Jiraiya's face. Roll. Orikimura, you're done, aren't you? Ha 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 ha. Poor Jiraiya, leaving this sad place like this. In this sad place, there is a person who makes him sad. Chiba shook his head and sighed. He was hurt by love. It seems that Jiraiya is very affectionate. It's a pity that the wrong person is using it. Chiba smiled. Oh, who is using the wrong person? Just when Chiba was sighing, Yui Hong walked in. With a slight smile, he asked this question. Come. Chiba waved to her and motioned for her to come over. At the same time he said, sit. Yui Hong sat down. What makes you so happy? I saw a very emotional play. The sunset is clearly red. It should be an earth-shattering love, right? Chiba suppressed a smile. It should be, at least it was emotional, but it ended badly. Yuhi Hong is more emotional. Hey, it's hard for lovers to get married. Indeed, ha ha ha. Yuhi Hong didn't understand what Chiba was talking about, so she looked at Chiba with confusion. Chiba shook his head. It's okay. By the way, several major ninja villages are here. Don't you have anything to do? Yes? How could it not be? Ziryong said. No, these great ninja villages are all concentrated here. I just stopped by to take a look. Oh, look at them. It could also be to look at you. Us. Chiba's smile suddenly became weird. Yuhi Hong stretched out her hand and pinched Chiba directly. Be serious. She took a deep breath and said, This time, the responsibility you have to shoulder is not small. There are several major ninja villages here. If something happens, I'm afraid, you won't be able to escape the blame. She looked at Kinyi with concern. Chiba smiled and shrugged, saying indifferently, It's not a big deal. It's just a few villages on the left and right. It can't cause any big waves. As long as you have confidence, said. Yuai Hong picked up a cup of hot tea from the table, fed it to Chiba with her own hands, and said with a smile, Come on, Dalin, it's time for tea. Chiba smiled and said, I'm not a big man. Ziryong said, Right. As he spoke, the teacup moved down. Then Erlang drinks too. The two started joking. And right now, Samai suddenly came in. When he saw Chiba and Yuai Hong, he was stunned and subconsciously said, It seems I came at the wrong time. No, you came just in time. Chiba stretched out his hand and asked her to come with him. Certainly. Chiba is a gentleman. There really is something to talk about. Now, the four major ninja villages are in our area, so what we need to maintain is the security of this area. There are two days left for the Chinin exam, so nothing can happen. Once something happens, it will be confirmed. Can. Yuai Hong suddenly frowned. Advertisement. I remember that there should be many villagers around here. Can they really be satisfied with the accommodation of a few great ninja villages? Will they attack other villagers? Chiba said, whether it will happen or not, it doesn't matter anymore. Conflict will happen sooner or later. What are you going to do? Kurane Yui asked. Wait for the moment. Chiba smiled. Yui Hong looked confused. And at this moment, Kakashi met Itaki. How's the book? Itaki snorted. General stuff. Kakashi squinted at him. How many times have you read it? Itaki said disdainfully. Ten times. This author's writing style is just like that. Not good at all. 
Kakashi handed over a bunch of three-color meatballs and bit off a bunch in his hand. After reading it, I became tough when speaking. I remember there was a person named Izumi in Uchiha. What do you want me to say, sir? Itake quickly interrupted Kakashi. Seeing the smile in Kakashi's eyes, he immediately shifted his gaze, not daring to look at him. Kakashi became serious. Your majesty sent us to patrol around. If any villagers have any objections, we will help them and meet Mr. Third Generation. Itake looked at him. Any comments? Kakashi shrugged. Who knows? But this is what the adults have told me. Something should happen. The two then took a group of Uchiha and started patrolling. Half a day later. Then he suddenly heard a quarrel coming from a room. Haha. We are distinguished guests of Kanaha. It is an honor for you, the people of Kanaha village, to give up your house and let us live in it. If you have known each other earlier, please move out quickly. Otherwise, haha, don't blame us for being rude. You, you are robbing. Aren't you afraid that Mr. Third Generation will reprimand you? Third Generation? Ha ha ha, ha 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 ha. Some people are still asking for Sarutobi. This is really the funniest joke I've ever heard. Okay, in order to reward you for taking so much trouble to make us happy, let me get out of here. This is my house. Roll. Bang. People were thrown out. A figure rolled onto the street, and at the same time there was a voice. If you don't eat the toast, you will be fined with wine. I will ask you to get out. If you don't want to, in this case, I can only help you. Bang. The door was closed. The villagers who were thrown out had a look of despair on their faces. Just right. Itaki and Kakashi came on patrol with people. The two looked at each other and walked forward. What happened? When the villagers saw Itaki and Kakashi, they immediately rushed towards them as if they had seen a savior. Sir, please make the decision for me. What happened? Kakashi asked. They, they robbed my house and kicked me out. That's it. Kakashi said. We sympathize with your situation, but we can't take action without Lord Third Generation's approval. So, I suggest you go see Lord Third Generation and let Lord Third Generation make the decision for you. As long as Mr. Third Generation comes forward, your problem will be solved quickly. What do you think? The man's eyes lit up, what a great idea, I'll beg Mr. Third Generation right now, said. He left quickly. Next. A few more such things happened. The ninjas of these ninja villages are naturally domineering. If they want to live comfortably, they occupy the houses of the nearby villagers. Then when they met Kakashi and Itake, they were both persuaded to go to the third generation. After doing this, Itake asked Kakashi, Do you think their matter can be resolved? Kakashi said indifferently, Who knows? This has nothing to do with us. As he spoke, indulgence in heaven appeared in his hand. Give me a second look. Kakashi glanced at Itaki. Advertisement. Aren't you talking about ordinary things and disdain to see them? Such vulgar things are not worthy of you. Weasel said, Of course it's vulgar, I'm criticizing it again. Kakashi. Hehe. He. Soon. In front of the Hokage building. Several people stood together and cried and begged. Master third generation, please make the decision for us. Third generation Sama, help. Sir, we can't survive anymore, you have to help us. Sarutobi quickly learned the news. He couldn't help but frowned. However, several people were still called up. When several people entered the office, Sarutobi raised his eyebrows, looked at the people, and couldn't help but ask. What's the matter? Sir, they, they took over my house. Me too, I was kicked out by them, that's my house. Sir, you have to make the decision for us, said. Several people immediately began to beg. A lot of runny nose and a lot of tears. Sarutobi couldn't help but twitch the corner of his mouth. But still comforting. Don't worry, I will arrange this matter. Don't worry. And, their major ninja villages are only staying with us for a period of time and will not stay here permanently. But, suddenly a villager said, Why should we accommodate them? That's right, why do you have to accommodate? Aren't we the number one ninja village? They come with sincerity. Asking questions. Sarutobi was stunned for a moment. I don't know how to answer. Finally he said, Precisely because we are the number one ninja village, we must show our generosity as the number one ninja village. Can. Okay, don't say any more. This matter is like this for the time being. I will let someone arrange your accommodation. You don't have to think too much. Just wait for a while. But I just want to go back to my house. However, Sarutobi didn't want to listen to him anymore. Now that Shinin's exam is coming soon, he has a lot of things to do. There was no time to pay any attention to it. Several people left. If Sarutobi doesn't care, then, it's our turn to take action. Itake, Kakashi, I leave it to you. Yes, sir. After receiving the order, Itake and Kakashi both came out. Taking a group of Uchiha, they headed straight for the first occupied house. Sunagakur is located. With a bang, Kakashi kicked open the door. Looking at the surprised San Shinobi ninja inside, Kakashi scratched his head in embarrassment. Isn't it too rough? If word spreads like this, the impact will not be very good. Get out. Immediately, Sunagakur's ninjas were furious. A shuriken was thrown over. Kakashi ducked with his head sideways. Then, bang, bang, bang. Three times in a row, the three San Shinobi ninjas in the room were thrown out. By the way, he clapped his hands. This is much cleaner. Kakashi smiled. It won't have a bad impact. Next one, said. Go straight to the other one. As for the three San Shinobi ninjas who were thrown out, they rubbed their sore spots and finally stood up. However, a group of Uchiha followed. Catch them. Advertisement. Chapter 79 A New Generation of Pot Shadows. Advertisement. What are we going to do with these ninjas? Just put him in jail. As for the rest, we don't have to worry about it so much. But, this is too much to catch, isn't it? Itaka said hesitantly. If this continues, we are afraid that we will capture all the ninjas in the other villages. So what? Kakashi's awareness is much higher. Kakashi said, this is what Lord Chiba ordered. Since you have already ordered it, we will do it. Makes sense. Itaka nodded. Immediately there was no longer any hesitation. There were five in total, and now only the last one remains. Kakashi and Itaki arrived at the last house, which was outside the house occupied by Cloud Shinobi ninjas. Not every family of the four major ninja villages who came to Kanaha occupied the house next to them. Missed Shinobi because not many people come. Therefore, there was no action. The other three families occupy these five houses. Bang! Kakashi kicked the door open. What are you doing? When Kakashi appeared, the three Cloud Shinobi ninjas inside suddenly showed angry expressions. Do what? Kakashi smiled. On the orders of Master Third Generation, I will arrest you. 
Kakashi moved and was about to capture the nearest person, while sneering. Do you think you can do whatever you want when you come to Kanaha? Mr. Third Generation just doesn't want to come forward in person, so he leaves this matter to us. Catch them all. As Kakashi spoke, the police officers behind him naturally swarmed up. There is no doubt that the Cloud Shinobi Ninja who was farthest away ran away. The speed was so fast that he couldn't catch up for a while. However, although he ran away, the other two were not so lucky. Itaka made some movements, preparing to chase the remaining person. Kakashi reached out and held his shoulder. Then he shook his head. Itaka looked confused. Kakashi said, always leave one to report back. Otherwise, who would know the hardships third generation has gone through? Itaki understood immediately. A group of people captured these people. Now, the thing has been done, and as for the rest, we just need to wait for the result. Let the bullets fly for a while? Terumi Mei walked out of the house. She has a beautiful appearance, but now she has a cold face. His face was covered with frost. She seemed to be in a bad mood, with a hint of anger. After walking out of the house, Terumi Mei went directly to where Chiba was without any hesitation. This place, well, was accidentally revealed to her by the ninjas of Kanaha village. However, when revealing it, he was still extremely careful, as if he didn't want Terumi Mei to know. But the good thing is, it was discovered by Terumi Mei accidentally. The process is quite interesting. At this moment, when Terumi Mei learned the specific location, the whole person is like an erupting volcano. She walked all the way to where Chiba lived. Then, when Uchiha at the door wanted to stop her, she suddenly raised her eyebrows and scolded with a cold voice. Get away. Uchiha at the door subconsciously stepped back. Then, Terumi Mei walked in swaggeringly. With anger. This scene. He was seen by a ninja wearing a grimace mask not far away. Then, the body suddenly disappeared. The place he went to was, without a doubt, the Hokage office. Bang, bang, bang. Advertisement. There was a knock on the door to the Hokage's office. After a moment, Sarutobi's voice came from the door. Come in. Third generation Sama. Sir, we discovered the situation. What's the matter? Sarutobi raised his head, looked at the Umbu ninja, and couldn't help but ask. Mizukage, Mizukage Terumi Mei went to Namikaze Chiba's residence. Moreover, she was very angry. When she entered, she scolded the guard at Namikaze Chiba's residence and almost broke in. It seems that a war is about to break out. Sarutobi smiled. Isn't this what he expected? Let Namikaze Chiba conflict with other villages, thus weakening the power of other ninja villages, as well as Namikaze Chiba. This is what Sarutobi wants to do, although, it's not easy. However, facts have proven that the arrangements he made are useful. No, Miss Shinobi's Mizukage has already gone to take revenge. Sir, should we go over and take precautions? After all, we are outsiders. If they cause trouble in the village, it will inevitably have an impact on the reputation of the village. Sarutobi shook his head. Need not. Why should we go over for such a small matter? I believe Namikaze Chiba, he can handle it. Sarutobi smiled and said. After all, he is my future successor. If I can't handle this matter well, how can I hand over the village to him in the future? You have to remember that everything that happens next is my test for him. All this depends on Namikaze Chiba's methods. Yes, the Umbu Ninja understood and immediately stopped asking about the matter. After the Umbu Ninja leaves, the smile on Sarutobi's face could not be hidden at all. What he planned is about to happen. Namikaze Chiba, I deliberately placed Kirigaku or closest to you just to wait for this moment. Now, let's see how you respond. Residence in Chiba. Terumi Mei, whose face was filled with frost, no one dared to stop her now. The Uchiha ninjas who were guarding here retreated one by one. It seems that because the person in front of him is Kirigakura's Mizu cage, he doesn't dare to take action. Only Terumi Mei kept moving forward while scolding coldly. Get away. Get out of my way. Where's Namikaze Chiba? I want to see him. Finally, Terumi Mei got her wish and met Namikaze Chiba. He entered Namikaze Chiba's office. The moment the office door closes, Terumi Mei, who had a frosty face and a murderous look, suddenly changed her temperament. She became coquettish and shy, with a hint of shyness on her face. She looked at Kinyi and her face suddenly turned red. Somewhat embarrassedly said. Sir, are my acting skills okay? Chiba looked at her. He smiled and patted. Come on, sit down. After Terumi Mei sits down, Chiba immediately said. I didn't expect that Sarutobi would arrange for you to be so close to me. Terumi Mei shook her body, as if to suppress her inner excitement. I didn't expect it either. Ah, uh, how? Nothing. Things developed. Too fast. Is it really fast? Chiba smiled and said. Could it be that you don't like how things are going? You want to go slower? No. Terumi Mei shook her head and frowned, as if she was enduring something. You can do whatever you want, sir. You don't need to worry about me. I, I am doing Mizu Cage for you, so of course, I will listen to you in everything. Hehe. <laughs> Chiba chuckled. At the same time, he patted Terumi Mei on the back. Commendation says, well done. Advertisement. Um, Terumi Mei was very excited after receiving Chiba's praise. The pretty face turned even redder. At the same time, because he was too excited, he couldn't help but let out a cry. The ruddy face is even more attractive. Sir, do you have any instructions for this Chinin exam? Is this why you came to me? Terumi Mei suddenly lowered her head, not daring to look directly into Chiba's eyes. Yes. Chiba straightened her back and asked with a smile. Real. Yes or no. Finally, she still told the truth. Of course not. Terumi Mei is very clear about the situation in Kirigakuur today. Since it relies on Kinyi to exist, then there will be no second thoughts. No matter what Chiba wants to do, she will try her best to do it well. As for Kanaha, sorry, she still doesn't like it. Just as Sarutobi expected, Mizu Cage and Namikaze Chiba fought. The battle was fierce, horrible. Even outside, screams could occasionally be heard. This should be a happy situation for both parties. The battle lasted for a long time. When it's over, Terumi Mei couldn't help but snorted. Lean back in your chair, grown-ups. Um, Chiba nodded. For the next Shinin exam, Kirigakuur will take part as usual. As for other villages, if something happens, you can also take part. There's just one thing. Chiba reached out and pinched Terumi Mei's face. Take good care of yourself. Um, seeing Terumi Mei like this, Chiba said, You look like a charming tailed beast with only this special power. Terumi Mei said shyly, But no matter how powerful the tailed beast is, isn't it still surrendered by the master? However, now I am Kirigakuur's Mizu cage. I believe that Kirigakuur and I can reach greater heights with the help of adults. Ha ha ha. Chiba laughed. Touched Terumi Mei's silky hair. Let's go back. 
Okay, my lord. Terumi may left. After leaving the office door, the frost returned to my face again. She looked indifferent to everyone around her. Only, if anyone pays attention, they can find that she walks very slowly. There seems to be something wrong with the steps. However, no one found it. Chiba came to the window, looking at this scene. The corners of his mouth couldn't help but curl up. All this is about to begin? Chinin exam, haha. <laughs> Cloud Shinobi village accommodation. What? Sarutobi sent people to capture our people. How dare he? Master Rakage, we don't know, but Sarutobi Hiruzen did do such a thing. He teamed up with Nami Kaze Chiba and sent people to capture our ninjas. Now, we are in Konoha and we are away from home. This is Sarutobi Hiruzen's home court, I'm afraid, he wants to do us harm. The ninja spoke. Sir, what should we do? He was a little lost. AI narrowed his eyes at this moment. This thing is not like Sarutobi's style, but since it has happened, it can be regarded as Sarutobi's doing. But now, just the power of our village is simply not enough. Send someone to contact other ninja villages. Not long after. Advertisement. Mist Shinobi, San Shinobi, Cloud Shinobi, Rock Shinobi. The four major ninja villages gathered together. After AI glanced around, he got straight to the point. Sarutobi has taken action against our people. In this Shinin exam, Sarutobi's purpose may not be that simple. Now, this is not our home court. Once a conflict occurs rashly, it may be detrimental to us. Onoki chuckled after hearing this. Disdainfully said. Sarutobi's two attacks, to achieve this level, are already the limit. Is it possible that he really wants to fight against our four major ninja villages at the same time? Luosha nodded. Sarutobi really doesn't have the guts. Terumi May said nothing and listened quietly. AI shook his head. Everyone, I didn't come to you to belittle Sarutobi together. He is indeed a coward, needless to say, but, this is risking our lives. We can't bet on Sarutobi's temper. He, Sarutobi, is not worthy. As AI finished speaking, suddenly, the atmosphere fell silent. As AI said, the shadows of their four villages are all here. If you use this to gamble on Sarutobi's temper, if an accident occurs, you will probably pay a heavy price. As for them joining forces to eradicate Sarutobi, the death of one Sarutobi is nothing compared to something happening to them. So, the price is not the same at all. In other words, he Sarutobi doesn't deserve it? So, Onoki looked at AI, then what do you think? Sarutobi captured several people from our village to declare war on us. AI Lang snorted. No, if he had the guts, he wouldn't do it. I guess Sarutobi wants to further discuss with us and use this exam to accomplish something. Onoki narrowed his eyes. So what? So, we should unite and go to Sarutobi to ask him to release our people, and at the same time, use this to blackmail him and get some benefits. Onoki immediately laughed. This is a lot more interesting. But what if Sarutobi's target is us? AI showed a cold expression. Then let's get together and get rid of Sarutobi first. Can. I agree. Onoki nodded. Then let's go there together and see what tricks he wants to play Sarutobi. Luoshe also said. Can. Terumi Mei, I have no objection. That's it. The four cage went to the Hokage building together. Until I knocked on the door of Hokage's office and saw Sarutobi. Sarutobi was confused. Don't know what happened. But no matter what, he had to cheer up. To deal with them. Onaki sneered. Sarutobi, you are really generous. On the surface, you invited us to take the Chinin exam, but secretly, you captured the ninjas of our village. What? You want to fight against four villages at the same time? After hearing this, Sarutobi was even more confused. Because he doesn't know what happened yet. But, he is still very smart. From Onaki's few words, he quickly deduced something. At the same time, guess that too. It must be Namikaze Chiba who took action. However, it was clearly the one who provoked the conflict between Namikaze Chiba and the four great ninja villages. What? Did you burn yourself with fire? This is wrong. Nothing is right at all. However, Sarutobi's current situation cannot satisfy Onaki and others at all. AI punched the table directly. Sarutobi, if you don't give us an explanation today, I'm afraid this matter will never be finished. Sarutobi was about to burst into tears. Advertisement. Chapter 80 The new king of Konoha ascends the throne. Advertisement. At this moment, right in the Hokage office, the four leaders of the ninja village, the four cages, gathered together. They were all forced confessions from Sarutobi. Obviously, if Sarutobi doesn't give them a proper answer, they won't leave. The point is, it was only at this time that he, Sarutobi, realized what had happened. Before this, he had been busy preparing for the Chinin exam and had not paid any attention to this kind of thing. However, just this time, four filmmakers came to question him. This is really a disaster. But, it's not an unforeseen disaster. After all, this was Sarutobi's initial arrangement. If Sarutobi had not arranged all four great ninja villages next to Namikaze Chiba, this would not have happened. So, in the final analysis, Sarutobi Hiruzen is still to blame. But, things happen and they have to be dealt with. At this time, Sarutobi looked at the four of them and sighed. Four of you, what do you want to do? Obviously, Sarutobi didn't want to conflict with them at this time. Otherwise, it would completely benefit Namikaze Chiba, and he would rather pay some price. I don't want to take action at this time. And, once he takes action, it will be the annexation of the four major ninja villages. Sarutobi does not want to take this risk. This doesn't make sense. And this time, just after Sarutobi finished speaking, Onaki raised the corner of his mouth and smiled. Easy to say, we are not unreasonable people. At this time, we naturally have to give you, Mr. Hokage, some face. After hearing this, AI also nodded. Yes, we can still discuss it easily, but in this matter, Kanaha did go too far. Sarutobi couldn't help but twitch the corner of his mouth. It can be said that the reactions of these two people one after another are really, very different. At this time, Sarutobi nodded and said, It is indeed Kanaha's fault. I do not deny this. I have given compensation to the four villages and I admit it. However, it is not easy for Kanaha now. Please be more tolerant. Easy to say. Onoki and AI looked at each other, then looked at Raza and Terumime. Neither of them had any objections. That's it. Onoki said, Then, first of all, we must release the people in our village, and then let Uchiha, who captured the ninja of our village, publicly apologize. Finally, we must compensate for our losses. Not much, just 100 million per village. Not much indeed. In comparison, 100 million is indeed a small amount of compensation from Kanaha in the past few times. Even if there are four villages, it is only 400 million. 
equivalent to 20 asimas, or 10 enhanced asimas. Very cheap. Sarutobi nodded, accepting it, just apologizing. To be honest, after much thought, he felt that this was impossible. After all, the Uchiha clan is now controlled by Namikaze Chiba. I want Namikaze Chiba to apologize. Sarutobi suddenly had an idea. Could this incident trigger conflicts between the two parties again? But, Sarutobi thought for a moment and then rejected it. After all, the Jinin exam is coming soon, so there is no need to add any extraneous details. So, just find a few people to pretend to be, and then apologize to these villages. After thinking about it, Sarutobi nodded and said, Advertisement. Okay, I have no objection, but this matter cannot be compensated until the Jinin exam is over. Can. Onaki nodded, naturally agreeing. AI didn't have any objection either. Luoshe and Terumi Mei both expressed their agreement. Especially Terumi Mei. There was nothing wrong with Mist Shinobi in the first place. The ninjas of Kirigakura were very well behaved under her control and nothing happened to them. Naturally, the capture of ninjas this time has nothing to do with them. If you follow Onaki and the others, you can get 100 million tails for nothing. For Terumi Mei, this is a very profitable thing no matter what. Terumi Mei naturally has no objection. The matter was settled. Next, the four people left. Sarutobi Hiruzen, on the other hand, was sitting on a chair with his fists clenched and unable to let go for a long time. The reason is naturally very simple. He originally got it for Namikaze Chiba to find trouble, but now, it's completely useless. On the contrary, he ended up finding fault for himself. But, call, Sarutobi exhaled heavily. Calm down your emotions. In the end, the Chinin exam is the most important thing. As for the rest, they can only be regarded as appetizers. The next Chinin exam is what Sarutobi is really preparing for. He immediately summoned the Umbu Ninja and ordered, Go and discuss with Namikaze Chiba and ask him to release all the four village ninjas he captured. Yes, that Umbu Ninja left here. Then, he went directly to Namikaze Chiba. Soon, he then met Namikaze Chiba. Lord Chiba, the Umbu Ninja lowered his head. His posture is very low. Obviously, Namikaze Chiba's current strength is already clear. Therefore, he assumed the proper posture. Um, Chiba glanced at him. Sarutobi asked you to come. Yes, Lord Third Generation. You want me to let those four village ninjas go? Umbu Ninja was stunned. Unexpectedly, Namikaze Chiba guessed everything correctly. It's not a big deal. Itaki. Chiba spoke. Itaki walked in outside the door. Grown-ups. Itaki spoke respectfully. Go take him with you and release all the captured ninjas. Yes, sir. Okay, you can go. Oh, remember to go back and tell Sarutobi not to use these little tricks again. It's boring. The Umbu Ninja didn't dare to answer. Gone. Watching the Umbu Ninja leave, Chiba smiled slightly. It's really not a big deal. Just capture a few ninjas. On the one hand, Chiba was testing Sarutobi's attitude, and on the other hand, she was testing other ninja villages. And the result is obvious. They didn't dare to break up. Otherwise, it shouldn't be such a simple matter of giving up. So, Chiba's plan will be fully implemented next. This Jinin exam was deliberately held by him, Sarutobi, who had planned for a long time in order to weaken the strength of Namikaze Chiba and the other four great ninja villages. Certainly, he, Sarutobi Hiruzen, can do this, and so can he. Advertisement. This Jinin exam is also something Chiba has been preparing for a long time, to ascend the throne. The new king of Konoha is about to appear. After the Umbu ninja left, Chiba's eyes couldn't help but narrowed. Samai walked in skillfully and brought Kinyi a cup of hot tea. It's a role she's now familiar with. There are no more ideas. This is pretty cool. Of course, even if she is not familiar with it, Chiba has no interest in continuing to cultivate it. Let everything take its course. If you still can't accept it, then don't buy the vase. Just break it. As the ninja world has developed over the years, many neijutsu have appeared, and many have died. This is normal. After Samai served the hot tea, he left. Chiba has a rare day of leisure today. The main thing is that, in the final analysis, he is still not that keen on things between men and women. These are all misunderstandings that the world has about him. There is a big difference between him and Jireya. After staying in the office for a while, someone called Orikimaru over. Not a moment. Orikimaru walked over with a coquettish look. Then he walked away, twisting his waist. It seems that he has adapted to this body. Chiba couldn't help but twitch the corner of his mouth. Are you not planning to come back? Orikimaru smiled when he heard this. I never thought that Chibakan would also have this kind of prejudice. Before, I had always been a man, but I had never experienced a woman's body. Now I just want to experience it. The beauty of life obviously exists in both men and women. I like research, so naturally I want to do more thorough research. After all, only the union of men and women can reproduce, and reproduction and inheritance are eternal topics. Perhaps, this has some connection with immortality. Orikimaru said, I am now experiencing the difference carefully. Chiba raised his forehead. No matter how you say it, you still can't hide the fact that Orikimaru pervert. Orikimaru saw what Chiba was thinking and said, Gender is not important to me. Both men and women are just the means I use to achieve my goals. And indeed it is. This is Orikimaru's truest thought. Chiba nodded, not wanting to say anything more on this matter. Is my brother's condition stable? Orikimaru nodded. It's stable, but not too stable. What's the meaning? Orikimaru explains. It's like a bucket, but now the gap is blocked with mud. Although this mud is of good quality, it will slowly disappear sooner or later due to the erosion of the water. Until then, Minato's problem will still exist. So, he still needs a complete body with the characteristics of a living body in order to truly survive in this world. Chiba is awe-inspiring. At least, it's completely stabilized now. Can you fight? Orikimaru shook his head. It is impossible to engage in high-intensity fighting, otherwise, the bucket will break even faster. Minato's body may completely collapse without even being able to perform a few ninjutsu. Pity. Chiba sighed. However, he didn't have much hope. Sarutobi held the Jinin exam. I think it was because of the last trip to Kirigakura that he thought we had suffered a lot and wanted to take action. How about it? Do you have any idea of taking action? Orikimaru smiled. Actually, I have already made arrangements. Kinyi was stunned for a moment, then smiled and said. 
Sound Ninja Village. Sure enough, nothing can escape Chibakun's eyes. I founded the Sound Ninja Village, but I have no intention of managing it. All subsequent matters are left to Kabuto. This kid has great talent. Chiba continued. Very ambitious too. Advertisement. It's good to be ambitious. Orikimaru was unimpressed. At least it shows that he is not a waste. Chiba asked. He learned all your ninjutsu. Orikimaru shook his head. No, but he can do most of the things that should be done. Aren't you afraid that he will betray you? When Orikimaru heard this, he smiled easily. For us, how can there be any betrayal? He is just a pursuer on the road of ninjutsu and immortality. He is my descendant and a traveler. But obviously, he has always been under my protection and can never go far. Of This road is not easy, and I need someone to help me. If he can come up with his own ideas, then it's not unacceptable. Maybe he can bring me better and more novel ideas. Chiba laughed. Orikimaru is surprisingly confident. Also surprisingly generous. But, that's true. As one of the sunin, Orikimaru is actually more pure. To ninjutsu, to life. After finishing speaking, Orikimaru suddenly thought of something and couldn't help but lick the corner of his mouth excitedly. Kanbakan is planning to take action. It can't be delayed for too long. It seems that the wind in Kanaha is going to blow. Let the wind drive the windmill and keep turning. Orikimaru said, I'm lucky enough to be able to see this with my own eyes. Suzuki, Naruto, Hineda. The three were called over by Kinyi. The Chinin exam is about to begin. The three of you represent us. In this exam, there are other four major ninja villages taking action, so you are crucial to get a better ranking. It's just that your current strength is indeed too weak. Uncle, we are already the strongest in the class. Naruto then spoke. In today's Kanaha, Naruto and Suzuki fight from time to time, hovering between the first and second positions. As for Hineda, it was unexpectedly powerful, second only to them. Certainly, this has nothing to do with Naruto's private tutoring. Still too weak. Naruto, you have Karama in your body. You should learn to control Karama's power, at least, you must be able to master a part of it. And you, Suzuki, although you have activated Sharingan, your power is too weak. Not to mention Manjikyo, you should at least have the power of three Megatama. Hineda, I want to know more about the martial arts of your Hayaga family, and, the use of the Byakugan. You all have good talents, but your strength is indeed weaker. Chiba said, next, I will give you special training. I hope you can make more progress in these shortest days. Suzuki, Itake will help you with your training. Hineda, your father will help you train. As for Naruto, the next thing you have to do is master Karama's power. Become, a true Jinchuriki. Yes, the three little ones answered. No comments. After that, Itaka took Suzuki away and Hineda went to find Hayaga Hayashi. And Naruto. Then he stayed. Karama, come out. As Chiba finished speaking, a little fox with a round belly and a cute appearance came out. When walking, I sway and have gained a lot of weight. Look at this. Chiba couldn't help but stroked his forehead. Karama, it's almost time for you to lose weight. Ah. Uh, Karama sneered upon hearing this. My body shape is intentional. Otherwise, if my original majestic appearance were revealed, I don't know how many people would be scared to tears. I'm giving them a chance to look directly at me. Hee <laughs> hee. Chiba didn't believe it. Greedy Fox. Advertisement. Chapter 81 Manjikyo and Jinchuriki. Advertisement. Now, it is in the clan land of the Achiha clan. Itaka looked at his brother seriously. Suzuki, since you have chosen to take the next Chinin exam, you must prepare well. You must not embarrass Achiha, let alone Chiba-sama. Suzuki also had a serious look on his face. After all, it was his brother who personally trained him, so how could he have any reason not to be serious? This is something Suzuki has been looking forward to. Now, Suzuki nodded seriously. I know, brother, I will definitely work hard. Good. Weasel said, the next training will be very painful. Can you endure it? It's okay, brother, just train me. Suzuki had a determined look on his face. Also with confidence, Itaka nodded. Then, let's get started. The words fell. Itaka's eyes suddenly changed and turned into a flash of scarlet. Sharingan's power emerged from his eyes. Then, the power surged out of his eyes. Suzuki's wide eyes immediately froze. He is trapped in an illusion? At this time, Itaka's eyes were no longer the ordinary Sharingan, but transformed into Manjikyo. The reason why Itaka's Manjikyo can be activated is related to Chiba, because Itaka mistakenly believed that Shisui died because of the relationship between the village and Uchiha in Chiba. Under strong oppression, Itaka's original three Tomo Sharingan evolved into Manjikyo. And now, Itaka will use the same method to help Suzuki open a more powerful eye. At this time, it was in Suzuki's mind that he could see the image. It was a dark night. The lonely crow flies in the sky, whining constantly. This foretells that something unknown will happen next. He returns from ninja school. When he approached the Uchiha clan, he suddenly saw a bloodline. At the same time, the closer you get to home, the more bloody it becomes. There were also screams from time to time. Suzuki didn't understand what happened, but in order to figure it out, he quickly ran towards his home. Until he opened the door, what was waiting for him was not the welcome of his family or the smile of his brother, but a pile of corpses. The corpses of dozens of tribesmen were laid out in front of them. Here, there are uncles he has known since peeing, and playmates he is familiar with. Numbly and in disbelief, he walked forward towards the house. Bang, the door shattered instantly. Suzuki saw a figure and leapt out of it. There was blood on the figure, and there was murderous intent in his eyes. This moment, Suzuki saw what he looked like. Itaki, his dearest brother, kill everyone he knows. My stupid brother, you are finally back. Nissan, why? Suzuki looked at this scene with disbelief in his eyes. Why? Itaka suddenly laughed wildly. Of course it's to verify my strength, to prove that I am the strongest. The Uchiha clan only needs one strong person, and that's me, Ken. Suzuki wanted to say something else, but a surge of anger rushed over him uncontrollably, constantly stimulating his eyes. But, even though I saw the blood everywhere and so many corpses, the Uchiha clan was almost completely wiped out. What Suzuki's eyes reveal is nothing more than one Tomo Sharingan. There was no improvement at all. Itaka seemed stunned for a moment, then grabbed Suzuki and said coldly, My stupid brother, you should watch carefully today, I will kill everyone now. Finished. Then he led him into Fugaku and Mikato's room. Advertisement. No, what are you going to do? Suzuki seemed to have figured out something and kept shouting. Fugaku and Mikato both had their backs turned to them at this time. Itaka pulled out his sword and stabbed the two of them. Dad, Mom, 
Suzuki shouted frantically. Just when they were about to be stabbed, the two turned around. A look of horror on his face. Why? Laugh? Two people fell. Suzuki's single Megatama became a double Megatama. Itaka looked at Suzuki. No words were spoken for a while. He paused for an unknown amount of time, letting Suzuki scream. Not enough. Your hatred is not enough. Hate me, my stupid brother. Live well and live until the day you are strong enough and qualified for me to kill you. Finished. Itaka turned away. But, Suzuki's Sherinan remained unmoved. At last. Without any choice, Shisui's figure suddenly appeared, and just as Itaka was about to leave, he pulled out his sword and stabbed Itaka in the back of the heart. Puff, blood spurted out. Itaka's body fell heavily. No, Suzuki roared in pain. Shisui turned around and smiled evilly. I killed your brother and avenged you, Suzuki. Why don't you thank me? I'm going to kill you, I'm going to kill you. Suzuki hissed. His eyes became increasingly scarlet. Finally, it transformed from a double Megatama, to a triple Megatama, and then to Manjiku again. The power of hatred completely confused him. But until then, the illusion disappeared. Suzuki, who had Manjikyo, was breathing heavily. Itaka reached out and cut Suzuki's neck with his palm. Made him faint. Just now, he was almost at his wit's end. Who knows, even if all his clan members are killed, Suzuki will only have the power of a single Megatama. Fortunately, he finally changed his strategy. Although the process was not beautiful, at least it really started Manjikyo Sharinan. For this Jinan exam, having the power of Manjikyo Sharinan should be enough. He picked up Suzuki's body and put him back into the house. Naruto, are you ready? Well, you're ready. Naruto nodded. Looking at Nine Tails, he said. Karema, just do it. I can do it. Nine Tails said. Then I'm welcome. He was back inside Naruto. Chiba stretched out his hand at this moment, and his hand was filled with the power of Chakra. Then, he completely opened the seal in Naruto's body. Original. There are still some seals in Naruto's body, and Chiba later strengthened them. This was to protect Naruto's body from being harmed by too much power spilled from Nine Tails. But now, Naruto's strength is not weak. Can support Nine Tails more power. So, then you can let go of everything, boom, terrifying power suddenly appeared from Naruto. Red chakra overflowed and began to spread around. A thick coat of chakra appeared around Naruto's body. Even though Nine Tails is trying his best to control his power, it's still terrifying. This power erodes the surrounding area. Naruto gritted his teeth and persisted. I can. That power is growing. Gradually, sweat broke out on Naruto's forehead. Minato was also watching. Advertisement. At this moment, I couldn't help but sweat a lot, couldn't help clenching my fists, and said softly. Come on, Naruto. I don't know how much time has passed. The power is getting heavier and heavier. It's also getting more and more terrifying. However, even now, Naruto is still not overwhelmed by the power of Nine Tails. Nine Tails couldn't help but said, I didn't expect you, a brat, to be so persistent. Stop being so nagging. Naruto shouted, Karema, this is all you have chakra? You're too weak. What? How dare you mock me? Immediately, Nine Tails released more chakra. Naruto was getting more and more stressed. This process lasted for an unknown amount of time. But finally, Naruto, who had the power of Nine Tails in his body, finally became completely familiar with this power. Then, the original Nine Tails chakra outside his body no longer infected him at all. He masters the power of Nine Tails. Success. Naruto shouted happily. Chiba smiled and said. Congratulations, you have initially mastered the power of Nine Tails. Nine Tails huge chakra is naturally not easy to master completely. At least, Naruto's current body couldn't fully bear it. But enough is enough. Chiba smiled and said. This Jinan exam should be much more interesting. Although on Suzuki's side, Chiba didn't know what kind of special training attack it would give him. But, it will never be that weak. Even if it wasn't Manjikyo, it would be San Magadama. This, ah, uh, it can bring a nice surprise to Chinin during the exam. At this moment, Sarutobi is also preparing other candidates. Fortunately, he has many people to choose from. Rock Lee, Tenten, Yamanaka Ino, Akimichi Koji, Nara Shikamaru, Inizuka Kiba, Abarame Shino. Oh, and there's Harano Sakura. As for Hayaganiji, Sarutobi did not call him because he was from the Hayaga clan. Otherwise, other incidents might happen. Sarutobi naturally doesn't allow this. Now, several people stood respectfully in front of Sarutobi. Sarutobi smiled and said, You are the future of the village and the hope of the village. Although other ninja villages have been invited to this Jinan exam, in other words, it is also held for you. Do you have the confidence to win, defeat other opponents, and get a better ranking? Have. Several people's voices were loud, full of confidence. Only Harano Sakura could not help but ask at this moment. Third generation Sama, Suzuki, and Naruto, aren't they with us? Aren't they going to participate? Sarutobi was stunned for a moment, but still said patiently. Participate, but they have another mission. Then grouping. Harano Sakura asked unwillingly. They will be in a group, and there is the eldest lady of the Hayaga family, Hineda. Oh, although he still wanted to say something, he saw that Sarutobi's attitude was not as kind as at first. Harano Sakura knew it and stopped asking. Get ready, the exam will begin tomorrow, don't let me down. Okay, you go down. Yes, everyone left. Sarutobi looked at these young people and couldn't help but sigh. It's great to be young, full of vitality. He sighed. Then he continued to prepare. He generally knows some of the young people in other villages. Some of. There are relatively few in Cloud Shinobi Village. Gara, Kankuro, Tamari and Sunagakur. There are also fewer candidates in Kirigakur. Advertisement. Iwegakur, Black Soil. In comparison, although the other ninja villages are not weak in strength, in terms of the younger generation, they are still inferior to Konoha. As long as you get through this period, then, Konoha will be able to have stronger strength. Prosperity can be restored faster. The village's internal troubles can be solved, as can external troubles. Jiraiya stood on a high mountain and looked at Konoha. Looking at this familiar village, I grew up here, met my comrades here, fought for this place, and then left lonely. Konoha was his home. It's just that this home now is not what it is in memory. Power, is it really that good? Looking at Konoha, Jiraiya murmured. Teacher, do you insist on holding on to the power in your hands? 
sitting in the Hokage position for decades. The longest reigning Hokage. Jiraiya has naturally seen the changes in Kanaha over the years. From the well-deserved number one ninja village in the past, no one dared to say anything, to the current number one ninja village. When the first Hokage was in power, it goes without saying that Kanaha's status was. Although the first generation's character is not suitable, it can be assisted by the second generation. The name of the god of ninja is so famous in the ninja world that no one dares to invade him. If you have this idea, you may die without knowing how. Some ninjas are even proud to be able to defeat the first Hokage. For example, a certain Iwegakur shadow was once scared out of his wits by Uchiha Madara, but he was proud of it and regarded it as his achievement. Then came the second Hokage era. To be fair, second Hokage is not as powerful as first generation, but the wrist is stronger. Second generation is calmer and tougher. When the second generation is in place, even though other villages had attempts, second generation directly and forcefully fought back. It was also profoundly proven. The name of the number one ninja village in Kanaha. That's the real deal. The second generation founded the ninja school and established the Kanaha police department. Use various means to check and balance the forces in the village, and also be tough externally. At that time, Kanaha was naturally extremely prosperous. Then, third generation takes over. Foreign wars are a mess. What they call Kanaha Sunan. Although it seems like a good name, in reality, it is more like a shame. Chiba once joked that the so-called Kanaha Sunan was just Kanaha yellow gambling and drug abuse. It's just a casual name, can you really take it as an honor? It's not like after winning the war, wouldn't you feel ashamed of the title given by others after losing? Good thing. Kanaha has enough background. But even if you win, you won't win everything. Because compensation is required. After, the third generation took the blame and resigned, and the fourth generation took over. But, the fourth generation reigned too short and died too quickly. Third generation quickly continued to take over. Everything is back to how it was before. Until now, war breaks out in the village again and again, but failed again and again, getting weaker and weaker. Power has always been tightly held in his hands. Is it really the best choice? Jiraiya shook his head. He is leaving the village, to find his former disciple. Go explore Akatsuki. Leaving the sad village and, someone who made him sad, on the way out. Whenever Jiraiya sees a woman with good looks and figure, she will subconsciously think of a feminine face. Immediately, instantly lost interest. Then walk further. Orikimuro, ugh, nausea, die pervert? Jiraiya kept cursing in his mind. But I have to admit, Orikimuro did make him quit women. Advertisement. Chapter 82 is this Kanaha Genin? Advertisement. Early morning. Naruto got up early. I woke up early in the morning, stretched out comfortably, and couldn't wait to go out. Not long after he got out, he saw Suzuki. Then Hineda came too. Today is the Chinin exam. We have to go there early. We have all made adequate preparations. I believe that this Chinin exam will not be a problem for us at all. Naruto clenched his fists. He looked at his two teammates and said, Naruto-kun, you are so awesome. Hineda's eyes sparkled with little stars. After getting along for a period of time, she had already become familiar with the role of fiancé. Naturally, he is no longer as shy as before. Although I am still a little embarrassed, it feels much more natural. Suzuki looked at Naruto. Then Luduo, don't hold me back in this exam. Naruto glanced at him. Then let's compete and see who is the one holding back. I think so too. Naruto-kun, Suzuki-kun, come on. Hineda was on the side, silently making soy sauce. And at this time, there was a squeak. The door is opened. Samai I opened the door, and then Kinyi yawned and walked out. Uncle, morning. Good morning, Chiba-sama, uncle. The three little ones said hello obediently. Chiba responded with a smile. Morning. Today is the Chinin exam. How are you preparing? Very well prepared. Naruto said, so are we. Hineda responded sweetly. Just be ready. I'm very optimistic about you. Come on. Chiba encouraged the three little ones. Not long after that, the three little ones left together and went to school. Today, when the Chinin exam begins, Chiba will naturally be there. Of course, not only him, but also Sarutobi Hiruzen and other ninja villages will be like this. After all, so many forces were present. There must be an opening ceremony before the exam. As the sun gradually rose, it spread all over the leaves, causing the temperature to rise a lot. Immediately, it's in the largest open space in the ninja school. The forces from several ninja villages all gathered together. Chiba is here too, but not with a few villages. It would be too stupid to just stand there boredly and watch Sarutobi Hiruzen say some useless things. Certainly, this so-called ritual. Real big shots can't stay safely down there with ordinary ninjas. They naturally have another place, isolated from ordinary ninjas. Now, Chiba sat by the window and watched with a smile. Shortly after, Tsunagakur's Kaze Cage Raza was the first to arrive. Then there was Onaki from Iwegakur and then AI from Cloud Shinobi Village. Finally, there's Kirigakur's Terumime, Nami Kaze Chiba. The moment they saw Nami Kaze Chiba, both Onaki and AI showed fear in their eyes. After all, the strength shown by Nami Kaze Chiba when they attacked Kanaha that day. Let them remember it deeply. It can be said. The existence of Nami Kaze Chiba is one of the reasons why they are afraid of Kanaha. However, he and Sarutobi are not on good terms. This is the blessing among misfortunes. Chiba raised his eyebrows and turned to look at the two of them. What, is something wrong? Onoki suddenly smiled. Nothing, I'm just a little surprised to think that a person like you is willing to kneel before Sarutobi. AI's eyes flashed but he said nothing. Advertisement. Chiba nodded. Tsuchikage is right. If I join Iwegakur, why don't you give me Tsuchikage's position for fun? Onoki stared at Chiba. If you really want to join Iwegakur, I have no problem with it. I can abdicate. Of course, as long as you are sincere. Onoki's attitude was serious. He didn't seem to mean to lie at all. Chiba smiled. Forget it, your granddaughter is too young, I'm not interested. Onoki shook his head and sighed. It's a pity that my daughter got married early. Chiba was speechless. It seems that this old ghost really has this idea. AI also interrupted at this time. How about you come to our Cloud Shinobi village, and the rakage position can be reserved for you. Certainly. When AI said this, it was because of this that Sarutobi happened to walk in from the door. I said it deliberately so that Sarutobi could hear it. Chiba showed an interested expression. Oh, are there any beauties in Cloud Shinobi village? AI said bluntly. Yes, if you are still not satisfied, which one you like, I will help you grab it. Ha 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 ha. Chiba laughed. The hearty laughter echoed in the room. Then thank you two adults for your kindness. Chiba neither refused nor agreed. 
Such a vague attitude is very interesting. Sarutobi's face suddenly stiffened. Although he knew that these words were meant for him, when he actually heard them, he still felt uncomfortable. Sarutobi said, I don't need you two to worry about Chiba's affairs. I will keep the Hokage seat for him. At this time, of course it won't work if we don't bring out some benefits. And right after Sarutobi finished speaking, Terumi may suddenly asked curiously, Really, when? One sentence. Sarutobi choked directly, because, he just said it casually to save face. Everyone also knows that what Onoki and AI said before was just a joke and would not be taken seriously. The same is true for what he said, Sarutobi Hiruzen. But I didn't expect that there was actually a stupid young man who was exposed. Sarutobi looked at Terumime and didn't say anything for the first time. Onoki laughed out loud, Mizu Cage is right, when? AI Ellie laughed at the joke and asked with a smile. Sarutobi said, soon, when will it be soon? Terumime asked again, Hokage Sama doesn't mean what he says, he just says it casually, right? The smile on Sarutobi's face faltered. I have 10,000 words in my heart. He really didn't expect that this new Mizu cage would be so stunned. Moreover, isn't it said that she and Nami Kazechiba are supposed to have a mortal feud? Why today? Until then, Terumi may seem to see what Sarutobi was thinking. Terumi may smiled and said, I can't wait to take action. However, it would be too boring if Nami Kazechiba only represents himself. Sarutobi said, Kanaha has always loved peace and does not like war. Hee <laughs> hee. The three of them chuckled. The laughter was laced with irony. Chiba was watching the show leisurely. Obviously they were discussing that he was the protagonist in this topic, but this protagonist was very relaxed. He was happy to see Sarutobi deflated. But, Chiba also believed it. If Sarutobi really wants to give the seat to himself, Onoki and AI may be the first to object. It is clear. How to choose between a bully Sarutobi and a powerful Namikaze Chiba. Advertisement. They are very clear. Okay, is the Chinin exam about to begin? Chiba said, it's about to begin. Sarutobi Hiruzen breathed a sigh of relief and did not want to dwell on the previous topic. He quickly picked up the topic and said quickly, The young ninja who participated in this Jinin exam are still very strong. Indeed it is. Chiba nodded and said, Every village has excellent ninjas. If this is the case, Kanaha will be under great pressure. Yes. Sarutobi pretended to be sad. The major ninja villages are very powerful. It is too difficult for the ninjas of Kanaha to become Shinin this time. Onaki and others had smiles on their faces. Just a sneer. Who is Sarutobi? How many people present don't know? Sarutobi must have something behind him. Otherwise, would he choose to hold this Chinin exam? Isn't that a joke? It's just that everyone understands it tacitly. Moreover, which village doesn't have a way to keep the bottom line? The first exam is about to begin. Sarutobi murmured. Like a whisper, the moment the voice resounded throughout the venue, it undoubtedly attracted everyone's attention. Sarutobi has a crystal ball and can see pictures. At this moment, the crystal ball was placed in everyone's sight. Naturally, one can see the reactions of the ninjas based on this crystal ball. Now, just inside a room, all the young ninjas from each village gathered together. They each found a place to sit down and discuss the content of this exam. But there is no doubt that no one knows the specific content of this exam. Until not long after, suddenly, the door is opened. A ninja wearing a ninja hat and a black windbreaker appeared with a group of subordinates. The scene suddenly became quiet. My name is Marino Iki, I am the examiner for your first exam. The first test of Chinin is very simple, especially for you, because this is the only exam without fighting or danger, but at the same time, it is very important. If you don't pass this first exam, you will not be able to enter the next one. This is the first step for you to become a Chinin, that's also true, the most critical step. Marino Yubixi spoke in a deep voice. While speaking, the scars on his face became more and more hideous. It makes the whole person look a little scary. Teacher, what will be tested in the first exam? At this time, someone raised his hand and asked. Good question. The first test is a written test. While talking, Marino Iki waved his hand, and immediately, his men dispersed. Next moment, a paper appeared on everyone's desk. This is how you pass the exam. If you answer all the questions above, you will pass the first exam. Ah, Marino Iki's answer. No doubt. It calmed everyone down. Because no one would have thought that this first exam would be so simple and easy. Even Onaki and the others were stunned for a moment. Couldn't help but laugh and said. Sarutobi is really ingenious. He tried his best to avoid fights and casualties. Ayaya said. It's a good choice for Kanaha. But, as a ninja, how can you continue without fighting? Sarutobi knew what the two meant and smiled. You two, don't be impatient for now. We'll know after you take a look. In the picture, the young ninjas started talking again. Quiet. Marino Yubixi said in a deep voice. There is no time for you to discuss. Every minute is precious. Now I announce that the first Shinin exam will begin now. Advertisement. Regarding the rules of the exam, there is no doubt that they are all clearly explained. Then, the remaining time is just to answer the questions. No need to do more, that's boring. Soon, the examination room was completely quiet. The young ninjas who originally thought it was very simple were immediately confused when they saw the questions on the test paper. Because in their opinion, this is simply a super class topic. It is impossible for them to know such a question. What to do? Could it be that he is about to fail the first exam? Many ninjas were scratching their heads at this moment. Naruto glanced at the exam paper. Although the topic is difficult, it is already beyond the scope. But alas, he will. As a well-deserved number one in ninja school. Although I have almost never learned the knowledge in books, I can remember it after just one glance. Same with Suzuki. Although not all questions can be mastered, it is undoubtedly not difficult to pass. Only, since this exam is so important, there is no doubt that we should be more cautious. Suzuki clearly remembers that he promised his brother that he would become a chinin. At this time, indeed, suddenly there was a person writing quickly. He quickly wrote the answer. This got everyone's attention. Suddenly, everyone thought of something. This exam may test everyone's ability to collect information. After all, on the battlefield, an excellent ninja must collect enough information so that he can protect himself to the greatest extent and complete the mission. So, it is very possible that there is one person in the examination room who knows the correct answer. Others need to get information from him. Almost most of them understand. Only, Suzuki thought about this too, but he looked at Naruto. Naruto nodded. Next moment, 
Just when everyone was thinking about how to see that person's answer, Suzuki's eyes suddenly changed. The black pupils instantly turned into a flash of scarlet. Sherry Nan, a child of the Uchiha clan. The moment Sherry Nan appears, Onaki and others saw it. Onaki said, Kanaha is very well prepared. Sarutobi smiled bitterly. Even if Sherry Nan is activated, the power will never be too high. Next, after Suzuki opened the Sherry Nan, he transformed from the ordinary Sherry Nan into the three Tomo Sherry Nan very quickly. Three Megatama. Now, Onoki and the others were deeply shocked. At Suzuki's age, opening three Tomo Sherry Nan is an absolute genius. Suddenly, they looked towards Sarutobi. Before he could say anything, the screen changed again. Three Tomo Sherry Nan changed again and became Mangekyo. And Suzuki looked at Marino Iki at this moment. Next moment, Marino Iki was stunned when she looked at Suzuki. His eyes were blank. But after a moment, he suddenly spoke. First exam, Achiha Suzuki, Uzumaki Naruto, Hayaga Hineda, passed. The examination room was suddenly shocked. What is this? Mangekyo Sherry Nan. Outside the examination room, Onoki and AI were also shocked. They looked at Sarutobi in disbelief, a ninja who unlocked Mangekyo. You asked him to take the Chinin exam? Sarutobi also looked at Chiba in confusion. Chiba waved his hand. This is the Chinin exam. Suzuki is indeed just a genin. Advertisement. Chapter 83 Is this horse riding genin from your village? Advertisement. Mangekyo Sherinan. What? How is this possible? How old is he to awaken the Mangekyo Sherinan? The Achiha Madara back then was nothing more than that, right? But, for someone who can awaken Mangekyo Sherinan, you let him take the Chinin exam. At this time, the shadows in several villages stared at this scene in disbelief. After all, Mangekyo Sherinan is indeed too powerful. This is a power that Genin can master. Isn't it too over the top? For a ninja who has mastered the power of Mangekyo Sherinan, it is not difficult at all to take this kind of exam. Not to mention whether it is difficult or not, even a person with cage level abilities may not be able to defeat Mangekyo when encountering him. The power of Mangekyo is deeply rooted in the hearts of the people. It can be said that even if a few of them take the Chinin exam, they may not be able to defeat Uchiha Suzuki reliably, let alone these young ninjas. If someone like Uchiha Suzuki is allowed to take the Chinin exam, there is no doubt that he is here to abuse food. So at this time, the shadows in these villages can no longer sit still. After all, it's one thing to take the Chinin exam, but it's another thing to come out for abuse. Onoki immediately said, I propose that Uchiha Suzuki not be allowed to take the Chinin exam and that he be promoted directly. With his strength, he can definitely become a Chinin. I agree. AI also spoke. Isn't it a pure foul to let an Uchiha who has awakened Mangekyo Sherinan take the Chinin exam? Luo Shei also said, This is the best way. Sarutobi was also confused at this moment. After all, in his opinion, no matter how strong Suzuki's talent is, two Tomo Sherinan is the limit. It is not easy to open the three Megatama. It was too difficult for the Uchiha clan to open their eyes. How is that possible, with Mangekyo Sherinan? However, what Suzuki revealed in front of him was indeed Mangekyo, it couldn't be more real. So, this is the fact. It can't possibly be false. However, Sarutobi doesn't know why this happens. He subconsciously looked at Namikaze Chiba, wanting an explanation. Namikaze Chiba smiled and said, I don't agree. Who said that being powerful means you can become a Chinin? If that's the case, wouldn't it only be about strength to become a more powerful ninja? Then if I'm strong enough, wouldn't I be able to become a shadow directly? Is this a real joke? At this moment, after Namikaze Chiba finished speaking, several people fell silent. Indeed, including Sarutobi Hiruzen. Why is the Chinin exam necessary? Naturally, it is to select the best talents. The selected outstanding ninjas must undergo various examinations. Through these various examinations, the outstanding ninjas selected will have to perform many tasks in the village in the future, even until a war actually breaks out. They are also the mainstay and the real elite. Therefore, these selected ninjas not only need to be strong, still need some other excellent qualities. Strength is important, but even more important is character, loyalty. If the powerful ninja that the village finally cultivated betrayed the village in the end, the impact would be too great. This is something that every village does not want to see. Therefore, in order to prevent this, they also came up with many ways. The Chinin exam used many of these methods. The same goes for Sarutobi. The ninja who was unwilling to be selected with great difficulty had second thoughts about the village. So this time, they all fell silent. Obviously because of Namikaze Chiba's words, they all thought deeply about this issue. So, how is the result? How to? Advertisement. Namikaze Chiba suddenly said. What's more, the rules of this Jinin exam were set by Lord Hokage. He said that anyone who is a Jinin can participate. Suzuki is a real Jinin. You can't stop a Jinin who wants to make progress, right? This is quite reasonable to say. However, this Jinin who wants to make progress has mastered the Mangekyo Sherinan. That's different. At this time, after Namikaze Chiba finished speaking, everyone couldn't help but look at Sarutobi Hiruzen. As for those eyes, they were full of anger. After all, in the final analysis, it's all because of Sarutobi Hiruzen's imperfect rules. Sarutobi, it's all your fault. No wonder you weren't in a hurry before. It turns out you have such a trump card. Sarutobi, you are very scheming. At this time, both Onoki and AI couldn't help but laugh. After all, Suzuki, who possesses Mangekyo, is simply too powerful. Take this first Shinin exam for example. Suzuki, who possesses Mangekyo, directly controls Marino Iki, who is the examiner. What else can he do? The results of the first exam were announced directly. However, even so, there was nothing they could do. Because during the first exam, I didn't say that I couldn't do this. It's a loophole in the rules. At this time, Sarutobi sighed. Road. Then, why not let Suzuki's matter be settled like this for the time being, so that he cannot use Mangekyo's ability, and at most he can use three Megatama. And you can't use illusions to control the examiner. In this case, we can deal with it for the time being without becoming too powerful. What do you think? Sarutobi looked at Onoki and the others and asked for their opinions. Onoki and the others were unwilling. But I also know that this is a concession made by Sarutobi. Finally, Onoki nodded. That's all. Ayaya said. Sarutobi, I hope you won't do this again. 
Snort? Luosha snorted coldly and said nothing. Sarutobi nodded helplessly. It was agreed. No one expected that the first Shinin exam would end in this way. Certainly. It wasn't until later that Marino Iki knew what happened. Then, there was a long silence. Certainly. The results of this first exam did not affect anyone else. Only Suzuki, Naruto, and Hinata are not among them. Their way is too special. The first exam was a farce. Of course, even so, there are still many people eliminated. Originally, a total of 150 people participated. In the end, half of it was wiped out. Only 78 people remained. These 78 people finally arrived at one place. Marino said happily. Congratulations, you passed your first exam. You have taken the first step to becoming a Chinin. This first step is normal. It is true that some of you use special methods. But there is no doubt that this is your ability. As long as you can pass it, it is your ability. I have nothing to say about this. But, you need to remember one thing, that in the future, not everything can be opportunistic. Remember, for the second exam, I will no longer be the examiner. You will have a new examiner. Finished. Marino Iki just left with the people. The second exam is tomorrow. Advertisement. Therefore, everyone also left. Those who passed the first exam were naturally happy. Those who failed had a lonely look on their faces. Chiba went back. Not long after he returned, the three little ones came to find him. Uncle, we passed the first exam. Naruto was not affected and seemed happy. Chiba smiled and said, Isn't it thanks to Suzuki that you passed this exam? Cut. Naruto had a look of dissatisfaction on his face. Even if Suzuki doesn't take action, I can still pass on my own. Okay, okay. Chiba smiled fondly. You are the best. But, Chiba looked at Suzuki. Warned. Suzuki, your Mangekyo can no longer be used in the next competition. You cannot use Mangekyo's abilities, nor can you use illusions to control the examiner. Suzuki nodded. I understand, my lord. Chiba said. Then I wish you good results in the second exam. Early the next morning, the ninjas who passed the first exam got the news that the exam location was in the forest of death. This is an extremely dense forest. It occupies a large area and is used as the location for the second exam. After everyone comes here, the examiner has not yet appeared. Is this where the second exam is held? After arriving, someone looked around and couldn't help but murmured. It doesn't seem like there's anything special. Oh, really? The sound appeared suddenly. The person who spoke before was immediately startled. He jumped away subconsciously, then immediately looked back. Immediately, he saw the person appearing behind him. A specially dressed female ninja with a delicate face and a hot figure. After appearing, he immediately attracted everyone's attention. My name is Midarashi Anko, and I am the examiner for your second exam. What? The examiner for the second exam is actually a woman. Naruto grumbled. And just after Naruto finished speaking, Anko disappeared and waited until he appeared again. Arriving directly behind Naruto. However, the moment he appeared behind Naruto, Anko's expression suddenly changed. Then, instantly retreat. Stay away from Naruto. His eyes were full of shock. You, teacher, what's wrong? Naruto grinned. Don't be afraid, I won't hurt you. Anko was still frightened. Just now, she wanted to get close to Naruto and teach him a lesson. However, the moment she got closer, she felt dangerous. If you stay any longer, there is a real possibility of being life-threatening. Therefore, she immediately stepped back without hesitation. Stay away from Naruto. Even at this moment, Anko still feels that palpitation in his heart. Shinin couldn't help but think. What kind of monsters are the candidates for this exam? First it was the appearance of Mangekyo Sherinan, and then it was Naruto who made him feel in danger. That feeling just now. Is it a tailed beast? Anko couldn't help but think. Did he master the power of the tailed beast? Advertisement. Only in this way can she feel this feeling of heart palpitations. Call? Anko let out a long breath. Seeing everyone else looking at her. He couldn't help but cough. Then he said. The second exam is in the forest of death. This exam is also very simple. This is a team exam. I believe you already have your own team. For this exam, you will be divided into 26 teams. Each team will carry a scroll. This scroll is very important. It is divided into the scroll of heaven and the scroll of earth. Those who want to pass the exam need to obtain the scroll of heaven and the scroll of earth, and within five days, cross the death forest and reach the tallest tower in the center. Only by doing this can you pass this exam. After Anko finished speaking, immediately, many ninjas started talking. Want to collect both the scroll of heaven and the scroll of earth? Doesn't that prove that half of the people have to be eliminated? Isn't this too cruel? Yes, half of them were eliminated. How cruel. Anko heard these words, but he couldn't help but laugh. Don't be too optimistic. The people eliminated in this exam may not necessarily be half of the people. Anko smiled a little coldly. She said, because you don't know what scroll each other has in their hands. In other words, only by grabbing the scroll in each other's hands can you know what scroll it is. Then, in this case, there must be a team that simply can't get the other scroll they need. Finished saying this. Many people narrowed their eyes. Cruel? In this case, the cruelty will be greatly increased. Gilu? Many people swallowed silently. And, there is another possibility. Even a strong team may have many scrolls. So, the number of eliminated teams will also increase greatly. That's not fair. Soon there were protests. There's nothing fair or unfair. This is an exam. It's impossible for everyone to pass. If you want to pass, then try your best to get the scrolls you need. Use every method you can. The second round of the Chinin exam begins. As Anko spoke, a team has already entered the forest of death. Those who enter it first will naturally be able to find suitable terrain faster. Then look for opportunities to find the scrolls you need. Many teams have thought of this. No more wasting time. Quickly enter the forest of death. Let's go into. Naruto started. Suzuki and Hinata nodded. And this time, Onaki said, the rules this time are pretty good. AI nodded. I just don't know if anything will happen. After saying that, he glanced at Sarutobi. The meaning is obvious. And at this moment, not long after entering the forest of death, Naruto's team met the first team. Naturally, a battle was about to begin. When Suzuki was about to take action, Naruto stopped him. It was you who contributed to the first exam. This time, it's my turn. Finished. Naruto stepped forward and the tailed beast coat appeared outside his body. Hokage office. Tailed beast? Jinchuriki. Sarutobi, is this horse riding genin from your village? Advertisement. Chapter 84 The Ignored Hokage. Advertisement. In the Hokage's office, the atmosphere was unusually warm. 
The elderly third Hokage once again attracted the attention of everyone present, attracting the attention of everyone present with his aging body, both men and women. Probably no one would consider that even though he is so old, he can still have such attractive eyes, especially AI. This man who looked the strongest had the most intense eyes. There is also Onoki, an equally old man. Obviously, there is something special about Sarutobi that is enough to attract them. But Sarutobi didn't know it, and he felt very unnatural under this case. Therefore, he explained hastily. This, I don't know either. Have no idea. AI's voice became even louder. He stood up, his body as tall as a hill, looking down at the elderly Sarutobi. In the end, Chiba couldn't stand this arrogant look anymore. He couldn't help but open his mouth to help Sarutobi. Chiba said, Master Rakage, what are you doing? Every village has some secrets. Doesn't Cloud Shinobi Village have a trump card? Master Hokage has been hiding it for so long, how can he tell you so easily? Besides, he's only doing it for the village. Besides, Naruto is really just a genin. Onoki glanced at Chiba. If I remember correctly, this Jinchuriki should be your nephew, right? Yes. Chiba admitted it frankly. Then he said regretfully, It's a pity that I never had time to teach him, so I had to let him study in the ninja school. Kinyi shook his head, his face a little complicated. It seems that he feels guilty because of this matter. His eyes returned to Sarutobi. Oh, ninja school, Sarutobi, your ninja school really teaches good students. Could it be that Uchiha was also taught in a ninja school? Onaki sneered and spoke. Chiba was shocked, as if someone had discovered the secret. Couldn't help but said in surprise. Hey, you actually know that Suzuki is also a student at the ninja school. In one sentence, the expression on Sarutobi's face froze. Then, he turned around and looked at Kinyi. Chiba said apologetically. Hokage-sama, although you are the principal of the ninja school, I know that you are not very clear about these things. In fact, Naruto and Suzuki were both taught by me and have nothing to do with you. Enough. Sarutobi's face suddenly darkened. Interrupted Namikaze Chiba. Obviously, the more Namikaze Chiba talks about this matter, the darker it will become. Because neither Onoki nor AI would believe that this had nothing to do with him, Sarutobi. After all, as the principal of the ninja school, he must have the right to know. There is no way Sarutobi doesn't know. If not, wouldn't he, the principal of the ninja school, be a joke? He must know. I just kept it a secret in order to trick them during the Jinin exam. At this time, Onoki, AI, and Raza share the same hatred and are hostile to Sarutobi. There are also some shadows of Xiao Ninja Village, and the eyes are also very strange. Only Terumi may glanced at Chiba quietly at this moment. She guessed the truth. But I can guess that it is probably because I have a deeper understanding. Of course, Chiba also knew her very well. Terumi may knows the right and wrong. However, this accumulation of knowledge has some twists and turns. Often you also have to master the rhythm. It will feel painful. However, the accumulation of knowledge is often a process. As long as you can endure it, one day, knowledge will gush out and pour in. So, only Terumi may can understand so much. She winked at Kinyi, roughly expressing her gratitude. Now, Sarutobi no longer knew how to explain it. Perhaps no explanation is needed. This doesn't make sense. Because almost everyone thinks that this is Sarutobi's arrangement. He wants to use this to destroy the younger generation of other ninja villages. But, only Chiba didn't think so. Advertisement. He always supports third Hokage. Moreover, he is also the only one who wants to clear his name. That's not the case. This is definitely not the arrangement of Mr. Third Generation. This is. Onoki looked over and smiled coldly. Do you think we look like fools? Chiba said no more. He just felt that something was not quite right in this world. Why do some people not believe me when I tell the truth? He glanced at Sarutobi. It seems that after Danzo's death, Sarutobi not only inherited Danzo's power and power, but also took over in a comprehensive manner. How dare you take the blame? However, Kinyi can no longer persuade her now. I can only hope that Master Hokage can overcome this difficulty. Onoki was looking at Sarutobi. Piro said without a smile. I think, after a while, we can hold a cage level exam. How about, Sarutobi, Iwegakur would like to invite you to participate. AI took over the words. This is a good idea, I think it can be done. Luosha nodded. He didn't say anything, but the meaning was obvious. It is also supported. Sarutobi looked extremely ugly. In the end, he could only say helplessly. This matter is due to my poor thinking. However, although Naruto has mastered part of the tailed beast's power, he should not be able to release too much. It is still within a controllable range and is not considered a super class. He just finished speaking. But I saw it in the crystal ball. Naruto faced three people alone. The three people obviously cooperated well and launched attacks from three directions. There are not many blind spots in the cooperation, and it is almost impossible to hide. At this time, Hinata shouted. Naruto-kun, be careful. Suzuki pouted. Just three people, what do you have to worry about? If they can really hurt Naruto a little bit, then I guess ranking second in the second exam will be no problem, right? But, at first, Suzuki wanted to do it by himself. After all, his whim is enough to kill someone else. Soon, the trio approached Naruto. Suzuki yawned boredly, feeling very boring. The strength of these three people is actually quite good. Among all the teams, they are considered to be in the middle and upper reaches. But, that's all. Anyway, even a person with second-rate potential would be boring to him. After all, number one is already a given. It is indeed a bit embarrassing to compete with a group of weaklings for ranking. He even had his abilities limited. Suzuki suddenly thought, Why don't you just stop using Sherry Non? Have you learned any new ninjutsu recently? How about practicing it? Certainly. No one cared about what was going on in Suzuki's mind. Now, after Naruto used the Tailed Beast's power, the Tailed Beast's coat was really eye-catching. The attack came immediately. Hey, masked RBTE a lot, do it faster. Suzuki shouted weakly. Good. Naruto agreed. Then he allowed the three attacks to hit him. And then, three claws protruded from the tailed beast's coat and directly grabbed the ankles of the three people, and separate it a little from the middle. A tailed beast bomb with highly condensed chakra is gradually taking shape. However, Naruto didn't condense too much and wouldn't have much power. Otherwise, this forest might explode. Boom, the three of them were thrown out, and the tailed beast bomb was also thrown out. Then it exploded directly. A pit several meters deep instantly appeared on the ground, as well as some remaining clothing remnants. Naruto clapped his hands. Done. Suzuki looked at him. Advertisement. Have you forgotten something? Huh? What did you forget? 
Suzuki's mouth twitched continuously. Where's the scroll? We are here to fight for the scroll. If there is no scroll, what are you going to do to beat them? Listen to Suzuki. Naruto just remembered this. But when I looked back, I couldn't find much left. He had no choice but to spread his hands. There is no other way. Let's grab one. I'll be more careful next time, so I can leave a body behind. Suzuki. After finishing speaking, Naruto suddenly said. How about you take action next time? I'm afraid they are too weak to fight. Suzuki. I ride a horse. Am I weaker than you? You are afraid of beating them to death. Am I not afraid? Suzuki kept complaining in his mind. And at this time, the moment the tailed beast bomb exploded, the light rising from the explosion followed the crystal ball and illuminated the faces of everyone in the Hokage office. Sarutobi's withered face became a little more shiny, but, but it looks darker. That's when AI stood up and a shadow enveloped him. He looked at Sarutobi, his eyes nearly bursting with fire. Word by word, he said through gritted teeth. Is this what you said? Not proficient enough in mastering the power of tailed beasts. Strength is not beyond the scope. Why don't you throw your son up there and see if he can withstand the power of this tailed beast bomb? Chiba has always been a rigorous person. At this time, he reminded. It's definitely impossible to bear. After all, a corpse has no resistance. Asuma is long dead. What do you mean by this? Why don't you throw Sarutobi up? AI was stunned for a moment. Sarutobi had a look of anger on his face. Chiba closed her mouth in time. I feel like the show is about to begin. Really? Bang? AI slapped his palm on the table. He almost pointed at Sarutobi's nose and cursed. Sarutobi, this is the exam you are holding? Are you going to form a team with Jinshuriki and Manjikyo and let them take the Chinin exam? Tama, the two of them combined are more than enough to AFK you Hokage. AI was furious. Onoki wasn't much better. Because this is a warning. The other teams are in front of these two genin. Almost all are unplayable. It will be a crushing blow from the local side. Sarutobi took a deep breath. Trying his best to suppress his emotions. Tolerate. Tolerate. Bear with it. He held back. Looking at AI. This is my negligence. I will ask someone to inform you that you are not allowed to use the power of the tailed beast. At this moment. Chiba disagreed. He said. After all, this is the power they have gained through their own efforts. If it is banned repeatedly, then the Chinin exam itself will lose its meaning. Besides, they have the expectations of Hokage-sama. Sarutobi glared at Namikaze Chiba. Chiba didn't seem to see it. My lord has arranged so much, are you going to give up now? You have been preparing for the Chinin exam for so long. You want to catch them all, no, to inspire their indomitable momentum. Onoki and AI were on the verge of breaking out. Luoshe's eyes moved slightly, thinking of Shikako on Gara. Advertisement. Didn't choose to participate in the topic. Gara can also control the power of some tailed beasts, which is considered super class. But obviously, the right to speak does not belong to him. Tsunagakura's strength is still a bit weak. No, this exam will be held as normal, but we will add something. Add something. For a moment. Everyone looked at Kinyi. Don't understand what he said. Chiba smiled, as if he had been preparing for a long time. There is so much foreshadowing, just waiting for this moment. He opened his mouth and said, Yes, since we have already surpassed the power, why should we ban it? Why not be more transcendent? I think it is better to allow each village's team to have foreign aid. Foreign aid. Several people suddenly narrowed their eyes. This means that people outside the examination room can also participate. And once this happens, that's when things got really messed up. But, now he has super strength. To put it this way, it doesn't seem to be too much. After all, Kanaha must be the only one at the moment. Once, without adding any ingredients, this Jinin exam is a joke. As for adding ingredients, it also depends on how you add ingredients. So, Onaki and AI looked at each other. Turning to look at Namikaze Chiba, he said. What's the law about adding foreign aid? It's very simple. Chiba said, each team is allowed one person to assist. As for the candidates, you adults can choose them yourself. It's just that the people who join the competition can be considered as participants. However, unless the power of Taishoutsuna appears, they can't take action. This means that Manjikyo and Nine Tails Jinchuriki can be restricted. Although they are powerful, they are still too young. Send an elite jonin who is experienced enough. Although it may not be comparable in terms of strength. But, there are indeed other ways to make up for it. It's interesting. After thinking about it, Onaki suddenly laughed. Obviously, he was moved. AI also thought about it. It's not impossible. Chiba looked at Luosha. What do you think, Kazekage-sama? Can. Chiba said again. But the shadows from each village cannot go. After all, the shadows are too strong. It's natural. Onoki and Edo. Then let each village quickly select someone. Otherwise, the Chinin exam may be over. This matter. This is how it was decided. Interestingly, Sarutobi Hiruzen hasn't spoken yet. He actually got the consent without going through him, the Hokage. Chiba, who is clearly not Hokage yet, seems to be regarded as the shadow of Konoha at this moment. Taking Sarutobi's place, he negotiated with other cage. Sarutobi sees everything. I wanted to refute, but I couldn't. Onoki and AI were too dissatisfied with him. Finally, someone was selected from each village. Well, Chiba chose herself. Within the forest, Suzuki after hearing the news, the excitement in his eyes could not be suppressed. It's finally going to be interesting. I've long wanted to compete with elite ninjas from other villages. Naruto looked at Suzuki and couldn't help but hit him. Are you sure you can beat an elite ninja if you meet one? Suzuki snorted. Why can't they be defeated? I can kill them on a whim. Advertisement. Chapter 85 Orikimaru takes action. Complete chaos. Advertisement. What made you think that you would come up with this opinion? Before entering, Fugaka couldn't help but speak. He looked at Namikaze Chiba. It's nothing, it just makes this exam more interesting. But if we allow ninjas from other villages to enter on a large scale, something will happen if we don't protect them all. Once things get messed up, it will definitely get out of control. Fugaka's expression was unusually serious. Looking at Namikaze Chiba, it seemed like he was giving instructions. It's nothing. Chiba said, if you lose control, you will lose control. Anyway, this Jinin exam is not organized by you and me. Even if it does get out of control, then it will only be him, Sarutobi, not us. Hearing Chiba's words, Fugaka looked straight at him. After a while, it seemed as if something was finally determined. He immediately said, You, you want to take action. Fugaka's eyes widened and he looked at him in disbelief. You want to take action against Sarutobi. Chiba did not refute, but shrugged, and said nonchalantly, 
Sarutobi has been sitting in this position long enough. Fugaku looked at Chiba again and said, Indeed it is. If you plan to take action, then, it makes sense. Only, Fugaku had other ideas. Do you think the other villages are happy to see you take power? For them, after dealing with Sarutobi for so long, it is obvious that Sarutobi is easier to deal with, but it is you. They will definitely not want to see you rise to power. Fugaku said seriously, don't look at what they say now, but all of this is to combat what Sarutobi has done. Once Sarutobi really loses power, others will definitely be the first to stop it. Especially at this time, Shinin is taking the exam. Sometimes, once it really gets out of control, you will face the union of all the villages, and they will all deal with you. To this, Chiba actually laughed. He smiled very freely. This is not a big deal. If they are willing to deal with me, then let them deal with it. I said, Sarutobi has been in this position for too long. The fourth generation has been in power for too short a time and is not enough to have an impact on this village. So, now, it is better to change to Hokage. Although my nostalgia for power is not that big, before Naruto grows up, there will always be a Hokage in Kanaha, so I will reluctantly be one for a while. Fugaku fell silent. Looking at Namikaze Chiba, one sentence blurted out. Actually, I think I can also, but... When he said this, Namikaze Chiba had gradually walked away. He even waved his hand and said at the same time, You're thinking shit. Fugaku looked at Chiba's back and gradually smiled. This day has finally come. He's been waiting for so long. He had known for a long time that as long as Namikaze Chiba wanted to, he would definitely take action against Sarutobi. It was indeed time for a replacement in the position of Hokage. As for Fugaku himself, he knew that he did not have the strength to compete with Namikaze Chiba. Besides, he is not that obsessed with power. If this were not the case, Uchiha would not have the original problem. After Kinyi left, Hayagahai Ashi also came over. Looking at Fugaku's appearance, I couldn't help but ask, Where is Namikaze Chiba? Already gone. Yes, he left peacefully. Hayashi couldn't help but roll his eyes at him, glanced at him. Why didn't you say this when he was around? Nonsense. Fugaku said confidently. Dare I say this when he is here? Isn't that asking for a beating? Oh, you still know. Aren't you afraid that I will sue you? You old man, how dare you? What am I afraid of? The two immediately started fighting. These two now relaxed after hearing the news. At last. Advertisement. Hayashi remembered the purpose of his visit and couldn't help but ask. Is he going to take action? Yes. Fugaku sighed. It will happen one day. Hayashi touched his chin and said. Then am I not a relative of the Hokage? What kind of relative are you? Fugaku said dissatisfied. My daughter is Naruto's fiancée, so why isn't she a Hokage relative? Ah, uh, Fugaku sneered. Hayashi, envy. Fugaku, haha, I envy you and give birth to a daughter. Haha, selling a girl for glory is disrespectful to an old man. You are the envy of Chikyuakuo. How dare you let Suzuki hook up with Naruto? Heh, just go and I'll tell Suzuki. The two quarreled again. And at this time, Sarutobi looked at the ninjas in front of him and sighed. When things have developed to this extent, as a Hokage, I have an unshirkable responsibility. However, now that the matter has happened, I have the responsibility to solve it. However, as a Hokage, I cannot enter it, so I leave everything to everyone. Sarutobi said it quite sincerely. As a Hokage, his posture is very low. This made these ninjas feel flattered immediately. He quickly said, It is our honor to serve Mr. Third Generation. Sir, please rest assured that we will get things done this time and prevent anything bigger from happening in the Chinin exam. Sarutobi said, Then, I'll help you all. Next. Naturally, there was nothing to say. The ninjas selected from each village began to enter the venue for the second Chinin exam, the Forest of Death. Chiba also entered it, but he didn't rush to find Naruto and the others immediately. Instead, he walked around in the forest and muttered, It's a pretty good venue. Sarutobi sent in a total of seven people. It seems that he really wants this Chinin exam to go smoothly. Unfortunately, thinking too much, with Chiba here, it's impossible. So this time, Kinyi swaggered up to several people. This time, all the clan leaders of the Inoshikacho clans came. Apart from that, they are all elite ninjas in the village. Namikaze Chiba stood in front of the seven people. Suddenly, Nara Shikako couldn't help but frowned. Namikaze Chiba, what are you going to do? This Chinin exam is held by the village. If something happens, it will have a huge impact on the village. Even if you are dissatisfied with Mr. Third Generation, you should not raise an issue at this time. Kinyi said indifferently, what could happen? Even if something is really going to happen, then, what does it have to do with me? The only one affected is him, Sarutobi. Chiba smiled and said, I'm not here to do anything, I just want you to calm down and not interfere. If you are obedient, then everything will be fine. But if you are disobedient, then you can't blame me. Suddenly, all seven people narrowed their eyes. The remaining six people looked at Nara Shikako, waiting for his decision. Nara Shikako looked at Chiba and said, You must stop us. Chiba said, I'm just trying to calm you down a little bit. Nara Shikako said, In this case, we have no choice but to take action. We have heard for a long time that Namikaze Chiba is extremely powerful and can be called the number one genius in the ninja world. Unless the god of ninja is reborn, no one can match you in terms of qualifications. But today, let us take a look at how strong you, the number one genius, are. Advertisement. Finished. Suddenly, the four Umbu ninjas behind him, except Sudi, immediately took action. Four people, divided into four directions, immediately rushed towards Namikaze Chiba. They cooperated very well. And, just when Namikaze Chiba was about to move, he found that the shadow under him was controlled by Nara Shikako. He couldn't help but smile. Interesting, very interesting. The four people's attacks came immediately. Chiba looked at it like this. Only, the moment the attacks from the four of them hit Kinyi. But his expression suddenly changed. Because their attacks did not cause any damage to Chiba at all. Suddenly, the four of them were shocked. What kind of defense is this? It's too strong? They immediately pulled back. Only, it's too late. Because Chiba broke free from Nara Shikaku's control in an instant, and pulled out the sword in his hand with a buzzing sound. Cut out with one sword. Laugh. The nearest ninja was struck by Chiba's sword and his left arm was broken off. And this is just the beginning? Chiba's body disappeared instantly. When he appeared again, he was still in front of the four people. Boom. 
He immediately kicked one of them on the chest. Then there was another chop immediately. The Umbu Ninja who was closest to him had no way to avoid this slash, and immediately slashed to the chest with his sword. A huge ravine appeared directly on his chest. Immediately, the ninja spit out a mouthful of blood. Then, he just lost his breath. At this time, whether it was Nara Shikaku or everyone else, their expressions changed. Because they didn't expect that after Nami Kaze Chiba took action, they would directly lose one person. This, after one person died, everyone else was immediately anxious, quickly united again. And at this time, when Nami Kaze Chiba takes action, another thing has happened in another part of the Death Forest. The three ninjas from the Sound Ninja were actually extremely powerful. Not only is he tyrannical in strength, but he is also cruel in his methods. Even, he repeatedly attacked the ninjas from other villages. In a short period of time, two teams suffered disaster. The three of them actually have strength comparable to that of Jonin. You know, in such a Chinin exam, three ninjas with Jonin's strength are an absolute dimensionality reduction blow. Especially, they have evil intentions. It can be said that if they are willing, they can kill nearly 80% of the people here. And, that's what they did. At this moment, they just kept killing. What they encountered at this time was the team from Cloud Shinobi Village. These three ninjas from Cloud Shinobi Village are also very capable young ninjas in the village. But now, when facing three ninjas, but he couldn't even return his hand. They ran away like crazy. Want to avoid this killing. At the same time, I couldn't help but say, Advertisement. What exactly is going on? Isn't this the Chinin exam? Why the hell, Jonin will appear. And, not one Jonin, but three Jonin. What does Sarutobi Hiruzen do? Does he want us all to die here? The man ran and shouted. Situation here. It can be said that after Chiba, the one who knows the most but doesn't pay much attention to it is Orikimaru. Now, Orikimaru was in the laboratory, looking in the direction of the Death Forest. I don't know how many things the few people I sent have done. He couldn't help but lick his lips. If you can kill all the people in other villages, then, Mr. Sarutobi must have a big headache. In fact, if he hadn't taken refuge in Chiba, Orikimaru wanted to take action himself. This Jinin exam is a rare opportunity, and I must give teacher Sarutobi a big surprise. Even if he wasn't involved, he still took action this time. The reason is to give Sarutobi a big gift. Chiba knew what Orikimaru was thinking and didn't care about him. After all, Orikimaru is single-minded and wants to do something to Sarutobi. If he has this idea, he will fulfill it. At this time, Orikimaru walked out of the laboratory with a smile. Kanaha, how long has it been since he appeared so upright? But now, I, Orikimaru, am back. This moment, after walking out of the laboratory, Orikimaru immediately made a seal. Summoning technique. Boom, a huge snake appeared on the edge of Kanaha. The appearance of this snake immediately destroyed all nearby buildings. Orikimaru jumped up and stood on top of the giant snake's head. With a smile. Sarutobi sensei, I'm back, do you know? Sir, Lord Third Generation, something is wrong. This moment. An Umbu ninja rushed in hastily. Sarutobi saw it and couldn't help but scolded him. Why are you in such a hurry? What else could happen? The most important thing in life is to be steady, rational, and calm. Being anxious will only make your mind unclear. After a while, Sarutobi Hiruzen looked at him just now, asked in a calm tone, Tell me, what happened to make you so panicked? Yes, something big happened at the entrance of the village. A huge summoning beast has invaded the village, and the one who summoned it out was your disciple, Orikimaru. Oh, it's Orikimaru. That's it for Sarutobi. It suddenly stopped. Then, his eyes suddenly widened. Ask again, who do you mean? Orikimaru, yes. Also, while you are calming down, he must have caused a lot of damage. I am afraid that the entrance to the village has been completely destroyed. The ninja couldn't help but said. Sarutobi stood up suddenly. Then you didn't tell me earlier. Quickly, go to the entrance of the village. He knew Orikimaru too well. It is clear that Orikimaru's return at this time will definitely have a big purpose. As long as it stays for one more second, a hell will appear. This is a major event that will bring disaster to all living beings. This moment, Sarutobi couldn't calm down anymore. Reason is gradually lost. Advertisement. Chapter 86 First Generation and Second Generation, Hokage Chaos. Advertisement. Boom, another house collapsed. Orikimaru was currently standing on top of the giant snake's head, and a moment later he actually sat down cross-legged. He put his elbows on his thighs and looked around quietly with his chin drawn. There are ruins on all sides. The broken wall collapsed, pinning many villagers down. The eyes of the villagers were full of fear. Looking at Orikimaru sitting on top of the giant snake, he would have knelt down immediately if he hadn't been suppressed and couldn't move. Orikimaru looked at these with interest. This is the entrance to the village. It was a place that Azumaki Naruto often visited when he was a child. Therefore, these villagers are all faces he is familiar with. These are the most ferocious people called demon foxes. Only, in the past, when they faced young demon foxes, they became more and more bold, daring to do all kinds of things and even bully them. But facing an adult snake, he could only lie down on the ground and plead innocently. I hope that this rough adult snake will suddenly realize its conscience and bypass their lives. This big snake is nothing but the summoning beast of Orikimaru. Although it is huge in size, it is not very powerful. At the very least, compared to any other tailed beast, he would be beaten. But it was such a big snake that oppressed the innocent villagers who dared to insult the demon fox, and they even did not dare to fight back. The smile on Orikimaru's face grew stronger. The giant snake he sat on spit out its core and looked around, but made no next move. Neither continue to destroy everywhere nor kill these people. Just listen to them wailing and pleading. The scene was very interesting for the moment. Orikimaru has great patience. Snakes have always been like this. He looked at these people who couldn't stop begging and wished they could kneel down, and there was no waver in his heart. Snakes are cold-blooded. Fortunately, he didn't wait too long. Several figures quickly approached. The first one is none other than the teacher he has longed for, Sarutobi Hiruzen. Sarutobi revealed his figure, wearing a brand new third Hokage robe and an equally bright Hokage hat. Even in such a hurry, he didn't forget to put on his new clothes that were attractive enough. Orikimaru stood up. The voice is a little hoarse. Sarutobi Sensei, long time no see. Sarutobi narrowed his eyes. He said in a bad tone, Orikimaru, how dare you come back? What's wrong with that? Orikimaru showed a serious smile. This is the village where I was born and raised. I have been away for so long. I should have come back to see my dear fellow villagers and, of course, my dearest teacher Sarutobi. His eyes fell on Orikimaru. Sarutobi is no longer polite. You are seeking death. 
Teacher Sarutobi must be very worried right now. How can he have time to take care of me? Could it be that I am more important than the Chinin exam? Hearing this, Sarutobi's heart suddenly jumped. Some lines in my mind that were not clear at first suddenly became clear. Looking at Orikimura, he said in surprise. You, joined forces with Nami Kaze Chiba. Joined forces? No, far from it. We are just doing what we need. Snakes don't need companions, they just need helpers when they kill their prey. Orikimura said his request. But after hearing this, Sarutobi became even more uneasy. He overlooked one point. That is, if Orikimura and Nami Kaze Chiba join forces, then Orikimura suddenly appears at the entrance of the village at this moment, it must be proved. Something happened in the village? Something happened in the Chinin exam. But thinking of the seven people he sent, Sarutobi finally felt less anxious. But it's still not enough. He began to think, what on earth is Nami Kaze Chiba going to do? There wasn't much that could be done in the second Chinin exam. Unless he wants to kill everyone? But what would he get if he killed everyone? Is there any benefit to this? Advertisement. It might even offend other ninja villages. Forcing other ninja villages to ally with him. In this case, it's actually not a bad thing. Even a good thing. When he thought of this, Sarutobi suddenly felt less anxious. Looking at Orikimuro, he gradually smiled. Orikimuro said, It seems that Mr. Sarutobi has already thought of it. However, you are still so calm. It seems that you think this matter is beneficial to you. Orikimuro's face became full of smile. In other words, this is your conspiracy. You are the one who united with Nami Kaze Chiba, and what you want to do now is to unite the power of other ninja villages to strengthen your rule. The other four villages are just your pawns. His thoughts were red. Sarutobi didn't get angry, looking at Orikimuro with interest. You are my disciple. I let you go that day, but I was always soft-hearted. Why do you want to come back? Orikimura said frankly. Kanaha has been silent for too long. It needs a gust of wind to turn this windmill. Do you think Nami Kaze Chiba is this gust of wind? I can't think of any other choice besides him. What exactly do you want to do? I want to see how fast the windmill can turn. Orikimura looked up at the sky and said with emotion. Perhaps, Mr. Sarutobi, you are the driving force behind the rotation of this windmill. Sarutobi sneered. You're getting crazier. No, I have always been calm. I have never been crazy. My thoughts have always been simple. Sarutobi narrowed his eyes and thought of something. Have you found the immortal ninjutsu? Maybe. Orikimura's words were somewhat uncertain. I think that should be correct, but obviously it is not perfect. Now, I have found another strength, which makes me even more happy. I think that if you can master this kind of power, you can be truly immortal. Looking at Orikimura's face, Sarutobi gradually lost interest. But now that I'm here, naturally, we cannot do nothing. Therefore, the ninjas behind him all came out to kill Orikimura. Orikimura was still looking at the sky, but, behind Orikimura, Kabuto's figure appeared. He quickly formed seals. Two coffins appeared on the ground. With a bang, the coffin opened. Two figures emerged from it. One of them has long black hair, wearing a tight-fitting black combat uniform, and a red laminated armor on the outside. The laminated armor on the left side of the shoulder has the logo of the Senju clan tattooed on it. There are red iron wrist guards on the wrists of both hands. His name, Hashirama, Senju, another person, but he has silver hair and red eyes. He has an iron forehead protector on his face and three very clear red marks on his cheeks. He is also wearing a black tight-fitting combat uniform, but the outside is covered with blue laminated armor. And on the shoulders, it is equipped with a white down fur collar connected to the back. His name, Tobirama. Surname, Senju, the identities of these two people are Kanaha's first Hokage and second Hokage. They, they had a gray stain on their cheeks. Enough to prove it. They are not living people. But it was brought out by impure world reincarnation. Hashirama and Tobirama both closed their eyes tightly. Even in the coffin, their bodies were still majestic. Looking at the bodies of first generation and second generation, Orikimura couldn't help but sigh. What an enviable strength. Kabuto stepped aside and seemed quite at peace with himself. Orikimura didn't look at him, but said. You should know all my ninjutsu, Kabuto. Yes, Orikimura-sama. You are a very smart boy and very ambitious. Kabuto lowered his head. Advertisement. I will not betray you, sir. Orikimura smiled. Even if you knew that Danzo's conspiracy actually had my hand in it. Kabuto was once taken in by Yakushi Nanu. However, he was threatened by Danzo and ended up fighting with Kabuto. In the end, Kabuto killed Nanu. Kill his most respected benefactor. Orikimura later told him the truth. But, Orikimura has known about this for a long time and even helped him a little. Of course, what Orikimura did was actually insignificant. But Kabuto had been investigating this matter for a long time. Of course I can't hide it. Kabuto shook his head. She died because of Danzo. But you still can't forget it. Kabuto fell silent. Let's go, Kabuto. Find the path that's best for you, but my lord, you don't need to explain so much. I know your ambition. You are not willing to do this, and I don't want to raise a loser. Orikimura smiled coldly, like a real snake. I need you to surpass me, not follow me all the time and learn everything I do, which doesn't help me. You should go out for a walk and unleash your ambition. Kabuto fell silent. Finally he fell off the snake's back and walked away without looking back. Orikimura didn't care about that. Now, he was admiring the expressions on the faces of Sarutobi Hirazan. There is nothing more interesting than facing Kanaha's first two generations of Hokage. Sarutobi Sensei, when you face your own teacher and the person you respected the most, can you do it? This thing is so interesting. Hashirama and Tobirama opened their eyes. The scenery in front of me gradually became clearer. Then, an elderly Sarutobi is seen. He couldn't help but frowned. Monkey. Tobirama spoke. In the forest of death. After Chiba once again killed an Umbu ninja with one sword, Narashikaka could no longer bear it and said angrily, Do you really have to kill everyone before you are willing to do that? No, there may be something wrong with your understanding. I am not willing to kill everyone before I can do it. Even if everyone dies, it doesn't have much to do with me. Narashikaka smiled coldly. 
Chiba explained. I'm just having fun with it and you guys should know what I'm going to do. Hokage cannot be obtained by killing. Nara Shikaku said loudly. Only those who are recognized by everyone can become Hokage. Oh. Chiba showed an interesting expression. Is this what you think the Hokage is? Nara Shikaku looked at Chiba. So what do you think the Hokage is? I want to be a Hokage, so, I am a Hokage. Chiba said something that was considered nonsense. But, it was indeed what he thought. Does Hokage have to be approved by everyone? Is this necessary? There are a few big clans that support him, and their strength is enough to overwhelm everyone. If he is not the Hokage, who else can? Even if he doesn't want to be one, the tribe behind him who supports him will personally put the white Hokage robe on him. There is no doubt about this. So, getting everyone's approval was a joke from the beginning. Because, when Sarutobi came to power, he was not recognized by everyone. He has been recognized by several major clans, as well as the second generation. They represent everyone. So this time, advertisement. When someone told him, Hokage can only become a Hokage if everyone approves of it. That is undoubtedly a trick to deceive children. Or to put it simply, the person who can serve the interests of the majority of people is the best candidate to become Hokage. As for those few, either silent or completely silent. If not for him, Uchiha, who would have been in the minority, has been completely silenced. This moment, Chiba suddenly laughed. Nara Shikako couldn't help but said, Why are you laughing? You are so smart. I thought you were at least a smart person, but I didn't expect it to be anything more than that. Chiba said, Sarutobi must abdicate. I will replace all his followers. I don't have the patience to conquer them one by one. I will only give you one way. Nara Shikaku said, Submit to you. Chiba laughed. Nara Shikaku then said, Dream. It seems you have made your choice. Buzz? Chiba's body moved. Then he drew his long sword. The long sword streaked across the sky, like a silver moon in the sky. The white moonlight poured down, and the blood spread on the ground like a veil. The gurgling flow is like a veil stretching, very gently. Bang? Several bodies fell to the ground. This day, destined to be anything but ordinary. However, only a few people died. The other side. Several ninjas from the Sound Ninja Village caught up with Sunagakur's team. Tamari, Kankuro, and Gara ran away like crazy. Even though their strength far exceeds that of their peers, they are still no match for these ninjas from Odagakur Village. In fact, there were a lot of injuries on his body. Gara's anger became even stronger. Finally, he stopped altogether. Rolling yellow sand flowed from the gourd behind him. There were more and more sand, gradually covering everything. This place seems to have become a desert. Gara's eyes were full of coldness. In the end, it was as if the eyes were no longer human. So cold and heartless, yet so silent. The ninjas in the Sound Ninja Village frowned as they watched this scene. Bang! One person stretched out his fist and hit Gara fiercely. Only, quickly defended by quicksand. Gara remained motionless in it. The anger became more and more intense. What is that? One person couldn't help but ask. What a terrifying power. It seems to be the power of the tailed beast. One tail. He's going to unleash the power of one tail. Walk. Moment. The three people evacuated here. But now that this piece of yellow sand has been freed from its shackles, there is no hope of returning to the gourd easily. Gradually, yellow sand enveloped Gara. Eventually, it transformed into a giant tanuki. This tanuki has its own name. One tail Shikaku, Tamari and Kankuro looked at each other and realized the seriousness of the matter. Gara, out of control. Advertisement. Chapter 87 Tobirama's Rage. Advertisement. Boom. In the forest of death, the aura of terror overflows. Many trees were destroyed in an instant. In the forest, some surviving ninjas all saw this scene, showing a shocked look. In the end what happened? What a terrifying power. Is this going to destroy the entire death forest? Isn't this the Chinin exam? How could such a terrifying power appear? This, what is going to happen? At this time, not only the remaining ninjas were shocked. Even Naruto and the three of them looked at this scene blankly. Naruto looked at the sky and couldn't help but said. That seems to be, the power of one tail. Of course Naruto didn't know one tail, but the nine tails in him did. After a moment of perception, it became clear that what appeared was one tail. Suzuki frowned. But, how come one tail appears during the Chinin exam? Naruto was very relaxed at the moment. Joked. Sasug, aren't you very strong? There happens to be a good opponent at this moment. Why don't you give it a try? Suzuki twitched the corner of his mouth. Although Mangekyo can indeed collide with the tailed beast, it is still unclear what happened at this time. He wouldn't be stupid enough to confront a tailed beast directly. Mainly, it just seems silly. It has nothing to do with exams. Seeing that Suzuki was not encouraged, Naruto couldn't help but sigh. Zuzi, I didn't expect you to be so courageous. Suzuki glanced at him. How about you go? Naruto said confidently. I'm not stupid. Suzuki, you think I'm stupid? I think you do have this qualification. Suzuki, I want to beat you to death now, but you can't do it, are you angry? Suzuki simply turned his head away, not wanting to talk to Naruto. At the moment, they got enough scrolls. I even got a few sets together. There is no pressure to advance. Walking slowly towards the center of the death forest. At the same time, I also plan to go there and see the excitement. And at this moment, just outside the forest of death, Shikaku caused such a huge movement that several villagers could not help but be stunned. Suddenly, Ai, Onoki, and Terumi may all looked at Raza. Onoki asked, what's going on? Why did one tail come out? Ai also frowned. It's the Chinin exam right now, and one tail is out. Wouldn't it mean that all the young ninjas in the village are in danger? Luoshe also frowned and said, One tail exists in Gara. With Gara's current strength, it stands to reason that even during the Chinin exam, few people can hurt him, let alone force out one tail. Terumi Mei suddenly said, It's not like no one can do it. Suddenly, the other people were all stunned. Two Kanaha Shinobi came to mind immediately. Nine tails Jinchuriki, Mangekyo Sherinan. If they take action, they can indeed do it. And apart from their words, Luo Sha looked at Onoki. Onoki shook his head. Rock Shinobi doesn't have young ninjas of this level yet. He looked at AI again. AI also shook his head. Neither does Cloud Shinobi. Terumi may agreed. Advertisement. Neither does Mist Shinobi. The answer is obvious. Kanaha? Only the young ninjas of Kanaha are much stronger. Enough to do this. Suddenly, several people frowned. Is this what Sarutobi did? What did he want to do by forcing one tail? Kill everyone. AI frowned. Onoki sneered. 
It's not impossible. After all, as long as all the ninjas in the Death Forest are dead this time, then our villages will be like a disconnect. Luoshi asked. Where Sarutobi? Where did he go? Onaki said. There was a turmoil at the entrance to Kanaha village. It is said that Orikimuro is back and is wreaking havoc. He went over to organize it. Luoshi snorted. In the final analysis, Orikimuro is still his disciple of Sarutobi. If he comes out now, it may be Sarutobi's idea. After all, when Orikimaru escaped from Kanaha, Sarutobi himself let him go. It's not like they don't know all the secrets of each village. It's just some extremely secretive things that you won't know about. But each village has its own intelligence system, and the news is naturally known. For example, Uzumaki Naruto is Nine Tails Jinchuriki. Almost everyone knows this kind of thing. Certainly, there are also some who don't know. But this kind of person is not qualified. Now, when Luosha said this, it made several others think. After all, indeed, Orikimaru is Sarutobi's disciple. It's hard to say whether the relationship between them has really deteriorated to a certain extent. Onaki said at this moment. Wait a moment, I have sent people to check the situation at the entrance of the village to see if it is Sarutobi's trick. Not long after, a rock shinobi ninja walked in quickly. Then he looked at Onoki and said, Suchikage sama the third Hokage is being held up at the entrance of the village, and it will be difficult to resolve the battle in a short time. Just one sentence made several people narrow their eyes. How is the battle going? Ai asked. This, is very anxious and inextricable. It seems obvious. Suddenly, Onaki said coldly, they have already reached the entrance of the village. If they can't solve it in a short time, it either means that Sarutobi is a waste, or it means that he has ulterior motives. Ai said, Sarutobi is really useless. Onaki continued, although this is true, we can't wait that long. One tail has appeared and asked all ninjas to withdraw. As for Raza, one tail belongs to San Shinobi. You can take care of it yourself. Luosha nodded. Then, several people quickly left the Hokage office. The order was given quickly. Then, the ninjas from each village went towards the Chinin exam. As for several shadows, they also went in. However, due to the separation of several people, Terumi Mei did not go to find the missed Shinobi ninja. She went to find Chiba. Village entrance. The moment Hashirama and Tobirama opened their eyes, they saw the old Sarutobi. Tobirama suddenly frowned. Monkey, what's going on? Sarutobi was slightly startled. Nidame, this is. Sarutobi hasn't finished speaking yet. Orikimaru interrupted him with a smile. This is the technique I released, and I reincarnated the two of you. Senja Tobirama glanced at Orikimaru and snorted. This is a technique I have developed. You think you can control me? However, the words fell. Tobirama was stunned when he realized that he wanted to move but couldn't. On the contrary, Hashirama took one look and understood, and couldn't help but smile. He added my cells into your body to strengthen the control. Hashirama smiled happily, but Tobirama couldn't bear it. Advertisement. He couldn't help but shout. Shut up. Suddenly, as Tobirama finished speaking, Hashirama's face suddenly drooped, showing a melancholy expression. You yelled at me. No one present had expected that the majestic ninja god would show such a posture, and they couldn't help but be stunned. Orikimura finished reading and said with a smile. I never imagined that the god of ninja would be like this. Tobirama ignored it and looked at Orikimaru. You reincarnated us and wanted to deal with Kanaha. Where did you learn this technique? It stands to reason. This was a technique he created, but because it required human sacrifice, he felt it was too cruel, so he banned it. This technique must be sealed in Kanaha. Logically speaking, it is difficult for ordinary people to access it. Those who have access should be the higher UPS of Kanaha. But now, since he is a high-ranking member of Kanaha, how could he stand on the opposite side of Kanaha? Orikimaru said, Of course from the scroll you sealed. I used to be a ninja of Kanaha. Now it is not. Tobirama narrowed his eyes. Orikimaru said, Even now, Tobirama, you think you are funny. Orikimaru shook his head. No, I am indeed a ninja of Kanaha, and I am not a ninja of Kanaha. Maybe Nidame doesn't know that things are different in Kanaha now. Tobirama was startled and said in disbelief. There are two Kanaha. Although it's not to this level yet, it's not far behind. Tobirama immediately turned to look at Sarutobi and said, Monkey, what's going on? Sarutobi sighed. Nidame, now the village has reached its most critical moment. It is because I, the third generation, am not competent enough that I have reached this point. Immediately, Sarutobi opened Shikai and released. Especially here in Namikaze Chiba, they are taken care of. After listening, Tobirama understood. In other words, the reason why the village has reached this point is all because of that Namikaze Chiba. No no no, Sarutobi hasn't spoken yet. Orikimaru shook his head. Nidame, you may not have heard the truth. Everything has reached this point because of Mr. Sarutobi himself. He smiled and said. Originally, the village was far from reaching this stage. That Namikaze Chiba had no intention of becoming a Hokage. The fourth Hokage was still his brother, and all of this was forced by Mr. Sarutobi himself. Tobirama asked. Monkey killed fourth generation. Orikimaru shook his head. The fourth generation died by sealing nine tails. Hashirama glanced at Orikimaru at this moment and issued a soul torture. Sealing that thing can still kill people. Tobirama, what is going on? Orikimaru said, because of teacher Sarutobi's decision, the son of the fourth Hokage who died for the village did not receive the care he deserved, so Namikaze Chiba had other ideas. Tobirama narrowed his eyes. Thinking deeply, Orikimaru said again, maybe you don't believe what I say, but please feel it with your heart. The Senju bloodline in the village now will know whether what I say is true or false. Tobirama was stunned for a moment. I sensed it immediately, even more stunned, because the Senju bloodline in the village is almost cut off. There are a few who have very thin blood. How can such a person be considered a true Senju clan? Immediately, Tobirama turned to look at Sarutobi and asked, Monkey, where are the Senju people? Sarutobi suddenly felt a little embarrassed, but he still said bravely, This, died in battle, death in battle, advertisement. Tobirama laughed angrily, He's not a fool, 
How could you deceive him with such excuses? If it was really because of the war, could Senja be almost extinct? Unless, someone is causing trouble, sending all the Senja clan to the battlefield, and arranging a near impossible mission? And the initiator of all this is only one person? Sarutobi Hiruzen? This third Hokage? Orikimura said in surprise. I thought you had seen other members of the Senja clan in the Pure Land, but I didn't expect that you didn't know either. Tobirama didn't have time to listen to Orikimura's words. He looked at Sarutobi and said, Monkey, I want an explanation from you. Sarutobi suddenly groaned. To be honest. He really didn't expect that Orikimura would actually summon both the first generation and the second generation. And, they are still two generations of Hokage with independent consciousness. The question raised now made Sarutobi really lose his sense of proportion. After a while, he finally answered. This is my mistake. In this case, he could only admit his mistake. There is no other way. Tobirama narrowed his eyes, his eyes full of anger. But, things have happened. It is impossible to change. However, what the Orikimura in front of him did was really to destroy Konoha. So, Tobirama looked at Orikimura again. Are you a minion of Namikaze Chiba? Orikimura shook his head. We just have a common purpose. The Senju clan are not the only ones who died at the hands of Mr. Sarutobi. Tobirama glanced at Sarutobi. I understand now. It was really a bad move when I chose Sarutobi as Hokage. The good Kanaha is now like this. And at this time, suddenly a ninja came at extremely fast speed. And, he spoke hurriedly. Third generation Sama, sir. Oh no, one tail has appeared in the forest of death. The young ninjas in the village have been greatly threatened. Moreover, the shadow of other ninja villages has passed. I'm afraid, ours young ninjas are even more dangerous. After all, several villages are in a competitive relationship, and no one is willing to take advantage of this moment to eliminate several possible future opponents. At this time, Sarutobi's expression changed instantly. If the young ninjas in the village really died in the forest of death, it would definitely be a huge blow to Kanaha. And it's not like Kanaha didn't send someone there. However, facing one tail, and the full strength of the other village ninjas, plus the shadow, there is simply not enough to see, unless, he rushes over at extremely fast speed. Mainly, Namikaze Chiba is simply unreliable. It's a good thing if he doesn't cause trouble. So this time, Sarutobi was very anxious, and Tobirama on the side naturally understood. At this time, the anger in my heart was even more intense. Unable to bear it any longer, he pointed at Sarutobi's nose and cursed. You are really a pig. Lao Zi was really blind when he passed the position of Hokage to you that day. He immediately cursed. Not a single bit of face was left to Sarutobi. Sarutobi didn't know how to respond. He was a little confused at this point. In the end, I could only bow deeply to the two of them. I know this is my fault, but now the village is in trouble. Please help First Generation and Night Aim to help the village get through this difficult time. At this time, Hashirama and Tobirama also know that the village is in danger. This is not the time to worry about this. However, Orikimura smiled and said, Sarutobi-sensei, have you asked me for my opinion? He is the caster of Impure World Reincarnation. Advertisement. Chapter 88 Please live longer, Mr. Sarutobi. Advertisement. Should we go over and help? At this time, Hayashi looked at Fugaku and couldn't help but ask. The shadows of the other four ninja villages have passed. Namikaze Chiba may not be able to cope with it alone. Fugaku shook his head. He has his own ideas. Since he didn't call us, we can just wait quietly. Hayashi said puzzledly. Aren't you worried Suzuki? Fugaku looked at Hayashi as if he were a fool. He even opened Manjikyo. Why should I worry about him? With this time, I might as well think more about what to eat for dinner. Hayashi. But when I think about it carefully, it seems that is really the case. Suzuki opened Manjikyo, and Naruto was assisted by nine tails. The fighting power of these two people, a few jonin are not enough. Although the combat experience is not enough, the pure strength is enough. And as long as Naruto is here, Hineda naturally doesn't have to worry. Naruto will take good care of Hineda. So, after thinking of this, Hayashi felt relieved. He also lay down next to Fugaku. The two were basking in the sun, squinting and enjoying life. And at this moment, in the forest of death, Onaki, Ai, Raza, Terumime, and some shadows from small villages all entered. But, several people were separated. In, Luosha's goal is very clear, go directly to Gara. He wanted to know what happened that made Gara lose control and one tail release its power. Thus appear, Luosha is very fast. Gara's location is also very common, a gathering place of large tracks of yellow sand, and the huge and bloated figure of one tail. Along the way, when he saw the tragedy and blood everywhere, Luosha's face became even more ugly. Because if you look at it this way, too many ninjas died along the way. And, there are ninjas from every village. Looking at it this way, the ninjas in each village either died at the hands of Azumaki Naruto and Uchiha Suzuki, or they were related to Gara. But now, Gara's one tail is out of control, so it is more likely that it has something to do with Gara. And Luosha didn't want to admit this. But after considering this matter, Gara's suspicion became more serious. So, Luosha is now thinking about how to lure this suspicion away from Gara. Least, today Sunagakur is not yet a target. So, who better to replace Sunagakur as the target of public criticism? Luosha narrowed her eyes. After a while, a name appeared in my mind. Kanaha, Sarutobi Hiruzen? Since this Junin exam was held by Sarutobi, and two superclass ninjas appeared in it, far exceeding the limits of young ninjas today. So, since Sarutobi has this purpose, it proves it. He has other thoughts. So, no matter what the real reason is, why Gara lost control, it would be better to blame Sarutobi entirely. Sarutobi is scheming and wants to provoke a fight between several villages. This seems quite normal, very suitable. It also fits Sarutobi's current character very well. If that was the case, Rasha looked at several cloud shinobi ninjas not far away. His eyes suddenly became fierce. It's better to do it more simply. Next moment. Advertisement. Raza's figure disappeared, and when he reappeared, there were three corpses of cloud shinobi ninjas behind him out of thin air. And, their deaths were caused by fire-style ninjutsu. Simple great fireball technique, Luo Sha can still do it. Although this ninjutsu is a very skilled ninjutsu used by the Uchiha clan, it is almost considered to be the ninjutsu of the Uchiha clan. But it's not that difficult. If you want to learn it, anyone with fire attribute chakra can learn it. Although Luo Sha is not very proficient in it, but it's enough to frame the blame. Luo Sha smiled. 
He no longer hesitated and continued towards Gara's location. One tail has just been released, so one tail must not be allowed to go riot. In this case, San Shinobi's strength will be weakened to an even greater extent. In this situation, every ounce of strength must be preserved as much as possible, waiting for something to happen later. Not long after Luo Shell left, AI's figure fell here. When he saw three burned corpses that were obviously Cloud Shinobi village ninjas, AI's eyes were filled with rage. Sarutobi, AI roared angrily. Obviously, he blamed all the deaths of the village ninja on Sarutobi. After all, death under fire style, Kanaha is the most suspect. And even if it wasn't Sarutobi's doing, what's wrong with that? It's just Sarutobi's fault. If it is really another ninja village, not to mention whether they will be willing to compensate, it will also divide the strength of several of their villages. In this case, doesn't it mean that he, Sarutobi, will benefit from it? This is absolutely unacceptable to AI. The fire country, where Kanaha is located, is the richest country among these big countries. If Kanaha is given time, Kanaha will definitely be able to recover. Even if he does not talk about returning to the number one ninja village in the future, it will definitely not be weak. In the future, once Kanaha becomes stronger, with what Cloud Shinobi has done over the years, Kanaha will undoubtedly regain its place. Although, Sarutobi may not have the courage, but he will die one day. Then the next generation of Hokage may not have the courage. And if Kanaha is given a chance to recuperate, there is no doubt that the future Cloud Shinobi village will suffer. AI does not want to give Kanaha this opportunity, and will not bring greater disaster to Cloud Shinobi in the future. So this time, these Cloud Shinobi ninjas can only die at the hands of Sarutobi? It has to be yes. AI narrowed his eyes. Although his behavior may seem reckless, being able to become the shadow of a village depends not only on his strength, but also on his father as the third Rakage. AI is quite smart. At this time, AI had already made up his mind. And on Onoki's side, when I saw the corpses of Iwegaku were ninjas all over the ground, Onoki fell silent. Grandfather, Kuratsaka fell to the ground, his face looking miserable and his straight legs covered in dust. He looked at Onoki with a sad face. Onoki's heart tightened and he quickly helped Kuratsaki up. What happened? Onoki was concerned about his granddaughter, but asked anyway. Yes, it was the ninjas of Konoha who suddenly attacked us. Everyone else died trying to protect me. Kuratsaka had a sad look on his face. Tears couldn't help but fall from his face. She was very sentimental. After all, seeing a living person die in front of you is difficult to accept in a short time. Onoki held his granddaughter in his arms, his eyes gradually narrowed. Almost understand what happened. All of this should be Sarutobi's doing? In order to weaken the strength of several of their villages, Sarutobi attacked the young ninjas of their respective villages during the Chinin exam. And, he also deliberately made Tsunagakura's Gara lose control and released one tail, as if the accident was actually caused by one tail. In this case, Sarutobi can be cleared of suspicion. Advertisement. But, this is simply impossible. He easily thought of Sarutobi. After all, apart from Sarutobi, there should be no one to do such a thing. Sarutobi is the most suspicious person. After all, there is no reason at all for Rasha to make Gara lose control. Sarutobi's reason is the most important. This moment, Onoki squinted his eyes and cursed in his heart. Well you Sarutobi, you are very wily. At this time, Chiba has already dealt with the people sent by Sarutobi. Even as the leader of the Ino, Shika, Cho clan, he never stayed. It's simply not necessary. He does not need the allegiance of the Ino Shikacho clan, not to mention that these three clans are equivalent to Sarutobi's loyal supporters. The three clans have followed the Sarutobi clan for too long. If you want to conquer them, it cannot be done in a short time. And, even if it can really be conquered, it will undoubtedly take a huge amount of time. The cost is too high, so much so that Chiba was too lazy to do it. It would be better to end it all at once and kill him. He would not lack the allegiance of the three clans. Although other ethnic groups in Konoha also have some talents that are not weak, they are still far behind Achiha and Haiga. Therefore, Chiba will not feel pity. And after doing this, Chiba was not in a hurry to find Naruto and the others. Instead, he walked slowly in the forest. Not long after, a figure suddenly approached. Terumi Mei walked over quickly. Lord Chiba. Chiba looked at her with a smile. You are very fast. You were able to find me so quickly. Terumi Mei smiles like a flower. I have longed for you, sir, for a long time. This longing has turned into strength. Naturally, I have to find you much faster. Oh, how much do you miss me? Chiba looked at her with a smile. Of course, I miss you very much. Chiba play taste. Where are you missing? Terumi Mei smiled and said. I have improved my ninjutsu recently, and I would like to ask you for advice. Chiba smiled and said. You are still taking the exam in Shinin, aren't you afraid of being seen? Terumi Mei said seriously. I'm just asking for advice on ninjutsu. We're just communicating normally. How can I be afraid of people? Chiba laughed. Then he took Terumi Mei in his arms. That makes sense, let's go deeper. Said. Then he walked towards the depths of the forest of death. This day, the flock of birds flew away in fright. One of the birds swung from side to side in the forest of death, but still avoided the trees and flew towards the dark abyss. Perhaps for it, flying is its only destiny. It longs for freedom and does not want to be tied down. Village entrance. Sarutobi probably wouldn't even think of it. Now, he has shouldered a huge blame. Now, he didn't have any time to care about what was going on in the death forest. Because, the appearance of Senjo Hashirama and Senjo Tobirama has completely disrupted his plan. As the third Hokage, oh, as the strongest Hokage. It is also very difficult when first generation and second generation join forces. Advertisement. After all, there once was a ninja named Angle who claimed to fight the first Hokage without dying. But generally speaking, he just threw a shuriken from a distance of 800 miles and ran away. I'm afraid Hashirama didn't even notice him. But now, this strongest Hokage is different. He was going to face the two generations of Hokage joining forces in Konoha. Looking at it this way, it is indeed worthy of the title of the strongest. After all, even Achiha Madara may not be able to achieve this record. Looking at it this way, Sarutobi is indeed very strong. At this time, as Orikimaru spoke, Sarutobi couldn't help but frown. Orikimaru said, As a spellcaster, I am capable of controlling the characters created by Impure World Reincarnation. However, after he finished speaking, Hashirama finally spoke. He said, You forgot that you added my cells to the sacrifice, so, Hashirama's body moves freely and is not under Orikimaru's control at all. But Tobirama is different. 
However, there was no surprise on Orikimura's face. Since you are the god of ninja, you naturally have this ability. However, I want to know how you deal with a sinner who has ruined everyone in the Senju clan. Hashirama turned his head and looked at Sarutobi Hiruzen. Sarutobi gritted his teeth and bowed to the end. This is my fault. But please, Shodei, save Kanaha and the village. Sarutobi's posture was low. This is indeed the most correct approach when facing Hashirama. There is no better way than this. Sarutobi is very smart. Knowing how to explain yourself is useless. It would be better to admit it directly. After all, everyone in the Senju clan is dead. However, Kanaha is still there. He has always been the Hokage of Kanaha, so as the first Hokage, saving the village should be the most important thing to do. Unless, this ninja god no longer has feelings for the village. But as the founder of the village, there are few people who have deeper feelings for the village than Hashirama. So, the answer is obvious. Sarutobi made the right bet. Hashirama sighed and turned his head. I am the Hokage of Kanaha, and I will always protect the village. Orikimaru said, I didn't expect your answer to be like this. However, when I performed this technique, I had already thought of this scene. You are indeed very strong, but I have a solution. Orikimaru's quick seal. Impure world reincarnation. Solution. Soon. After the Orikimura seal, both Hashirama and Tobirama, the coffin reappeared in front of them. The next moment, under the control of Shu, they returned to the coffin. Impure world reincarnation is over. Sarutobi frowned and looked at Orikimura. Orikimura couldn't help but licked his lips with a cruel smile. Teacher Sarutobi, I wonder if you like today's scene. Sarutobi's face lost the previous humility, and now he said bitterly, Not killing you that day was the worst thing I ever did. Ha 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 ha. This moment, Orikimura laughed. Laughter echoed. Suddenly, the laughter stopped. The expression on his face was instantly indifferent. Like a lion majesty. I won't kill you now, I will give you time to enjoy it slowly. Go back, there are still good shows waiting for you. Orikimaru lifted the summoning technique. While walking, he said. Please use all your strength to live longer, Sarutobi Sensei. Advertisement. Chapter 89 Forced by Four Shadows. Advertisement. Orikimaru is gone. He cancelled all the spells and walked straight outside. Now, watching Orikimaru's retreating back. Sarutobi Hiruzen's frown deepened. He was thinking about what Orikimura said before leaving. Let him try his best to live longer. Orikimura doesn't need to say this, Sarutobi will do it. However, since it came from Orikimura's mouth, there is undoubtedly a deep meaning. But where does this profound meaning come from? Namikaze Chiba? Or, the other four great ninja villages? Sarutobi was thinking about this. Unfortunately, there is still no answer. He sighed, looked at the devastated ruins everywhere, and finally had no choice but to go back. Right now is not the time to rebuild these. Sarutobi returned to Hokage's office. He wanted to know how far the Chinin exam was going. Of course, if Sarutobi knew the current situation, he might collapse. Because of this moment, the situation in the Death Forest somewhat surprised him. Luo Sha finally arrived. Looking at Gara, who has completely transformed into one tail, his face looks very ugly. He found Tamari and Kankuro hiding from the side. Kankuro said, Gara's situation is not optimistic. I'm afraid, it will be difficult to wake up without external help. Give him some more time, I'm afraid one tail's consciousness will completely occupy Gara's body, and it will probably be impossible to wake him up by then. Luo Sha nodded. He also saw the key to it. The most important thing now is time. Gara needs to be revived as early as possible. But, now Gara has become one tail, although consciousness is not yet complete. It is not an easy task for Luasha to wake up Gara in a short time. Good thing. In an instant, Onaki and AI's figures appeared. It really turned out to be one tail. Seeing Gara's current crocodile appearance, Onaki raised his head and spoke loudly. Raza turned around and looked at the embarrassed Kuratsuka next to Onaki, and the equally embarrassed Cloud Shinobi ninja next to AI. Suddenly stunned. I couldn't help but ask. Where are the ninjas from your village? AI gritted his teeth and said. They were all plotted by Sarutobi, and now these are the only ones left. Luosha was stunned. Were all the ninjas who took the Chinin exam this time really wiped out by Sarutobi? This is too crazy. Onoki and AI ignored Raza's confusion and said directly. How long will it take to rescue Gara? Can it be done in a short time? Luosha shook her head. The time it takes to transform one tail is a bit too long. In this case, it will be difficult to wake it up in a short time, if I rely on my own strength. Luosha added another sentence later. The meaning is obvious. If you can help, the outcome will be different. Onoki nodded. Now, what Sarutobi has done is outrageous. He is determined to be our enemy regardless of the situation. In this case, we should unite to prevent Sarutobi from succeeding. AI also nodded. So, we will help you with Gara's matter, you don't have to worry so much. The two of them each took a step forward and immediately told the people around them to stay calm. AI looked at Gara with his head raised, rubbed his fists, and asked. How do I wake it up? How about waking it up? Luosha said seriously. The outside of Gara is completely enveloped by the power of one tail. Ordinary methods cannot make him feel it. This yellow sand shell must be thoroughly planned to see the Gara inside. AI Yuxiao. Simple. The words fell. Chakra began to surge in the body. In an instant, a suit of lightning-style armor enveloped AI. Bang! AI exerted force on his feet, and immediately he flew into the air, arriving in front of Gara in the blink of an eye. Advertisement. Gara spots AI approaching. He immediately waved his arms, like the claws of a raccoon cat. Shaped by yellow sand, he immediately attacked AI. In response, AI just sneered. Immediately, a punch came out. The blow covered by the lightning-style armor was quite powerful. At the moment of contact, Gara's arm made of yellow sand was smashed to pieces. Bang! Yellow sand is flying all over the sky. AI's movements continued, and the next moment was approaching again. He punched the giant civet cat directly in the chest. Bang! A large piece of his chest collapsed. The body made of yellow sand shattered directly. Fall slowly. At the same time, the appearance of Gara with her eyes closed inside was also revealed. Seeing the scene, Onoki immediately stepped forward. Earth-style super heavy rock technique. As Onoki's ninjutsu was used. In an instant, Gara's huge body couldn't hold on anymore and fell completely. Yellow sand piles up everywhere. The two of them took action and almost instantly destroyed the hardest shell made by One Tail. This moment, One Tail was still conscious. He looked at the three people and screamed. What are you going to do? Get away from me. Luo Sha took a deep breath. Naturally, I won't listen to it more. 
He stepped forward and punched Gara immediately. Bang! This punch directly knocked Gara out of the yellow sand. Even if endless yellow sand poured out of the gourd behind him, but it still couldn't stop Luosha. Bang! There was a muffled sound. Gara's body flew out. Finally, it fell heavily to the ground. After a moment, he opened his eyes. There was confusion in his eyes. Luosha turned around and looked at Onoki and Ai, saying, That's it. Onoki nodded. In this case, let's go back. There is no need to continue the Chinin exam. What is more important now is that we want Sarutobi's attitude. This matter cannot be left alone. Big deal, we'll start a war with Kanaha today. Ai also nodded. We must unite. Only in this way can we make Sarutobi compromise. What Onaki said is true. At worst, today, the ninja world will lose one ninja village. This moment, when the young ninjas in the village were almost wiped out, both Onaki and Ai became ruthless. What they want will definitely not be simple. After all, too many ninjas from their villages died. But Kanaha was not that affected. They don't have enough balance in their minds. So, there has to be a balance? Luo Shai asked. Where's Teromime? Onaki shook his head. I didn't see it. You should be contacting Kiragakur's ninja, right? Do you want to call her? Luo Sha said doubtfully. Onaki thought for a while, call it. Kanaha destroyed half of Kiragakur, and there is a deep hatred between the two villages. Teromime will not refuse. Both Ai and Luosha are fine. And at this moment, in a rather secretive forest, Teromime's steps were a little frivolous. When he stood up, he almost fell. Fortunately, Kinyi helped her. She held onto a stick to steady herself. Chiba's expression was a bit unnatural. The Chinin exam should not be continued. Teromime said. Advertisement. Chiba nodded. Originally, this Jinin exam wasn't that important. Chiba explained. Sarutobi held the Jinin exam this time just to let several great ninja villages wear down my strength. It's a pity that stealing the chicken will lose the rice. The current situation has far exceeded Sarutobi's expectations. Terumime said. A lot of young ninjas from each village must have died this time, right? Chiba thought for a while. Almost dead. Terumime looked surprised. This, won't they cause trouble for you? Chiba smiled. Whatever you are doing to trouble me is Sarutobi's fault. What does it have to do with me? Terumime thought for a moment, covered her mouth and laughed. Co-authored. In the end, all the blame lies with Sarutobi Hiruzen. But yes, after all, this is the modern Hokage, so there's always something to do. He has to take the blame for these accusations. Then what should I do next? Chiba said. Next, I'm afraid Onaki and AI will take Raza to attack Sarutobi. You and Kanaha are still in a hostile situation, so just follow them. But when they ask you to help, don't worry about it. Just follow along and protect yourself. Terumime nodded. Then I'll leave first. Terumime leaves. After a while, they saw the three Onaki and a few ninjas. But at this moment, Terumime's expression was not very good. Onaki saw it and couldn't help but ask. Mizu Cage, Miss Shinobi, isn't there even a single ninja left? Terumime's face was extremely ugly. After hearing this, it took a long time before he spoke. Not a single one left, bastard Sarutobi. Terumime directly used foul language. After seeing the misery of Miss Shinobi, Onaki, and AI suddenly felt much better. After all, there are people worse off than them. This makes them feel pretty good. Onaki comforted. It's all caused by Sarutobi's conspiracy. The reason we go this time is to seek justice from him. Don't worry, Mizu Cage, he will definitely teach Sarutobi a lesson. AI also nodded. We won't let him go. Terumime's face was still ugly and she just said, I hope so. Several people went out from the forest of death. At this moment, Namikaze Chiba also found the three Naruto's. Uncle, we got three sets of scrolls. Chiba looked at the scrolls of heaven and earth in Naruto's hands and smiled. Okay, this exam probably won't be able to continue. Get ready and let's leave. Did something happen? Chiba nodded. You should have seen that the one tail riot in Sunegakur is too dangerous to continue. Naruto smiled. Hehe, he, Zuzu just said that he wanted to go over and try the power of one tail. Kinyi smiled and glanced at Suze. How about I send you there now? Suzuki immediately shook his head. Forget it. At this time, I won't go there. It's over. Let's go quickly. Ha ha ha. Naruto laughed. Zuzi is scared. Zuzu immediately glared at Naruto and said, Who is scared? Suzuki said, I'm just letting him go, what do you know? Only, Naruto laughed even louder. Soon, Chiba left with the three of them, returned to his residence, then let the three of them go to rest. Advertisement. Then, he saw Orikimaru. Orikimaru said, Sarutobi sensei, I'm afraid I'm going to be very worried right now. Chiba said, It's just something you asked for. He doesn't have the ability, but he wants to use several other ninja villages as pawns. It's not that simple. It's only a matter of time before he gets backlash. Orikimaru shook his head and said, No, if it wasn't for you, Mr. Sarutobi might have succeeded. It's a pity that he met you. In my opinion, unless the second generation is resurrected, I can't compete with you. Sarutobi sensei, he is far behind. Chiba smiled and said, If possible, I would actually like to meet Uchiha Madara. He's still a figure. Orikimaru suddenly mentioned something. Does Chibika know why Uchiha Madara agreed to first Hokage to join Kanaha? Chiba looked at him doubtfully. During the war, the second Hokage killed Uchiha Madara's younger brother, Uchiha Aizuna. This was already a deep hatred. So that day, when first generation went to find Madara, Madara made it clear that either Tobirama would be killed or first generation would commit suicide. The conditions are quite harsh, but they are normal. Chiba said. Finally, first generation took action. Orikimaru nodded. He took a shuriken and tried to kill himself. Puff. Chiba laughed out loud. Orikimaru also smiled and said. However, it was stopped by Madara. In the information I saw, it was said that Madara saw the sincerity of the first generation and stopped him. But, I have studied the cells of the first generation and they have strong regeneration ability. A simple shuriken can you can't kill yourself. Chiba nodded. It seems that first generation is not entirely stupid. Who knows? However, this is just a fun thing at best. Now, Mr. Sarutobi should have seen the shadows of several other villages, right? Chiba and Orikimaru both laughed. Right now, Hokage office. Bang, click. The door was kicked open. AI rushed in with an ugly expression. The wooden door of the office was shattered. The pieces fell to the floor. Sarutobi, who was sitting on the chair, turned around and looked at the angry people. If you don't understand, ask. Guys, what's going on? What's wrong? 
Sorry Toby, you really put on a good show. You're still pretending to be innocent now? Isn't it interesting? You killed so many ninjas in our village and you just want to fool them with nothing. For this time, you must have been preparing for a long time to kill the young ninjas from several of our villages, right? You really succeeded. Good, you're fine, Sarutobi. This moment, Onoki didn't give any face at all and cursed angrily. The same goes for AI. Several people walked up to Sarutobi. It hit the table in front of Sarutobi with a bang. If you don't give us a satisfactory result for what happened today, then Konoha will declare war on our four major ninja villages. There was a loud sound, which made Sarutobi even more confused. He had no plans at all. But, what's going on now? Are all the other young ninjas in the ninja village dead? This, how can this be? In the end what happened? Damn it, Sarutobi still doesn't know the truth of the matter. However, it's too late. If he doesn't make a decision, it's obvious that Onoki and the others will definitely take action, and he had to face four shadows alone? The record of the strongest Hokage may be even greater. Advertisement. Chapter 90 From today on, I am no longer the fourth generation. Advertisement. The Chinin exam is over, in a way that no one has ever thought of. Of course, this should be expected for Chiba. Since Sarutobi Hiruzen wants Chiba to fight against the shadows of the other four villages, and thus let them attack Chiba. Then, Chiba can also turn around and let the shadow of these four villages attack Sarutobi Hiruzen. Anyway, it's not like this is a great plan. It's just the reverse of what Sarutobi Hiruzen thought. However, compared to Chiba's calmness, Sarutobi Hiruzen should not be so tough when facing the attacks of four cages at the same time. This is a no-brainer. Unfortunately, Chiba was not in Hokage's office, which meant that he could not see the show immediately. It's a pity. And at this moment, just outside Kanaha, Jiraiya looked at the information in his hand. He had also found a lot of information these days. All this information is pointing to, the Xiao that he did may really be related to his three disciples. Yahiko, Nagato, Konan. Jiraiya murmured. Finally, there was a touch of determination in his eyes. Is it really you? He moved his steps and walked towards the place he found. He didn't know what he was facing, but, be sure to find out, for myself and for the three disciples, he still devoted a lot of affection to these three children, in this case, this matter must be dealt with clearly, there must be no regrets, especially when facing these three children, Jiraiya didn't want to see them go astray, therefore, he left decisively, even though I know that I will face many problems when I go there, you may even face the test of life and death, but, Jiraiya doesn't care, he must go, perhaps this is what a hero must do, Nagato, I used to think that you were the child of destiny I was looking for, but then you disappeared, this made me feel sad for a while, I felt that it was my fault that I didn't take good care of you, but, you appear again, child of destiny, will it still be you? Jiraiya murmured, gradually walked away, Kanaha, the doorway was in ruins, walls collapsed and broken houses were scattered everywhere, there were also many villagers who were trapped by the collapse of the wall because they were too late, now, their eyes were filled with despair, because the third generation has come, the third generation they expected has come, but, still didn't save them, they placed their hope in the third generation, but the adults forgot about them, the adults have more important things to do and don't care about little people like them, the ground was bloody and wailing, they gradually lost hope, Perhaps, dying tragically like this is their ultimate fate. But, in the end, they finally waited for someone. Naruto and Suzuki came here. Suzuki, who understood what happened, looked at this scene and couldn't help but turn his head to look at Naruto. Are you going to save them? Naruto was also looking at them, shaking his head and saying, I have no idea. Zuzi, should I forgive them? Suzuki thought for a while. Advertisement. I haven't experienced what you have experienced. It's a bit reluctant for you to forgive them. This is your business and you should make your own decision. However, if this were my words, I don't think I would forgive them. Suzuki said seriously, why do we have to forgive? We are as strong as the god of ninja, as strong as sage of six paths, and we will die one day. We will definitely die. Everyone has his own way of living, so just be happy. Naruto fell into thinking and was silent for a long time. The villagers who were trapped here finally found their savior and couldn't help but say, help us, please, help us. We are about to die. If you don't save us, we will die because of you. If you don't save us, you will be our murderers. We will not forgive you. The words gradually changed. Until the end, it changed from asking for help to a threat. These villagers seem to be very good at doing this kind of thing, and they do it extremely happily and comfortably. It didn't even take a moment before the accusations began. They are very good at standing on a moral high ground, overlooking and threatening others. This has always been their common method, and it has never worked. Suzuki frowned and couldn't help but look at Naruto. He opened his mouth, wanting to say something. Finally sighed and said nothing. He just walked forward silently, picked up a stone as big as his head, and threw it fiercely at the nearest person. Snapped. The stone hit his head, making a loud sound. Then came the shattering of heads. It was crushed directly by the big stone. Suddenly, it is quiet now. People looked at Suzuki in horror, not daring to say another word. Suzuki looked at Naruto silently, waiting for his answer. Naruto looked up at the sky and said confusedly, Will they repent? Suzuki thought for a moment, at least, not until you have the power. They will bully those who are weaker than them and obey those who are stronger. Of course, if you are not much stronger and let them think that they can find an opportunity to bring you down, they will use various means. But if you are so strong that there is nothing they can do, they will be obedient and obedient, just like sheep. Suzuki laughed silently. The smile was sarcastic. Because, as ninjas, they protect people like this. After a while, Naruto made a decision. He also picked up a stone from the ground. The person who screamed the loudest just now was smashed. The few people who spoke earlier had their heads smashed one by one by Naruto. As for the rest, Naruto ignored it. Just fend for itself. Far away. Kinyi looked at the scene, did not come forward, turned around and walked away. Namikaze Minato followed behind. He sighed and said, It's a shame for this kid. No matter what he can't do, he will always grow up. There are some things he must experience. Chiba said, But, it would be too difficult for a child to choose these things. Chiba looked at Minato and smiled. He will be a Hokage in the future, he will have to go through it. Minato said blankly, Are you planning to pass the next Hokage on to Naruto? Yes. The first generation was passed on to his younger brother, the second generation was passed on to his apprentice, and the third generation was passed on to his apprentice and grandson. 
Quan Tama is a related household, so I can't pass it on to my nephew. Minato looked embarrassed, because he is the one with the connections. Facing Kinyi's words, he could only bear it silently, not daring to say anything. Ha 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 ha. Seeing Minato's appearance, Chiba couldn't help laughing. Finally, he said, get ready, it should be almost time, it's our turn to play. Minato nodded silently, you should be able to take action now. Sarutobi leave it to you. Advertisement. Minato nodded, I should have done it. Well, Hokage office, the atmosphere was horribly frozen. The four figures all had anger and fury on their faces. Vent towards Sarutobi Hiruzen. It's like a huge garbage pit, and they are dumping garbage here unscrupulously. Moreover, there is no need to bear any responsibility. There is no safer way than this. Mainly it's fun, certainly. For Sarutobi Hiruzen, this is not pleasant, even uncomfortable. He guessed the cause of the matter, it was simple, because no one except Namikaze Chiba would frame him in this way again. This made Sarutobi angry. Of course, this anger is directed at Namikaze Chiba. As for Onoki, Ai, Raza, and Terumi Mei, he only showed apology and respect. He didn't dare. Moreover, before expressing his anger towards Chiba, Sarutobi also did not think that the reason why Chiba did this was entirely because Sarutobi Hiruzen wanted to use this method to deal with Chiba. Only. And it didn't work out. Instead, it's the other way around. This was unacceptable to him. So, this is where the anger comes from. I can use this method to you, but you cannot use this method to me. Quite interesting thing. However, facing the anger of the four people at this moment, he had to find a way to deal with it. So, for Sarutobi, it is the fastest and most effective way. No doubt. Only one. I'm sorry, this is my fault, but I never thought about killing all the ninjas in the village. This was actually an accident. Sarutobi seemed sincere in his apology. I don't want this to turn into what it is today, but since it has already happened, nothing I say can change the fact. In this case, I am willing to compensate you. Sarutobi said the solution. Only. Sarutobi sighed. If you want a lot of money, I don't have it here now, unless. Unless what? Onaki sneered. Sarutobi said. Now the village's money is with Namikaze Chiba. With my ability, there is no way to get it. Please help me. I am willing to give all this money to you. Sarutobi's words seem sincere. But it is indeed very sincere. Because he has already discovered it. But with his own words, he should not be able to fight Namikaze Chiba. Anyway, I came here to seek foreign aid. In this case, it would be better to clarify the matter thoroughly and clearly mark the price. When Sarutobi said these words, Onaki narrowed his eyes. He began to think about it. In fact, this is really possible. After all, they have already seen that Namikaze Chiba is interested in Hokage. And for them, there is currently no more suitable Hokage position than Sarutobi Hiruzen. Easy to bully, weak, and the Fire Nation is very wealthy. Now that he is old, Sarutobi has long lost his original ambition, and naturally has no desire to enterprising. Whatever you want, just keep it. Then, you don't want anything big to happen. Once something really happens, the first thing that comes to mind is to seek peace, even if you have to compromise. He is also unwilling to have any accidents happen when he takes office. Then, they can always benefit from Konoha. Therefore, they are not willing to see Sarutobi step down. Even at this time, forcing Sarutobi. Advertisement. In fact, at this time, they gradually figured it out. The village ninja is dead, that's a fact. Then, striving for sufficient benefits is what they should do. Namikaze Chiba is a must-have. He is too strong and too powerful. Since Sarutobi has this idea and is willing to cooperate, it would be great. At this time, without much thought, Onaki decided to agree to this request. Inali also thought of this matter. He squinted his eyes and looked at Onaki, waiting for Onaki to nod slightly. A.I.B. and said, Yes, but simply having money is not enough. We have lost so many ninjas, and just some money is not enough to make up for it. Sarutobi looked at him and asked, What do you want? It's easy. A.I. smiled and said, How many ninjas we have died, find the same number in Kanaha, either let these ninjas come to help us, or, let them die together. These words, A.I. was very cruel when he said it, and also very determined. Sarutobi hesitated, because this was not part of his plan. It was hard for him to accept. But, if you don't accept it, I'm afraid, he, the Hokage, will abdicate. This is the last chance. So, after hesitating, Sarutobi finally nodded with difficulty and said, Okay, I agree. Very good. A.I. smiled. In this case, I wish us a happy cooperation in advance. By this time, Sarutobi is already a little crazy. This is his last chance to hold power in his hands. If you miss it again, there is no possibility of a comeback. He is like a drowning man. This is the last straw to save his life. He must grasp it, and he must grasp it tightly and never let go. The four of them looked at each other and finally settled the matter. And what they didn't expect was, just when they decided, Namikaze Chiba has taken Namikaze Minato, arriving outside Hokage's office. Looking at Minato, Chiba smiled. What, at this point, you still can't let go? Minato smiled bitterly. Even if you can't let go, there's nothing you can do. In that case, it's up to you. He stepped aside and Namikaze Minato took a deep breath. Finally, walked through the door of Hokage's office. And, in an instant, he got everyone's attention. You, Minato. Sarutobi saw it, his eyes suddenly widened, and he said in disbelief. Ai also saw it and looked in disbelief, exclaiming, Fourth Hokage. Minato smiled apologetically. It's me, Namikaze Minato, but now I'm no longer the fourth Hokage. Namikaze Minato looked at Sarutobi, took a deep breath, and said firmly, From today on, I am no longer the fourth Hokage of Kanaha, I am just Naruto's father. I came today to seek justice for my child. He looked towards Sarutobi Hiruzen. His eyes were determined, with a chill. So, please give me some advice from third generation. Advertisement. Chapter 91 Perfect Jinchuriki. Advertisement. Please give me some advice, Mr. Third Generation. At this time, 
In the Hokage office, Namikaze Minato spoke and said these words. When he said this, his face was particularly determined. Nothing could shake Namikaze Minato's mind at this time, especially when he is a father. When Namikaze Minato said this, the other people, Onoki, Ai, Raza, and Teromime, were all stunned for a moment. Then, then he looked at Sarutobi Hiruzen, his expression suddenly became playful. Although, they have reached some kind of contract with Sarutobi, and the two parties have an alliance. But at this time, they will not take action. They would rather see that happen. They will help Sarutobi, but at this time, they are happy to see a situation that can consume Kanaha's power. After all, after this, they will still threaten Kanaha and make Kanaha pay a lot of price. However, the weaker Kanaha's strength is, the more it means that things will happen more easily in the future. Otherwise, if they want to threaten Kanaha in the future, they may not be able to do so smoothly. They will still have to harvest Kanaha's wool in the future, so at this time, they must have everything ready. Kanaha cannot be allowed to have the strengths to threaten them. The four of them thought very thoroughly. As for Terumime, of course it is a little different. She is more happy to see Chiba accomplish what she wants to do. So, fundamentally, their purposes are different. At this time, when Sarutobi Hiruzen heard Minato's voice, he couldn't help but reveal a rather bitter smile. He looked at Namikaze Minato and smiled bitterly. Minato, things are not what you think. What do I think? Minato stared directly at him. I used to be the fourth Hokage of the village, and I have been working hard for the village. I even died because of sealing nine tails. When I did this, I never looked back, because I knew that even if I really died because of it, the village will also take good care of my children. I didn't hesitate at that time because I firmly believed that my children would live on as descendants of heroes. He will live a good life. Although he did not have his parents with him during his childhood, he will have friends and everyone in Kanaha village. Everyone will respect him and regard him as a hero. But, no, none of these things. What Naruto endured was a dark childhood, so dark that almost everyone despised him. Sarutobi Hiruzen, this is your explanation to me, your promise to me, to the end. Minato almost roared. Looking at Sarutobi Hiruzen angrily, he yelled out his heart. Sarutobi didn't look good, but he still said, This matter actually has another reason. I don't want to hear it. Minato said directly, Third Hokage, please fight me. Minato didn't want to hear any explanation from Sarutobi, because he knew that no matter how nice Sarutobi said it, the pain it caused to Naruto was real. During his lifetime, he gave everything for Kanaha. Now, he is dead. Just the body of impure world reincarnation. Kanaha's fourth Hokage is dead. Now, he is just a father. Seek justice for your children. Sarutobi wanted to persuade Minato again, and said in an almost pleading tone, Think of the village. Go to your village. Minato swore directly. Advertisement. He took a step forward, stared at Sarutobi Hiruzen, and shouted, Old dog, fight or not fight. This scene with Minato. Almost no one saw it. The impression he gave everyone was that of sunshine and gentleness. He never seemed to get angry. Like a little sun, it exudes its own brilliance. But, it's not like he doesn't get angry. At this time, Minato didn't give Sarutobi any time to speak. He stepped forward immediately. Heading directly towards Sarutobi Hiruzen, the raised non appeared in his hand, and he immediately hit Sarutobi Hiruzen. This is sudden, but you can still react. Sarutobi Hiruzen quickly pulled away and backed away, trying to dodge Minato's attack. Then, Sarutobi Hiruzen couldn't help but look at the four cage and said, Four of you, please help. Onaki smiled and said, This is your village's matter, it can even be said to be your family matter. In this case, you can just solve it yourself without us interfering. AI nodded. Yes, let's intervene. What if you, third Hokage Sama, don't feel happy enough in the future? You don't have to worry so much, isn't it just a rebellious fourth Hokage? Teach him a lesson? Sarutobi, I like you. Luosha smiled sadly, looking at this scene, he was very happy and said, Come on. Terumi Mei was just smiling, and in her smile, she glanced at Chiba intentionally or unintentionally. Namikaze Chiba said, Master third generation, are you afraid to take action? He was smiling, and there was only mockery in his smile. Sarutobi was helpless. I had no choice but to pull away and jump out of the window. Namikaze Minato followed immediately. Looking at the four people, Namikaze Chiba smiled and said, Four of you, how about we go out and watch? Onaki said, I think so too. AI nodded. It's time to go outside a long time ago. It's so nice outside and the place is so big. Otherwise, how can we do it? Luosha didn't say anything, but jumped out first. He planned to take a first step to see the situation. Soon, several people also went out. The Hokage office is indeed much smaller. This kind of cage level battle is somewhat impossible to perform. Not to mention, looking at today's situation, Namikaze Minato probably won't give up. AI is most interested in this matter. After all, he once teamed up with Killer B, but they were no match for Namikaze Minato. Although there are reasons why Flying Thunder God is too weird, in the final analysis, defeat is defeat. He AI is not someone who cannot afford to lose. So, at this time, he wanted to see if Sarutobi Hiruzen could fight Namikaze Minato. He remembered that Sarutobi Hiruzen was known as the strongest Hokage in the modern era. He chuckled twice, his smile full of mockery. Soon outside, the Raisinon reappeared in Namikaze Minato's hand and struck at Sarutobi. His speed was so fast that he could hardly see his figure. Sarutobi took a deep breath and used the summoning technique to summon the monkey demon. And the ape demon suddenly changed and turned into a stick. Sarutobi held it tightly and swung the stick towards Namikaze Minato. Bang! Advertisement. The Raisinon hit the stick that the monkey demon had transformed into, and a dull sound was heard immediately. Immediately, Sarutobi took half a step back under the impact. Namikaze Minato pursued the victory with astonishing speed. As expected of the former fourth Hokage, Namikaze Minato's strength seems to be even more terrifying than before. AI sighed. Among the four actors present, he should be the most qualified to evaluate. After all, he is a real person who has fought against Namikaze Minato. Although, we lost in the end. However, the name of Yellow Flash is too loud, so losing to such a person is nothing. Onoki saw the scene and suddenly said, Is there something wrong with Namikaze Minato's current state? Isn't he dead? How could he appear again? 
Luoshe's eyes changed and she spoke loudly. I remember that Kanaha has a forbidden technique called Impure World Reincarnation, which can summon the dead from the Pure Land. This technique was developed by Kanaha's second Hokage. However, because it requires human sacrifice, it is too cruel, banned by first Hokage. After finishing speaking, Luo Sha looked at Kinyi with strange eyes. Chiba didn't even look at him. His eyes were only on the two people fighting. He doesn't seem to pay much attention to other things. The battle continues. Namikaze Minato had the upper hand. His speed was so fast that he was almost overwhelming Sarutobi. Just then, Sarutobi stepped back, swept Minato away with a stick, immediately formed a seal, and shouted at the same time. Earth Dragon Flame Style. He opened his mouth and spat. Immediately, a fiery fire dragon bomb was sprayed out, and the fire dragon bomb was combined with the earth dragon bomb, transformed into a more powerful earth dragon that can breathe fire. This is a compound ninjutsu developed by Sarutobi Hiruzen. He does not have the blood inheritance limit, but he has all the properties of chakra. About your own abilities. Sarutobi Hiruzen later thought about it by himself and combined his several attributes of chakra with each other. Although, compared to the blood inheritance limit, it is still much worse. But at least, it is much stronger than chakra with a single attribute. This fusion of attributes can be said to be Sarutobi's strength. Now, a fire-breathing earth dragon attacks Namikaze Minato. When seeing Sarutobi Hiruzen's attack, Oniki couldn't help but narrow his eyes and murmured, Sarutobi's strength is not weak. When he was young, he was also a famous shinobi hero. He was a good person. How come he became so cowardly when he got old? When he said this, it was with a bit of regret and remembrance. Obviously, Onoki also fought against Sarutobi Hiruzen when he was young. Unfortunately, now things have changed drastically. Sarutobi became what it is today. And he, Onoki, was still very strong. After hearing this, AI couldn't help laughing and said, Isn't he better like this? If he gets tough, it won't be a good thing for us. Luoshe also smiled. Sarutobi like this is the best. Several people burst into laughter. The words were full of ridicule towards Sarutobi. Onoki said, However, even so, Namikaze Minato can have the upper hand, but he cannot defeat Sarutobi in a short period of time. After all, Sarutobi can become the third generation after sitting in the position for so long, and he still has two brushes. The others also nodded. The battle should last for a long time. Terumi Mei looked at Chiba and saw Chiba curled up her lips. Suddenly he was stunned. She immediately thought that maybe things would turn around. It shouldn't be that simple. Advertisement. Really? At this time, on the field, Namikaze Minato straightened up. He looked towards Sarutobi Hiruzen. That day, when I died, I used the corpse seal to seal half of Nine Tails Chakra in my body. And now, these chakras can be used by me, Namikaze Minato said. He immediately extended his right hand, and in an instant, the orange red-tailed beast coat covered his body. His eyes became sharp and his aura became much stronger. Not long ago, Itaki and Suzuki both activated Mangekyo. Orokimura finally found a new way. He forcibly summoned Shinigami, cut open Shinigami's belly, and took out the soul of Namikaze Minato sealed in Shinigami's body. On that day, Orokimaru originally planned to use the corpse seal to cut open his own stomach and take out Minato's soul. But Chiba found it too troublesome. Just cut Shinigami's stomach open with a single sword strike. The template he passed down was that of the characters in Shinigami. In other words, for Shinigami, he naturally has special damage. Then, it is not difficult to take out the soul of Namikaze Minato. After taking out that part of the soul, the sealed half of the Nine Tails Chakra was naturally released. Now, these chakras are in Minato's body and help stabilize his physical condition. At the same time, it also makes him stronger. Now, Minato is Nine Tails Jinshuriki. And, still perfect Jinshuriki, is this, Nine Tails. When he saw the scene, Onaki's eyes suddenly widened. How is it possible? He clearly doesn't have a tailed beast sealed on his body. How can he become a Jinchuriki? Or is he such a powerful Nine Tails? AI was also stunned. Finally, I thought of. When Namikaze Minato died, he sealed Nine Tails. This should be the reason why he possesses Nine Tails Chakra, right? This. Onoki still found it a little hard to accept it at this moment. After all, this is Nine Tails. Nine Tails status is actually quite special among tailed beasts. Because compared to the Nine Tailed Beasts, the gap is indeed quite large. The power of Nine Tails seems to be much stronger than other tailed beasts. In the ninja world, there is such a joke. Of course, the joke didn't travel that far. Only a few people know. When Sage of Six Paths divided the Tailed Beast Chakra, there was one share of one tail and one share of nine tails, one share of two tails and one share of nine tails, one share of three tails and one share of nine tails. So, the amount of chakra in nine tails is extremely terrifying. At this time, the moment Namikaze Minato's tailed beast coat appeared on her body, Sarutobi Hiruzen also widened his eyes and looked at Minato without blinking. Gilu, he couldn't help but swallow. Holding the stick transformed by the ape demon in his hand, for some reason, he felt that the stick was much heavier. After all, this is perfect Jinchuriki. If that includes Naruto's body, that's the complete nine tails. And now, standing on his opposite side, at this time, Sarutobi felt very uncomfortable, and even thought more than once, what if? If he could treat Naruto kindly back then, wouldn't he be able to use these two perfect nine tails Jinchuriki today? If this is really the case, Kanaha can regain its former glory and become the true number one ninja village. Unfortunately, nothing will happen again. Advertisement. Chapter 92 One person fights three shadows. Advertisement. Really? At this time, when Namikaze Chiba saw the power of nine tails on Namikaze Minato, she immediately narrowed her eyes. He did think that Namikaze Minato should have the other half of nine tails power. So, Naruto, who has mastered the power of nine tails, has become a perfect Jinchuriki. As his father, can Namikaze Minato master the power of nine tails and become a perfect Jinchuriki like him? Obviously, this is possible. Now, Namikaze Minato gave him the answer. The orange red-tailed beast coat now enveloped him, which made Namikaze Minato even more powerful. He fills the tailed beast's coat. His eyes became extremely cold. For a person who did not treat his son well, his kindness remained during his lifetime. 
During his lifetime, he had shown the greatest kindness to this village. However, after his death, his descendants did not receive the treatment they deserved. If this is the case, then he does not need to retain any goodwill after death. Not worth it? Boom, a terrifying aura was released from Namikaze Minato. His body disappeared instantly. The body did not appear, but Akunao penetrated the space and stabbed towards Sarutobi quickly. Sarutobi's eyes widened, he naturally knew Namikaze Minato's flying thunder god. This Kunao may have the imprint of the flying thunder god's technique, so it must be treated with caution. The stick transformed from the monkey demon in Sarutobi's hand immediately swept away, trying to sweep away the Kunao. However, the moment the stick in Sarutobi's hand came into contact with the Kunao, in an instant, the Kunao suddenly bloomed with dazzling light. The light shone so brightly that it was almost impossible to see anywhere. In that light, Sarutobi Hiruzen immediately closed his eyes, and immediately retreated. He knows what ninjutsu this is? Spiral Flash Super Round Dance Roar 3 Styles? It was created by Namikaze Minato and combines the Flying Thunder God technique with flash bombs. It makes the enemy think it is just a flash bomb, but in fact, it is not. Namikaze Minato also relied on this ninjutsu to defeat countless powerful enemies. Moreover, he used this to protect Kakashi. Now this ninjutsu is used on Sarutobi. Spiral Flash Super Round Dance Roar 3 Styles? This moment. The moment Sarutobi pulled back. But in the endless light, Namikaze Minato's figure appeared. He showed up quickly. The orange-red tailed beast's coat suddenly surged. Then, he just stretched out his arm. The huge tailed beast arm appeared immediately with Namikaze Minato's attack. The terrifying chakra belonging to the tailed beast affects the surroundings. Sarutobi Hiruzen immediately struck out with a stick, but was directly defended by Namikaze Minato. The arm covered with the tailed beast's coat grabbed the stick in one fell swoop. Then, using his arm strength, he threw it out. Bang! Sarutobi Hiruzen's body was thrown heavily. Then, it hit the far wall. The wall suddenly dented. A large crack was exposed, like a spider web, densely packed. Ahem. Sarutobi suffered some injuries. Minato, things, are really not what you think. There is a hidden secret in this. You have to believe me. Namikaze Minato just glanced at him. Then, he just hugged him with both hands. A black energy body condensed with high quality chakra appeared immediately. Tailed beast bomb? And, I trust you. Namikaze Minato said. I trust you very much. Said. Advertisement. Throw the tailed beast bomb in his hand directly. However, there is no need to listen to the explanation. Lord third generation can just explain it to it. Boom, a tailed beast bomb was thrown directly. Sarutobi's expression changed instantly. He is naturally very aware of the power of tailed beast bomb. It should be noted that even the tailed beast bombs of other tailed beasts are extremely powerful and extremely destructive. And the current tailed beast bomb belongs to nine tails. Then there is no need to say more. Boom, at this moment, the tailed beast bomb exploded directly and completely. And Sarutobi was at the center, even if he tried his best and used almost all the ninjutsu he had learned in his life. But, it's still useless. The power of tailed beast bomb is too terrifying. Boom, boom, boom. One loud noise after another continued to resound. The power of tailed beast bomb is indeed powerful. This moment, Onaki looked at the scene and murmured. Yes, the tailed beast bomb issued by the Nine Tails Chakra is indeed very powerful. It is much stronger than other tailed beasts. AI also frowned. Luo Shei also said at this time. Besides, this is not the complete Nine Tails, it is just half of the Chakra of Nine Tails. Suddenly, several people were even more shocked. After all, just half of Nine Tails Chakra has such terrifying power. How terrifying would it be if it were the complete Nine Tails Chakra? Call? Several people couldn't help but exhale. Then, he immediately thought of something very crucial. Sarutobi Hiruzen, how long can you survive under such Namikaze Minato? After Onaki said this, in an instant, everyone else was stunned. Then I started thinking, after all, if Namikaze Minato is too strong and directly kills Sarutobi Hiruzen, then it will undoubtedly have a great impact on their plans. There's no one better to control than Sarutobi Hiruzen. Therefore, when Onaki said this, AI's frown deepened. AI said, then we take action. Luosha narrowed her eyes. It seems like there's no way out. And this moment, Namikaze Chiba smiled the moment they spoke. If you want to intervene, have you forgotten that I am still here? Looking at Chiba who was full of smiles, Onaki suddenly showed a serious smile. You are very strong, which is good, but, Namikaze Chiba, no matter how strong you are, can you fight four of us alone? The smile on Namikaze Chiba's face grew wider. Looking at Onoki, he mocked. You want to dance too? Onoki also showed a cold expression. We were unwilling to intervene before, just because you were very powerful and we didn't want to cause any trouble, but it doesn't mean that we can't compare with you. You Namikaze Chiba are strong, but you can't beat four hands with two fists. No matter how strong you are, you can't face so many of us. Namikaze Chiba, don't make mistakes, accept the reality, this is your destination. Ha 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 ha. After hearing this, Namikaze Chiba burst out laughing. In the laughter, there is endless ridicule. He said, you are right, two fists are indeed difficult to beat with four hands. If Uchiha Madara standing in front of me said this, I would think it would still be very oppressive, but you Onoki. He grinned, his smile full of coldness. Not worthy yet. Arrogant. Immediately, the expression on Onoki's face suddenly stiffened, and then turned into complete indifference. Then let's try it. Even if we need to face you Namikaze Chiba, plus Namikaze Minato, the two brothers join forces, we are still not afraid. Maybe you still don't know what shadow is and its true strength. Advertisement. As Onoki said this, AI and Luosha stood up together. The three figures moved forward together, and there was no doubt that they were extremely imposing. However, Terumi Mei did not follow them. Instead, he quietly took a few steps back. She smiled and said, As a woman, I don't have to participate in things like fighting and killing. This is a romance for men, so I don't have to take action. In an instant, whether it was Onaki, AI, or Luosha, their eyes became cold. Terumi Mei dropped out midway, which was obviously beyond their expectations. This made them unhappy. However, they can still accept just quitting at this time. They did not defect before the battle. At this time, they did not have the energy to deal with Terumi Mei additionally, so they could indulge her as long as it was not excessive. Terumi Mei's withdrawal was unexpected by Chiba. In other words, it was his instruction. 
However, Chiba did not let Terumimei come directly to help him. After all, no need. In other words, the presence or absence of Terumimei will not affect the situation of the battle. Because Kinyi believes that his own strength is enough to cope with it. At this time, Namikaze Minato threw Sarutobi Hiruzen out. At the same time, he glanced at Namikaze Chiba and asked, How's it going? Do you need my help? Can you handle it alone? No problem. Chiba smiled slightly. It's just a matter of dealing with a few people. It doesn't need to be taken seriously, said. Chiba looked at Terumimei and said with a smile, Make a cup of tea, I'll drink it later. Good. Terumimei showed a charming smile. Then, he turned around to make tea. After seeing this scene, how could Oniki and the other three not know about the relationship between Terumimei and Chiba? Oniki immediately sneered. Unexpectedly, you have such means, and you have already captured Mizukage. AI said, with such a method, we didn't even notice it. It's really amazing. Luosha, it's just that your biggest mistake is your arrogance. Chiba said, arrogance is indeed a mistake, but there is no need to be cautious when dealing with the three of you. There is no need, said. The body immediately stepped forward. With a clang, he drew out the long sword from his waist. Kinyi held the hilt of the three foot two long sword and struck the nearest Luosha with one strike. His movements were very light, and the falling sword was also light and fluttering, just like a maple leaf fluttering, falling to an uncertain direction. It is impossible to determine where the sword will fall. In the end, Luosha had no choice but to retreat. But at the same time, he is not alone. He had two other companions. AI directly covered his body with the lightning style armor, and then launched an attack from the left side. Lightning style thunder plow hot knife? AI's speed was very fast and he was approaching Chiba in an instant. And on the other side, Onoki also took action. Earth style super heavy rock technique. Moment. Everywhere in Chiba is filled with heavy pressure. Their cooperation is relatively tacit. Let Luosha serve as bait and let Kini attack. AI takes action and Onoki cooperates. Such a combination would be difficult for anyone to deal with. At least, it will be very confusing to deal with it. But, the person they faced was Namikaze Chiba? Advertisement. Ha. Huh. No matter how many ants there are, even if they unite, they will still be ants after all. Wanting to fight against the giant dragon is nothing more than a luxury. This moment, a cold light flashed in Kinyi's eyes. Next moment, his demeanor completely changed. Different from the usual violent and direct slashing momentum of the sword, this time it became deeper. His eyes were like abyss, extremely deep. A strange aura was released from Kinyi's body. At this moment, he seemed to be melting into darkness. Since the first template, the power of Zaraki Kenpeka from the Shinigami world was trained to ultimate by Chiba. Naturally, the power of the second template was awakened. Alquira, the power of the black wing demon, this moment. Kinyi's body was flying in the air, and black wings appeared out of thin air under his ribs. That is the power from the black winged demon. Devil wings? Kinyi rose into the sky, looking down at the three people, the unparalleled momentum immediately shook them. You know nothing about power, Buzz? This moment, Chiba drew his sword. A single slash of the sword was earth-shattering. It is much faster than Rakage in his strongest lightning-style armor state. The cold sword light cut down instantly. Laugh? It's so fast that it's impossible to dodge. Under the long sword, Luo Xia used earth style to defend. The thick earth wall was split into two in an instant. Then it turned into dust and scattered in the sky. With one strike of the sword, Luo Xia's right arm was broken off. The intact arm instantly fell to the ground, and the blood couldn't stop at all. The hunting begins now. Chiba smiled. But the smile at this moment is like a real devil. No, perhaps we can say that he is the devil? Above the sky, there were black raindrops dripping, and this heavy black rain was more like Chiba's territory. In this field, he will become stronger and faster. This moment. After seeing this scene, Sarutobi Hiruzen, who was tortured by Namikaze Minato, felt relieved for some reason. I am glad that I am facing only the perfect Jinchuriki with the power of nine tails, Namikaze Minato. Facing Namikaze Minato, he can still fight a dozen times. Even if it can't be defeated, it won't be directly crushed. He still has the strength to compete. If facing Namikaze Chiba, that. I can only feel deep despair. There is no possibility of any obstruction at all. This is impossible. This moment. Luo Xia hugged the broken arm, her eyes filled with disbelief. He looked at the terrifying man in the sky, overlooking them like a king, and couldn't help but be stunned. What power is this? Isn't it too scary? How can this be? At this time, Namikaze Minato's previous words appeared in his mind. Couldn't help but murmur. Do we really know nothing about power? Buzz? Can he slashed with his sword again? The silver-white sword was stained with black rainwater. Across the sky, the water curtain has since been cut off. The long sword turned almost black under the rain. This sword will cut off everything? Advertisement. Chapter 93 Let's Set Off Fireworks? Advertisement. Out of control, completely out of control. This moment. Right in the Uchiha clan land. Hayaga Hayashi looked at Uchiha Fugaku sitting aside, leisurely drinking hot tea, and couldn't help but sigh. Then he glanced at Fugaku and said, At this point, how can you still be so stable? Shouldn't you be eager to know the consequences? Uchiha Fugaku glanced sideways at Hayaga Hayashi and said slowly, You are so old, but you are not so stable. Even if the flood outside is raging, no matter how fierce they fight, it has nothing to do with us. The outcome of this matter won't have much impact on us. It's not right. Hayaga Hayashi frowned and said, If Namikaze Chiba fails, it will be a disaster for us. Fugaku laughed directly. Do you think Namikaze Chiba will fail? Won't. Then what do you care about? Hayaga Hayashi thought about it, and it seemed that this was true. Immediately, his expression gradually calmed down. But after a while, he stood up and said, I'd better go take a look. At the very least, I can help deal with some of the minions. Fugaku drank the hot tea in his cup. He also got up. Then let's go together. Hayaga Hayashi looked at him doubtfully. Fugaku said, As you said, we have to play our role. Otherwise, when the village really changes to Hokage, we, the direct clans, can't just sit back and enjoy the results, right? The words fell. Fugaku opened the door directly, and outside the house, groups of Uchiha were standing and waiting. Hayaga Hayashi looked at Fugaku with wide eyes, and his face suddenly changed. You old dog, aren't you in a hurry? Why do you even have the manpower ready? Fugaku glanced at him and said calmly, I said I'm not in a hurry. Do you really think I'm not in a hurry? If you're just pretending, just listen. Do you really take it seriously? Innocent. Finished. 
Fugaku turned around and walked to the group of Uchiha. Today, the village is in the most dangerous time. Uchiha is one of the founders of the village. If it weren't for our existence, Kanaha would not be able to develop to what it is today. It can be said that today's Kanaha has a part of us. Credit. It's undeniable. And now, this village that belongs to us is undergoing great changes. There are lawless people who want to keep the power of the village in their hands and rule it forever. This will be a disastrous day for us and the villagers of Kanaha. And we will change everything as the saviors of Kanaha. You are all the best ninjas of the Uchiha clan. Now at this time, I have decided to come forward to help the person we support, Nami Kazechiba, change everything. Are you willing? Willing. Now, as Fugaku finished speaking, suddenly, one voice after another, shouting, like thunder, Fugaku burst into laughter. In that case, let's go. Uchiha, he chanted, war. One after another Uchiha stood in front of them, raising their arms and shouting. Then, under the leadership of Fugaka, they all went out. Hayaga Hayashi watched the scene. He secretly clenched his fists and cursed in his heart. Old dog, you are really dishonest. Why didn't you even inform me about such a big matter? I'm going to gather the clan members too. At this time, Hayaga Hayashi was worried. Urgently afraid, the Hayaga clan did not join the war quickly enough to make a difference. He quickly returned to the Hayaga clan. Prepare everything? Advertisement. Naruto, what are you going to do? Hinata asked curiously, looking at Naruto with her big eyes open. Naruto's face showed determination. I, I will also go to the war to help my uncle, my father. Hinata, stay home, and I'll be back soon. Uh huh. Hinata nodded heavily. Although she also wanted to go, she also knew that her strength was not as good as Naruto and the others. If she really wanted to go, she would only cause some trouble. It didn't have much effect at all, so I had no choice but to stay at home. Naruto got dressed, took his ninja gear and went out. Not long after leaving the house, he met Uchiha Suzuke who was also dressed neatly. From far away, I heard Uchiha Suzuke's voice. N.A. Luduo, I didn't expect you to have the guts to come out. I thought you were too scared to go out. Naruto naturally wouldn't spoil him. The one who is too scared to go out is not me, but you. Zuzi, you have never defeated me. Do you still have such unrealistic thoughts this time? Suzuke immediately snorted. Then let's compete. I will kill enough enemies to prove to you that I, Uchiha Suzuke, am the real number one. Naruto laughed. Those who lose, don't cry. The two walked away together. Keep heading towards the Hokage building. Now, just outside the Hokage building, a lot of people have gathered. These people are naturally from other ninja villages. Cloud Shinobi, San Shinobi, Rock Shinobi, and some small Shinobi villages. As for the people from Mist Shinobi, they stand with Terumime and have no intention of participating. These people, while watching their respective shadows fight, wanted to go over and help. But, having this idea, Fugako led the people out. Want to go over and help? Have you asked us? One after another, Uchiha figures quickly joined the battle, and soon they were fighting with these ninjas. Not long after, people from the Hayaga clan also arrived. The two parties unite. They actually went to war with several major ninja villages. This battle can be called a new ninja war. And the level of cruelty is even worse. Because of the losing side, it is very likely that it will be destroyed. Boom, above the battle situation. Namikaze Minato swung out his arm and hit Sarutobi Hiruzen directly. Hit him hard and fly him away. Sarutobi's body hit the wall hard again. This moment, the wall, which had withstood several heavy blows, could no longer withstand the pressure and collapsed with a crash. Bang, a large cloud of smoke and dust rose up. Sarutobi Hiruzen coughed violently and coughed up a large mouthful of blood. His face was haggard and extremely ugly. At this moment, he was still looking at Minato, pointing at the battle taking place in the distance, and yelled, Minato, this is the village where you were born and raised. Do you have to watch it be destroyed and be destroyed because of fighting? Are you willing to do that? Yes, I am sorry for you and your son, but don't I have any difficulties? I have paid so much, all for the village, for the village. This moment, Sarutobi Hiruzen yelled hysterically. This is an attempt to persuade Namikaze Minato. But, Namikaze Minato was surprisingly quiet after hearing this. He looked at Sarutobi Hiruzen and said, Actually, I just want to ask one thing. When you say for the village, are you talking about our village or your village? One sentence. Suddenly. Advertisement. Sarutobi was stunned for a moment. Then his expression suddenly changed before he spoke. Minato shook his head and interrupted him. No need to say anything, I already have the answer. Hehe. He. It's really for the village. However, when he was Hokage, this so-called village was his village. For the sake of the village, it was always right. This never conflicts or contradicts. As for dying for the village, there is no way around it. The expression on Minato's face did not change. He said, I won't change my mind. In fact, I could have killed you a long time ago, but I didn't. Do you know what I'm waiting for? Far away, Naruto's figure appeared. Getting closer, Sarutobi Hiruzen's body began to tremble. Namikaze Minato finally showed that sunny smile. I'm waiting for him, my son. He needs to take care of this with his own hands. Sarutobi Hiruzen seemed completely crazy at this moment. He took action recklessly, even ignoring his own injuries. Whether it is to seriously injure Namikaze Minato, or to injure himself seriously. He just didn't want to end up in Naruto's hands. This is a great shame, but, Naruto still came. The orange-tailed beast coat wrapped around him. Not much different from Namikaze Minato's state. Two perfect nine-tails Jinchuriki, united together. Father and son, fighting side by side. Dad, I'm here. Naruto looked at Namikaze Minato and spoke. Well, I've been waiting for you. Minato said softly. Hey hey. Naruto grinned. The two of us just beat up an old man. Wouldn't it be a bit bullying? Minato shook his head. No matter how much we do to him, it's not bullying. He owes us this. Naruto was still laughing. Sarutobi Hiruzen was originally struggling, but at this moment, his movements became lighter. He stared at Naruto for a long time. Finally sighed. Road. Naruto, you were not like this before. Naruto smiled. Yes, everyone is forced. I don't want to be like this, and I don't want to do these things, but... Grandpa third generation, you forced me to do this. Naruto looked calm, looked at Sarutobi Hiruzen, and said. What I wanted to ask you most was where my parents went and why others had them but I didn't. Why, I can only see my parents in my dreams. I miss them so much and want to see them, even from a distance. But none. I asked you, and your answer is, what can you do if you know it? 
The dead cannot be resurrected. But now, the dead have been resurrected. I never thought before that my father, the fourth Hokage of the village, was once the most noble man in the village, and he died for the village. He entrusted me to you to take care of me. I'm very grateful to you for allowing me to eat only six meals in three days. Listen to these words. Saratobi's lips moved. I wanted to say something, but in the end I didn't say it. Finally, he said. If you want to take action against Grandpa, Grandpa won't blame you. After all, it was Grandpa who was at fault first. However, the village is innocent, and so are the villagers. Can you promise Grandpa to treat them well? These words, seems very sincere, extremely sincere. However, Naruto looked innocent, really. I heard that during the Chinin exam, someone once attacked the village. Many villagers were oppressed under the ruins. They are suffering. If no one saves them, they will definitely die. Advertisement. Grandpa third generation, did you go rescue them? No, right. Naruto asked seriously, but why don't you save them? Why? Naruto's problem. Sarutobi Hiruzen opened his mouth, but didn't know how to answer, because he really didn't save her. There is no such thought even, what he thought. At that time, the opportunity was rare. If we don't take advantage of this time to restrict Namikaze Chiba as much as possible, then we may not have this opportunity in the future, he has to keep his position. Make your Hokage position more stable. There will be no accidents? How could a few villagers be as important as this man? But now, someone is asking him. Why? Why? Sarutobi couldn't answer. Naruto laughed. Forget it, there is no need to delve into this. I used to yearn for the Hokage. My dream was to become a Hokage and be recognized by everyone. But I found out in the end that it didn't really work. Because, no matter what, I will always be a demon fox in their eyes. I tried to please them again and again, but all I got in return was alienation and disgust. I don't know how many times I have to do it to change their impression of me. So tired. This is really tiring. I don't want to do this anymore. Naruto looked at Sarutobi Hiruzen. Word by word. I am the demon fox. Boom. As Naruto's words fell, he completely entered tailed beast mode. Fully fused the power with nine tails. Transformed into a huge fox with nine tails. Minato stood aside, looking at his son quietly. Naruto, daddy always supports you. Thank you dad. Naruto looked back at Namikaze Minato with a smile. Then he turned and looked at Sarutobi Hiruzen. Now the demon fox, it's time to do what the demon fox should do. A huge tailed beast bomb, condensed by Naruto. This tailed beast bomb is even more powerful than the one Namikaze Minato had condensed before. Even more terrifying? The moment this tailed beast bomb appeared, Sarutobi Hiruzen's expression completely changed. He quickly said, No, Naruto, you are a good boy, you shouldn't do this. You are not a demon fox, you are not. Bang! The tailed beast bomb was sprayed out by the giant nine tails. At the same time, there was Naruto's clear voice. In this case, go and tell Shinigami. Boom! At this moment, the huge tailed beast bomb exploded directly. The terrifying power swept everywhere in an instant. The chucker from nine tails quickly destroys everything around. Let everything disappear. This tailed beast bomb is more like a firework. This is a grand fireworks, blooming in Kanaha, and the price he paid was his life. But these fireworks are beautiful. Incredibly beautiful? Let's set off fireworks. Advertisement. Chapter 94 Death of Third Generation Advertisement Boom! The huge rumbling sound completely resounded in Kanaha at this moment. Many people in Kanaha saw this scene. Saw this grand fireworks. There are probably not many people who can ignore this sense of shock and power. What's going on? It's so shocking. It seems like something exploded. It seems to be at Hokage-sama's place. This, what's going on? Is Hokage-sama fighting with someone? It seems so, but this power is a bit too strong, right? It's normal. After all, it was Lord Hokage who took action. It must be earth-shattering. As expected of Master Hokage. But, the speculation about this matter turned into praise for Sarutobi Hiruzen in the end. Almost no one thought that the Sarutobi Hiruzen they praised, the third Hokage, was not the initiator of this shocking fireworks. But, the bearer? Boom, the center of a violent explosion. Sarutobi Hiruzen looked miserable. Even if he tried every means at his disposal, he could not stop the tailed beast bomb from exploding. But the good thing is, Naruto's level of control now has improved a lot. That means, this explosion did not completely explode outside. Instead, it was mainly Sarutobi Hiruzen who took most of the power. The remaining small part spread to the surroundings. But no harm was done. Because, Orikimura had already led his men to set up a barrier outside. Four purple yin formation. With this barrier, it can be very considerate and allow Sarutobi Hiruzen, the admirable Hokage, to fully receive the blessings he deserves. Even if it is not enough. There is also a second one. But presumably, his remaining lifespan is not enough to support him. Even if it is only half of the Nine Tails Chakra, the condensed tailed beast bomb is equally terrifying. Puff. This moment. Sarutobi Hiruzen spurted out a mouthful of blood. His white beard had been completely burned. His face was filled with darkness. Even the Hokage robe, which was always the most valued, was completely destroyed in the explosion. His clothes were torn, and he looked like an old beggar who had been begging for food on the street decades ago. If you don't look carefully, it will be even harder to see Sarutobi Hiruzen's true appearance. Who would have thought that the dignified third Hokage would become what it is now? Bang! After the explosion, Sarutobi Hiruzen could no longer stand. The body shook for a moment, and then fell down with a plop. However, after all, he had good perseverance and endured the physical discomfort. He just knelt down on one knee and did not completely collapse. But even in this state, Sarutobi Hiruzen still couldn't help but look at Naruto and Namikaze Minato, and using his last strength, he said, I'm like this now, can you come down? Ah, uh, at this moment, no matter how good-natured Namikaze Minato is, she can't help but laugh. Laughing in anger, there is no turning back, and time cannot be turned back. Master third generation, I think you would never have thought of today when you made those decisions. If Chiba hadn't appeared and changed the ending, I'm afraid you would never feel regret for what you did. Today, you will become like this and feel repentant, not because of the kindness in your heart, but because of our efforts. Namikaze Minato said, It was our hard work that made you like this. How come it comes to your mouth, but it seems like you did it on purpose? How ridiculous. However, since the Lord asked, I will tell the truth. Not enough, far from enough. This moment, 
After hearing this, advertisement, the expression on Sarutobi Hiruzen's face suddenly froze, and then became even more ugly, with his facial features almost distorted. Staring at Namikaze Minato, okay, you insist on my death, right? Then I, his body, which was half kneeling, suddenly faced forward. With just one tip of the toe, the speed is extremely fast. He quickly headed towards Naruto. At the same time, Sarutobi Hiruzen had a kunao in his hand. This kunao stabbed towards Naruto. But, bang, Naruto reacted very quickly, directly raising his leg and kicking him. He kicked Sarutobi Hiruzen directly in the chest. Suddenly, his body was like a kite with its string broken, and he fell heavily. Finally, like a puppet, it fell to the ground. Bang, there was a small sound. Naruto looked at Sarutobi Hiruzen who fell to the ground with a mocking look on his face. This kind of method is really unacceptable. Now, Sarutobi Hiruzen had fallen to the ground and had no strength to stand up again. He was breathing heavily, like a bellows, and there were sounds from time to time. Already, there is a lot of anger coming out and less anger coming in. The third Hokage, who has been in power for many years, probably never thought that his life would end like this. He does everything for power, but in the end, he falls into the hands of power. Far away, when seeing this scene, Onoki couldn't help it, because once Sarutobi Hiruzen dies, it will undoubtedly mean that many of their previous preparations have failed. Even the conditions for them to agree to Sarutobi's move are gone, isn't it? Waiting for Kanaha to get a new Hokage, then everything promised to them before would be useless. This is equivalent to saying that what they do is completely useless. Useless work was done. Onoki naturally couldn't accept all this, so does AI. Therefore, he was also struggling hard, but it is helpless. No matter how hard they tried, they could not break through the Chiba blockade. Chiba, who had devil wings under his ribs, was playing with them like a cat playing with a mouse. Onoki, AI, and Luosha tried all their methods. Want to let go to help Sarutobi Hiruzen. It's all useless. At this time, Naruto walked up to Sarutobi Hiruzen and looked at him condescendingly. Then, he turned his head and looked at Kinyi. Chiba smiled and said, It's okay, don't worry about us, just do whatever you want. Aha. Uh -huh. Naruto nodded heavily. Finally, look at Sarutobi Hiruzen. Looking at this old third Hokage who has very little life left. Taking a deep breath, he said softly, Actually, I don't want things to end like this, but I am really unwilling and unwilling to believe that the third generation grandfather I once thought was so good is like this. Naruto looked at him. The eyes are a little complicated. He used to really think that Grandpa third generation was the best person to him in the whole village. It is his reliance and support in the village. But, more and more things prove that this is not the case. You may be good to him, but behind being good to him, there are other thoughts hidden behind it. This is not a conflict. Because as long as you treat him a little better, you can keep a Nine-Tails Jinchuriki in the village. And, I won't have any feelings of betrayal. I am grateful to him as the third Hokage. In the past, Naruto was unwilling to look at these things and couldn't see through them. But finally, he found out. Everything can be viewed from the perspective of benefits. Advertisement. Immediate benefits and future benefits. In the final analysis, all that I have done is just for profit. When things are simplified, it becomes much clearer. It's also easier to see the purpose. Obviously, the purpose of third generation has never been to let him grow up healthily and happily, but to make him easier to control. Even, become a person who only believes in him and is only willing to listen to his words. Everything is fake. Call. Naruto breathed out heavily. Let your emotions calm down. But actually, I am still very grateful to you, even if your purpose is not pure. So, I won't do anything more, but the village no longer needs you. For the village you talk about, Grandpa Third Generation, please go on the road. Sarutobi Hiruzen listened to these words. Tears slowly flowed from the corners of his eyes. He didn't know what he was thinking and kept looking at Naruto. Finally, he slowly closed his eyes. On this day, the third Hokage, who had ruled the village for a long time, closed his eyes permanently. His life was fixed at this moment. Kanaha, lost the third Hokage. But, here comes another one. Namikaze Minato walked up and patted Naruto on the shoulder. He didn't say anything, just nodded. Naruto smiled. I'm fine, Dad, let's go clean up the others. Good. Namikaze Minato nodded. Then let's compete. Who is faster? I will definitely be faster than Dad. Minato looked at Naruto tenderly. Okay, let's compete. Soon, the two perfect Nine Tails Jinchuriki joined forces and headed towards the ninjas of other villages. Although, there are Uchiha and Hayaga clan members participating in the battle. But it can't be cleaned up that quickly. However, if you add Naruto and Namikaze Minato, it will be much better. This moment, Onaki sighed, knowing that they lost this battle. Completely defeated. Sarutobi Hiruzen is dead. This third Hokage, ended his reign. Even though the shadows from the other three villages supported him and tried their best to help, the failure still did not stop. Perhaps, it's because Sarutobi Hiruzen's decision making was too wrong, but more importantly, his opponent is too powerful. At this moment, after sighing, once you know the result, there is no need to continue fighting. There is no point in continuing to fight. So Onoki stopped. Looking at Kinyi, he said, admit defeat and stop fighting. AI also stopped. Sighed as well. Failed. Failure always comes so quickly. Even if they used all their strength and paid a heavy price, this would still be the case. Luo Sha put away his ninjutsu. Silent. If Onaki and AI don't want to fight anymore, it's useless even if he wants to fight again. Chiba came down from the sky, looking at the three people. AI simply sat down. Tell me, how do you want us to compensate? Obviously. He felt that since he was not prepared to continue the fight, he would just pay compensation. Is it possible that Namikaze Chiba is really planning to kill them all at this time? Advertisement. He does have the strength to do it. But if they knew about it, the three ninja villages would definitely take action at all costs. In this case, even if Kanaha can win in the end, many people will definitely die. Unless, he Namikaze Chiba is a complete loner who doesn't care about everyone, but is he? Obviously not. Therefore, it must be discussed. Although Kanaha is known as the number one ninja village, its foundation has long been insufficient. Even with Chiba's management, it is indeed stronger than a single ninja village, but it is not enough to crush three ninja villages. This is obvious. Of course, it would be different if Orikimaru used impure world reincarnation. Only, the cultivation of white Zetsu was not that rapid. Those who stayed in Kirigakuriko were already the majority. Onoki looked at AI, and after being silent for a long while, he said, How do you want us to compensate you? A faint smile appeared on Kinyi's face. Obviously, 
He also has a mind for negotiation. After all, if the fight continues, they will be fine, but Uchiha and Hayaga will probably die. Not a good deal. Then let's discuss it. Next. Chiba walked into the Hokage building with steps. This building has become ownerless after the original owner died. No, to be precise, it belongs to Chiba. He walked into the Hokage's office. And, he sat directly on the chair that belonged to Hokage. Lazy and half-leaning. To be honest, it feels average. Chiba didn't like it. But now, he has to sit in the seat. In just a few years, it can be passed on to a nephew. He still likes the days of playing games with Samui, Terumi Mei, Yui Hong, etc. It's such a boring place to deal with village affairs. Very annoying. It's a pity that Tsunade is too old. If he were 20 years younger, Chiba shook his head and felt regretful. At this time, it's not far away from Kanaha. Yakushi Kabuto followed a man wearing a black robe with red clouds embroidered on the hem. The man had an orange red mask on his face. But at this time, he took off the mask and revealed his true face. Obito, the battle is over. Obito looked at Kanaha and said with some emotion. It seems that Sarutobi failed. Yakushi Kabuto said. The failure of the third generation, in my opinion, is inevitable. After all, Namikaze Chiba is too strong. It would be too easy for him to want the Hokage position. Obito didn't answer the question. Instead, he suddenly said. Namikaze Chiba wants Hokage's seat. What about you? He turned his head, stared into Yakushi Kabuto's eyes, and continued to ask. What do you want? I, Yakushi Kabuto laughed. I want to progress, acquire more ninjutsu, explore their mysteries, and discover the fascinating things hidden in them. Therefore, I need help from others, and the only person who can help me is you. Obito glanced at him and suddenly smiled. I heard that you have learned impure world reincarnation. Yakushi Kabuto nodded. Yes. Obito smiled even brighter. Very good. In this case, I wish us a happy cooperation in advance. Ha 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 ha. Obito laughed. His withered face smiled even more freely. Yakushi Kabuto was behind, looking at Obito's face, silently. Advertisement. Chapter 95 Compensation for Sankan and Resurrection of Kushina. Advertisement. At this time, in the Hokage's office, Chiba sat in the seat that belonged to Hokage. Of course, now the seat, together with this office and even this village, all belong to him. The third Hokage is dead. Kanaha now desperately needs a new Hokage. And Chiba, do your part? Certainly. Now is not the time to discuss this, after all, it always takes some time. Now, the top priority is to get several other ninja villages to compensate. Onoki, Ai, and Raza were all standing in Hokage's office. And, looking at Chiba, however, their expressions at the moment are not very good. Least, it's a little ugly. Too. No matter who it is, it is difficult to maintain a good face after losing the battle and having to pay compensation. At this point, Chiba knew clearly. However, compensation is always necessary. This cannot be negotiated. At this time, Chiba looked at Onoki and said with a smile. Tell me, how are you going to compensate? Onoki hesitated slightly. How about 500 million per village? AI said nothing, obviously testing Kinyi's bottom line. Chiba sneered directly. Do you think you're sending Sarutobi Hiruzen away? It's only 500 million, which is too little. Onoki frowned and said. Then, 800 million. Hee <laughs> hee. Chiba chuckled twice and said nothing more. Obviously, 800 million is impossible. After all, in the past, Sarutobi Hiruzen had paid them more than this. If you want to spend a mere 800 million, you can send Chiba away. That is absolutely impossible. At this time, after Kinyi fell silent, several people immediately frowned. They could tell that Chiba had a huge appetite. Then, just be simpler. Onoki looked at Chiba and asked directly. How much do you want? Chiba raised his head and looked at him with a smile. Not much, 2 billion per village. This is impossible. Just after Chiba finished speaking, Onoki immediately denied it. The attitude is very firm. After all, if the 2 billion were really given, it would be a big deal for them. Even the money Sarutobi Hiruzen gave them was not that much. Their village is not very rich like Kanaha in the Land of Fire, and their living environment is still relatively harsh. So, if you want to spend that much money, you may have to sell the entire village. Naturally they would not agree. Of course Chiba also knew that they would not agree. The asking price is sky high, so you have to pay it back when you land. This price gives them room to pay back. Chiba said, 19 billion. Onaki stared at Chiba, with anger in his eyes. You're entertaining me. Not to mention 1.92 billion, even if it's 1.5 billion, we can't get it out. 1 billion. Onaki rode. His expression was full of anger. It seemed that at the next moment he couldn't help but take action and was desperate. Advertisement. However, this can scare Sarutobi Hiruzen, but it cannot scare Namikaze Chiba. Chiba smiled slightly. Immediately he said, 1 billion is impossible. If you really don't want to give it, the worst we can do is fight. Onaki glared, do you think I will be afraid of you? Even if you really have this strength, Kanaha will not be much better. You may be fine, but the people you know and the people closest to you will all die. Chiba remained unmoved. You don't need to scare me. I have the strength to protect them, or rather, prevent them from participating in the war. And, Chiba smiled slightly. I don't know about the others, but once the war starts, I can guarantee one thing, you three will definitely not survive. Take the village's money and buy your own safety. This is a very cost-effective deal. Why not do it? Don't you think your life is worth the price? Chiba smiled broadly. He has finished speaking, so the rest is waiting for the others to think. After all, everything Chiba said was true. They must be thinking. In the end, it was decided whether their lives were more important or the money. As for the answer, you can imagine. No amount of money is as important as their lives. So, it's quite normal. After all, hee <laughs> hee. After all, they and Sarutobi Hiruzen are the same people. Same kind of people. However, their characters are not as cowardly as Sarutobi Hiruzen. Or to be more precise, he didn't fall as quickly as Sarutobi Hiruzen. Finally, they made their decision. Onoki took a deep breath and looked at Chiba again. 1.3 billion, this is my bottom line. Make a deal. Chiba spoke calmly. There was no trace of his sadness or joy in his voice. I couldn't tell whether he was happy because of the 1.3 billion, or whether he felt it was too little. Onoki looked at Chiba for a long time, and finally nodded. I will send someone to deliver the money after a while. Good. Onoki took a deep look at Chiba. I hope we won't have the chance to deal with each other in the future. Onoki turned and left. 
Now that Chiba has taken charge of Kanaha and become the new Hokage, he does not want to fight Chiba again in the future. Once is enough. One fight made them difficult to deal with and they suffered a lot. Onaki even made a decision to join them if no other forces intervened. He will never take action against Namikaze Chiba again. This is not a good deal. After Onaki left, Aie narrowed his eyes and finally said. The same goes for Cloud Shinobi Village. Then he turned around and left. Luosha said. So does Sunagakur. Eventually, they all left. This time, the three ninja villages suffered heavy losses. Not only were the young ninjas in the village nearly wiped out, but many elite ninjas were also lost. What is even more unacceptable is that in addition, there is also a compensation of 1.3 billion. This is exactly like catching them all and spitting out all the money they got from Kanaha, including the original and profit. Ultimately, though, it's all thanks to Sarutobi Hiruzen. After all, if Sarutobi Hiruzen hadn't taken action and asked all three ninja villages to come to Kanaha, even if Chiba wanted to do this, it wouldn't be that easy. After all, it is really troublesome to find them one by one by yourself. Moreover, if they really have to look for them one by one, it is very likely that they will make other preparations or even run away directly. Chiba shook his head. All in all, Sarutobi Hiruzen has done a lot of good things. Well, thanks to him, the people of the three major ninja villages completely left. Some small ninja villages, naturally, too. Advertisement. Of course, they also left enough compensation. Chiba didn't bother to meet them and left it to Fugako and Hayashi. There is no need to waste time with the cage from Zionin village. He had other things going on. Important things. Terumi may open the door and walk in. Things are indeed more important. After all, if it is loose, it may not be very comfortable. This road is not easy to walk, and it is always bumpy at the beginning, so Chiba walks slowly. It wasn't until later that I became familiar with it, and then slowly started walking faster. Fortunately, the scenery on the road is good. It's unforgettable. Chiba is a person who likes to enjoy the scenery, so he walked back and forth several times. After a long time, should I stay in Kanaha? Chiba touched Terumi May's hair and said with a smile, What are you doing here? Terumi May pouted and snorted dissatisfied. You really want me to leave? Chiba laughed dumbly. It's not that I want you to leave, but you have other things to do. After all, you are not an ordinary woman, and I don't want to treat you as an ordinary woman. You are Mizu Cage. There are very few people in this world. People can compare with you. Even if there are many men, they are not as good as you. After hearing this, Terumi May seemed very happy. Then he shook his body happily. Fortunately, I was tired from walking Kyanba Road and had no intention of walking it again. Terumi May said. Then I will go back and develop Kirigakur well. You will be surprised when you come again. Okay, I'll wait for you to get your results. Chiba smiled and spoke. Terumi May is gone too. Unlike the shadows in other villages, she left with something. Chiba left behind. Stay in it. Wait for the four major ninja villages to leave. News of this battle gradually spread to the entire village. The villagers also knew the result. Suddenly, I was shocked. This, we really defeated the four great ninja villages. One village fighting four villages, this is a feat that was only accomplished when first Hokage was in power. It's too strong. We are worthy of being the number one ninja village, who can compare with such achievements. But, we were clearly not that strong before. How did we do it this time? I heard that the battle was commanded by Lord Chiba. It turns out to be Master Chiba, that makes sense. Long live Lord Chiba. Long live. There is nothing more gratifying than a victorious battle. The villagers cheered for this victory. As for the people who died in this battle, including the third Hokage who had been in power for a long time, they seemed to have been completely forgotten. Few people talk about him. As if it doesn't exist. In this battle, many people died in Kanaha village. Of course, more often than not, he died at the hands of Orikimaru. Instead of the four great ninja villages. It is worth mentioning that Sarutobi Hiruzen had time to rescue these dead people. But he didn't. However, once the person is dead, the dust has settled. No need to worry. Kanaha will be in a rebuilding period for a long time. Of course, after receiving compensation from the three great ninja villages. 1.3 billion compensation for a village. So for three villages, that's 3.9 billion. Chiba can use this money to do many things to make the ninjas in the village more and stronger. In the Hokage's office, Fugaku side. Third generation has been doing Hokage all my life, and I'm afraid I have never seen so much money. Hayashi said, we have to thank him too. If he hadn't died, there wouldn't have been so many. Fugaku glanced at him. Advertisement. Do you think his life is so valuable? Hayashi pouted. It's not that it's valuable, it's just that he died appropriately. Ha ha ha. Fugaku laughed. Forget it, the person is dead, so there is no need to mention him anymore. After all, without him, the village will get better and better. That's for sure. The two finally looked at Chiba. Fugaku asked. When are you going to announce it to the village? When a new Hokage takes over, there must be a ceremony. It's not just about taking the top position. It was time to tell the whole village and let everyone know that the village had changed to Hokage. Kinyi shrugged and said indifferently. Let's just wait for two days. It's just a Hokage. It's not a big deal. Fugaku glanced at him. If someone hears this, won't you choke to death? Hayashi asked. What are you going to do with the remaining forces of Sarutobi? Chiba said. Kill him. Can. Hayashi hesitated, there are still some elites among them. Chiba shook his head and said, There is no need to keep it until the compensation for the three villages is delivered. With this money, we can cultivate countless elites. There is no need to keep them. I don't have the time and energy to test their character and loyalty. Instead of instead of wasting energy, it's better to get it over with. Hayashi nodded. To be honest, he was very confused about this matter. After all, it feels like a pity. But after hearing Kinyi say this, it didn't matter. After all, he's not the Hokage. After the matter was said, Chiba left the Hokage office. He returned to his residence. At this time, Namikaze Minato and Uzumaki Naruto were waiting for him. The expressions on their faces seemed a bit solemn. Very serious. Kinyi knew what they were after just one glance. Chiba nodded and said, It's almost time to resurrect my sister-in-law. Today, Orikimaru's research is doing well. Those who can make the impure world reincarnation exist for a long time. Reanimation Jutsu, with his improvements, became more perfect. Even more perfect than before. This is thanks to the research on the power of Yin and Yang escape. Minato actually had this intention from the beginning. However, I felt scared again. She was afraid that once Kushina was resurrected and saw what happened to Naruto, she wouldn't be able to help but punch him on the head. 
Kushina's temper has always been very fiery. Even Minato was a little overwhelmed. But now, it's almost there. After listening to Chiba's words, Namikaze Minato breathed a sigh of relief. Naruto's eyes sparkled. He is very happy, because I can finally see my mother. Orikimura came out of the laboratory. Now, it is difficult to tell whether Orikimura is a boy or a girl from a physiological point of view. In fact, this can be regarded as a question and studied in detail. Perhaps, even Orikimura himself doesn't understand this problem. But, he doesn't care. For him, gender is not something worth caring about. He felt that after changing gender, there would be many novel things that he could try. For example, Jiraiya. Orikimura began to perform the technique. It didn't take long before a woman with red hair appeared. She slowly opened her eyes. He saw Naruto staring at him, looking a little timid. Kushina didn't say anything, she just took a step forward and hugged the yellow-haired boy tightly in her arms. She could tell at a glance that this was the child she had longed for. Advertisement. Chapter 96 New Hokage? Namikaze Chiba? Advertisement. Kushina is really resurrected. Fugaka couldn't help but sigh after hearing the news. It's really amazing that you can actually do it. Hayashi was beside him, also sighing. It's not easy for their family. Yet, if Namikaze Chiba hadn't come back, I really don't know how miserable Naruto would have been in the future. Fugaku shook his head. A very good kid, but he was tricked by Sarutobi Hirazan. Hayashi said. Why mention him? Bad luck. Fugaku said dissatisfied. Ha 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 ha. Hayashi laughed. Since he's gone anyway, it doesn't hurt to say a few words. Fugaku glanced at him. Also, if Namikaze Chiba hadn't taken action in time, your brother would have had to wait for the impure world reincarnation. The words fell. Hayashi paused for a moment. Speechless. But after a moment, Hayashi suddenly raised his eyebrows and said mischievously. By the way, you named your son Suzuki. Does it have any profound meaning? Fugaku looked at Hayashi and said calmly. Why, what do you think the deep meaning is? Hayaga Hayashi said cowardly. I remember, Sarutobi Hiruzen's father is Sarutobi Suzuki. The words were not finished. The meaning behind it is also very clear. Neither Sarutobi Hiruzen nor Hayaga Hayashi believed this kind of thing. But, Achiha Fugaku really didn't have this idea when he came up with this name. He really admired and admired Sarutobi Suzuki. This time he gave his son the same name. It was not until later that Kanaha's attitude towards the Uchiha clan made him suddenly feel that giving his son such a name was not a bad thing. At least there are uncomfortable moments. You can take care of this Suzuki son. Just like dealing with his biological father, Suzuki. Looking at it this way, there is still a gap in seniority between the two. Whenever this happens, Fugaku feels that he really made the right choice when he chose this name. Hayashi obviously thought of this too. At the same time, I also feel that it is not without reason that the Uchiha clan has been attacked during this period. But Hayashi didn't say this. Both of them had a tacit understanding. Now, waiting for the new Hokage to take over, their two families are one of the most noble families in Kanaha. Even more noble than the previous three clans of Ino, Shika, Cho, Rain Shinobi Village. Yakushi Kabuto, led by Obito, came here. And, I met several other people from Akatsuki. Hashigakiki Same, Diodera, Hayden, Nagato, or Pain, Konan, White Zetsu, Scorpion, Kakuzu. For the arrival of Yakushi Kabuto, the expressions on the faces of several people did not change much. Obito put on the mask again, and then began to introduce. His name is Yakushi Kabuto, and next, he will be our new companion. Several people looked at Kabuto. Kabuto smiled and said hello. Hello everyone, I'm Kabuto. Still no one spoke. Obito continues. What Kabuto is good at is studying ninjutsu, especially the forbidden technique, and doing some research. Orikimaru has betrayed us, and his position has been taken by Kabuto. It is worth mentioning that Kabuto has learned all of Orikimaru's abilities. When Obito said this, the others just looked at Obito, with a hint of emotion in their eyebrows. Obviously, he was recognized. In this way, Yakushi Kabuto joined Akatsuki, taking the place where Orikimaru once was. Our first priority remains the same, collecting tailed beasts. Advertisement. Obito said this. Then slowly, Obito told what Akatsuki was. Mother. Naruto was in Kushina's arms, sniffing her mother's scent greedily. This was a smell he had never smelled in all these years. Such a fragrance is intoxicating. Kushina gently caressed Naruto's face. Look at this young boy growing up. Tears welled up uncontrollably. Naruto, mommy misses you so much. No unnecessary words. The two hugged each other tightly. Chiba watched this disgusting scene for a while, and finally retreated silently. He didn't want to disturb a mother who had not seen her son for a long time and now they met. So, Namikaze Minato was left alone to watch. After Chiba left. Soon, Samai came over on his own initiative. Help him relax. During the relaxation interval, Chiba couldn't help but ask. Have you ever thought about going back? Samui shook his head. Anyway, in their eyes, I am already a dead person. In this case, there is no need to appear in their sight again. Now, she has a clear understanding of her status. There is no need to do anything. It is easy to cause disaster. Chiba is just saying it casually now. If Sam had really thought about it, he wouldn't be able to let her go. After all, when you are tired, she can move on her own. It's quite comfortable to use. Too lazy to change in a short period of time. Pretty good thing. Next, it's time to prepare for the position. He arrived at the Hokage office. Sam Ai, as his personal secretary, also came with him. Of course, a secretary doesn't necessarily have to be a close-fitting person. After all, some places require more than just stickers. Maybe it's a clamp. He threw the remaining documents on the table into the trash can. He didn't like the furnishings in the room. Just throw them all away. The old wooden door at the door of the office was finally completely broken due to disasters one after another. Namikaze Chiba got a new door as she wished. Um, very strong and reliable. Least. When you do something, it's not so easy to be seen. Otherwise, I would think that he, the Hokage, is not doing his job properly. However, he had too many things to solve. It's time to relax after all. Grown-ups. Samai I swallowed and stood up. Show off your proud figure. Whispered softly. When are you going to tell the village what happened? Nowadays, Kanaha is in ruins. You need to prepare as soon as possible. Only in this way can the hearts of the villagers be completely settled, and the ninjas in the village can be more stable. No other thoughts will arise. Chiba nodded. This matter really cannot be slowed down. 
Then, let's do it tomorrow. Chiba was used to being casual, but she didn't want to make any preparations. Anyway, to him, the left and right are just hokage. He doesn't take it seriously like Sarutobi does. To reach this position, I have no choice but to do so. Samai I nodded and asked quietly. So, what about today? What to do? Advertisement. Today. Come here and I'll tell you quietly. The secretary went to work like this. The next day, Naruto couldn't be happier after being reunited with his family. He pestered Kushina and told him about his various deeds in the ninja school. Of course, he also introduced his fiancée, who had been married for a long time. After Kushina saw Hinata, she fell in love with the little girl. Then, Namikaze Minato's status in the family has naturally been lowered. Fortunately, Namikaze Minato is used to this. Early morning, as the sunlight gradually spreads, it makes Kanaha feel a lot warmer. A large number of villagers gathered in one place. There, there was a simple elevated platform in the center. Until the crowd gradually increased. Namikaze Chiba, who was dressed in casual clothes, slowly walked to the high platform. His eyes swept down and looked at everyone. He coughed lightly and then said, My name is Namikaze Chiba, and from now on, I am the new Hokage of Kanaha. The last Hokage did not entrust me with his position. He did many wrong things and caused the village to fall again and again. From the first ninja village back then, it fell to a place where everyone can be bullied. You should all be aware of the wars that the village has fought over the years. Clear. Even if Kanaha wins, there will be no benefit. We even have to pay compensation to other villages. But the heroes you are familiar with and know have disappeared one by one or died in battle. Kanaha is declining, you should be able to see it. So, here I come. What Kanaha needs has never been a benevolent Hokage, a kind Hokage. What he needs is a strong man like the first Hokage. And I am this person. Someone suggested to me that there is a forbidden technique in the village called Impure World Reincarnation, which can resurrect the dead, but it is too cruel and requires human sacrifice, and the conditions are extremely harsh. Even so, the first Hokage can be resurrected. In this case, Kanaha with the first Hokage will be in an invincible position. No village can defeat Kanaha. Kanaha will always be the number one ninja village. But this is too blasphemous to the souls of our predecessors. They live very well in the Pure Land. There is no need to bother them anymore. Just let them live and rest in peace. Give me time, no need to resurrect the first Hokage. I, Namikaze Chiba, will lead Kanaha far beyond the first generation. Now, after saying this, Namikaze Kinyi looked around. Endless Haki is revealed from him. Long live. Long live Hokage-sama. One voice after another was shouted by the villagers below. They were extremely excited. Because, Namikaze Chiba has a real record. The three major ninja villages, Cloud Shinobi, San Shinobi, and Rock Shinobi, received a total compensation of 3.9 billion. These money. This is something unprecedented since the founding of the Kanaha village. Except for the first time when the tailed beasts were sold, there has never been anything close to this kind of money. During the first generation and second generation periods, even the wealth of the village was far behind. Even if the economy gets better when the third generation is in office. But, does it have to be the third generation? Not necessarily. But what Namikaze Chiba wants to come to is real. Because it was forcibly snatched from other ninja villages, the villagers don't care whether the money comes from the right source. They only care about whether Kanaha wins. As long as you win, it's right. So this moment, with just a few words, Namikaze Chiba received a round of cheers. Almost every villager in Kanaha was happy and excited for him. For the new Hokage. As for the previous generation. Sorry, no one cares? That's it. This announcement ceremony is finally over. Kinyi doesn't care whether it's considered a success or not. He just announced it. He is the new Hokage. As for whether the villagers will approve it. Sorry, he doesn't care? It's a ridiculous joke that someone who is recognized by everyone can become a Hokage. Advertisement. Who can get everyone's approval? Will even first Hokage Senju Hashirama be recognized by everyone? Do the people he led really recognize him? Not necessarily. However, as he can live a better life, he has stronger power. Once you rebel against him, you will be retaliated by an irresistible force. Then, nothing is a problem. Under absolute power. Recognition is just a matter of words. And now, what can ye has is absolute power. In Kanaha, no one can oppose him? That's true. However, they have already gone to accompany the third Hokage. Samai I wanted to customize Hokage robes. When Hokage arrived in Chiba, it was considered the fifth generation. But Chiba rejected it. It's not necessary. With or without that outfit, he is the Hokage he is today. As for the question of generations, it doesn't make much sense. Because from now on, the villagers will only remember him as the Hokage. It doesn't matter which generation he is from. Even, in the following days, there will be no more shadows. Only Hinamikaze Chiba. I didn't mind sitting in the Hokage seat before. But now, since I have already sat on it, then it's not that simple. Simply being a Hokage wasn't to his liking. It would be better to integrate all the villages. Be the shadow of all villages. Or rather, sage of six paths. Certainly. It takes a lot of time to do this. But in the short term, Chiba will not take action against other villages. Always take a break. There is another one, Xiao. This organization is like a cancer, living in a dark corner. Traveling between villages. Although they are said to be a mercenary organization, in fact, their intentions are not small. Especially, Obito is in it. This made Chiba even more determined that he would definitely uproot this organization. Leaving a little behind is a kindness to this organization. Therefore, Chiba's next move is to completely eradicate Akatsuki from this ninja world. He did not allow such an organization to exist. Then, it must be destroyed directly. Kakashi walked into Hokage's office. Kinyi looked up at him and asked. How's the news about Jiraiya? Kakashi said. Lord Hokage, there has been no news from Jiraiya for a while. I wonder how it is now. Chiba raised an eyebrow. Send someone to take a look. Since he is looking for news on behalf of the village, we must ensure his safety. Yes. Kakashi nodded. Chiba said. Let Suzuki and Itaki go. They are both very strong. Even if something happens, they can handle it. Yes. Kakashi nodded. Soon after, Itaki and Suzuki left Kanaha together. Now, far away in Kanaha, Jiraiya stood outside Rain Shinobi village. According to the information he investigated, this is most likely the base camp of the Akatsuki organization. Nagato, Yahiko, Konan, are you really here? Jiraiya took a deep breath. Immediately, with a heavy look on his face, he approached here. He didn't know what was waiting for him next. Advertisement. 
Chapter 97, Rain Shinobi Village Pain. Advertisement. Itake and Kakashi, where are they now? Kinyi looked at Samai aside and couldn't help but ask. Samai thought for a while and said, Based on the time, we should be arriving at Rain Shinobi Village. Chiba nodded. The speed is still not slow. Sam Yi said, They will definitely obey your orders, and over this period of time, their strength has also improved a lot, so they will naturally be much faster. It's just, what is there in Rain Shinobi Village that makes you so interested? Kinyi looked at Samai with a smile, raised his eyebrows, and asked, Want to know? Samai nodded. Chiba waved. Come over. Well, well, um, Gilu. Chiba handed her a tissue. Advertisement. Samui wiped his mouth. Then he silently picked up the cup on the table and poured another glass of water. I was a little thirsty just now, so I drank some water. It's just that the water in the office is somewhat boiling hot. It was so hot that Samui's cheeks turned red. Sweat broke out slightly on his forehead. After wiping her lips, she felt much better. He swallowed silently. The look is even more moving. Chiba adjusted her posture. Immediately he spoke. The situation at Rain Shinobi Village is a bit special. If they go there, the strength of two people should be enough. After all, both Itaki and Kakashi are now far stronger than before. Especially Itaki. Itaki grows up too fast. The combination of two Mangekyo is enough to reveal extraordinary strength. It was more than enough to help Jiraiya. Chiba was very relieved to have the two of them there. At this moment. Advertisement. Right at Rain Shinobi Village. Jiraiya took a deep breath. The air everywhere was hot, and the temperature was very high due to Conan's detonating talisman. Jiraiya took a step back, his expression solemn. Conan, why is this? Why are you like this? Where's Yahiko? Where's Nagato? Even at this time, Jiraiya still did not give up asking. He vaguely sensed that he had found the truth. Found the real content behind all this. But, Conan had no intention of explaining at all. The wings spread out, and densely packed detonating symbols fell from the sky. Immediately, boom, 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 an explosion sounded. Then, Jiraiya couldn't dodge and was hit by one of the bombs. His speed slowed down a bit, and then an overwhelming bombardment came. Facing Conan's attack, Jiraiya was not helpless, but the doubts in his heart were greater than his desire to fight. In the end what happened? Advertisement. Why did Conan become like this? But now, it seems there is no way out if Conan is not taken down. Jiraiya immediately prepared to take action. But at this moment, a figure suddenly appeared next to Conan. The figure appeared unusually suddenly, with a cold face, looking down at Jiraiya. When he saw the face of the visitor clearly, Jiraiya couldn't help but tremble. Staring at the man, he still called out his name. Yahiko, is that you? Yahiko looked cold, as if he had not heard Jiraiya's words. Jiraiya felt awestruck and couldn't help but ask. Who are you? I, Yahiko spoke with cold pride. Great God, pain. Boom, as pain's voice fell, suddenly, this terrifying force exploded here. Jiraiya pulled away and backed away, but the moment he retreated, a figure suddenly approached. Punch at Jiraiya, advertisement. Chapter 98 Conan, advertisement. This is 97. The two pictures are reversed and cannot be modified temporarily. The sky was gray and drizzle was falling. This is Rain Shinobi Village. After Jiraiya walked in here, he raised his head, looked around, and frowned. The environment here was something he wasn't used to, mainly because it gave him a very uncomfortable feeling. And this feeling is somewhat unclear. Where it comes from, Jiraiya doesn't know. Just let him confirm something. Here, it is very likely that it is related to several of his disciples. Jiraiya decided to continue investigating further. And at this moment, right inside Rain Shinobi Village, Nagato looked haggard and looked at Conan who was standing not far away. Couldn't help but said, Is it really him? Conan nodded. Yes, even though I haven't seen him for so many years, I can still recognize him at a glance. It's him, Mr. Jiraiya. Advertisement. Nagato narrowed his eyes. Even if the teacher really comes, it's impossible for him to change our minds. We have prepared too much for today, and even, paid for Yahiko. When it comes to the name Yahiko, the expressions on their faces suddenly dimmed. The two of them didn't speak for a long time. After a while, Nagato said, I'll deal with it. Conan shook his head. Your physical condition is too bad now. It's better for me to take care of you. If you can, you better not take action. Nagato nodded. Finally chose to agree. And at this moment, just inside Kanaha village, Chiba got the compensation he wanted, a total of 3.9 billion. The moment the 3.9 billion compensation was sent to Kanaha, the whole village was boiling. Compensation is really coming. A great victory, this is a great victory for us Kanaha. Advertisement. How long have we not had such a victory since ancient times? Hokage-sama, celebrate Hokage-sama. One after another, passionate voices shouted from the mouths of the villagers. Since then, Chiba's prestige has grown higher and higher, far exceeding the results of Sarutobi Hiruzen's painstaking efforts. And this, for Chiba, is nothing more than casual behavior. Itaki and Suzuki, have you arrived at Rain Shinobi Village? Based on the time, it should be here soon. Maybe by this time, we have already fought. Chiba snorted. At best, this Rain Shinobi Village, if nothing else happens, will be Akatsuki's headquarters. At worst, it will be a secret stronghold. This time, since Jiraiya followed my order, we will not allow anything to happen to him. Sam was still stunned. On the side, not much was said. And at this time, the moment Jiraiya steps into Rain Shinobi Village, I felt a chill instantly. The next moment, Conan's figure appears. Behind her, huge wings spread out. Advertisement. She was high up in the sky, overlooking everything. Also overlooking Jiraiya. After looking at it for a while, Jiraiya recognized Conan and showed an expression of disbelief. Even at this moment, he still couldn't believe it. Finally, he whispered, Little, Conan. Conan looked at him, his body slowly fell from the air, and said, It's me, Jiraiya-sensei. It's really you. So, is it really you, Yahiko or Nagato? Conan shook his head. Neither. It's pain, the real god, pain. Jiraiya narrowed his eyes. Didn't get the answer I wanted. And when he wanted to say something again, Conan didn't give him the chance. Because of the next moment, the air is filled with detonating symbols. Densely packed, advertisement. 
Chapter 99 The Wandering Dragon Returns to the Sea, but the sea won't welcome Ijiraiya. Advertisement. Boom, the terrifying power exploded in an instant. Jiraiya reacted quickly and used his skills to remove most of the force from the punch. But even so, it still has considerable power. But then, it was no longer enough to pose much of a threat to Jiraiya. Jiraiya stepped forward to greet him. Can. It's next. A figure actually appeared again. The figure was fast and urgent, rushing directly towards Jiraiya. Same punch. Bang. Jiraiya was hit this time, and his body flew out, rolled several times in the air, and fell to the ground. He steadied himself. He immediately looked at the man in front of him who called himself Pen. Or to put it simply, it's six, six pads pain, Yahiko. Advertisement. Jiraiya said, I know you are Yahiko, but how come it's just you, Konan, and Nagato? Where is he? Where has he gone? Facing Jiraiya's inquiry, Pain was unmoved. Jiraiya wanted to ask something else. However, he was not given this opportunity at all. Next, six pain rushed up instantly. Facing Jiraiya, they launched an encirclement. Bang, 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 one dull sound after another, making Jiraiya a little tired. Picture after picture flashed through his mind, and his desire for the truth became more and more real. However, Pain paid no attention to him. Jiraiya had worries in his heart, but his attack was always a bit off. Soon he was at a disadvantage. He tried every means, even turning on Sage Mode. Only, he finally discovered that this so-called Pain was actually from immune to death, as if it can be regenerated, endlessly. What do I do? After escaping again, advertisement. Jiraiya leaned against the wall and murmured questions. He thought about running away. Can. Soon after this decision appeared, it was snuffed out. Among the Kanaha Sunin, he was once a lowly person, ridiculed and ridiculed by others. Later, through hard work, he became Sunin. He has achieved goals that are difficult for many people to achieve and has achieved a high status. But now, it's time for him to face a choice again. Little Jiraiya, no matter what you think, we will support you. On the shoulders, two equally old toads spoke softly. Jiraiya suddenly smiled. When did you become so hesitant? At least, I should be able to help the village and do something, right? I'm, the hero Jiraiya. Ha 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 ha. Amid laughter, Jiraiya walked firmly, went out. Even if Pain searched for him for a long time, summoning men was still nearby. The situation of encirclement means ten deaths but no life. But he still moved forward. Because he is a hero? Advertisement. Hero Jiraiya? Wandering dragon angel returns to the sea. The sea won't welcome me. He was laughing, murmuring, and moving forward generously. Of course. Right now. Suddenly a slightly teasing voice came. This is wrong. It hasn't been updated yet. Open your eyes. Kakashi, who was wearing a mask, squinted his eyes and smiled, and raised the book with the cover of Intimate Paradise printed on it twice. The eunuch is wrong. Bang. A huge Suzanu appears and instantly throws the approaching summoning beast away. Itaki also smiled at Jiraiya, said softly, I'm also looking forward to, what's next? Jiraiya was slightly startled. When he came to his senses again, he saw that both Kakashi and Itaka were standing in front of him. Fallen Angelica Root? So, Kanaha came to welcome back his sage? Jiraiya, it's not that easy to die. Advertisement. Chapter 100 Flying Thunder God. Advertisement. Kanaha. Window. Chiba finally understood why Sarutobi liked to stand here. This angle was really good, overlooking the entire village. As the most central area in the village, you can see most of the village from here. In particular, the terrain here is very high and you can easily see a lot of things. It was as if the whole village was beneath his feet. The smell of power. Now, when Shiba stood here and overlooked the entire village, a feeling arose spontaneously. Not some sense of responsibility, some bullshit idea of protecting the whole village, but mastery. One thought can control the future of this village, control everything about the villagers within it. This is power. Back on the chair, personal secretary Samai skillfully brought hot tea. The reason for this secretary title, it lies in being able to fulfill one's responsibilities. After all, being a secretary can sometimes be a physically demanding job. Certainly. Advertisement. As a Hokage, Chiba can't just watch the secretary work alone, but will also help when appropriate. Therefore, the Hokage office was in full swing. Even because he was too tired, he would shout a few times from time to time. I don't know how much time passed, but I finally finished working and immediately wiped the sweat on my forehead. The clothes were actually quite wet. Sure enough, being a secretary is also a tiring job. Kinyi waved his hand and motioned for Samai to go down and rest first. Samai nodded and tidied up the room again. Just left. And at this moment, a kunao appeared in Chiba's hand. On it, there is the flying thunder god's spell. His eyes fell on it, with a faint smile on his lips. Since this flying thunder god kunao can appear in his hand, it proves that another one has been placed long ago, or is in the hands of others. As for where? Rain Shinobi Village. The air became moist. Advertisement. The previous explosions could not make this place dry, because at this moment, the rain started to fall again. The drizzle of rain hit people from time to time. It's not heavy, but it has a depressing feel. Pain's eyes fell on Itaki and Kakashi who suddenly appeared. And, that huge Suzanu. The indifferent eyes finally changed. No matter how many people you come, it's still useless. You don't know the power of God at all. At this time, summoning men was summoned again. The figure of pain six paths also stood over. Kakashi smiled and turned to look at Itaki. Give it to you. Itaki was stunned for a moment. There are six of them, and you want me to fight them alone. Kakashi said, just a good training for you. What else did Itaki want to say? But at this moment, Pain's body was already moving. Advertisement. The Rinnegan expression in his eyes was exceptionally clear. Wait for the moment when you are close. Immediately, his palms were slightly raised. A decisive force was born from this. Shinra Tenzen. A cold, indifferent voice without any emotion sounded. Immediately, the power was instantly revealed from Pain's heavenly way. Boom, the terrifying power bounces everything away. Even Suzano was pushed back one after another at this moment. Itaka managed to stabilize his body. Looking at Pain Tiendeo at this moment, his eyes widened instantly. You. He noticed the Rinnegan in Pain's Tiendeo eyes. At this time, I remembered the news about Rinnegan that was circulated in Uchiha. He wanted to say something, but Pain didn't leave any time. There's action again. Advertisement. Chapter 101 Pain is killed with one sword. Advertisement. When despair comes, God comes as expected. Pain's figure flickered everywhere. 
When Itaka discovered Pain's special eyes, he couldn't even spend any time in astonishment. Because Pain is already here. Bang! His arm penetrated Itaka's body, beating Itaka into nothingness. Itaka disappeared immediately. Pain was stunned. He immediately squinted his eyes and looked around. Shadow clone? Far away. Kakashi saw this scene. Suddenly he said, Itaka, don't bother yourself. Then, he suddenly waved his hand and threw a kunau. Itaka subconsciously reached out and took it. The first thing I noticed was the flying thunder god mark on it. He immediately smiled. Summoning technique. Whoosh, the kunau disappeared and was replaced by the figure of a man with long hair. Advertisement. The man stood proudly in the field, his clothes fluttering, and the sword in his hand reflected dazzling light. The moment it appeared, the originally dark sky of Rain Shinobi village became much brighter. The rain gradually stopped. Kinyi lifted the long sword. He immediately pointed at Pain and grinned. Hey, you are so courageous. When you saw me, you didn't even run away. Pain's face was expressionless, and he immediately approached. He rushed towards Kinyi quickly. At this moment, Kakashi had already moved close to Itaki and said mischievously. Guess, how many moves? Itaki was stunned for a moment, then realized. Three moves. Kakashi shook his head. It's already here, why don't you understand me? He immediately held out a finger. I guess it's a move. Jiraiya couldn't help but be stunned when he saw the two brothers who were so relaxed and without any pressure. After all, he fought against Pain personally and even knew about Pain's power. The terrifying power of Rinnegan is absolutely difficult to face. Even when he finally turned on Sage Mode, it was still extremely difficult. Advertisement. And now, are these two brothers making this kind of speculation? No matter how powerful Nami Kaze Shiba is, he shouldn't be like this, right? This is obvious. It's too disrespectful. Pain obviously heard what the two brothers said. He immediately let out a cold snort. In the blink of an eye, he arrived in front of Kinyi. Then, at this moment, Kinyi reached out and raised his sword. Cut it off suddenly. White light streaked across the sky, tearing everything apart. Pain's figure, representing the Hell Realm, was split into two by this sword. Laugh. The extremely clear sound resounded on the spot. The two halves of Hell Realm corpses fell on both sides. Everyone was stunned. Jiraiya was shocked, but after all, he knew Pain's power and quickly reacted, and then said, Be careful, his body can be resurrected. Oh, Chiba suddenly became interested. Advertisement. Then let's see, which one is faster is your resurrection or my sword? Immediately, the body disappeared again. The next moment, he was in front of another Pain body. Hungry Kido, laugh, a sword. Then, there are the ascetic path, the animal path, and the human path. Finally, God's way, in the blink of an eye, he arrived in front of Tiendeo Pain. When he waved his hand, trying to activate Rinnegan's power, Chiba didn't give him any chance at all. Immediately, he cut it down with a sword. Boom, Rinnegan's power finally activated. But that terrifying power was cut off by Kinyi's sword. Pain took the opportunity to escape, but ended up with a broken arm. Then, he showed no intention of fighting and immediately wanted to escape. Chiba couldn't help but smile. Escape? Let's see where you can escape. Advertisement. You have reached the last chapter of this novel. Terms of use. DMCA policy. Contact us. Privacy policy.